Holy crap, guys, we are here officially at the grand opening of the flagship store of Spirit Halloween in New Jersey. They are just getting ready to hand out the lanyards. This is insane! Are you guys ready for Spirit? <laughs> All right, guys, this place is absolutely insane. I've been taking pictures and signing things all day long, but they finally called my number. So I am going to head in if I can possibly figure out a way to do that. Oh, my gosh. Hello, dude. Hello. It is total chaos in here. There are so many people. I think they're actually up in the numbers 400 or something, and I was just out there too busy to get in. But let's take a walk around the store before we even start looking at these guys. Oh my gosh. A fog machine he's got. Woo! <laughs> All right, man, this place is nuts. Wow. All right, let's, oh my gosh. There's the Mars Attacks guy. I see some, uh, some spookiness of death hanging down there. We're gonna get to it. We got the poor George over here. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot even tell you how hot it is outside. I want to show you something. You know how I always say I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece while I am telling you the truth? Let me show you this. Look at this. My hat, my entire hat is soaking wet and I have sweat dripping into my eye. It's burning my eye. So here is, hi, here's the row of animatronics here. I mean, they're all over the store. Wow, what just happened there? <laughs> But people are like buying them up. Hey, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Who do we got here? Yes, Mons. Awesome. Good to see you. Are you having fun? I am. Totally awesome, dude. I'm on it. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know what I was talking about because it's so chaotic in here. I think I was talking about the animatronics because they have them sitting out all throughout the store. Wow. Look at this. They got a bunch of beetle juices. Oh my gosh. One here. They got like six more over there. They have all these beetle juice sand sandworm ground breakers here i'm like exhausted i can't even talk guys look at this fogging skull piles we got the deadly creepers i'm <laughs> speechless about this day it's so crazy spirits 40th yeah okay oh my gosh how are we even supposed to make it through here look at this guys i don't think i've ever seen so many animatronics in a spirit before at all even in the flagship store last year i feel bad because jacob the carpetbagger is here and i saw him outside and he came up and got me in his video and i was not filming at the time so i didn't get him in mine so i'm hoping i get to see him in here oh my gosh look at this it is just so insanely hectic back through here how are you even supposed to make it through here this guy's got a mr dark we got a monty over here we got a cauldronous, a little skelly bones. Hello! It is just the most insane packed store, guys. I cannot even believe this. So crazy. There's so much awesome stuff I haven't seen before. And we're going to have to just take some time in other stores this season and look at all this stuff. Get a really good look at all this stuff because it's so cool. But there's just so many people in here, you just can't even move. Okay, let me just squeeze through here. So apparently what we got going on over here is like, I don't know, some kind of a bidding thing. People are bidding on animatronics they're bringing out, I guess. The first animatronics, you got them today. Oh, awesome. I'm getting Mr. today. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's one of the best. Little skelly bones. <laughs> Man, I, I really wanted Heckles, but he's not here. So I'm thinking maybe Gordo. Oh my gosh, guys, there are easily double the people here that were here last year. Wait a minute, all right. We gotta say hello to the hello rat. And we have the secret keeping cat here. All right, honestly, I'm coming over to this corner right here just to chill out for a minute. I'm not even kidding, guys. Have I said that yet? I'm not even kidding, it's so so chaotic in here i'm so tired is there anywhere in here i can hide and take a nap look at this as i'm walking around just kind of hiding in the places where there's not many people i'm seeing so many cool things that i've not seen in these stores before 
Oh my gosh, they just are so packed in here. It's so awesome. Okay, so this is where I've been hiding because there's been like nobody back there. Everybody else is out on the floor. You can hear the crazy chaos going on out here. And I'm about to venture back out. Yeah, like I literally can't even get across this section here because there's so many people walking through. All right, let's make a run for it. All right, see if we can get on the other side. <laughs> People pushing boxes through, oh my god. Okay, so here's a little look at this section back here. Oh, now that was sweet. That guy's a little bit too creepy for me, but he is on the Mr. Dark uh, body or whatever the heck you call it, the mechanism. All right, let's make our way through here, guys. I'm telling you, it's starting to wind down a little bit in some areas. Okay, let's go over here for a minute because I see something that I never saw in the stores that I do want to see. And it's this brand new guy right here that I cannot believe is actually still available and on the shelf. Very cool. All right, we're running into the Haunt Farmer. How are you doing in here, man? Oh, dude, I am so exhausted in here. Overwhelmed. I, you know, I am. I, it's I, air conditioned, though. Yes, it's. I, I will take that. It feels oh. so much better in here than it did outside. Oh. <laughs> I see you and your son running around. You guys have like the same kind of hat, and I'm like, I right. can't tell which is which. Yeah, it's like he wears his backwards, and I wear yeah. mine in the front. That's, okay, that's the difference. That's a defining feature. Yep. All right, let's drop off a couple stickers around here, guys. We'll put them in some of the cups here. Let's put a couple over here with Sam. Let's put a couple right up here. Okay, so here is the guy this year. There's always one guy who's a little bit too evil for me. This year, it's the Hell Spawn. Let's keep quiet. Very creepy. Very deadly, very evil. Goodbye to you, sir. I say goodbye. Everybody. Awesome. Okay, let's try to make our way through here, guys. That guy is way too creepy. Okay, I don't even know what's going on in here. There's people stopping the film. It looks like we have a couple more selections in the bouncy heads this year. There's a SpongeBob. We have Pennywise up there. Is that Stitch from Lilo and Stitch? All right, let's try to get around this way here. And look at this behind me, guys. We have Steven and Rocco from Rockoween Adventures. All right, so let's take a quick look at Slim over here. What I was worried about with Slim was that he was going to be way too slim because his face looked like he was too slim. And actually, he looks better than I thought he would. He looks a little bit wider. He looks a little bit fatter. And his face doesn't look as slim as I thought it would. All right, let's go ahead and make our way through here. Look at this. We have lots of flashing candles of death. We have fabric of death. We even have stars of death. We have the sitting scary scarecrow over here. Let's make our way over here so we can see it. I have a giant backpack on my back so I can barely make it through. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. There we go. Hello, Mr. Wicked Makers. All right, I got to see what's going on up here. Okay, we got the bats. Do we have Jack again? Oh, there he is. That's a much bigger one than was up here last year. Very cool. Hi, YouTube. All right, we got poor George over here going at it. Oh, look, he spins even more than I thought he did. He went around like twice that time, I think. Let's get a good look at his face here. There's the mean face. There's the happy face. There's the mean face again. I don't really like George. So guys, the line ends right there. It goes all the way around the store and all the way up to the front of the store. We got our Chuckies here at least. I don't know what the heck this is. A Glenn doll. I should probably know what that is, but I don't know what it is. Here's Annabelle. Annabelle. I always called it Anna Ball because I was already reading about the sitting Sam doll. Hello, Anna Ball. All kinds of different animatronics through this middle section here. Actually, I guess it would be the back section. They must just be replenishing every time people buy these out because every time I come by, there's even more. <laughs> okay, we have a section to come over here and look at some of these. Look at this ghosty guy right here, the Howling Spirit. Okay, let's see if we can get him going. All right, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's like an old-time classic-y Halloween uh, animatronic. For some reason, I was thinking that he went up. 
I guess it's just his arms that move though, maybe not. Here's our zombie babies. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the one I've been waiting to see. The darling Dolly. Look at her. She is so scary. Look at the fingers. Just the fingers are scary enough. All right, where's the, here we go. Let's get her going. There he goes. Here we go. What's she gonna do? Ah, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Very cool. Man, she is tall too. Wow, she's right behind Eternal Rest. I don't know, I'm not really all that impressed by this one this year. It could have been better. I wish they had spin faster and was a little scarier. But Darling Dollar, Darling Dollar. Hello, Darling Dollar. <laughs> Darling Dolly is definitely awesome. All right, let's try to get in here and see these guys over here. Okay, so this is the best look we're gonna get at these right now, guys. We've got, of course, little Skelly Bones. Hello, little Skelly Bones over here. We got the Grave Watcher over here. And then we've got this Modus over here, which is pretty, look at that. That was pretty dang cool. He's got a very, very evil look on his face though. I don't know if I'm into that. And over here, guys, we have the Black Heart. Look at that. That one is really tall and scary. I gotta say, the whole setup looks totally awesome here. I want to see what's in. Please tell me it's not only a jumping spider in there. What the heck? All right, guys, let's make one more attempt at getting over here. Thank you. And seeing a little bit more stuff on this side. Oh my gosh. So right up front here, we do have the leather face. Oh, sorry. There he's going. There's just way too many people in here to give you a really, really good look at these things right now. We have stilts right over here. He is huge and he is awesome. He's much better than I expected him to be. Here we got a good look at his face up here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at his hair. It looks like cotton candy. Very, very cool. Here's the entrance to the cemetery here, Spirit Hollow Cemetery. We are doing this video completely backwards, guys. It's just been so crazy in here trying to get around to see all this stuff. And it looks like we're actually gonna get to look at the Martian warrior from Mars Attacks. Look at this guy. All right, let's get him going here. Look at that. Very cool, yes. I love it, look at his boots. What are those? Very cool. Tell us, I'm a big fan of Killer Clowns. It's my favorite sled. Okay. Speaking of animatronics, who do we have here? It's the animatronic kid. <laughs> and where is that at? Instagram, YouTube, all that. You can either search up it on Instagram or YouTube. I'm actually streaming right now as we speak. Perfect. So, and my favorite animatronic of the year is definitely gotta be Slim. He is my favorite. And I also have, I do have a short name Con Candy Cocoon, so Slim can go perfect with that. Very cool. All right, well, this is going in the video, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. And look at this over here, we got a stilts going out the door. All right, guys, well, I wish the filming inside the store could have been much better, but there was just so many people, it was difficult to show you stuff. But that's why I run around for the rest of the season so I can show you everything in details. Guys, I had such a fun day today. I am so exhausted. I met so many people, took so many pictures, signed so many cards and everything. Uh, I'll see you later. Whoa, oh my gosh, guys, look. It's an entire ham hock. One ham hock for sale. <laughs> Who wants a ham hock? Let's play a game. Holy crap, guys, the 2023 Halloween season has officially begun. Spirit Halloween stores are finally opening, including this one right here in Canton, Ohio, which just officially opened about 21 minutes ago. It is super hot out here. I have a headache, my eye is twitching, and I feel like I'm gonna puke. But that is no match for a Spirit Halloween that looks like this. It may be Thursday afternoon out here, but inside this Spirit Halloween, it is Tuesday morning. That's right, this Spirit Halloween right here is inside an abandoned Tuesday morning. But more 
morning, afternoon, or night, I don't care because we are going in right now. Holy crap, this is a big one, guys. Look at this. This store goes from here all the way down to the corner. And I've been in here before when it was a Tuesday morning, so I know it's an enormous store. Here we go. I am so excited, I can't stand it. Right inside the door, we have the awesome classic orange and black spirit Halloween Superstores shopping baskets. Let's just take a quick sweeping look right from the door here, guys. It looks so awesome already. I cannot wait to get in here and start digging in. Let's just take a quick walk around before we even get into anything, and then we're gonna look at everything individually. Oh my gosh, we got Slim over here. Who did I see over here? I saw the straw man up front. We got the widow over here. Look at this, we had the Voina experience and he found the most awesome throw ever. It's the, not the ghost face, it's Jack, <laughs> it's Jack. popping out of the plush throw. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of boxes of animatronics right here we're gonna check out. We got the eternal rest here. Let's take a quick walk through here. Oh, we got this guy waiting to pop at us, Dagger Mike. We've got the Wicked Maker, AKA the Scary Sitting Scarecrow. Let's keep on moving here, guys. What in the world is this? Are these, these are not legit VHS tapes, but they look like it. What the heck, man? Includes a lanyard, a patch, two decals, and two buttons. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look, they have one from Halloween 2. They have one from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And they have one from It. And they have a giant popcorn bowl. But before I get into the details, guys, let's just keep on walking around and taking a quick look around the whole store. I just have to take it all in. I didn't get to see stuff at the flagship store like this. There were so many people, it was absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many cool things right now. My head's about to explode. It's just gonna explode. We got so many cool animatronics and inflatables here to look at. Hugging skull piles and witch cauldrons. We got these guys peeking out. We've even got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy. Skulls and skulls and more skulls. We don't have a whole lot of zombie babies, but we do have a bunch we haven't seen, including these guys. Why does this guy have a cup on his head? Oh my gosh, guys, I am just totally over overwhelmed in here. I see Billy Butcherson's head down here. Lots of awesomeness over here. And holy crap, guys, look at what we're getting into over here, including what's behind those doors. What is it? What could it be? It's just crazy in here. Oh my gosh, we have the Beetlejuice section, Haunted Mansion, we have the bobbleheads, lunch boxes, pajamas, fleece blankets galore. We even have that other Nate guy. Oh my gosh, guys, talk about fun. This is the best time of the year. Let's go ahead back up here and start looking at all the awesomeness starting right up at the front. Okay, just as if we're coming right back in the front door again, guys, let's start with this guy right up here, who is actually from last year. It's the straw man. Look how unbelievably tall he is. Let's get him going. Do you guys remember when I made the video you of him break dancing? You can hide in a hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and very cozy. I'll even tuck you in with a few layers of soil on top. To have a nice, long rest. He is more than likely a place keeper for something else that's gonna be up there very soon. So let's keep moving around here. Here's one that I have never seen in action yet, guys. I've seen her on the website, online, in other people's videos. It's the Widow. Look at her, $199.99 and she cracks her own neck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at her neck. Holy crap. That is a mess. All right, let's do it one more time and then back up so you can see like her whole body. Here comes. There she goes. <laughs> she actually kind of looks like Dahlia. I wish they would re-release Dahlia. All right, let's keep on moving, guys, because over here we have this guy, Slim, from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Look how huge he is. And look at those shoes. If you know, you know. 
What are those? All right, let's take a close look at this bag here. I like how it's sparkly. I like how it has the moon and stars. And here's some popcorn inside. Now, this would be very easy to modify and just put like some real popcorn on there, put some glue down there, put a bunch of popcorn on, and it would look so much better. So Slim is $399.99. Let's get him going here. Okay. He looks pretty good. His face is a lot slimmer than it really should be. And all he really does is just bend forward, lean down with his bag of popcorn, and then you'll see, there he goes. He leans back up and opens his bag of popcorn. All right, so that's about it for Slim, but let's just take a second to appreciate the size of his hands. Look, they look like Mickey Mouse hands. All right, let's keep on moving around here, guys, because right over here we have the eternal rest. Okay, now that is pretty dang cool. When I first saw this one online, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. I like it much better seeing it in person than online. Let's see if we can get her going. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I do wish they had spun a little faster. Spun faster? I'm not even sure if I said that right. I wish they had spinned a little faster. <laughs> I know. Okay, have fun with your spinning head. We're going to go through here. So let's just back up and take a quick look at it here. Looks pretty dang cool. Let's go ahead and go through. I love how they have the candles here all lit up and spooky-like. And inside the crypt, you can see here lies menacing Molly. And down here, here lies Hugs the Clown. Over here, here lies Cerberus. Is that how you say it? Cerberus. And then over here, we have here lies Henry Hustle. Here lies the Nightcrawler. And down here is Buzzsaw. And then we have Ophelia over here, followed by Gray. Grim. No, not Grim! And look, there's one lone Grim arm sticking out of the wall like he's trying to escape. This whole thing is decorated very cool, guys. Like I said, the candles, we have the fabric of death hanging down here. We've got the gargoyles on the walls. We've got these flame buckets going. It's burning my face! And we've even got leaves down here. So there are a lot of awesome details in here guys okay so let's go on over here and check out dagger mike i saw him online i wasn't sure what i was going to think of him i think his daggers look really cool actually but let's go ahead and hit the button and see what he does <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he actually scared the crap out of me i can't believe it i knew it was coming i knew he was going to jump at me and he still scared the living crap out of me you sir are good at scaring and then over here we have the scary sitting scarecrow aka the wicked makers and this guy we all know what he does let's go ahead and step and get him going I think he sounds so totally awesome. I love his scream. I love his red eyes and his laugh. He's definitely a good prop. Okay, let's come on out here and take a look at these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale in stock right here and right now. We have the Grave Watcher. There are three of those available. Let's go around the other side here, guys, because we have one sitting scarecrow. That's the regular sitting scarecrow, not the scary sitting scarecrow. We have two dagger mics, one little skelly bone, and on the end we have two the widows. As usual, we have a whole stack of the jumping spiders look at that you're never gonna go into a spirit halloween and not be able to get a jumping spider all right we'll go back there in a minute and look at those other animatronics that are set up but i want to look at these bobbleheads over here for a minute because i saw some cool new ones first is the ghost face i have this one actually i bought it last year but look at this one the exorcist she is way too evil for me but i gotta say guys that is one cool bobblehead right there we've got the killer clowns from outer space the popcorn plant killer guy that comes out of the toilet maybe we should just call him toilet boy we've got this awesome sam bobblehead and look at this this is way cool look at how they have half the face torn off and you can see his rotting pumpkin head inside we've got bagwell which is actually another character from the trick-or-treat movie We've got Georgie down here. That's a pretty cool one. He's got his boat and he's only got one arm. His other arm is chewed off. We've got Michael Myers way down on the bottom and then we've got the Silence of the Lambs right here. This is a really cool one. 
Hello, Clarice. All right, guys, let's come on over here and check out this stuff. Oh my gosh, there is so much I wanna look at right here. First, we have two Mr. Punchies. We have two 55-inch floor candelabras. Those are not animatronics, but they do light up. And we've got all these inflatables here, guys, most of them which we saw last year. But we're gonna take a look at a couple of them that we have not seen yet, uh, starting with this one right here, the sitting scarecrow. Look at that, this guy is four feet tall. And he's sitting on on a hay bale. That's pretty cool right there. I don't know if I'd buy that one or not, but I would buy the Hello Rat. Oh my gosh, that is totally hilarious. Three and a half feet long. This is one of them that I am so excited about, guys, though. This is the ghost face. He is 12 feet tall. Look at that thing. Holy crap, he is really heavy, too. Let's come around the back here. I'm trying to just spin it around, but it wants to stick on the box. Wow, he is $179, guys, but he is really really cool. If you're a ghost face fan, you know just how cool that is. I don't really get the pumpkin because there's only one Scream movie that takes place on Halloween. That was Scream 6, the most recent one, and honestly, I didn't think they did a good enough job telling us that it was Halloween. But it's not about Halloween, it's about ghost face. And this is the one that I'm really, really excited about, guys. Holy crap, look at this. I'm even more excited about this one than I am about the ghost face. This is a 20-foot inflatable snake. Strangely, the ghost face is a lot heavier than this one, but look at that. How cool is this? It's not even really like a character. It's just a big, giant, long green snake. He actually reminds me of Hiss on Disney's Robin Hood. And if we turn him around here, you can see he's $149.99, which is a chunk of change. But man, is he cool and he's 20 feet long. Okay, I don't see any secret keeping cats, guys, but I do see these fellows what in the world these guys are crazy looking look we have a rabid zombie bunny here i'd hate to run into this guy in the carrot patch you know what sir you are very scary looking and just to make you a little bit less scary we're gonna name you carrot and then there's this guy his name is already scabs and he is a rabid zombie dog look at the look his tail is a bone oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Someone even asked me if he was a secret telling dog. So let's go ahead and find out. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Do you have secrets to tell? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. He must just be mad because he's injured his tailbone. All right, sir, you hang out here with your friend, Carrot. Carrot and Scabs, best friends for life. Wait a minute, what? There's one Gordo in the store and these lucky fellows are buying it. Okay, let's keep on going around our journey here and see what else we can find. We did find the hook hedgehog and the hook eye guy. Whoa, oh my gosh, guys, look. It's an entire ham hock. It's a ham hock. One ham hock for sale. <laughs> Who wants a ham hock? As always, we have a ton of awesome masks to choose from. I don't see any right off the bat that I haven't seen before, except for this guy, the Martian warrior from Mars Attacks. Look at that guy. But look under here, he has a detachable jaw. Your own chin goes inside there, so when you talk, it's like he's actually talking. All right, let's make our way over here and look at some of these crazy guys. What the heck? <laughs> I thought this guy was crazy enough when he was standing like this, showing us his bum. But look at this. I think I like him better like this. Like he's trying to hold up something. Look, he's like, don't worry guys, I got the pillow. It's kind of heavy, but I got it. What is this guy's name even? Um, Flippin' Freddy, that's his name. Look at this. Register your zombie baby here. It's a little creepy. And then we have this crazy guy who's playing with the moth from Silence of the Lambs. And his name is Mothy Max. Okay, I do like his green skin. Look at those crazy eyes and the even crazier teeth. And yeah, 
take a close look at those moths. They're exactly like the ones on the Silence of the Lambs. Hello, Clarice. Okay, so while we have a chance, let's take a quick look at this stuff over here, guys. We have this giant coffin right here, which is actually like a photo opportunity. You can step inside the coffin and get your photo taken. Just as if you were the dead alive. And we've got the black heart right here on the end, guys. I've been waiting to see this guy, so let's get a good look. He is $2.99, and he is one tall, scary, spooky guy. I know he's hiding a chick inside his robe, so let's go ahead and hit the button and get him going. Yowza, look at that guy. I can't understand a word he's saying because the music is so loud, guys. But look at the look on her face. She is totally dead in there. Okay, he is pretty dang awesome. Let's move on over here where we have the Grave Watcher. She's going crazy already over here watching all the graves. She looks pretty dang cool, actually. And then we have Lil Skelly Bones over here. Let's get him going because he's worth it. Come on, Mr. Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. There we go. Skelly's one of my favorites of all time. I really do like the way this looks, guys. Look, I didn't notice this when I first walked up, but there's green lights coming up here behind the graveyard. And I love the spooky leaves. And here are the majestical mystery doors. Now, guys, when I was at the flagship store, I got a peek inside and all I saw was a jumping spider. I'm hoping that's not what is behind here because, wait a minute, we have a sign here that says jumping spider. I don't get it. Why would they only put a jumping spider in there when they could have used it for something much more awesome? Okay, let's go ahead and see how, how am I supposed to just open the door or, okay, the door is, how do I do it? Do I do the knocker? Ah, okay, I do the knocker. He's already in full jump. Hello, sir. You're already in full jump. You lost your chance at scaring me. So there it is. I, I'm just kind of confused by that, though. Because, yeah, I mean, it's really, really cool that you would have mystery, majestical doors here. And you would just have a jumping spider behind the doors. I know they also have a prop this year called Emmeline, I think her name is. I wonder if they originally meant for her to be behind those doors. But when she jumps out, she comes full force forward. And they didn't want to be knocking people out. All right, we have all the headstones over here, which are totally awesome. Take a quick look because we're going to wait till another store to really take a better look at those. And we have a lot of stuff over here, including this guy right here. What the heck is up with this? It's like a plush skeleton. OSSA skeleton pillow. I don't really get what that is, but it's a skeleton pillow that unfolds to make a full skeleton. So if you're in need of a skeleton buddy, there he is. As we looked at for a second earlier, we do have the wall o Beetlejuice over here, and there's a lot of awesome stuff there, which we'll take a closer look at in other stores because we have so many stores to go, guys, and so much more awesomeness to look at. Oh my gosh, it's a Monster Zinc hard hat. I love it. <laughs> for any of you who've been watching my Saturday night snack in a movie, you know that my office door is the Monster Zinc door, so I am totally going to buy this today for a prop in my movie room. All right, let's take one more quick walk back through here, guys, to see if there's anything I cannot resist not looking at before we go. Oh! Oh, he lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob bouncy head. Oh yes, we definitely have to take a look at the tiny terrors, guys. These are so awesome. Look at this. They are horror babies. We've got Ghostface, we've got Sam, we've got Pennywise, and we've got Leatherface. Wow, look at these. Look at the details in these. Oh my gosh, guys. Every corner I take, there's so much more stuff to look at. But we're going to have to look in other stores because I was not planning on coming over here when I heard they were open, so my battery is all almost dead. If I would have seen Gordo when I walked in, I would have definitely bought him, but I did not see him. So we're going to stick with the Monster Zinc hat for this trip. Maybe I didn't see it because of my one eye. Let's play a game. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! 
All right, you guys been asking me to come back here, so I made the two hour trek today in the Humvee to come right out here to St. Clairsville, Ohio, to this Spirit Halloween in an abandoned Sears at the Ohio Valley Mall. Now, I don't know if there is an entrance inside the mall that goes into this store, but we're gonna find out. I wanna see what it looks like, but let's go on in here, guys. Which doors do we have to go in? Hello, folks. All right, let's try this one. It looks open. There we go. Oh, here we go, guys. So, oh, wait a minute. First associate to get $50 donation gets to pie a manager in the face. Look at it. It is beautiful. So, if I donate the $50, do I get to film the manager getting pied in the face? I don't see why not. Hi. If I donate the $50, do I get to see that do i get to film the manager getting uh pied in the Absolutely, face if you want to. awesome all right we'll do it <laughs> did you hear that guys if i donate the 50 dollars, we get to film them pieing the manager in the face right here right now at spirit halloween in st clairsville ohio but first look at the awesomeness that is happening right up front at the spirit hollows cemetery holy crap guys this is the first time when i've had a chance to actually look at stilts standing right in front of me waiting to show me what he does when i was at the flagship store i didn't get enough time to really look so here we go I didn't even watch any videos online about him, guys. I was kind of actually wondering if he said anything, but all he does is laugh. That doesn't mean he's not cool. His head twists. He has bowling pins in his hands that go up and down. And he has a long, slender, black and purple body. What the heck? Stilts is actually pretty dang cool. And I gotta say... I love the spooky tree that's right behind him. And right on the other side, guys, we have Leatherface right here in the Pretty Woman mask. Let's get him going. Yes. It's funny because he's like super tall and he's a little bit chubby, which is actually what he looks like in the movie. But for some reason, looking at him here, it just doesn't look right. I don't know why. He's totally cool. I do love how the chain is actually moving on the chainsaw. That is an awesome added feature. All right, sir, we'll come see you later for a little bit of chili. We are going to go right now through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. And guys, look at these awesome, spooky gargoyles on top of these pillars. Those look so cool. Let me zoom in. Get a load of those guys. All right, let's go on through the gate here, and here is the straw man. Let's get him going here. Come on, straw man, come on. We're keeping these tools nice and sharp, just in case the farmer's spirit returns this year. I think he will be very pleased with how I've been running things. And I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you. <laughs> he just goes on and on and on. And I love how while we're watching him, we can hear the chainsaw and stilts going on in the background. Let's come on over here, guys, to the side where we have the widow here. Now, I could be mistaken, but I believe that last year she was only available online. But this is what I always say. You never know what's going to show up in the stores because this year we have the widow. Let's go ahead and get her going and see her break her own neck. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like so simple yet so effective. Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of boxes of animatronics right here we're going to look at. But first we are going to check out Slim over here. He is standing tall front and center. Let's get him going here. All right, Slim, come on now. He's pretty cool. I think the more I see him, the more I'm going to like him. I do like his bag of popcorn. And the other day, somebody corrected me. I said that you could put some glue in there and put some real popcorn. And they said, yeah, but what about the rats? 
So, what you would have to do is like make an insert, a cardboard insert that would sit right in there that you could put your popcorn on and you could put it in and you could take it back out. Okay, let's keep on moving here, guys. We have another pile of animatronics right here available, but over here we have poor George. Now, he's another one that the more I see him, the more I like him. Let's get him going here a minute. There we go. <laughs> he is actually pretty cool like i said the more i see him the more i like him and i really like his orange hair look at that he is pretty dang cool. Okay, let's go right on into the crypt. We have our awesome candles of flickering death. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a nerd. We have the gargoyles and the fire of death and the fabric of death. And of course, they have Dagger Mike over here, who is another one that I ended up liking a lot more as I'm starting to see him in the stores. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time he actually made me jump. I, I like this guy more than I thought I was going to. Each time I knew he was going to jump at me and he still scared me. And of course we have the Wicked Maker over here, the scary sitting scarecrow. I do like those eyes, guys. That is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead out here, guys, and see what else we can see in this store. Now, I know from being in here before that this store goes all the way down there and back and around, but first, let's go ahead and look at what they have here on the floor for sale. We have Man's Possessed Friend, guys. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five of those. Two young Crouchies. We actually have two Slims in stock. And look at this. We have a Leatherface in stock as well. How cool is that? And then over here in this pile, guys, look at this. We have a poor George right on top, a straw man below him. We have two stilts in stock here, another poor George, and another straw man. Oh my gosh, they have even more set up on the floor here. Look at this. We have three dagger mics over here, guys, and two the widows. Then in this pile here, we have three sitting scarecrows and two more. So we have one, two, three, four, five sitting scarecrows. And it looks like... Okay, wait a minute. Some of them are sitting, some of them are scary. We have one, two, three, four sitting. We have a scary on the bottom. And then we have two more scaries over here. All right, that's a pretty good selection. All right, let's go ahead and walk through the store over here on this side. I told you, this is a big store. Look at this. They have the rest of it set up back here. How cool is this? Guys, this is so very cool. I am so excited right now. This is so Halloween-y right here. Listen to those sounds. We have the ghosty guy up here. <laughs> A running child. I can see Gordo over here popping. So much going on in this scene right here, and I love it so much. It feels so much like Halloween. All right, let's start over here. Let's look at this headstone. Here lies Lord Farquaad. <laughs> then we got this guy right here, the Howling Spirit. Look at that. He is so simple, but he's so awesome. Why did your lights go out? I think it's because of this right here. Let's see. Come on now. All right, who, what does this go to? Does this go to this guy? What in the heck? Something's going to scare me. Nothing's happening when I step on there. All right. Are you like motion? There he goes. He's motion activated. Okay. Let's just listen. He is so very cool, guys. He is $1.99, and look at this. He has his contraption down here on the floor and a pole that goes all the way up the back to hold him up that high. So let me look at this gargoyle guy right here for a minute because does he do anything or is he a static prop? I think he's just a static prop, but he is pretty dang cool looking. Look how creepy that is. I know, sir, I already heard you. Please go on about your spooking. Look at the awesome spooky tree right back here, guys. How cool is that? Oh, here we go. Now he's going okay. You can hear the bells. He's lit up. You can see his red eyes. Ooh. 
Okay, let's move on over here, guys, because I have got to see Gordo, but not before we see Eternal Rest. What? Did I just see his head spin around and around and around? Oh my gosh. I love this prop so much more right now. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's how it's supposed to be. The only way I've seen him acting before, or her, whatever it is, is that she's looking out here and then the head turns around like this. But look at that! It's a full, like, 720 spin. That's like exorcist material right there. Watch this. That is totally cool. Guys, you gotta tell me, is that a glitch or is that how she's supposed to be? We got another awesome spooky tree right here and we got vines lining the graveyard all around here. And we've got Gordo right over here. Oh my gosh, he's so much bigger than I expected. I thought that pumpkin was about half that size. All right, let's get him going here. Come on, sir. Yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, he is so awesome. I'm so glad he's so big. And look inside. You can even see the pumpkin guts and the pumpkin seeds in there. He's only 149 too. That is an awesome prop for 149 bucks. I haven't seen any on the floor yet, but if I find one, I'm buying it today. Okay, there's these guys over here, but before we go down Skid Row, we're gonna come over this way and we're gonna actually go through here just because it's cool. All right, here we go. Desmodus right in front of us. Everybody loves this guy. All right, I'm gonna step on his pad here, but I'm gonna show his face as I do because he's pretty quick. How cool. <laughs> How cool is that? He's a little bit too evil for me. I don't know. He looks a little bit too devilly in the face, but he is totally awesome. He's just an awesome vampire bat. Or are you guys all gonna tell me that I'm wrong? All right, we got the Grave Watcher here, but she's not doing anything at the moment. We have seen her before though, so we know she's awesome. Same with little Skelly Bones. Let's see if we can get him going. There we go, all right. Come on, Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. <laughs> oh, wait, there she goes. What were you waiting for, miss? All right, very cool. She's totally awesome. I love her whispering. Let's look at the black heart here. I love how it's kind of dark in here and they have the flickering candles. Let's go ahead and get them going here. Come on, sir. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The music is way too loud to hear what he's saying, but he does look totally awesome. All right, let's come on down here, guys, to the last one in this section, and that is the double doors here, which they have, as we know, well, we'll find out. Here we go. A jumping spider. Hello, sir. I mean, this is New York. How did you get this size of an apartment? Okay, it's not really New York, but that was pretty dang funny. <laughs> is it me or are the boxes different this year? I think it's a different design on there. Okay, let's come on over here, guys, and look at the boxes, what they have for sale on the floor here. We got a little skelly bones. We have the black heart. We have a desmodus. We have a grave watcher right on the top here, okay? We have another black heart, and then over here we have two eternal rests. I do not see a gordo in this pile. Let's look over here quick, because there's some more things in the middle. We have two pose and stay skeletons. We have a whole bunch of sinister spirit dolls over here. We we have one, two, three, four, five, six stuffed dummy props here, but no Gordo. What a bummer. They do, however, have two of the ghost swings, two of the 55-inch floor candelabras, and two fogging skull piles. They also have all these swinging chicks, the creepy crimson girl on a swing, the swinging witch, and the empty soul girl on a swing. Aw, oh, they got devilish Desmond. Can we hear a scary story? Yes. Once upon a time, there was a little doll who came to life when everyone went to sleep. <laughs> That was a good story. And now I won't sleep for a week. We've got the butcher and the monkey chimes. Ooh, look at this. We have loving Lilith in here. She's pretty creepy looking. Let's see what she does. Don't ever leave me alone. I'll get very upset. You don't want to see me upset. <laughs> Come on, Lilith. Come on, Lilith. Come on, Lilith. 
All right, we got the wall o skeletons over here, several life-size skeletons. We got this orange guy here, this orange skeleton with a pumpkin head. I've been seeing him popping up in stores this year, and it's very strange, but okay. We've got all these creepy guys. We've even got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy and the ham hock. Who wants a ham hock? We've got the chains of death. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is pretty well stocked for just opening. Let's leave some stickers in the witch cauldron. We've got these creeping fellows. And look at this. We have carrot. There's a couple of carrots in stock here. Hello, carrot. And we have scabs here. Look at this guy. I'm sorry you hurt your tailbone. We're going to put you right up here on top. I guess not. He won't stay. He wants to fall. There he goes. Right along with your best friend forever, carrot. Look, Carrot is like, can you believe he put us up here? Oh my God. All right, let's take a look over here, guys. We have a whole bunch of Anna balls. We have some Chuckies over here, some good guy boxes, pretty dang cool. Oh, look at this. We have the light up ghost face here. How cool is that? He's a blow mold. When I saw him online, I thought he was actually gonna be ceramic, but he is a little blow mold. Same thing with the light up Sam here. He's pretty cool. And then we have a light up killer clown. There we go, now we got him on. I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of light in here anyways. And we have some awesome new snow globes for this year, including this guy right here, the Mars Attacks snow globe. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Does he light up? He's pretty cool, but I thought he would light up. All right, we've also got Michael Myers here and he does light up. I guess you have to turn him upside down though to get the stuff going there. And then we got Leatherface over here. He also lights up. Those two are pretty cool. Oh, we got Pennywise on the top here too. Let's get that one going. Oh, look, look, he lights up really good. Is he, okay, here we go. Yeah, very cool. Look at that. All the awesome Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here, including both colors of Oogie Boogie. Oh, and we have a whole bunch of zombie babies here, guys. Look at this. We have some along the bottom that we know so well. We have the Brain Muncher over here, the Crawler Guy over here, the Hand Eater over here, and look at this. Gutsy Gwen. Oh my gosh. He's like eating the innards from the pumpkin. You, sir, are coming home with me today. And then we got this crazy guy up here. And look at this. I saw this one online. I believe this one lights up as well. There, oh. Too quiet, you can't understand what he's saying, but that is pretty creepy. Zombie baby's cradle. What that? Wow, that is heavy. That is like legit wood. That's not even plastic. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, since I already found what I want, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy and take him home with me today. Look, look at the hair. He has a hair spout. He's also made like completely different than the other zombie babies. Look at this. He's like, he's more of like a rubber material. He's kind of squishy and he has the hair spout. Where zombie babies like the brain eater are more solid. You can't squish her and she's eating a brain. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this guy and head up front because I got word through the grapevine, through the pumpkin vine, that they actually found a pie. I am gonna donate 50 bucks and we are gonna see the manager get pied in the face. Okay, I'm ready to donate the 50 and see the pie in the face. $50. There we go, $50 donation right there. Okay, guys, here we go. Officially getting a pie in the face. The manager of the store because I donated the $50. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was crazy. Wait, look over here before you even wipe it off. Look at that. <laughs> 
Very cool. What a good sport. She took a pie in the face for a simple $50 donation. That was well worth it, guys. All right, guys. Well, that was very cool. St. Clairsville, Ohio. That was well worth it. She took a pie in the face for a $50 donation. One last look at the store before we roll out. And I got to say, I love when there's flags out front that say Halloween. <laughs> Lucky what we have here. The secret keeping cats are telling secrets to each other. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Boardman, Ohio, knocking out some of these Ohio stores before I get on the road to the west side of the country. Today, we are in Boardman at this spirit Halloween, somebody in hot pursuit. That's what my driving instructor always used to say in high school when I was learning how to drive. She'd hear sirens and she'd yell, somebody in hot pursuit. Anyway, so we are at this spirit Halloween here in Boardman, Ohio. And as you can see by the label scar, this used to be a Joanne Fabrics, or as I like to call it, JFabs. I do love the look of the front of this building, guys. Let's go ahead in. I love how it says Halloween. <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me, miss. Could you maybe like brighten up a little bit? You are at Spirit Halloween after all. Holy crap, guys. Look who they have front and center up here. It's hot nozzles. Look at this, guys. This is an enormous store, and I see all kinds of awesome stuff I want to check out. But first, let's see what's going on. Do you hear that? I have not heard that before. It... What the heck, man? Who is hooing at me? All right, we got to figure out where that's coming from. It's like an evil hoot owl or something. Okay, hoot at me. All right, I hear it over here. What in the world? It must just be a sound that these pillars make when they're activated. Because you can hear this one with some spooky sounds. And there it is. Holy crap, that is loud. That's like a spooky, scary, loud hooting owl. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, back to what we were talking... We keep getting interrupted by the hoot owl. Okay, anyways. Back to what we were talking about here, guys. Look at this. We have poppin' pins right here, and we have the straw man right here. Here's the straw man. Let's get him going. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> I love how he looks with the spooky tree behind him and the spooky sounds behind him as well. Let's leave him a couple of stickers here. There you go. And yes, on to Poppin' Pins here. So, the reason I'm calling him Poppin' Pins, guys, is because, first of all, he's holding the pins. Second, he reminds me of the Poppin' Pins bowling alley in Preston, Idaho that you get to see in the movie Napoleon Dynamite. All right, let's get him going. Mr. Stilts here. He is pretty awesome, but I think they should have named him Pins. Because really, what does stilts have to do with anything? I mean, he's super tall, which is cool, but Pins would have been much better. He kind of has a grandma hairdo, too. A blue, he's a blue hair. Excuse me, sir, you're going to be late for bingo. <laughs> okay, let's go on through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery and see this guy right here. Ooh, okay. For a minute, I thought he didn't have a, a step pad. Here we go. Ooh, uh-oh. He's kind of glitching out. Which is actually kind of cool. It makes him a little bit more spooky. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. What the heck? Okay, sir. We're going to leave you alone to get a little bit of rest. All right, over here, guys, we have poor George. Look at this guy's face. Once again, I love 
his orange hair. I really do. When I saw him online, I really wasn't sure what I was going to think about him, but he's so much bigger in person, and he's so much cooler. Let's get him going. <laughs> He is super loud in here today, too. Holy crap. All right, let's go on into the crypt here. We have the burning candles of death. Are these battery operated? No. These actually have a cord to them, so anybody who's thinking maybe I'll buy those, they actually feel like they're real wax and they are wired in so they're not battery operated which means that their batteries will not die we have the spooky fabric of death here wait a minute what in the heck is going on with this guy he's got something sticking out his butt excuse me sir you have something sticking out your butt let's see if it'll affect him here we go <laughs> You know, for some reason I was thinking his eyes light up, but I'm totally wrong. And it must just be the way that he's put together there, that the back end is sticking out. But that looks very strange, like he has a broken leg. I think he needs to go to the hospital. All right, let's check out the super scary Wicked Maker, a.k.a. Sitting Scarecrow. Very cool, sir. I see you don't have any treats in your bucket for me. I'm very disappointed. And we have to say hello to Grim's Arm. This is an awesome store, guys. We got lots of stuff to look at here. But first, we're going to look at this guy, Mr. Slim from Killer Clowns. His hair actually looks pretty good. All right, Mr. Slim, we're going to move on. There you go. Save your popcorn for someone else who wants to die. All right, look at this. We have three Bubbas here, Man's Possessed Friend. Over here we have a Slim and a Skelly Bones, a Grave Watcher, and they have a Black Heart, guys. Hmm, I'm very tempted on that one. We have a couple of sitting scarecrows over here, just the regular sitting scarecrows, and look what they have back here. First of all, they have two scary sitting scarecrows there. But look at this, guys. A howling spirit. He is awesome. I am very, very tempted to pick him up today. But first, let's go take a look at him. Look at him right here. Howling spirit. $199. I gotta say again, I love how they have the leaves out here. That's so Halloween-y. All right, hello, sir. Let's see if we can... Get him going. Is he on the... Yeah, there we go. He is pretty dang cool. And I like how he just kind of hangs out over here rather than just going straight up. That is really cool. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't say hello to you. Hello, Mr. Brown Jumping Spider. Oh, so we have a whole bunch of brand new spiders here, but then we have this one here that's 50% off because he doesn't jump and he doesn't have a box. All right, let's journey back this way. So we didn't look at the headstones. First we have, here lies Lord Farquaad. Now what I understand is this is only part of the setup. You can buy it, but it's not going to be until the end of the season. But you can get this guy right here. The Gargoyle, who apparently is not on. <laughs> I thought he was going to start making sounds at us there. And you can buy the spooky trees, but again, not until the end of the season. Oh my gosh, look who we have here. It is Darling Dolly, a.k.a. Darling Dollar. Hello, miss. First, let's check out Eternal Rest and see how her head does in here. Does it work? Is she going to work? Come on now. Oh, the head is trying to spin, but it's not working at all. Okay, anyways, on to Darling Dolly. Let's go ahead and hit the button here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can see her eyes lit up in the hair. Look at this. Her face is totally covered with the hair. <laughs> that is too funny. When I stepped on the button, though, you could see her eyes light up through the hair. 
Look at her hands. Look how she has these long, spooky fingers. That is crazy. She is a really cool prop. Oh, there goes the head. It's spinning now. All right, let's come over here and see Gordo. I was hoping they would have him for sale on the floor. $149.99. Come on, Gordo. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Gordo. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. It was so cool how this stuff didn't fall down until after he had jumped up. I love that. And like I said before, it's so much bigger than what I expected. That is a huge pumpkin. All right, guys, I'm gonna look on the floor in a minute here because we do have some other boxes and I wanna see if they have Gordo in stock. But first, let's go over here and check out the Blackheart. $299.99, the Blackheart right here, ready to scare us. Show us the reveal of your bride. Uh, so I love all the sounds that are going on in here, but you just can't hear him. I haven't been in a store yet where you could really hear what he was saying. It could just be that he needs to be turned up because I do hear the Grave Watcher. She's over here making a lot of noise. Why does she have to turn off as soon as we walk? There we go. She is actually pretty cool. I should buy her. But then, of course, we have Lil Skelly Bones, who I do have at home. Come on, Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. I can hear him. Come on, Skelly. <laughs> you gotta love Skelly Bones. And then I think we have the jumping spider back here. I think it's gonna be the same in every store. Yep, there he is. Hello, sir. With your whole your whole armada of little spiders back there. All right, let's look on the floor here for a minute. We have some posable life-size skeletons here. I don't see anything over there. We do have, well, these look like they're just some stuffed dummy props over here. We have some more posable skeletons over here. Stuffed dummy prop. Sinister spirit dolls. We have the fogging skull pile. We have the creepy crimson girl, the swinging witch, and the empty soul girl. Over this way, we have the 55-inch floor candelabra here. We have some ground breakers here. Oh, look, they have a scarecrow, a scarecrow door knocker. I haven't seen him for a while. More fogging skull piles. Oh, here's some buckets. Let's put some stickers in. Here we go. We have some inflatables here, which we're going to come back and look at in a second, because I just want to see if they happen to have Gordo anywhere in here, and I am not seeing him. No, they do not. Okay, let's go back and look at these inflatables for a minute. Oh, how cool is this? It's a mystery machine pillow. What? Look at this. It's Ghostface saying, call me. <laughs> and I know I got sidetracked, but look at this. They have a Mind Flayer blanket and the Mars Attacks blanket. And they have this awesome Jack the Reaper blanket up here. Okay, let's look at the inflatables here because I am very tempted to get the snake. He's so huge. I want him badly, but I'm just not completely sold yet. I don't see anything else in here that we have not seen yet. And by that, I mean other years like this coffin here. We've seen the jack-o'-lantern archway here. We've seen the hearse before, which is really cool. Of course, I have the fright in the box. The ghost, the reaper, the gargoyle, the haunted tree, and the rat who is new for this year. The hello rat. Yeah, I'm thinking about that snake, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, looky what we have here. The secret keeping cats are telling secrets to each other. Well, we're going to do a little something about that. You're coming up here for a timeout. That's right. Unless you tell me what you had for breakfast, you're going nowhere, buddy. Nothing? Okay. I guess that's how it goes. They do have my favorite zombie rabbit, Carrot. I love Carrot. I just want to buy him and give him a name tag that says Carrot and hangs right there in the front. And they do have scabs as well. Hello, scabs. You are a cute little fellow. I'm sorry about your femur sticking out there. Holy crap, look at this spooky hanging witch. Look how long her mouth is, her jaw. Wait a minute, what the heck? Does her nose move? Is she an animatronic? She sure does have spooky hands. Wait a minute, here we go. Is it a button? Press. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> she is, well, she's sort of an animatronic. Her eyes light up, she talks, she makes some witchy sounds, and she moves a little bit. She's almost as scary as this music they're playing in here. What the heck? <laughs> Woman. Hookhead hog. One ham hock for sale. All right, let's pay a visit to our trusty zombie babies over here. So I believe there are more new ones this year, but the two that they have here right now are this guy who looks like he's eating the silence of the lambs and this guy who I don't even know what he looks like, except for maybe he's just like, <laughs> I swear that is so juvenile. I am almost embarrassed to just stand here and make farting sounds. <laughs> they do have this that's making its rounds online, the Zombie Baby's Cradle. And I gotta tell you guys, I can't believe it is so heavy. I think it is legit made of real wood. And then of course we have these awesome guys and it looks like they only have Ghostface and Sam. I am still undecided whether I'm gonna buy these or not, guys. They're so cool, but I just don't really have the room for them yet. Even though I just bought a house, I'm already out of room because I have so much stuff. I guess you guys will have to wait. I know, I'm sorry. They do have these little lights, which are totally awesome and super cute, if I must say. <laughs> and they light up, well, there must be like a tab you gotta pull or something. But this guy is so cool. When they had the ghost face buckets at the theater for the Cinemark for the ghost face part six, this is what the cup should have looked like right here with like a hole on the top for your straw. That would have been totally awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is a wreath with Sam in the middle of it. Hello, Michael. We haven't looked at any costumes yet, but we do have all season, so I think I'm gonna put that off for a little bit. But look at this awesome little ghosty mug. What the heck, that is so cool. Whoa, that is some creepy skeleton love right there. Okay, so that brings us back around, guys, to the Howling Spirit or the Black Heart. Of course, there is a Grave Watcher here too, and I definitely want to pick her up as well. I don't think I want Slim, although I do want Shorty, so I'm probably gonna regret it if I don't get Slim. Wait a moment, what is this? An E.T. tin? Is there anything in here? I think it's just an empty tin, but that is awesome. You know what, since I'm so undecided right now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this guy if I can get him down. That is a nice, heavy throw right there. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad they put these out this year. Holy crap, guys, I cannot believe that I just missed this lady right here, the widow. I'm sorry, miss. Do you still love me? Uh-oh, that's a no. Ah! Alright guys, we are at Spirit Halloween number two in Boardman, Ohio. There are some folks that I just met at the other store. So shout out to Ella and Trevor, although Trevor's not here. What in the world? <laughs> and this one right here used to be in a Pier 1. So I'm kind of excited to go up here and get a pier in the doors. <laughs> Only in Ohio. <laughs> okay, what a good looking building. I love how the orange on the sign pops with that blue underneath. That is so very cool. All right, let's go ahead in here, guys, and see what they have and get something awesome. Yes, right up front, we have the widow, we have the straw man and we have this spinning guy this is a much smaller store than the other one guys but i see stuff stacked up back here so we're gonna check it out in just a minute but first let's give these guys their due here is poor george <laughs> I hear you, sir. We're gonna leave some stickers for you. Oh my gosh, look at the widow here. She actually has a hairpin in her hair. How old are you anyways, Miss Widow? <laughs> I know, that was a funny one. <laughs> on to the straw man here. Let's get him going. Come on now. Come on over here. It's nice like this when the border between worlds grows thin. You never 
never know what is lurking in the shadows or right behind you. <laughs> I like how the music in here is not so loud that you can't hear the animatronics. They're all nice and loud. Oh, and there's no one over here. He must have run away. At least we have the spooky flames and gargoyles. Okay, let's go ahead and take a walk back here, guys. I don't know if they have a second part set up, what we're going to find out, but they do have boxes of things on the floor here. We're going to take a look at them. We have the black and red jumping spider, the brown jumping spider, and the black jumping spider spider down there holy crap we have six giant deadly creepers look at this i think this is the first time i've seen the deadly creepers in the stores this season we do have a black heart over here we have oh, look we got a betty sharp down here oh my gosh how cool is that we have a straw man on the bottom and then of course we have an eternal rest on the top here what in the world we hit the jackpot guys they have two betty sharps they have another straw man they have a dagger mike here i've considered getting him but i'm just not sure yet they have an eternal rest on the bottom and another black heart on this side of course you can hear this little scary fellow over here Did she just say we want your bones? Here's your bones right here. It's Mr. Skelly Bones. I don't think he's on though. We do have the black heart set up and since it's kind of quiet in here, we might actually be able to hear what he says. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the night. It's funny because his voice is so booming and deep and dark, but I still can barely hear him over this little whispering fellow over here. I know! Would you maybe hush it up a little bit, please? All right, and let's open the door here and get the jumping spider out. Yes! You gotta love the jumping spider. Okay, let's go ahead and go over this way, guys, because they have a whole stack. Look at this guy over here having fun. They have a whole stack of sitting scarecrows here. It's called the sitting scarecrow. <laughs> These appear to all be regular sitting scarecrows. I don't see any scary sitting scarecrows in here. But we do have another pile over here. We have a stilt. We have a slim. Who's on the other side? We got another slim here. And then we have another eternal rest on the bottom. They're pretty well stocked up in here. Oh, look, we have a couple of dagger mics over here, too. And look behind dagger Mike. We have a grave watcher over here. Sometimes in the corners, they put more animatronics, and I always miss them. And I'm really trying to find a Gordo, so I'm going to look in every crack and crevice. Hello, scabs and carrot, best friends forever. Okay, hold on. We have another pile up here. It looks like we have... Two man's possessed friends. Oh, here's the scary sitting scarecrows. I stuttered on that one. Looks like we got about four of those. We have another man's best friend over here. So if you are on the hunt for man's best friend, I'm finding him just about everywhere I go. And if you're on the hunt for the deadly creeper, they have six of them here in Boardman. We have a whole plethora of crawling zombie babies. Just imagine if you like came outside and you saw all these zombie babies crawling towards you and they were all super hungry. Oh my gosh, look guys, they have the Cousin It pillow. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It is Cousin It, isn't it? Yep, from the Adams Family. Cousin It. Very cool. <laughs> Whenever I see anything like this where they don't have a mouth i just imagine them going we got these dolls over here we got a whole bunch of the sitting sam doll i really want to get him one of these days too we have a good selection of the Annabelle dolls we have some good guys chuckies is it me or is this chucky a little bit smaller than he was last year didn't they used to be about the same size as the annabelle over here what i don't see is the other one that everybody is loving this year and i think his name is glenn i must not have seen that movie because i didn't know who he was or maybe i did and i just saw it too long ago to remember i do not know but i have seen the nightmare before christmas and look at this awesome selection of nightmare before christmas stuff guys look at this we have a couple of different kinds of zeros here we got the zero pillow on the top we have a oogie boogie pillow right here let's go ahead and turn him around 
if I can get a hold of him so he can see what's going on out in this store. We have Jack and Sally down here, and then we have the Pumpkin King. This one is awesome. This is the first time I've seen this one. In fact, I think I saw a little child running around carrying him in one of the other stores, but this is the first time I've actually got to pick him up and take a good look. And this could very well be my favorite thing in this part here. Right here. Hail the Pumpkin King. That is such a cool picture right there. Kind of reminds me of the Headless Horseman, because when the Headless Horseman throws the jack-o'-lantern, it is flaming. And then we have the Beetlejuice section here, guys, and a lot of people were asking this year if these two were going to be in stores, and here they are right here. We got Barbara, and we got Adam right here. They also have the plush Adam and Barbara, as well as Beetlejuice and the Sandworm. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen this yet. It's the bowl from when they're all sitting around the table, and they're eating what looks to be shrimp, but it's actually a demon hand that comes out and grabs their faces. Okay, now hold on a minute because I have not seen any inflatables in here, or did I? And I just walked right past them. Let's come back here and take a quick look. Where are you, inflatables? Do you know where the inflatables are? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, I see. You just want to join your friend, the secret keeping cat. I'm going to give you one more chance simply because you have a best friend named Carrot. Hello, Carrot. Stickers for the bucket. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here are the inflatables. I almost missed them. Are there some over here? No. We do have the animated doll, Sinister, Sinister Spirit doll, the creepy crimson girl on a swing, and then we have these spooky guys, including a hugs doll. Look at that. They have a talking hugs. Oh, now I see why I couldn't find the inflatables. This guy was keeping it a secret. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a video of all my inflatables, my whole inflatable collection, and that includes some of these guys. I actually have the skeleton. I have the Wolfman, let's see, I have the Reaper, and I have the Fright in the Box. I think that's all that I have out of all these right here. I might be, in fact, I will be adding that snake at some point. And I do like the hearse, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it for my display. And I do have a whole bunch of inflatables that I've picked up from other places. And if you want to see that video, make sure you come over to my other Halloween channel. That's right, I have another Halloween channel. It is called that Nate guy on Halloween. Come over there and subscribe, and you will be seeing that video very soon. You know what, Carrot? You've been pretty nice to me today. I think you're going to come home with me. We'll get you a nice little necklace with a name tag that says Carrot. And who knows? Maybe you'll get a real carrot to munch on. <laughs>
Look at that. He is so cool. It's funny like how barrel chested he is too. I did notice that we're not hearing the hoot owl in here today. Or maybe at least we have to come up here to trigger it. Hmm, okay, it's not triggering, but let's go ahead because guys, I am so excited to be taking a look at this guy right here. The Martian Warrior is what they're calling him. And he is a prop from the movie Mars Attacks. Look how cool he is. Oh my gosh, that is such a good looking prop right there. So awesome. I just wonder, like I've seen, I haven't seen him in action, but I guess there's supposed to be like mist that comes out his gun. I don't know if you hook up like a fog machine to him or what the deal is, but let's get him going. So the front is lighting up there. So I don't know. I need to like look up somebody else's video. I try not to watch too many videos on these things so that I can see them for myself for the first time. But yeah, they're supposed to be spitting out something from the end of that gun. All right, let's keep on moving here. Holy crap. Look at this, guys. We got a whole stack of things over here we're going to check out in just a second. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we have young Crouchy. Hello, Mr. Hairdo. I missed you. <laughs> Young hairdo. Okay, let's go ahead and go through here. All right, let's go into the crypt here. And here we have the scary. So wait a minute, is this the scary one? Yeah, it is. Okay, I thought it was the regular sitting scarecrow for a minute. Please, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> You were playing tricks on me. All right, I guess you've earned some stickers, sir. There you go. Yeah, you're not burning my face today. You had your shot, sir. You scared me once, you don't get to do it again. Let's come on over here to Dagger Mike. Wait a minute, does he have a, oh, here it is. Okay, it's on the other side. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Isn't he usually, like, looking down? Let's see if he puts his head down. He, he's a slow goer. <laughs> he moves back down very slow. Okay, so, no, for some reason he didn't put his head down, but that was still pretty good. He jumps a lot faster than I ever expected him to. And hello, Mr. Grimm. Nice to meet you again. Oh my gosh, guys. Before I even move on to the rest of the animatronics that are set up, look at this. I, I am blown away. They have, like, everything. Okay, look at this. They have Leatherface here. They have a Mars Attacks alien on the bottom. Wait, are these just the empty boxes? No, the props are actually in them, so they are available right here, right now, to buy in, where are we? Perrysburg, Ohio. They even have Emmeline. They have Darling Dolly. They have a Desmodus over here. Wow, that's a big box for him. They have the holding, holding, they have the holding spirit. We have the howling spirit here. And on this side, we have another Emmeline. Is it Emmeline or Emmeline? I'm not even sure. And another Darling Dolly. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I am so excited to see all those right there, right now. And look at this, guys. She is even set up over here. We got to stand back. She's only a place taker right now. So she's been unplugged. But we're going to get to see how she acts right here. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that face. Oh my gosh, that is like one of the coolest props ever. So look how long she jumps out, and she actually jumps straight forward. So they have to keep her unplugged, they just have her set up here so that there's something in the place. And how cool, I'm so glad I got to see her in action. Wow, she is 279 and well worth it. She is so awesome. Okay, let's keep moving around here. We have Slim. All right, let's go ahead and get Slim going here with his Mickey Mouse hands. Come on, mister. I gotta say, I mean, he's cool looking, 
and he would be an awesome prop to have, but I'm honestly just disappointed that all he does is lean over and then lean back up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you know what? Let's put a sticker in his bag just for the heck of it. There you go. Okay, let's move around this side, guys, and here's the man. Poor George. Let's get him going here. Somebody told me I should call him Bottomless George because I called, uh, I can't even think of what his name is, the other guy, Bottomless Joe, last year. <laughs> The heck is his name even? I can't even remember. Oh my gosh, look at what we have back here, guys. We have a sandworm groundbreaker. We have two sandworm groundbreakers. How cool. I was actually looking online yesterday to see if I could find the sandworm inflatable, but man, they're like 300 bucks now on eBay. And look at this. Somebody was asking online the other day if they were going to sell Leatherface's uh, chainsaw here. And look, here it is with the moving blade and everything. Very cool. Guys, this setup back here is so awesome right now. Look at this. They even have a little Jack Carver over here. In fact, let's come on over here and check him out. Okay, this must... Oh, wait. Oh, it's this chick. <laughs> Why do they call him a chick? Is it a he or is it a she? Hello, sir or miss. She is very, very cool. Yes, you gotta love the howling spirits there. Look at this. I don't think I realized before how the belly lights up too. Very cool. Okay, anyways, back to little Jack Carver. That's what I wanna see. Look how he's all lit up already. I wonder if he just stays lit up all the time. Let's go ahead and, um, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that did go. You played a trick on me, sir, who sounds sort of like Johnny Punk. That was pretty dang cool. Man, he shot that head up so fast. And he does kind of sound like Johnny Punk. I wonder if the person who does Johnny Punk's voice does him too. The only difference is he has no shoes. Where are those? <laughs> All right, we got to see that one more time here. Come on now. Here we go. Yes. That is so cool. I love this guy so much. All right, so we have the Lord Farquaad headstone here. We have the uh, the gargoyle guy right here. Oh my gosh, what an awesome setup this year, guys. I just, I tell you what, I got to give them props for all of this. And what a bonus that this lady is here to scare us. I'm so glad we got to see her in action. So anyways, all right, let's keep on moving here back behind. Look at this. I love all the white. It just looks like ghosts here, which I mean, it actually is ghosts. So that makes sense. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so here's our jumping spider friend. Hello, sir. Good job. I wonder why the doors are open though. That's kind of strange. Here we go, guys. Des Wait a minute. I hear you, sir. <laughs> Yes, little skelly bones. Okay, here we go. Desmodus. I think I've only seen him in two stores so far. Of course, I've only been to about six or seven stores. I hear you, sir. Okay, let's get him going here. Here we go. Yeah, how cool is that? man? he is so fast when he jumps up. Very spooky vampire bat. And I love how the, the podium is like a tree with vines on it. So cool. Okay, we got the black heart over here. And I'll tell you what, guys, since it's so loud in here, we're not even going to turn him on because I already know. You know what? All right, forget it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, Mr. Blackheart, come on now. Okay, he's kind of loud. Your light, your past, you will stay with me. We actually could hear him pretty good. I'm glad I decided to go ahead and turn him on there. Oh my gosh, guys, even more things on the floor here, but we have a couple more to look at here, and one of them is Gordo. All right, let's get this guy going here. Come on, Gordo, come on. Here we go. Very cool. I love when he jumps up that this stuff is like up inside and then it falls. That is so very cool. And people keep telling me to put stickers inside the pumpkin, but I'm not gonna do that because 
I'm just afraid that it'll somehow interfere with the action and I don't want to be you know causing any problems or anything so anyways here's a spooky tree and right beside the spooky tree is darling dolly whom i called darling dollar in what was it the first store the flagship store i think go ahead and get her going here here we go here we go <laughs> she is so cool let's move your hair out of your eyes there miss look at that face oh my gosh she is so creepy. Man, this is an awesome store, guys. All right, let's take a look at all the stuff that they have here on the floor. They have four sitting scarecrows. Actually, two of them here are sitting scarecrows. These two over here, or at least the one on top, is a scary sitting scarecrow. We got the little skelly bones. We got the straw man. We got a slim over here. And on the other side, as we come back around, we have two more straw mans. Over here, we have a little Jack Carver right there. We have an eternal rest right there. We have two Bubba man's possessed friends. And we have a stilts here. Oh, and around the back, we have one more Bubba here. Holy crap, look at what we have right here, guys. Not only do we have the awesome inflatable snake that I want, the awesome inflatable ghost face that's 12 feet tall, but we have the 12 feet tall Pennywise inflatable. Look at that, he is huge. How much is he? He's $179, man. I'll probably end up buying him by the end of the season. Do you think I should buy it now? Would you tell me anyways? Whoa! <laughs> Look right on the other side of the secret keeping cats. See, they didn't tell me about this because they know it's way cool, so they're gonna keep it a secret to themselves. Look at this. I, I think this is the first time seeing this for me. Oh my gosh, how much is this? $19.99, that is totally awesome right there. I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't light up at all but what an awesome prop that is. We got the skull stacks down here. We have the pumpkin stacks over here, both of which are equally awesome. Let's come back over here to the zombie babies for a minute because I see where they have this guy. This guy's a little bit too evil, but let's see if we can get him going. Look at that. I can't even hear him. I wonder if you can turn him up. Hmm, okay, I'm not gonna mess with it. He's kind of a, a heavy guy there. I mean, these are cool looking, but I am definitely not into the horns thing, especially on angels. We got this guy and this girl and this guy and these guys. And we have Mothy Max. I really like the look on his face right there and those blue eyes that stick out. And I like how he's eating the silence of the lambs. Look, he's already eaten one off here. And we also have Gutsy Gwen. Oh my gosh, Gutsy Gwen, who has been broken. I am not happy somebody broke gutsy gwen i'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like glued in there or something i'm gonna have to take her up front and let them know okay i dropped off gutsy gwen now it's back through the fun house so unfortunately we can't see that one in action right now but they do have the sam horror baby and that appears to be the only horror baby that they have at the moment but how cool is this guy oh my gosh look at this guys it's a ghost face wreath and it's got little red lights around it that light up did you see that yes we got the ghost face face the mask the knife and the lights very cool this is the first time i'm seeing this guy too i thought it was that little plastic one but this one's like ceramic oh sweet look at the pumpkin how he lights up that is very cool. What I thought it was was one of these little plastic ones like these guys. Look, I didn't realize he's holding a cotton candy cocoon. That is so cool. We got Sam here. We got the snow globe here with the Martian. Oh, here he goes making his sounds. I think we actually have to get him going though like this. And look at this awesome ghost face mug. Is that clear? I think it's clear where like whatever you fill it up with, you can see through the face there. Ooh, look at this awesome sign. I don't think I've seen this before. Welcome to the Overlook Hotel. That's from The Shining. Okay, back over here. This is another really cool thing that I just noticed, guys. It's a Friday the 13th Jason mask light. That is pretty awesome. And they also have the Pennywise mask light. That's pretty cool looking. 
I think I'd go for Jason though. Ooh, we got the Texas Chainsaw Mask or Leather Face Mask here and my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. Now that doesn't mean that Nightmare on Elm Street 4 the movie is my favorite. My favorite is part one, but as far as the mask goes, I think that's the best looking one. Hmm, I wonder why there's random Freddy masks just laying around. Let's go ahead and put that back. Hello, sir. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be buying one of those before I leave today. We got the Chains of Death. We have the Hookhead Hog here. I was thrown off because I saw the ham hock and I always have to laugh now when I see the ham hock. You guys need to come over to the Facebook page that Nate Guys and Gals and post videos of you with the ham hock. One ham hock for sale. We have the bag o' bones, the spooky witch, the spooky pumpkin here, the reaper with wings going crazy over here and look at this guys we have a six foot hanging ghost and a five foot six inch hanging clown. Excuse me, sir, are you still talking? <laughs> this store is very well stocked, guys. Look at this, we got all these guys here. We have the scary flying ghost here. We have the Isle of Bad Breath here, mainly because of this guy. And then down here around the corner, we have some door knockers. Ooh, we have this pumpkin light right here. Let's see, does he light up? Yeah, the button's not working, but we do have these posable spiders and we have carrot right here in which whom I bought yesterday, the creeping cats, the secret keeping cats, and scabs who needs to be right up here with his best friend forever, carrot. What is this thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a Cheshire cat. Cartoon cat is what it's called. That thing is super creepy. Let's play a game. All right, guys, we are continuing our trek across Ohio today. We are in Findlay, Ohio, at this Spirit Halloween right here that's located in a mall, and I'm not even sure what the mall is called. So if you know, you can tell me right now in the comments below, right after you subscribe. There it is, right there in front of us, and there's a door open. I wonder if their air conditioning is not working. People inside here must be super hot. All right, here we go, guys. All right, guys, right inside the door, we we have Papa pins over here, but we do not have the leather face over here. And there's a coming soon sign right in front of us for something else spooky. So let's come over here and visit Papa pins real quick here. Come on, sir, do your stuff. I'd like to get a really good close up of his face, like without having to zoom in but it's very difficult because he is super tall. And with no one standing right here, it gives us a chance to get a really good look at the spooky tree. Look at this, it actually reminds me of the tree that Tim Burton built on the big fish set in Alabama. That's right, I saw it with my own two eyes. It's on Jackson Lake Island in Alabama, and you can go on this channel and watch the video. All right, let's continue through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. Let's go on over here and see what's going on around this side. And we have Mr. Poor George. <laughs> Let's keep on moving because over here we have Slim. Let's go ahead and get a good look at him with his popcorn bag. Let's go on through the spooky fabric of death. Oh my gosh, look. The scary sitting scarecrow has two ske- Wait, no, it's one skele friend here, but he has two heads. What in the world? I've never seen that before. All right, back to your resting place. And we'll add a little something in there. Let's see if we can get him going here. All right, let's come on out this way, guys. Let's see, we have some things on the floor over here for sale. Look at this. They actually have a young Crouchy right here, right now for sale on the floor. 
sandworm groundbreaker. In fact, they have one, two, three sandworm groundbreakers and a The Widow. I keep seeing these in stores, but I haven't stopped to look at them yet. The hand grabber mechanisms. I've seen them before. It's just hands that are animatronics and well let's see let's just read the box hold on here it says hand grabber mechanism arms move back and forth in a crawling motion hide prop in a discreet location for a pine for a spine tingling scare a pine stingling scare breathing sound effects add to the spook those are very cool we have some empty soul girls on swings the swinging witch we have some sinister spirit dolls Ooh, over here we have the grave watcher and the fright in the box should i buy the grave watcher from here guys i'm kind of thinking she might be coming home with me today we have the monkey chimes the decrepit haunted doll and the butcher doll we have the spooky towers of skulls here we have the chains of death you gotta love the chains of death yes they have both the hook head hog and the hook eye guy as well as double face i wonder if he chews double mint gum we've got the inflatables here with the ghost on top the jack-o-lantern the scarecrow archway Ooh, we've got this ghost face from last year we got a tombstone the haunted tree the secret keeping cat the scarecrow the hello rat the wolf the hearse we got the snake and we've got the ghost face hello tentacles Ooh, i don't know if i've seen this creepy guy before if i can get a hold of him look at that wait a minute what in the world is this it is a snail that is made up of a skeleton. What the heck? All right, let's come on over here. I already hear Eternal Rest screaming in agony, and the head is going nuts, twisting in every which way. Personally, I like it better when the head is on the fritz and it just keeps on spinning. I think that's a lot spookier. And we've got Gordo over here. I'm hoping that they've got Gordo for sale. Let's go ahead and get him going here. Come on now, Mr. Gordo, come on. So very cool. Definitely one of my favorite props. Wait a minute, is that crow sound coming from Gordo? That is totally awesome and I love it even more now, if so. We've got the black heart over here. Let's go ahead and get him going. You are now mine for all time. Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next <laughs> okay, that was pretty dang awesome. I think that's the best we've been able to hear him in any stores. We do not have the Grave Watcher set up over here, but we do have little Skelly Bones. Let's see if he'll... Yeah, here we go. Oh, let's put that down, Skelly. Come on, Skelly, come on. There you go. Here I come. Hello, Skelly. Okay, so we also do have Desmodus set up in here, but he's already mid-flight so <laughs> he must not be working correctly. All right, let's check out our friend, the jumping spider. There we go. Good job, Mr. Furry. Hmm, I see a fog tube down here. Is that what that is? It's not hooked up to a fog machine, but I will not be able to ever get over how cool these spooky trees are. They are for sale at the end of the season. I believe if I saw it correctly, they're like 250 each. They're just too big of a prop that I could ever have anywhere to... Wow! Man, that thing is solid, too. I thought it was foam. Oh, and we got this guy going, finally. Hello, sir. He is super creepy. He's not working in a lot of stores. Maybe he's just not plugged in. I don't know. But we do have the howling spirits up here. Let's see if we can get him going. There we go. Oh my gosh, he is super loud in here. <laughs> I love when all the sounds are going at once. All right, we got multiple carrots and scabs down here. We have the creeping cats, but I don't see any of the secret keeping cats. We've got plenty of jumping spiders here. Let's go ahead and come around the back here. This is a smaller store than most of them that we've been in already this season. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is way too cool. You guys already know that I love the inflatable costumes. So we've got the inflatable, I can't even talk today, the inspatable. We've got the inflatable SpongeBob. We have the inflatable Patrick. We even have the inflatable Squidward, which I'm not even sure I've ever seen before, but look at this. This is the best ever. 
the oh, it's not inflatable. <laughs> I thought this was inflatable, but it's still cool. The Doodle Bob costume. That is awesome. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the inflatable Squidward costume before. Look how cool he is. You gotta love the look on his face. Will we be getting business cards? I'm ready! Okay, let's make our way over to this side of the store here, guys. We've got a whole plethora of awesome bobbleheads here. We have the Killer Clowns, Baby Killer Clown. We've got Georgie. We've got Trick or Treat Sam. We've got Bagwell. We've got the Evil Exorcist, the Silence of the Lambs, Ghostface, and two different Michael Myers. Look, this is the one where he's behind the sheet. I do not have this one yet. This is the one that I have right here with Michael Myers coming out from behind the hedge. Oh, this is a sweet plaque right here. Strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. We've got both colors of the Oogie Boogies. We have Lilo and Stitch. Is this Stitch or is this Lilo? I think it's Stitch. We have the bouncy head SpongeBob here. We haven't looked at a lot of masks yet this season, but they do have hot nozzles and the wacky mole. We got a Michael Myers and the Martian Warrior. That is a good look and Michael Myers mask right there. We've got these spooky fellows. This guy definitely didn't read the map wrong. Ooh, glow in the dark ghost face. Yes. Boy, am I glad to see you here. That's how you know everything's gonna be okay. Dear Lord, thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe in the Spirit Halloween store. What is this thing? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like a Cheshire cat. Cartoon cat is what it's called. That thing is super creepy. We've got Jason. We've got Freddy. Oh my gosh, we've got a Cousin It kit. Look at this. How hilarious is this? What the heck? Is it just a hat? Hat, sunglasses, and probably a long wig. Oh, I see. The wig is actually part of the hat. I like this headstone here. Here lies the body of Emily Binks. They conjure. We've got Billy Butcherson's head down here. We've got Barbara and Adam watching over all the Beetlejuice things. Oh, look at this, guys. They actually have all of the teeny terrors. They have the ghost face here, the Pennywise and the Sam, and they have the leather face. Look at this guy he is so cool man that's 200 bones if i bought all four of those right now you rest there sir i'll think about it oh looky what i see here guys it's the glendall everybody is trying to get a hold of this guy we got chucky we got anna ball we have the sitting sam doll but only one Glenn. Yikes, excuse me, miss. I know, right? <laughs> what in the world? Is this a Venus fly tra Oh, it's not. It's a dinosaur hat. Oh my gosh, I thought it was like a Venus fly trap. A person eating Venus fly trap mask. I was wrong. We do have some creepy side steppers. We got Spiky here. <laughs> And we've got Frankenstein down here. I actually have one of these Frankensteins and I accidentally broke him. These are so cool. Here's the little uh, ghost face light that I thought was in the other store, but it was a ceramic. And look at him all lit up. We'll put him back here in the dark. Look how cool that looks. Oh, and they have these VHS looking things here. Halloween Part 2, It Chapter 2, and Trick or Treat. These are not actually movies in here. It's a collector's box that includes a lanyard, a patch, decals, and buttons. And let's finish up by taking a look at our zombie babies here. There's always a lot of the crawling zombie babies. There's a couple of brain eaters down here as well. We got a couple of the angel guys. We got a couple of these moth eaters here, a couple of butts, and we got a couple of these gutsy Gwens eating out of the pumpkin. I already bought this one. I love that so much. And the hair spout is a bonus. <laughs> crap what is this fall guys i've never even heard of it but that is cool let's play a game <laughs>
All right, guys, we are in Marion, Ohio now, which makes me miss my wife so dearly. And we are at a Spirit Halloween right here with an enormous sign on a building in which I have no idea what it used to be. But that is one huge Spirit Halloween sign up there. Very cool. Let's go in and see what kind of awesomeness we can find. This store just opened and right inside the door we have poor george holy crap guys wait till you see what is behind me first let's do our due diligence and talk to poor george okay that's enough sir because you are not gonna believe me guys when i show you this gigantic stack of animatronics what in the world is happening at Marion, Ohio. Oh my gosh. And before we even look at these or do anything else, guys, I see a Gordo. There he is. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so happy to have found Gordo right here, right now in Marion, Ohio at the Spirit Halloween 2023. I'm gonna buy him right now and take him out to the Hummer. I'll be right back. Okay, now with that taken care of, let's get back inside and look at the awesomeness. Okay, we'll go back to the pile of animatronics in just a second, but let's say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's keep on moving here. Who's over here? And here he is. We have Gordo. Look at him. He's already going off. Very cool, guys. I am so glad I got him. I cannot wait to get home and get him set up gonna be so cool make sure you subscribe and stick around because that video is gonna be coming very very shortly and then over here we have the straw man and I've already heard him going nuts he is super loud and I can hear that crazy guy over there laughing in the background <laughs> Okay, we're gonna come back to the pile right before we leave, guys. Let's go ahead and take a walk through the store and just see what all we can see throughout here. They are still setting up because they literally just opened. Here are those ghost face uh, ceramic figures that we were looking at in the other store. These are so cool, look at that. I love the pumpkin, I love the face on him, and I love how he lights up very cool of course we have the sam statue with the street light that's cool and then we have another sam statue down here with a light up pumpkin uh-oh he's not lighting up now yeah, that one sort of is <laughs> look they actually have all the tiny terrors how cool is that we have two ghost face horror babies here waiting to be adopted we have two sam babies waiting to be adopted and then we have one pennywise and one leatherface waiting to be adopted not to mention all these fellows waiting to be adopted we have the hand eaters and the moth eaters and the spider biters and even the butt showers and the zombie crawlers and the secret keeping cats and scabs but we have no Carrots. Carrot must have been adopted. Every single one of them. Stickers for the bucket. Oh, look at this sweet picture of Michael and Lori Strode. That is awesome. We got Freddy up here. We got Jason. We got Michael Myers up here and Pennywise. And then we have the twins from The Shining here. Here's these animatronic activation switches. These are new for this year as far as I know. I don't recall seeing them before. But these are what you find by that door with the jumping spider. Look at this, we have a whole plethora of hook head hogs and a couple of hook eye guys. And we even have the ham hock. We have severed hands and severed legs. We have devilish Desmond, loving Lilith, decrepit, haunted doll, monkey chimes, and the butcher. Sinister spirit dolls, stuffed dummy props, plenty of cracked skull zombie, ground breakers, pathway markers, zombie arm pathway markers, and these guys. Hello. I still want to get one of these guys for cereal. Whoa, hold on a minute, guys. There's been a bunch of people talking about the Huggy Wuggy costumes. Look at these. They are absolutely huge and frightening. This is a smaller store than the others we've been in today, but guys, oh my gosh, they do have a lot of stuff, especially up front with that whole pile of animatronics. So let's go up there and take a look at those. Wait a minute. Look at this ghost face 
flag. How cool is that? That is definitely new. Look at this. Here's a Gremlins door cover, a Exorcist door cover. That is way too creepy. We've got wall decor with Pennywise and Sam and the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Michael Myers and Frankenstein, and look at this Chucky door cover. How cool is that? Here you go, ma'am. Wait a minute before we get up there. Look at this. We have haunted mansion masks these are so cool look at this one ezra i wonder if these okay i don't think they glow in the dark but they are black light reactive these are way cool ezra phineas and gus and look at this zero plush blanket up here i am seeing so many cool things in each and every store i go to guys speaking of plush i haven't seen i don't think i've seen this one say it three times Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, and that brings us back up here to the awesome plethora of animatronics that are available in this store. Excuse me, sir, we've already talked to you. Look at this, guys. We've got stilts here. We've got another stilts back there, AKA Papa Pins. We have a Darling Dolly. We have two of the Mars Attacks Martian Warriors. We have a man's best friend, a poor George up here. Look at this. We have Dagger Mike here, sitting scary, sitting scarecrow back there. We have a little Skelly Bones right here. Two more Dagger Mikes. Ooh, I see a Slim hiding back here. We have two Grave Watchers here. Make that three Grave Watchers, a Black Heart. We got the scary sitting scarecrow here, a poor George here, another Bubba here, another Bubba there. Probably another Black Heart. Yep, another Black Heart back there. More scary sitting scarecrows. We got the Widow here. We got a Straw Man there. Another Bubba on the bottom. We got two Eternal Rests, a Desmodus and a howling spirit. In fact, I think there's two howling spirits. And if I didn't already buy Gordo, I would be picking up the howling spirit. Even though I've passed him up at other stores, I just gotta be feeling it when I see him. Oh, and let's not forget about the Tower of Jumping Spiders. Okay, let's take one more look around the store here, guys, just to see if there was anything really, really cool that we missed. I mean, there's so much really, really cool stuff in here anyways, but you never know. Sometimes stuff pops out at me. Wait a minute, there's some ghost face stuff over here. Let's look at this. Holy crap, what is this? Fall Guys, I've never even heard of it, but that is cool. And here's a blue one. <laughs> and here's our ghost face section as wow, it is really stocked. Look, this is funny. Here's an adult size mask and here's the kid's size mask. Okay, let's make our way around the other side here real quick, just in case. Lots of awesome tombstones here. Lots of awesome weapons over there. Lots of awesome costumes over here. Here's some bar Barbie stuff. Barbie is probably going to be a hot commodity this Halloween. Hello, Scooby. Oh, and here is the adult section of all the ghost face stuff. Man, they are stocked early on this year, guys. Remember last year, there was like barely anything in the ghost face section for most of the season. Then all of a sudden it hit. Look at this sweet shirt and a ghost face jacket. Look at that. Ghostface 96, very cool. And last but not least, look at this ginormous Killer Clowns popcorn gun. How cool is that? doing, sir? No, I don't have a biscuit, but if I did have one, I would share it. No, I didn't say carrot. I said share it. Alright guys, we are at the Richland Mall in Mansfield, Ohio, also known as Ontario, Ohio, for this spirit Halloween right here, which is in an old Chucky cheese. That's right, my friends. This is a Chuck E. Cheese. I believe this is the third, maybe even fourth year I have filmed this location. There's the doors over there, but I'm very curious if there are also doors that go in from inside the mall. So let's check it out. And no. <laughs> There's a sign right there, but there is not a door that you can actually go in. Oh my gosh, something smells so good in here, guys. I am so hungry right now. Okay, back out and over here. Let's go in these doors where we're supposed to go in. Aw, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And right in the door, I hear the hooting hoot owl. Let's just wait for a minute. 
because he was just hooting at me. Excuse me, hooter. There you go, it's Hooty. It's Hooty and the Blowfish. Are you guys actually blowfish in disguise? Whoa, I actually see something really cool over there that I wanna check out. But first, let's go ahead and take a look here at Papa Pins. Every time I film him, I look a little bit closer and see even more details. And his eyes are so creepy looking. Look at those things, they look real. All right, on to the oddly shaped leather face. Ooh, his chain is not moving on this one. All right, let's go ahead straight forward here, guys, because there's something I want to take a look at right here and right now, and it is this awesome looking ghost face plaque right here. Check that out. It's like a mirror. That is totally awesome. Put that back and then to the side, look at this. We have these cool things right here. Camp Crystal Lake. We have Halloween, the night he came home. We have this one, Time to Float with Pennywise. And this one with Freddy's hand that says, ready or not, here I come. That is my favorite right there. Since we're right here, let's go ahead and look at these inflatables because we've been seeing the inflatables in every store, but there are a couple that I have not seen in stores, but I have seen online. And one of them is the giant killer clowns from outer space. And I can't remember which one it is actually. We do have this one here with all three of them, but there's one where there's just like one giant killer clown from outer space. Maybe it's only available online. I do see this awesome flag though. I saw this for the first time in the last store that I was at, and I think it was Marion, Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. Look at this one. We have the killer clowns from outer space right here. We have Sam on this flag. Ooh, and we have Pennywise on this one. How cool is that? And looky what we have over here, guys. We have two of the sandworm groundbreakers here. Oh my gosh, I have not looked at the doormats yet guys look at this okay first of all here's chucky this is so awesome oh my gosh <laughs> i might have to get that one actually we got the bates motel here i actually just watched psycho the other night and let's see we have mars attacks invaders welcome and of course we have pennywise looking out the sewer grate all right over here we have a whole plethora of animatronics we have the scary sitting scarecrow we have slim here we have another scary sitting scarecrow we have mr punchy down here how cool is that we have one two three four bubba's man's possessed friend and look who we have here guys gordo it's a good thing that i just bought him in the other store in marion Ohio. That's how I know I had the blessing to buy him because it was in Marion and Marion is my wife's name. Or did I read that wrong with my one eye? Oh my gosh, look at this mini Elvis Presley costume. That is hilarious. It says the king on his hat. All right, let's take a walk back through here. This is all costumes, man. They are totally stocked up. Look at this deluxe Michael Myers right here from Halloween 2. That kid is so slim. <laughs> Very strange. Why does he have such a big head? Oh my gosh, look at the fro on Beetlejuice. What the heck? We got some Chucky here, a couple of Five Nights at Freddy's here, and of course we have Ghostface for everyone. We've got Sam, Huggy Wuggy, and Kissy Missy. Oh, we got some Super Mario here, some Ninja Turtles, and I have word that there are more animatronics on the other side of the store here, including Desmodus. Man, again, guys, the ghost face section is just totally stocked up this year. And look at this one right here. Ghost face bling mask. I think I may have seen this before, but I'm not sure. We got Michael Myers watching over the store here. Here's the one that I think is such a good looking mask. Oh, wow. This store goes way back on this side. We got some killer clowns pops here. Look at this one. This is, I think this one actually glows in the dark jumbo and then we got bibbo with shorty in a pizza box oh yeah here we go oh my gosh tons more animatronics here look at this we'll get back there in just a second guys but look at this we have two of the howling spirits we have a little skelly bones and a widow on the bottom here we have a sitting scarecrow 
a dagger mic. We have eternal rest under there. Oh, and I can see there's a straw man back there. Look at this. We have Lil Jack Carver here. Oh my gosh. I just might pick him up today. In fact, there's two of them here. Another eternal rest. A deadly, three deadly creepers. A stilts here, AKA Papa Pins. Another howling spirit down here. Two black hearts that I can see. A darling dolly in there. Sitting scarecrow, straw man. We have the Martian warrior on the bottom. Pose and stay skeleton just cause he's there. We got the young Crouchy, another sitting scarecrow. And another Papa Pins over here. Oh my gosh, there's even more guys. Look at this, another dagger Mike. We got an empty soul girl on a swing. A man's possessed friend down here and more on the other side. A whole stack of jumping spiders, a slim eternal rest, another young crouchy, and another dagger mite. Wow, they are seriously stocked up in here, guys. Holy crap, they have like everything in here. The hook eye guy, the hook head hog, the double head, we have the ham hock. All right, let's come over and look at these guys. We have the sounds of a crow going on. It's like chilly back in this section here, probably because of all the evil. All right. Let's get the black heart going here. Come on now, sir. There you go. He is so creepy. We'll go back there in a second, but oh my gosh, look at this. They have four of the pumpkin stacks, and I haven't used the try me button yet on these. Look at that, the eyes light up. Very cool. What are these made of? They're just plastic. Okay, it's like a blow mold. We have two of the skull stacks down here. I almost call them skull pumpkin stacks. And look at all these guys. We have carrot, we have scabs, and we have the secret keeping cat, as well as this guy here that I bought in the other store. And I don't know. I don't know if this is just supposed to be like a random skull popping out of a pumpkin or if it's supposed to be the possessed pumpkin or what but he's major awesome how are you doing sir no i don't have a biscuit but if i did have one i would share it no i didn't say carrot i said share it and these guys are all conspiring to keep their lunch a secret all right let's go see what's down this aisle here we have a devilish desmond let's go ahead and listen to him because the music is not loud in here okay here we go You're my best friend in life and death. We have a loving Lilith. Are you ready to join me on the eternal adventure? <laughs> <laughs> I love the laugh. We have the butcher. Can't get him going. And we have monkey chimes. Where the heck is, oh, his button's way down here. And I actually have him at home, as well as the butcher. Man, look at all the zombie babies they have in this store, guys. They have so many. Not every single one, but they do have a ton. Empty soul girl on a swing, creepy crimson girl, swinging witch, and look at how many creeping cats they have. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron. We got the baby head on a stick. This is pretty cool, the Wicked King Scepter. Look at that. All right, so they're trying to get Desmodus to work over there, so we're gonna come check out some of this stuff over here. We have all these Chuckies here. Candy Bowl Chucky down here. You can barely hear him, but he is pretty cool in there we have the other new chucky good guy doll here we have a sitting sam doll we have some annabelle's here tons of hocus pocus stuff man this is a smaller store well no actually i forgot it actually wraps all the way around the other side of the store so it's not a smaller store and it still is completely stuck wait a minute here's another ghost face throw that i have not seen Hold on, let me get it down. Yeah, look at that. That one's actually double-sided. We got the ghost faces all over on one side, and then this one of ghost face standing in front of the moon on that side. I actually just bought this one, so I'm gonna pass on this one right now, but that doesn't mean I don't want it. Ooh, we got a ghost face backpack here. This is pretty cool looking. And look at this, I haven't seen this bobblehead yet. The Corpse Bride Scraps bobblehead that is pretty awesome oh my gosh a ninja turtles dog costume these are cool but it's kind of strange because they're just empty tins i mean we got chucky here 
We got the Corpse Bride. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas behind that one. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. And we got E.T. right here. There's Leonardo. And by their shape, it just makes me wonder if they were repurposed. Like, it's kind of shaped like a man standing there. So was that originally something else? Like, wait a minute. Like Frankenstein. Check this one out. That one makes a lot more sense than the other ones. And look at this. We even have Jason from Friday the 13th. We have this plethora of bobbing fellows. We got the Michael Myers string lights, which are always cool. Copyright Ghostface, Leatherface, and Sam in the Tiny Terrors. Okay, they got him working. We're going to make our way over here, I think. Okay, hold on. Let's see. There we go. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I figured I better film it from here just in case he goes out again. Apparently they've been having a lot of trouble with this guy. Okay, so as he goes back down, we got Gordo over here just on a repeating cycle. He's awesome as always. And then of course we have little Skelly Bones over here. Come on, Skelly, I hear you. Come on, Skelly. You gotta love Skelly. All right. Oh, there he goes again. He just scared the living crap out of me. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we got the jumping spider in here. There he is. Good job, mister. Okay, go on back in and take care of your babies. I definitely want to pick up this guy, but I don't think I'm going to get him right now. If I bought everything I want in every single store, there'd be nothing left for me to look forward to. Like this little fellow. Look at this. It's Jason from Friday the 13th, a little plush. All right, guys, that is it for me for today. Mansfield, Ohio, Spirit Halloween in the old old Chuck E. Cheese, and man, could I go for some pizza right now. I have filmed that store several times, and I don't think I have ever seen it so stocked. Good job, Mansfield. <laughs>
that. Well, oh, there it goes again. I hope you guys could see that in the video. That was pretty dang cool. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all these things they have on the floor here for sale. First, let's say hello to Slim. Hello, Slim. I like your popcorn. Look at the popcorn. Goodbye, Slim. <laughs> and wait a minute, we have this chick over here laughing at us and breaking her own neck. Hello, Miss Neckbreaker. All right, let's take a look at all this stuff that's on the floor here, guys. Holy crap, they have a lot of stuff in stock right now. Okay, we have the floor candelabra, we have the black heart, we have a young Crouchy. In fact, we have two, three young Crouchies. We have a sitting scarecrow, another candelabra. Let's see, we have a scary sitting scarecrow, three fogging skull piles, even more sitting scarecrows. We have two straw mans here and a ghost face inflatable. We have eternal rest down here, a whole stack of jumping spiders. We have one, two, three bubbas right here. We have a Papa Pins, a slim, three Emma lines here. Oh my gosh. I've heard that they only have a certain amount of these out for sale this year, and it's not very many, but this store actually has three. And look at what we have here, guys. We have a Desmodus over here. We have a Howling Spirit and two Darling Dollies. How cool is that? Whoa, wait a minute. Have I seen these? Look at this. Three and a half foot hanging pumpkin. That is pretty dang cool. We have a three and a half foot hanging reaper and a three and a half foot hanging zombie. I think I've seen this guy before, but not the other two. They have the hook eye guy, the hook head hog, the double face, and look at this guys, one ham hock for sale. You guys absolutely crack me up posting all your pictures of the ham hocks. One ham hock for sale. We have pumpkin stacks, we have skull stacks, and look at this set up over here guys let's go over and check this out oh my gosh i'm almost out of breath hold on a minute i knew i saw it look at this we have the trio down here the secret keeping cat we have carrot and we have scabs look at this eternal rest is going ballistic over here again i actually like it better when her head is spinning like that some stickers for the cauldron we have darling dolly here let's see if we can get her going there we go here we go come on now <laughs> she is so awesome, and she blends right in with that spooky tree. And we have Gordo over here, who I bought the other day and still have not set up yet. All right, Gordo, here we go. Come on. Yeah. Very cool. Man, guys, I cannot wait to get back home and set him up. I almost brought him with me on this road trip, but there's just not enough room for everything in the RV. Oh my gosh, I remember saying that a hundred times last year when I was in the 100 Spirit Store Tour. And a lot of people are asking, how many stores am I doing this year? And honestly, guys, I'm not sure. Just stick around and let's have a lot of fun. Here we have the Black Heart. All right, mister, come on. Oh, he's pretty dang quiet today. She's pretty dang quiet herself. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Skelly Bones here. Come on, Skelly. Here we go. Come on, Skelly. Come on. Come on, Skelly. There we go. We have Desmodus, although he has a sign that says do not plug in, so he must not be working right. We have this little creepy fellow over here. Whispering sweet nothings. We have the awesome gargoyle over here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. I hear some ticking in here. The jumping spider must... He's already making sounds in here. Oh, he's a trick spider. Is he gonna jump still? Maybe not. You guys remember the one in West Virginia? that ticked like that for a little while and tricked me and all of a sudden jumped up and scared the living crap out of me. All right, and then one more over here, guys. We have the Howling Spirit. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Howler. Here we go. He's pretty cool, but I'm just, I'm not sold on him yet. I might buy him, I might not. I'm just not sure yet. Man, guys, this is an enormous store. Look, it goes all the way over there, all the way around, and all the way over here. Let's just take a little walk around because I want to find... Okay, this looks like the kids' section over here. Let's go over to the adult section because I want to see if I can't find those new Scream masks. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is the adult section all around here. Here's the mask section. 
Look at this. Screaming out for me right here is none other than Grandma. Hello, Grandma. We have the zombie babies all begging to be adopted. We have the Ouija skull. I don't get into the Ouija boards because they're just too creepy for me, but this is a pretty dang cool Ouija skull. We got the Sam sidesteppers here. Everybody's looking for the little Sam plush pop vinyl figure. See if he'll work here. Come on now, sir. Come on. Dang, neither one of them are working. Maybe they have... All right, a lot of time... Oh, yeah, he has that pull tab. I'm not going to pull it. We have the inflatable Sam. We have the It Chapter 2 Pennywise Mask Light. Yeah, look at just how big this store is, guys. This is look. At, this is hilarious how they have the banana and the shark up there like they're best friends at a party. Anyways, this is an awesomely huge store. Wait, let's come over here and look at the mystery machine up here. One day, I want to buy a van and paint it like the mystery machine. That is way cool. You have all your Scooby-Doo outfits right here, right beside all the SpongeBob outfits over here. Oh, and look over here, guys. Here is the Scream section. Do they have it? Um, I don't see it right off the bat. I do see they have the glow-in-the-dark ghost face. They have some ghost face costumes, the bleeding ghost face. Ooh, they have the Slayer kit here. They have the individual light up mask right here. The Dead by Daylight. They even have the new Ghost Face jacket here, which is pretty dang cool. They have the Ghost Face jersey over here. But unfortunately, I do not see the Scream 6 distressed mask. They're probably only in a few stores. Maybe this is gonna be like last year where I was looking for the purple and the blue metallic masks and it took me like all season to find them. They do have the always awesome Hugs the Clown costume though. They also have a Slasher Clown, a Ringmaster Jacket, a Carver the Clown, a Carnival Clown Chick, and a Creepy Clown. Oh look, and they have a Killer Clown Chick. Oh my gosh, look at this Scary Clown Socks. Those are pretty cool. They do have these light up guys Here's the Annabelle. Her light's not turning on, but we do have Sam over here who is flickering on and off. We also have the killer clown with the cotton candy cocoon, and we have Ghostface here. This is pretty cool. He's not turning on either. Is there a switch? Um, let me see. Okay, I flipped the switch, and he's still not coming on. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool anyway. Plenty of the sinister spirit dolls. Whenever I see her, it makes me want to watch the spirit Halloween movie because I'm pretty sure it was her that was standing in the middle of the, the store when the guys walked out and they saw her and got scared. We have Michael Myers and Leatherface. We have House of a Thousand Corpses and we have Saw. Oh, and look at this in the Beetlejuice section. We have two of the giant sandworm groundbreakers and a sandworm greeter. I could go for some of that candy corn right now. All right, hold on. Let's take a look at these uh, bobbleheads here. It looks like they have a lot of them in stock. We have the Corpse Bride. We have the Hannibal Lecter. We have the Sam. We have the Georgie back here. We have the Sam with, oh, it's the same one. Sam with half the face ripped away. We have the Ghost Face, the Killer Clowns, Baby Killer Clown, and we have this guy, the Bagwell bobblehead. Let's come over here and look at the pops and just see if they would happen to have that Sam that's plush. Is this it? Yes, it's called Flocked. They have one of them, one Flocked Sam Pop. Wait a minute, I was wrong. They actually have two of them in stock right here, and they have this Silence of the Lambs made by hand, made by robots. Handmade by robots. I couldn't get it out right. They have Chuckles here, plenty of those in stock. We have Killer Clowns over here. I think this one just might be Black Light Reactive. Oh, and they have a whole bunch of the figural bag clips. If you guys watched our Haunted House video the other day, you know we played Haunted House house hide and seek where we went around and hid all these bag clips in the haunted house and then we filled it up with so much fog we couldn't see our hand in front of our face and each one of us had to go through and find the bag clips it's a pretty good video it's over on that other nate guys channel but look at this they have season two of the spirit halloween bag clips that's pretty cool i definitely want to get those but i'm not going to buy them till i can buy the entire case because i want to make sure that i get every single one of them man let me tell you i need some serious febreze up in this piece because this hat is stinking <laughs>
But look at this down here. They also have the zombie babies bag clips. I want to get a case of those as well. And also a new season of the Hocus Pocus bag clips series three. I want to get those too. And let's look at one more thing before we go here. People are loving these mini little backpacks. This one is Friday the 13th. We have Lilo and Stitch here, and we have a Zero down here, and I know they also make a Michael Myers one. All right, let's just look in the kids section for the heck of it and see if they would happen to have that ghost face mask over here. And they do not, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to be on the lookout for it. All right, guys, there we go. Zanesville, Ohio, Spirit Halloween, and the old MC Sports. There's a lot of things people have been telling me to keep an eye out for that I did not see in that store, although we did see the flocked Sam, and that was pretty cool. Stay tuned. We have a lot more stores to go. <laughs> We have Eternal Rest here with the Psycho Head. Oh, hello. This chick just scared the living crap out of me. That was not even fair, little missy. You're grounded for a week. I'm taking your iPad, your flip phone, and your PS2. What do you think about that? All right, guys, today we are in Plainfield, Indiana, and let me tell you, driving that monster across the states is not for the faint of heart. Some of this traffic out here is absolutely crazy, but anyways, right now we are at a, a mall kind of complex. I believe I may have filmed this before, maybe even last year. It's called like Crossings Way or Crossing Way or something like that. All I know is that it is way hot out here okay i see it way up here on the left the spirit halloween we're gonna be there in just a second i may not have filmed this last year it just kind of looked familiar but last year if i did it was located over here instead of over there yeah i don't know anyways regardless there it is across the street let's go on over not get hit by a car and look at this guys before we come in all the way from that corner down here to this down here is spirit and look at this they actually have the giant 12 foot inflatable ghost face set up how cool is that guy and they have the hearse set up and the 20 foot snake <laughs> this guy is so cool i definitely have to get him this apparently used to be a forever 21 i believe it was called but now let's go on in and see what they have for 2023 Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Yes, this looks like a totally awesome store. Check this out, guys. All right, look at this, guys. I hear our hooting owl. We got Papa Pins here. We have Chubby Leatherface. We have the straw man back there. But the first thing that I wanna look for is that scream mask. And holy crap, from right here, guys, I can see it. They have it. And I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. Hello, Frankie. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah, do you spot it? Do you see it yet? I see it, but do you see it? All right, let's take a look at what the other things are that they have first. First, they have the light up ghost face mask right here. Let's push the button. Yeah, look at that, his mouth lights up. That's pretty cool. We have the bling ghost face mask, which a lot of people are loving this year. This is the first time I've seen the bling knife to go along with it. And look at this, we even have the bling ghost face costume. This one comes with the mask. We have the dead by daylight, which looks totally cool, but I'm not into horns. We have the slayer kit and the crossbody bag. We have a plethora of knives down here. We have some jerseys, some shirts, a hat, some socks, the regular ghost face the chrome ghost face the glow in the dark ghost face and here it is guys the aged mask from scream six look at that how awesome is that i wonder if these are like hand aged because if you hold these two side by side you can see that the one on the right looks even better than the one on the left so the one on the right is the one that i'm gonna buy oh yeah and Oh, it smells like vanilla. And here's another thing that's different with the aged mask. With this one, the regular one, it's white inside. But with the aged one, 
It's black. I don't know why that should make a difference. It really doesn't, but he's cool and I'm buying him today. Oh, look at this. We have an awesome selection of the Halloween 3 masks. Now, these are just the masks that you put on over your face. There's no back. I have the actual ones at home that have the hoods on them. Very, very cool. We got the Michael Myers from Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 2018, and Halloween Ends. I know, we'll make our way up and say hello to the animatronics in just a minute, guys, but look at this. We have a plethora of Freddies here, including my favorite Freddy mask, The Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, several selections of those, lots of different Sam costumes, including these masks right here. Look at this. I've never seen this one. This one might be new for this year. That's pretty cool. Then we have the clown mask, the devil mask, killer clowns from outer space. What is this? The rotten zombie mask and the undead zombie mask. Those are pretty cool. Then we have all the Chucky and Child's Play stuff over here. Oh, look at this sweet Sam hat. That is pretty dang awesome. This store is pretty well stocked, guys. Look, we have lots of Pennywise stuff, Lots of these ghost ponchos, candy corn ponchos, spooky collar dress, pumpkin shirt, have a killer day hat, spooky glitter pumpkin headband, awesome Halloween backpacks, and this spooky pumpkin crossbody bag, lots of awesome t-shirts, which I have not looked yet, and I think we're actually going to save that for the next store, but let's go ahead up here and say hello to our friends. Let's start with this chubby guy right here. Hello, chubby. <laughs> I just want to pull his mask off. I know you can pull his mask off and he has an actual face up inside there. I'm not going to do it, but I've seen pictures of it. And we have Papa Pins over here. I hear you, Mr. Spooky Owl. Give this guy our attention just for a minute here with his granny blue hair. Are you going to play bingo later, sir? All right, let's go on through and see our straw man here. Hello, Mr. Straw Man. Come on now, come on. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? Why, I love this time of year with the dead leaves all around us and the dark. What's actually supposed to be here is the Martian. So hopefully they'll be getting him soon. But let's go ahead over here and go through the spooky chamber of death. We have the fire of death. Say it with me. It's burning my face. We have the spooky candles of death. It's burning my finger. <laughs> we have the fabric of death. Oh, I always forget to look up in here, guys. I totally forget that this is going on inside here at every store. All right, do it good. Come on now. Here we go. There's some bats. Let's turn it this way. Jack's going to be showing up. And he's, there he is. There's Jack. We have Dagger Mike sticking out over here. What a cool picture. Look at this. Look at this picture right here with Dagger Mike, the gargoyle, and the flames. That is pretty dang cool. He looks like he's already extended, though. Oh, here we go. I hear you. Yeah, he's not working right, but his laugh and his scream is still hilarious. All right, let's look at this guy over here, the scary sitting scarecrow. There we go, sir. All right, you've earned some stickers. All right, let's come on out here and see what they have on the floor. Guys, look at this. Holy crap, they have four Desmodices right here and a Bubba. Oh my gosh, here's these awesome inflatable Fall Guys costumes. I love these things. I'm going to have to buy these before the end of the season. All right, but first, let's look at this. We have a leather face right here, Mr. Chubby himself. We have Slim standing up over here. Okay, sir, talk to us and scare us with your scary popcorn. Whoa, he's not leaning forward. Very, very strange. He does have the Mickey Mouse hands, though. Tell me those don't look like Mickey Mouse hands. And speaking of Slim, we have one right here in the box. We have several sitting scarecrows and scary sitting scarecrows over here. It looks like we have one, two, three widows over here. And speaking of the widow, hello, miss. <laughs> She's so simple, but she's so awesome. Oh, something is being set up over here. But wait a minute. Look at this right here. How cool is this? I actually have this Freddy right here. But here's a Pennywise. And here's a Jason mini plushies. And what the heck is this? A Snackers squishable? A three-headed squishable 
dog plushie. Okay. Wait a minute. Look on the bottom down here. Look at this. I haven't seen this yet. Handmade by robots. Oogie Boogie. Now, I am not a big fan of the handmade by robots things, but this one looks really awesome. Wait a minute. They also have the Grady twins from Dr. Sleep. They look pretty cool too. Here's some of those VHS clamshell things that have like a uh, a lanyard in them. Here we got Halloween 2. Oh, there's Eddie Pooter. Includes lanyard patch, two decals, and two buttons. Awesome selection of little backpacks here. Look at this one shaped like a coffin. We got the killer clowns from outer space. Oh, the Chucky good guys pack. That's really cool. And we have Ghostbusters. Wait a minute. What the heck is this look at these throws right here we have pumpkin head the silence of the lambs and this is the best one right here ghoulies it's not even ghoulies one it's ghoulies two look at that guy <laughs> i haven't seen these slippers before either look we have spongebob and patrick we have scooby and we have stitch here but wait we have more animatronics on the floor over here look at this guys we have a black heart right here we have a young crouchy on this side back around the back we have three eternal rests another black heart we have a howling spirit right here we have two little skelly bones, two Jack Carvers. Wait, it looks like, yes, there's two more Jack Carvers over here. We have Eternal Rest here with the Psycho Head. Oh, hello. This chick just scared the living crap out of me. That was not even fair, little missy. You're grounded for a week. I'm taking your iPad, your flip phone, and your PS2. What do you think about that? <laughs> All right, let's move around the side here. You gotta love the spooky tree. And we have Gordo over here waiting for us. Come on, Gordo. Show us what you got. Ooh, he's, his light must be going out. Yeah, his lights are like really dim. It could just be that there's so much light inside the store here. But his light looks very, very dim. I hear you, sir, but you're gonna need to speak up if you want us to actually stop and listen because you're very, very quiet. Here we have this little lady who whispers at us and she is so much louder than that guy right there. Thank you, little missy. We have Skelly Bones over here. Let's see what he's got. Come on, Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly. I see his eyes are lit up. There we go. Thank you, Skelly. You never disappoint us. We got this guy here. Come on, this guy. Why in the heck isn't this guy working? Let's get the jumping spider going here. Come on, sir. There you go. Good job, mister. And we can't forget about here lies Lord Farquaad. All right, let's take a quick walk around the rest of the store here before we go. We have this creepy looking hanging witch here, which she is actually pretty dang cool. Listen to her. Did you hear that cat? The secret keeping cat is talking today. Who do we have over here? Okay, we have the scarecrow rotten pumpkin. Um, he's not doing anything. Let's try this one. Okay, well, he lights up. I thought maybe he made some sounds, but I guess not. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look how many zombie babies they have at this store. Holy crap. We have the hand eater. We have the rat eater. We have gutsy Gwen with her little hair spout. We have the Moth Eater, we have the Devil Cherub, we have the Butt Guy, the Spider Biter Billies, the Crawling Zombies, more Spider Biter Billies on the bottom, and the Brain Eaters down here. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> and how cool is this, guys? We have the Horror Babies Ghost Face. He is pretty cool, and I'm probably going to end up buying him by the end of the season, as well as Sam here. All right, let's see if they have Glenn. We do have Annabelle and the sitting Sam doll. I don't see any Chuckies or any Glens. And when I say that, I do see these other Chuckies over here, but I don't see like the life-size ones. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. We have the Leatherface Sidestepper. I almost just said I haven't seen any of the new Sidesteppers everyone's talking about, and this guy jumped out at me. All right, let's see. Is he gonna work? There we go. He is pretty cool, man. How much is he? He is $32.99. The one that I really, really want to find is Ghostface, though. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, sir. Please don't kill me with your chainsaw and make me into chili. Oh, they do have these awesome knives here. Look at this one. This one's Ghostface. I think that's made from wood. 
That is pretty dang cool. We have Michael Myers over here as well. Plenty of stuffed dummy props, cracked skull, zombie breakers, fogging skull piles, and pose and stay skeletons. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is just very, very well stocked. Look at this. Hey, it's the first time we're seeing the Hello Rat. Which reminds me, we have new Nate Guy Halloween merch coming out very, very soon. Come on over to that NateGuyStuff.com. It's going to be dropping very very shortly. And that's a secret that even these guys won't tell. Carrot would probably tell though, because he's such a cute little bunny. And we have plenty of creeping cats down here, but I don't see Scabs the dog anywhere. Let's leave some stickers for the pumpkin stacks and some stickers for the skeleton stacks. We can't go without saying hello to our jumping spider piles. Look how many jumping spiders they have. Oh my gosh, guys. They have so many things in this store. But let's go over here and finish off this tour with the hookhead hog, the hook eye guy, the foot on a rope, and the one ham hock for sale. 25 bucks for the one ham hock for sale. This thing totally cracks me up. Look at those nails. I think you need to take a trip to the salon and maybe the dermatologist. All right, I wanna buy that guy right now, but since there's only one, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the ham hock for somebody else. Wait a minute, what in the world? Here's two masks I have never seen in here. One is the Batman Returns Penguin, and two is the Jeeper. Creepers creeper. That thing certainly does look creepy. Oh my gosh, guys, we almost forgot. Poor George. All right, George, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to leave you some stickers right there. Oh, and look, they actually have a Bubba set up over here. Is he gonna jump at us? <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, the tour continues, guys. Terra Haute. Indiana. I have filmed out here in Terre Haute before. I'm not sure if it was this exact location. This used to be a Macy's, but every time I come to Terre Haute, I think of the movie A Christmas Story, when Ralphie was waiting in line to see Santa, and he said the line stretched all the way back to Terre Haute. And why does it look so dark in there? What the heck? Are they even open? It is like super dark in there. If they're not open, I'm going to be very put out. <laughs> all right, here we go. I know I looked it up. Oh my gosh, locked door. For a second, I was gonna be very angry, very angry. Not only are they open, but look at this, guys. We have a little bit of different setup in here. Of course, we have pop-up pins over here, but we have Slim front and center over here. Let's go ahead and get him going with his Mickey Mouse hands. <laughs> He actually leaned forward. In the last uh, store that we were in, the guy didn't lean forward. In fact, listen. I thought there was like two sounds going on at once, two different circus sounds. All right, not too shabby, but look at this. All right, let's say hello to Papa Pins real quick. Hello, Papa Pins. I think you need the Aqua Fresh. Your teeth are very, very yellow. Okay, that's good. Let's go on back here because look who is awaiting us right through the Spirit Hollow Cemetery gate. It is little Jack Carver. What the heck is he doing right here? All right, sir, show me what you got. <laughs> he actually made me jump, guys. What the heck? I knew it was coming and he still made me jump. Look, he has little beady marble eyes too. That fits him perfectly, Mr. Wannabe Johnny Punk. You know what, let's leave this guy some stickers right there. He deserves them. And you know what, before we even look at any of this other stuff, guys, let's just go ahead and take a walk around the store because I just want to kind of look around a little bit here, see if there's anything in this store that we haven't seen in other stores. And look at this, we have the ghost swing. I don't think we've seen this in any other stores. Wow, that is actually pretty heavy. I'll bet you anything that's real wood. 
$74.99. That is an animatronic right there. All it is is a swing, but it's an animatronic. They do have this whole plethora of things over here, including the decrepit haunted doll, the monkey chimes, the loving Lilith. Hello, Lilith. We have devilish Desmond and the butcher down here. And I see a mask that I don't think I've seen before. No, I'm not talking about the vintage grinning black secret keeping cat. I'm talking about this rabbit. What the heck is that? That is actually pretty dang cool. And I don't know if I've seen this one before or not either. It's just called eyeless. <laughs> Apparently that means his eyes were gouged out. Oh my gosh, wait a minute guys. Over here we have a whole plethora of awesome things on the floor. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. First we have the sitting scarecrow up here. Not the scary sitting scarecrow, just the regular one. We have a black heart there. We have a howling spirit, a grave watcher, a pose and stay skeleton. We have man's possessed friend, another sitting scarecrow. We have a Desmodus on the bottom. Right there he is, guys. And another one on top. We have a pink cowboy hat and we have a darling dolly here we have two leather faces hello miss we have another sitting scarecrow fogging skull piles another grave watcher and a straw man and look at this a whole stack of the ghost face inflatable we just saw this inflated at the other store and it is huge oh and speaking of i hear that lovely lady over there with her chainsaw you know what let's go ahead over here for a minute guys i want to see if we can find the side steppers that i haven't seen in other stores yet we did see the leather face side stepper but i am anxiously awaiting the ghost face where the heck is it? Where are you, ghost face? What the heck? I don't even see the secret keeping cat to ask him if he knows where it is. We do have the Sam sitting Sam doll. We have an Annabelle. We don't have any Chuckies or Glens. I did notice that over here we do have the Sam side steppers. Oh, they all have their little yellow tab. People always tell me to pull the yellow tab, and I hate to pull the yellow tab because that just means you're killing the battery when you get them going. And I don't want people to buy these and then have to go buy batteries immediately. We do have this ghost face wreath over here, which is pretty cool. We have the ghost face door covers, which I really like. Look at this. We also have the Mars Attacks door cover. We have the Killer Clowns flag, the Welcome to Dairy flag. We have the Trick or Treat flag and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface flag. Oh, that's a door cover, not a flag. And we have all these guys, but I don't see any secret keeping cats. I don't see scabs. I don't see carrots. We do have a couple of these little horror babies on the end here. We have Sam and we have Sam. <laughs> I thought there was another one down here, but I guess not. We have the Frankenstein side steppers. We have the Lydia side steppers. What the heck is it? I thought this was a frog for a minute. It's like a bat from the Haunted Mansion that holds two candles. I thought it was a frog. All right, let's check over here. We haven't looked over here yet. Any side steppers over here? Wait a minute. I do see a creeping cat over here, but no secret keeping cats. And I do see this skull, which I don't know. Some people told me that it's supposed to be possessed pumpkin. Some people told me it's from Halloween too. I think it's just kind of like a cool looking skull pumpkin that doesn't really belong to any kind of a thing. We do have these skull pathway markers, which are pretty dang cool. Look at that. Oh, and we have a plethora of ham hocks. Who wants the ham hock? I love how you can see the bone through there. Like if you just took a slice of the ham hock, you'd have breakfast with egg. All right, I think it's time to buy the ham hock. You're coming home with me sir. Or is it ma'am? That does kind of look like high heels there. Oh, look, we have a stilts over here, aka Papa Pins. Oh, and here's the secret keeping cats. Look at this. They have five secret keeping cats. They have five carrots and they have, well, four creeping cats here because the other one has creeped all the way over there by those uh, pumpkins. Stickers for the cauldron. All right, let's come over and look at this stuff. Let's start with Gordo here. Gordo is not lit up. Sometimes he's lit up when I first walk up, sometimes not. I think you can turn him on and leave him lit up if you want. Did he just make a cat sound? 
or was that like one of these background things? I heard a cat and I heard a crow. Excuse me, Gordo, are you crowing at me? We also have Darling Dolly here. Let's get her going. She scared the crap out of me in the last store. Come on, lady, come on. She is totally awesome. Look how she hunches over. She kind of reminds me of a turkey, actually. Oh, and look, they actually have a Bubba set up over here. Is he going to jump at us? Boy! <laughs> I cannot believe that Bubba just scared the living crap out of me. That is so unfair. Bubba, you're grounded for a week. That's how you know that Bubba is a good prop, because year after year, he continues to scare the living crap out of me. Hello, lady. Okay, that's enough out of you, miss. We got this guy here. I think that's like the last four stores that we went to that the gargoyle did not kick on. How strange. Here lies Lord Farquaad, and then I can hear this chick over here whispering at us. She is so loud. I can't believe how loud she is. All right, let's get Skelly Bones going here. Come on, Skelly, come on. I hear him. Here he comes. I know, I heard you. Hello, Skelly. All right, let's come on over here and do our jumping spider. Hello, jumping spider. And let's pay a visit to the black heart over here. Let's see how loud he is. Come on now. Yeah, he's loud. Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next. Victim. He's really loud in this store. That's pretty cool. Look at her. She's just still going over here talking a bunch of smack. Pile of jumping spiders, but we still have not found those ghost face side steppers. What a bummer. What size are these anyway? I would love to buy these things. I think they must be like one size fits all. Oh, these are small, medium. They probably wouldn't fit my big feet. I mean, these are like size 12s or something. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that this store does not have the ghost face side steppers. What a bummer, guys. They do have some good music playing in here, though. Witchy woman. All right, let's come on over and see the widow here. We haven't talked to her yet. We were too busy looking at other awesome things. Hello, the widow. <laughs> You're a good neck cracker. Maybe you could crack my neck a little later. All right, let's come on through here. We have Mr. Uh, scary Sitting Scarecrow. Scary Sitting Scarecrow. Scary Sitting Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we can get him to go now. Yeah. Oh, his eyes are not lit up. I guess I'll give you some stickers anyway. Have we seen Dagger Mike yet? I don't think we've stopped to look at him yet. All right, let's get him going. Hello, Mr. Mike. Here we go. I think I'm probably going to end up buying him by the end of the season because he is a really cool jump scare. He does jump up very quickly, and I like that. And we have poor George here. Do we have somebody else over here? No, I thought I saw somebody else, but all right. Let's get poor George real quick. Hello, Georgie. Look at that hair. He's got a serious hairdo. <laughs> he looks like he's been spinning around at about three times the speed with that hair. All right, I'm pretty sure we saw all the animatronics that are set up, and... We saw a lot of other stuff in this store too. Pretty dang big store. They did not have the sidestepper, the ghost face sidestepper, which I'm really, really anxious about finding. So maybe in the next store. But before we go, let's just take a quick peek over here because I wanna see, look at this. They have a pretty dang cool Wednesday t-shirt. All right, that's cool. But what I wanted to look at over here, not Michael Myers, I wanted to see the Scream stuff. Where the heck is the Scream stuff? Here's Bert and Ernie, that's pretty hilarious. Here's this bingo guy. Wait, I think I saw your friend up front. Couple of bowling pins and some blue hair. All right, well, I guess that's a double strike out on the ghost face stuff today because I don't see ghost face anywhere in here. All right, wait a minute. I take it back. It's over here. Okay, let's see what they have here. Uh, actually, all I was looking for was that new distressed scream six mask and they don't have it but i already bought it so it doesn't matter i'm out <laughs>
Guys, holy crap. Today we are in O'Fallon, Missouri at this Spirit Halloween right back here. And let me tell you, is it hot? It is 96 degrees out here. I'm not even kidding. I am already sweating like a hog up in this piece, even though I'm not even in the piece yet. Look at the giant Spirit Halloween sign over here by the road. That is totally cool. Look at the giant, extra giant Spirit Halloween sign up here on the building. This apparently used to be a shop and save. And it's so hot I already can't breathe. What in the world is happening out here in O'Fallon, Missouri? Maybe that's why it's called Missouri because I'm already in misery. All right, there is a look at the front of the store. Don't mind that the S is just a little bit off on there. Just forget I even pointed it out. <laughs> Let's go on in, guys, and see what kind of awesomeness we can find in this Spirit Halloween, O'Fallon, Missouri. The first bit of awesomeness I hope to find is some air conditioning, yes. Oh my gosh, it feels so much better inside the store here. And not only that, but we have an awesome fan right here. All right, guys. Yeah, let's begin this tour. This used to be a shop and save. Look how absolutely enormous this store is. I already see tons of awesome stuff. I do not see Mrs. Leatherface over here right now, but we do have poppin' pins with his blue hair ready to go to bingo at any given time. Whenever you're ready, just give him a call. He is ready to go to bingo. Okay, let's keep on moving. Guys, we're gonna walk right through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery, and if you listen, there he is, the spooky owl who apparently is hiding somewhere in this pillar right here. We should find an owl and put him in the spooky tree. This is what I want to see though, right here, the Martian warrior from Mars Attacks. Holy crap, guys, he looks so cool. I haven't seen him in very many stores, but man, is he awesome looking. We gotta make him the, uh, the thumbnail for this one. Let's see, let's get him going here. Look at that. I wish he was louder, what the heck, man? If I was working in here, I'd be cranking these things all the way up. Look, the, ooh, we got a little tiny, tiny bit of fog coming out there. You can see by the blue light, but I don't think that's really what it's supposed to do. I think it's supposed to spray out of there a lot more than that. Nonetheless, he's totally awesome looking. Check this guy out, I love him. Oh my gosh, guys, I can see they have a whole bunch of animatronics. Wow, along this whole line here. Give me a minute here, let's go look at the shirts and then we'll come back, we'll look at these and we'll say hi to the rest of the animatronics over here. I'm so excited, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. All right, let's take a look at some of these shirts because we have not yet looked at these guys. I usually come in and I look at these in the very first store I go to, but I have not looked at any of these yet. And look at this, this is the first one that sticks out at me. Get in, loser, we're going slashing. And it is Michael Myers. Then we have Ghostface, is this a scary movie? That's pretty cool, he's holding a VHS. Stab, you're it, okay. That is quite possibly my favorite and it looks like it might even be glow in the dark. And it's right beside a Chucky and Tiffany shirt that I don't think I've seen before, as well as these two awesome Sam shirts right here that I don't think I've seen before. All right, hold on, let's take a look at this. This is the Stab shirt right here. That looks like it's at least black light reactive. Does it say black stab? It does not say whether it is black light reactive or not, but I can almost guarantee just by the colors that it is. All right, let's see. We got a creep show shirt here. We have a terrifier shirt over here. Welcome to Crystal Lake. We have Michael Myers here. How cool is that? A freak in the sheets killer on the streets. That's a pretty cool shirt. Let's look over here a second. Look at this. Never accept a ride from strangers. That is an awesome shirt right there. There's a black secret keeping cat and there's a witch with two ghouly skulls hanging off. I also love this other Ghostface shirt up here. Ghostface Movie Club. And he has the VHS there which is bleeding. That is totally Totally awesome right there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and come on out through here. We got poor George here, and in the past couple of stores, I forgot him until last. Sir, I am so very sorry. We're gonna go ahead and get you going first off the bat right here. Mm. 
and there's some stickers for you as well, sir. Let's go ahead and go through here. I see Dagger Mike right by the flames of death. Let's go ahead and get him going here. Hello, Mr. Mike. <laughs> I love how his arms just kind of bounce when he jumps up. We have the fabric of death here. We have the burning candles of death over here. We have the scary sitting scarecrow. Is it the scary one or is it the regular one? Let's find out. It's the scary one. All right, you deserve some stickers there, sir. We have Slim out here with his popcorn. Let's get him going just for a quick second here. Hello, Slim. We're gonna put a couple of stickers in your popcorn bag right there. Thank you. And of course, we have the widow over here. How you doing there, witty? Yeah, I know. It is funny. I'm just a kid! All right, let's go ahead and look at these. Look at this. We have two man's possessed friends over here. One of the best animatronics ever put out by Spirit Halloween. We have two of the sitting scarecrows right here. We have one, two, three stilts, aka poppin' pins, ready for bingo at any time. We have a The Widow right here. Holy crap, look at this whole stack here, guys. We got one, two, three young Crouchies, one, two, three poor George, and what's on the other side? here hold on we have two more young crouchies that's funny they actually look pretty good together that makes me like poor george even more and look at this over here we have a hot nozzles on top we have a straw man on the bottom what do we have around the back we have two more straw mans around the back here we have three slims in stock right here and what do i see with my little eye a darling dolly right here whoa look at this guys these are some awesome Elvis Presley outfits right here. How cool is that? If you don't love Elvis, I don't love you. Seriously, if you've never listened to Elvis, go right now on YouTube and listen to the song Polk Salad Annie. It's my very favorite Elvis song ever. I've even been to Elvis's mansion. It is way cool. Let's get back to the Spirit Halloween video. We have even more animatronics over here, guys. Look at this. We have three howling spirits, another man's possessed friend, a little skelly bones, and two eternal rests. We have a whole load of zombie babies over here. I don't see any of the new ones, but I see a lot of the old ones look at this guy he's doing like a break dance move sir you are very good at dancing we got the sam and the little ghost face horror babies whoa 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 wait a minute holy crap ah oh, okay well they're cool anyway they have the crouchy statues here i was really hoping it was the skelly bones statues i know they just released them on the website so go on there if you want to get the skelly bones here's some sidesteppers but i am still on the search for the ghost face sidestepper we have spiky we have frankenstein we have sam over here hanging out by his statues oh look at this guys it's the leather face statue i haven't seen this one yet not making any sound or lighting up but man is that an awesome statue especially that skeleton and the pumpkins back there. We got some of these Chuckies over here. We have one life-size Chucky right here, which I probably should buy. He's getting harder and harder to find. We have sitting Sam dolls and a lot of Anna balls, but we have no Glens, and Glenn is the one that everybody really wants. Look at this. We have Gordo over here, but he's in suspended animation. Gordo, have you officially died? Oh, he's flashing. He's making noises. But he's already, like, suspended and popped open. Very strange. We're gonna leave you a couple stickers right down here, Mr. Gordo. What the heck? I can't even think of what this guy's name is. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on moving because we have the Grave Watcher over here. We have the Little Skelly Bones, and we have Desmodus. Let's see if he actually is working, Mr. Modus. Come on, here he goes! He actually worked, guys! He is difficult to find set up in a store actually working. He is way awesome. I know I can hear you and I like you very much, so I just may adopt you one of these days, but I don't think it's going to be today. Let's go ahead and see if we can get Skelly going here. Skelly? His eyes aren't lighting up, so apparently he's not going to work. Let's check out our jumping spider here. Come on now. Ah, he is a scary one. Good job, Mr. Spider. Look at his headstone. It says, no rest for the dead. That's pretty spooky. We do not have the howling spirit set up here, but we do have Lord Farquaad's headstone. Let's see if our gargoyle works. Come on, Mr. Gargoyle. Come on now. 
What the heck? What is going on with Mr. Gargoyle in all these stores? We've got the stack of jumping spiders over here. Gosh, guys, this is a pretty dang big store right here. Do we see any other fleece blankets that I have not seen yet? I'm not sure that I've seen this Corpse Bride blanket before. That's pretty cool. We do have this Coraline. I think I've seen that one before. Um, and I'm not sure if I've seen this one down here with the skeleton that just says dead. Hello, bouncy Sam head. Here's some more fleece blankets over here, and I believe that I have seen all of these, except this Pennywise one up here looks totally awesome. Wait a minute, what is peeking out from behind this pole right here? What is this creepy little guy? Here's a bat, and here's a little ghost. What the heck are these? I've never seen these before. And I almost just knocked that over. Ghost reversible plush. Oh, I see. So he's like a popple. From the 80s, there were these things called the popples and you could flip them inside out. So first he's a ghost, then you flip him inside out and he's a bat. All right, let's take a good look at this backpack right here because this thing is pretty dang cool. If this were actually a big backpack, I might even buy it for myself. Look at this. We have coffins, we have ravens, we have pumpkins and snakes and skeleton hands and bats and cauldrons and brooms. That is very Halloween-y. And I really like this half and half Sam backpack. That's really cool too. Wait a minute. Let's go back here because we haven't even looked on this side of the store in the back here. What the heck am I thinking? Hmm, free hugs. You're not the hugs I know, sir. Get out of here, imposter. Yes, I knew we were missing something. Look at this. We have a ton of secret keeping cats down here. We have a whole bunch of carrots. Hello, carrot. Are you hungry today? We have a bunch of creeping cats up here. We have these orange skull pumpkins over here. We have the vampire door knocker over here. Use caution in entering this home. It's almost feeding time for me. <laughs> <laughs> we have the skull stacks down here. We have these skulls up here. I'm not really even sure. Do these do something? I don't see a button on them. They're just a pretty cool looking skull. More skull stacks here. We have Michael Myers string lights here. We have pumpkin lights up here. These are totally awesome. And we have the ham hocks. Who wants the ham hock? Excuse me, sir. Your bingo partner is looking for you. Yeah, right up there around the bend. Blue hair, bowling pins. You can't miss her. All right, let's put some stickers in the cauldron here. Wow, this store is actually pretty stocked, guys. Look at all the inflatables here, especially the ginormous 12-foot light-up ghost face. He is really cool. I was kind of on the fence about him until I saw him in one of these recent stores and he was actually set up and inflated heat is absolutely huge. Oh boy, all kinds of stuff in this store, guys. Swinging friends over here, the swinging witch, the swinging crimson girl on a swing, the empty soul girl on a swing. This is one that I've never really picked up and looked at here, but it's a skull on a backbone. How creepy is that? All hail the backbone skull! Hello, double face. Hello, baby stick. Whoa, look at this creepy pig moving mouth mask. That is super creepy, don't you think, sir? All right, guys, this is a huge store. I think we're ready to move on to the next. Wait a minute. Not before we see Mr. Rubber Chicken. What do you think about this store, sir? <laughs> We'll leave a couple of stickers right there. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm too cool for the inflatable. It's a cool, crisp autumn day at Westway Plaza in Wichita, Kansas. Actually, I'm lying. It's 105 degrees out in this piece. But oh no, 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 no. That is not gonna stop me from going to this awesome spirit Halloween right here. Especially because the fact that whatever's on these windows next door to it looks like ghosts. Look at this, what the heck is going on here? Like, the windows have been painted or some kind of tint put up, but where the tint has been ripped off, it looks like ghosties on here. 
especially this one down here at the end. Look, it's like he's bent over and looking like, hi, pal. He's saying, hey, how you doing? I was looking for a friend. <laughs> All right, guys, let's come on down here and go on inside the Spirit Halloween. I have no idea what this used to be, but it is so much fun that it's scary. And who is waiting right inside the door? But Desmodus, it's the first time I've ever seen Desmodus set up right inside the door. Let's see if we can get him going here, guys. Okay, mister. Okay. Yeah. And this is one of the only stores where he actually is working correctly. We've been in so many stores with him, and a lot of them don't even have him plugged in because, I don't know, there's some kind of a glitch with him or something where he doesn't work right, but he works right, right here at Westway Plaza in Wichita, Kansas. So let's just continue this and see if the widow works right. Hello, the widow. <laughs> Ooh, I heard the crunch, but her head does not flip sideways. All right, well, maybe she just is tired of cranking that <laughs> neck. Maybe that's just how the Wichita women do it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep on moving here. We have Leatherface over here. Of course, he's wearing the pretty woman mask. Let's get him going here. He is very quiet. And for some reason, his chain is not moving. I've noticed that on some of them, the chain isn't moving. Is that a glitch this year? Have you guys bought this guy? And does the chain move on yours? Let's pay our little poor George a visit over here. Hello, George. Watch this. He has one braid in his hair. Look at this. Hold on. Here we go. Here comes the braid. Look at the braid. <laughs> All right, Mr. George, I've heard enough out of you. This appears to be a pretty decent sized store, guys. Look at this. And I'm glad that they don't have the music like totally pumping. You can hear it, which makes it cool, but it's not so loud that you can't hear me or the animatronics. Somebody asked me in my last video why I never look at these shirts. Well, I've only been in like, I don't know, 12, 13, maybe 14 stores so far. And I have looked at the shirts in a couple of the stores, but one of them I wanted to point out was this guy right here, the Sam shirt. It's a spirit logo, which is kind of like, well, you know, the regular spirit logo. But what I was thinking of was last year when they had a ghost face inside that logo. And I never found one of those shirts that would actually fit me, but I'd like to have that one too. Unfortunately, like the largest size shirts they have in these stores is the 2X. And this Chucky shirt is pretty dang cool as well. Let's move on forward here and check out the Scream section. I do not see the Scream 6 mask, but I do see the ghost face bling mask that a lot of people are loving. They have the chrome face, they have the regular ghost face, they have the Slayer kit, they have the crossbody bags, they have the ghost face light up mask, and look at this guys, they have the metallic blue mask. Looks like they even have the purples back here as well. Cool. Look at this crossbody bag here that's like cat bones. That's pretty cool. They also have the secret to keeping cat and he's winking because he knows he's keeping secrets. I like these beanies too. Have a killer day and stay spooky. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. They actually have series two of the spirit bag clips. Only problem is I need to buy an entire case that has not been opened yet. What is a Halloween 2 Michael Myers shutter flasher? This must be some kind of a projector. Oh yeah, it is. It's a projector that projects a picture of Michael Myers up onto your house. Ooh, they have a Billy Butcherson Hocus Pocus Pop right here. They also have the Chuckles in stock. They also have the Danny with Binks, which I already own. I may even own the Billy Butcherson, I don't remember, but look at this. They have a whole bunch of the flocked Sams in stock. All right, let's take a walk through the back of the store here for a minute. Ooh, and look who is awaiting us. Oh my gosh, they are totally stocked with our friends here. Look at this. Right on top, we have the Hello Rat, followed by the Creeping Cats, the Secret Keeping Cats, more creeping cats. We have Carrot down here and Scabs. And as you know, Carrot and Scabs are best friends forever. I think the only one out of all of these that I do not have yet 
is the creeping cat. So I'm gonna have to pick this guy up at some point. Uh-oh, stickers for the cauldron. They have these hanging skeletons here, and somebody recently was asking about the rainbow skeletons, which I have not seen in any stores yet. We do have the hookhead hog and this guy who needs a tic-tac. Like, seriously needs a tic-tac. We have all these hanging ghoulies. We have the hook eye guy. I'm pretty sure he needs a tic-tac too. <laughs> and somebody asked me to take a look at these skeleton guys, so let's go ahead and take a look. Look at this. We have a skeleton sea monster here. That thing's pretty weird. We have some kind of a skeleton fish here. All kinds of different skulls. We have this awesome skeleton alien. Wait a minute. Does that mean he's a scalian? We have the skeleton snail here with a skull. We have the skeleton turtles. The skeleton birds. We have skeleton snakes and a skeleton monkey. And we have a brain. Look at the big brain on Brad. This guy creeps me out. What do you think of that guy? <laughs> this store is pretty well stocked, guys. Look at this. We have a whole bunch of these devil forks. We have this weapon here, some kind of a spear. We have a whole plethora of children of the corn weapons. Oh, look at this one that has a skeleton hand on each side. That's pretty cool. This one has a silver skull. We have all these dolls here. Look, this is probably the best selection in any of the stores I've seen yet this season. We have the decrepit Donna. We have the pumpkin nester. The Butcher, hello Butcher. We have the Vintage Wolfman, the Monkey Chimes. We have the Vintage Clown Doll, and look at this, we also have a Hugs. We have a whole awesome stack of stuff here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Right in front, we have a Gordo, guys. I already bought Gordo, but I'm really tempted to buy a second Gordo. We have the Sandworm Groundbreaker, Man's Possessed Friend. We have a Stuffed Dummy Prop, a Fogging Skull Pile. We have a Dagger Mike down here too. I'm tempted to buy him as well. Look at this, we have a Black Heart on top. We have a Fogging Skull Pile here. A Howling Spirit, a Darling Dolly. I can see a Skelly back here. Look at this, we got Eternal Rest here. We have another Darling Dolly down here. A Jumping Spider on top. We have the Grave Watcher, a Lil Jack Carver, and two Sitting Scarecrows. Scare very sitting scarecrows. Some more stickers for the cauldron. Hmm, I don't remember how much Little Jack Carver is, but he's one that I'm very tempted to get as well. 169. Should I buy him today? If I buy him, I have to find somewhere to put him in the RV. All right, I'm gonna stick to the small stuff for the moment. All right, let's venture over to this side of the store. Here's that banana hat. Remember the one year I saw Grim wearing the banana hat? That was pretty dang funny. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have a frog hat. What the heck? That would be hilarious on Grimm. How much is he? $12.99 for the frog hat. And how much is the banana hat? The banana hat is also $12.99. I just might have to get this specifically for Grimm. I think he deserves a gift. Uh-oh, guys. I see sidesteppers. Do they have the one I'm looking for? Let's take a look. They have a Sam. They have a Lydia. What was that I said about the music? They have Spiky and Slim. They even have Billy Butcherson and Frankenstein. But no ghost face. Unless he's tucked around one of these corners here. I see the Sam sitting dolls. They have three good guys, Chuckies. That's cool. They have an Anna Ball. Look at this. They have Billy Butcherson's head. <laughs> They do have the ghost face statue. They have the little light up ghost face. They have these Michael Myers statues, which are totally awesome. I love these things. They have Adam and Barbara and the Beetlejuice snake. And of course they have the Zagnut. I could go for a Zagnut right now. Oh, look at this. They have more zombie babies over here and more inflatables over here. They have stuff like scattered throughout this whole store. They have two of the Sam Tiny Terrors. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen these. Harry Potter sweatshirts yet. They have Gryffindor and Slytherin over here. I love how there's a little snake right on the collar. They have Gryffindor back here too. Oh, that's just a cardigan. I would love to get this Burt kit and put it on Grimm. I think Grimm also needs this cat in a hat hat. $14.99. That's something I definitely want to pick up eventually. All right, let's check out these bobbleheads quick. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Look at this. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas backpack. This is probably my favorite backpack I've seen this whole season. That is sweet. I don't see any bobbleheads that we haven't seen before, but this is cool. A Halloween 2 lunchbox. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, and they have the Chucky Good Guys lunchbox too. We'll leave a couple of stickers right there. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm too cool for the inflatable. Oh man, I am hungry. Pizza. 
Hot dog. Banana? No, thank you. But speaking of banana, I think we'll go ahead and come back here and get Grim his banana hat. <laughs> She's wearing a crown. If she jumps forward, I can almost guarantee that crown's flying off. Let's see if she works. Okay, here we go, here we go. Watch out for the crown. Watch out for the crown. All right, guys, we are still in Wichita, Kansas. Right now, we are at the Town West Square Mall, where I can actually see straight through these doors here that there is a Spirit Halloween awaiting us. It's been a while since I've been to a Spirit Halloween inside a mall, and guys, look at this. How fun is this? That there's even a little this thing out here that has the word fun on it. Will we have fun in the spirit Halloween? Why, yes, you will. <laughs> in fact, let's leave a few stickers right here on the seat for a lucky someone who wants to ride on the fun dog. But before we go in, I'll show you this one thing here, guys. And that one thing is an abandoned Spencer's Gifts. Spencer's actually owns Spirit Halloween. Look at this. This used to be a Spencer's Gifts, and now it's not. Okay, let's go ahead in, guys, and look at this. Front and center, we have the Martian. Look at this guy. He's already going. He is pretty dang awesome. I'm hearing people saying that they're having some trouble with the gun, though, and there are no parts available to actually fix it. It's a new prop, but there are no parts available to fix it when something's wrong. But he is awesome, and I will probably end up buying him this season at some point. All right, let's come on over and see who's over here. It's the Widow. <laughs> she actually cracked her neck. Remember in the last store we were in, she did not crack her neck. She made the sound, but her neck did not officially crack. <laughs> I love how the sounds of the Martian just keep going on and on and on. All right, let's go on in here with our spooky candles, our spooky fabric of death, and this guy. So apparently Dagger Mike is not working, or is he tricking us? Because he has his daggers out. He's ready to shove them into our jugulars. Wait a minute. One of them's already gone. Maybe that one's stuck inside somebody's jugular and he left it there. We do have the spooky, scary, sitting scarecrow. Wait a minute, look, there's actually a rat in there. <laughs> you tried to scare me with a spooky rat. And for that, I'll give you some stickers. Let's say hello to poor George before we move on. Okay, good enough. All right, let's move on to Slim Jim over here. Hello, Slim Jim with Mickey Mouse hands. He actually went up and then down. All right, let's move on, guys. Let's see what all else they have in this store. I know there's a couple things that I am personally looking for, but we're gonna go back here and see what we can see. Just see if anything catches our eye as we walk by and look at this. It's the South Park towely costume. Oh, they do have some tiny terrors. We have Leatherface here, which is, in my opinion, the best looking tiny terror, even though I love the ghost face just as much. And then, of course, we have Sam. We have plenty of zombie babies here, every one of them waiting to be adopted. Just make sure when you sign the adoption papers, you don't read them wrong with your one eye. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. Look at this. We have four good guys here. How cool is that? We got a Sam sitting doll. In fact, we have three. We have an Anna ball here. We have another Anna ball here. We have the Leatherface statue. Ooh, and this one's working. <laughs> that is pretty dang cool. Ooh, that is pretty scary, actually. We have the light up popcorn clown statues here. Oh, here's a wreath I haven't seen. The killer clowns from outer space wreath. And holy crap, look at all these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale right here, right now. They have two Leatherface. They have a Desmodus over here. They have three stilts 
aka Papa Pins, they have two Mars Attacks Martian Warriors, two Howling Spirits, and on the other side we have two Sandworm Groundbreakers. Is there something else down here in between? Oh, it's another stilts back there. You always gotta look in between the piles because there's always someone hiding in there. All right, let's make our way over here, guys. They have all these animatronics set up over here, including Desmodus, which I'm gonna be surprised if he actually works in here as well. This will be the second store in a row. Let's check him out. Is he gonna work? No? Hmm, okay. So he's not working, and I almost said surprisingly but it's not surprising. Hello, Lord Farquaad. We do have a whole bunch of other animatronics though here on the floor. Look at this, guys. We have a widow here. We have a Mr. Punchy who's just dying to get out and say some bad words. We have a Calderness. Holy crap, guys, this is the first store that I've been in that I've actually seen the Cauldroness. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. We have a little Jack Carver over here, a black heart hiding behind this pole. Over here, we have a straw man. In fact, we have two straw mans. We have two Bubbas, a scary sitting scarecrow, two regular sitting scarecrows, and a nozzles. We got a hot nozzles down there. All right, let's come on over here and see what else we have. We have the spooky tree, of course. We have this gargoyle guy. Will he work? Guys, please tell me, why does the gargoyle guy not work in most of the stores? We barely have spooky sounds. Like, I can just hardly hear spooky sounds happening in the background. But at least we do have the flickering lights here, which are cool. And then we have this chick. Oh my gosh, look. She's wearing a crown. If she jumps forward, I can almost guarantee that crown's flying off. Let's see if she works. Okay, here we go, here we go. Watch out for the crown. Watch out for the crown. Ooh! <laughs> I am so surprised that that crown did not fly off of there. Oh my gosh, how crazy. I was so ready for that thing to fly off and stick in my eyeball socket. We have the eternal rest, but apparently she's not on either. What in the world is happening in here? We have Gordo, who is munching on a two-headed snake skeleton. Come on, Gordo, here we go. Here we go. All right. And you guys tell me, that to me sounds like a cat screeching when the head pops up. Is it a cat? Or does it just sound like a cat? Here's some stickers. We have the black heart over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the night. That's actually one of the loudest ones I've seen in the stores, guys. It could be because they don't have the music in here very loud, but that was very cool. Let's get little Skelly Bones going. I know I hear you. We're coming. Come on, Skelly. Come on. Yeah. You gotta love Skelly Bones. And you gotta love this little chick over here watching over the graves, whispering sweet nothings. And, of course, we have the jumping spider behind the door. Come on now. There he goes. Now, in my personal opinion, he jumps a little bit too fast for being behind the doors. Because once you figure out that you're supposed to do this thing over here, then you're paying attention to this here, and the doors come open and you're like, oh, what's going on? And then he jumps as you're making your way over. Kind of kills the scare factor there. All right, let's take a walk back here and just kind of take one more look at things to see if there's anything that pops out here. I do want to make my way over and try to find... Oh, look at this, guys. We have a Uncle Charlie doll here. How cool. You gotta love Uncle Charlie. And we're gonna take it right back to the roots and leave some stickers for Uncle Charlie. Anyways, like I was saying, I do wanna... Who wants the ham hock? I do wanna go find the, uh, the side steppers if they have any in here. I haven't seen them yet, but let's take a look around. I'm looking for the ghost face side stepper. And I also believe that there is a Chucky side stepper, which I also have not seen yet. Hmm, we're coming up short. I'm not seeing any side steppers anywhere yet. Maybe I just haven't found that section yet. We have all these plush guys. We have the bobbleheads here. Where in the heck are the side steppers? 
Sidesteppers, where are you? I can't find you. Michael, have you seen the Sidesteppers? I guess not. Whoa, look at this sweet beanie though. Halloween, Michael Myers, and I love that orange glow around his head. All right, one more look back here because I may have walked right by them somewhere and not even noticed it. Look at this cool Beetlejuice shirt. I really like that with the green bugs on it. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's not get off track here. We're looking for the sidesteppers. And I do see the Sam sidesteppers, but that is all I am finding in this store. Pretty cool store nonetheless, though. They definitely have a ton of animatronics on the floor ready to be bought. And I'm really, really surprised that they had the cauldroness. <laughs> And I may have got bad information, but I'm pretty sure it's true that being in Salina, Kansas, this is the spirit Halloween that Justin Bieber usually shops at. <laughs> Let's play a game. <laughs> so guys, right now I am in Salina, Kansas at some kind of a mall here. I'm not even sure what it's called because I can't read what's up there. But if you look very closely over there, you can see where there's a bunch of lights from fire trucks. So I hope everybody's okay inside. But it just happens to be right over there in front of the Spirit Halloween. Okay, there we go. We had to go through Dunham Sports to get in here to avoid whatever's going on down there. And, oh yes, I can see it right here, guys. Coming upon the Spirit Halloween. I have no idea what this used to be, and it kind of appears to be a very small store, but we're gonna find out as soon as we get inside. I do like that sign, though. That is pretty dang cool. Okay, maybe it's not a small store. It goes all the way from here, all the way around and back in there. Wouldn't it be cool if you could buy this cart right here? Okay, let's go ahead and start over here, guys, where they have a small display, but they still have a display. Whoa, look at all the animatronics they got right here, guys. We'll come back to those in a second, but let's talk to the widow first. Hello, the widow, what the heck is she doing? Okay. Okay, so she cracked her neck, but she must be on the fritz here a little bit, because watch this. She just kind of keeps moving. <laughs> Guys, she even did it again after I was standing here for a minute. She just kind of went like this. Like, man, that really did hurt. All right, they got poor George set up over here. Let's go ahead and get him going just because he's here. I know, sir. I hear you. You're very loud. You're kind of obnoxious. We're going to call it a date on you, sir. They have the straw man set up over here. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get him going. Come on, straw man. Did you know that this land? He just kind of jammed in there. He doesn't really fit right. And look, it's burning his elbow. Like, what if when he activated, he actually said, It's burning my elbow! All right, let's come on over here and see if we can get Gordo going. Come on, Gordo. Here we go. He's not lighting up very well. He popped up good, but he's not lighting up very much, if at all. Sorry I'm not so hyped up in this store, guys. I'm kind of worried about whatever happened outside with those fire trucks. But I don't want to go out and get in their way and find out, so let's just go ahead and continue with our tour. Look at all these awesome animatronics here, guys. Look, we have two eternal rests. We have two leather faces here. It looks like we have, okay, hold on. We have two little skelly bones and at least two or three dagger mics down there on the bottom we have a widow on the top here we have three darling is it three two darling dollies here we have a young crouchy on the top here we have two stilts we have one two three man's possessed friends two howling spirits a desmodus at least one slim okay we have two slims we have a black heart we have a straw man peeking out from behind the black heart two grave watchers two sitting scarecrows and six jumping spiders i feel bad for gordo because his light's not working so let's go 
go ahead and leave some stickers. I do see we have some pumpkin stacks over here. We have this guy who I believe, does he shake? Yes, he shakes and he lights up. He is actually pretty cool. Okay, and then I see we have the hook eye guy, we have the hook head hog, and we have plenty, a whole plethora of the ham hocks. We have these guys down here who seriously need the Aquafresh and Tic Tacs. And we have all these ghoulies watching over the store. Look at this, we have Leatherface and Pennywise and Ghostface here. It's very strange that the only one they don't have is Sam. Usually I go into these stores and I see where they have like two, three, or even four Sams and nobody else. Do you know where Sam went? Hello, rat. Hello, creeping cats. They have all these dolls. They have some babies here. Actually, they have a pretty good selection of babies but I'm waiting to get into a store and see some babies that I haven't seen. Like some that have been stowed behind the scenes for a while that they forgot about, and then they just went ahead and put them out. Like, you remember the one that has the hands like this, and you can hang him on something, and he swings? I'm totally regretting not buying that guy when I saw him last year. A lot of people are loving these haunted mansion masks, and those are black light reactive. I was thinking maybe they would glow in the dark, but I don't think they do. I think it's just that you have to have a black light going. All right, let's go ahead down here and go around the corner. Wait a minute. Here we have Empty Soul Girl, Empty Soul Girl, and singing, swinging, which she's not si Are you singing, miss? Sometimes, but not today. All right, let's continue out here, guys, and see what's in this other room here. It appears to be tons of costumes. Wow, this is a much bigger store than what I thought. Here's all the headstones here, the cemetery gates and fences. We have all the inflatables over here. More jumping spiders, of course. We have the five foot collapsible coffin over here. Lots of spider webs, biohazard tape, fresh grave tape, warning tape. This is one of the coolest things right here, a bloody body bag. That is awesome. Lots of different pathway markers. We got the creepy lanterns up here. The bumpy, spooky pumpkins up there. We have the four-piece jack-o'-lantern pathway markers here. Those guys are pretty awesome. They could be louder, though. We have skulls here, decaying zombie groundbreakers, zombie arm pathway markers. These are awesome. I love how they flicker. All right, let's keep on journeying back through here. Oh, look at this. A bunch of people have been asking me about Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, here they are. We have Foxy. We have Freddy. We have Montgomery Gator. We have Glamrock Freddy down here. And that appears to be it, but those are pretty cool anyway. Whoa, look at this. It is a Jason Friday the 13th jersey. I have not seen that 31. What in the world? All right, let's keep on moving. This appears to be all kids' costumes back here. We have the Huggy Wuggy costumes here. Look, they're all Kissy Missy. I don't see one Huggy Muggy in the mix. You cut me real deep, Shrek. You cut me real deep just now. Oh, look at this. This is the best selection of Fall Guys costumes I've seen in any store yet. Look down here. We have the Blue Freeze. We have the Spooky Doodles Inflatable. That may be my favorite one. We have the Chicken Inflatable. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. We have the Orange Aid Inflatable. We have the pink one up there. There. And I think that's it for this section, but that's still more than I've seen in the other stores. It's actually pretty tight through this section here. Let's go ahead and wait a minute. I gotta take it back because there is a Huggy Wuggy. Let's go ahead and keep on moving and make our way to the other side of the store. Some stickers for the cauldron. All right, let's make our way over here. And this appears to be the adult costume section of the store. And look at this. For the adults, all they have in the Fall Guys section is the Skelly Inflatable, which is cool enough, and the Blue Inflatable. I'm very tempted to get this guy right now. $59.99 for that guy. Yeah, it appears that this store is mainly all the costumes and everything else, even though they do have that whole stack of awesome animatronics up front. They just don't have a whole lot set up in here. Or did I miss them with my one eye? All right, somebody asked me to look at the Michael Myers stuff over here, so let's go ahead and take a look. Doesn't look like they have the biggest selection, but they do have the Halloween 1 mask, the Halloween 2 mask, and down here, 
the Halloween 2018. What is up with that fro? That thing looks like it's been through the car wash. All right, somebody knock this down. Let's hang it up. These are some pretty cool socks here. Welcome to Haddonfield. And this guy is not very cool. Barfamet, we call him. And that pretty much brings us back to out here, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the masks, though, real quick, just in case they would happen to have any that I haven't seen anywhere else. And here's one, Skeleton Bat Mask. What the heck is that thing? You gotta love the nighty night mask, and this is the kind that your chin goes right in here, and then he moves with your mouth. That's pretty cool. Hello, Grandma. Oh, we do have the new ghost face mask here, guys. That's a cool one. They also have the chrome mask, the regular one up here, the devil face, which is awesome if it didn't have those horns, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and here's Leatherface's saw. Let's see if it works if I pull the trigger. Yep. Pretty dang cool, that is. Look at this guy. It's called the Chrome Smile Mask. There's a big smile, but no eyes. That is a pretty dang cool mask. I've always loved the chrome-looking ones, the metallic pumpkin mask here, and then over here they have the sinister ghost mask. They have this silver one above, which is the same one. Even the black one looks pretty awesome. And here's another chrome mask, but this one is completely faceless. Oh my gosh, here's these crowns that in one of the stores, you guys have probably seen this video. Yeah, in fact, you have seen this video of mine already. I went in and Darling Dolly was wearing this crown. And when I stepped on the pad to activate her, I totally expected that thing was gonna fly off her head and it didn't. All right, I think I looked at these and I did not go down this aisle here. I'm still on the lookout for those side steppers. I wanna see Chucky and I wanna see Ghostface and I wanna buy the Leatherface one even though I've seen him in a couple of other stores. The only side steppers I'm seeing are the Frankensteins, but we do have the walking zombie hand and the walking bloody hand. These are pretty cool. You literally turn these on, set it on the floor, hit the button, and it walks across the floor. And right above them, we have the Butcher. There's three of these, actually, but none of the other side steppers that I've been looking for. So I think we're going to call it a day in here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get back on the road and move towards the next one. Down the hall here and around the corner is where all that stuff was happening with the fire trucks and that, but I'm not going to go down there. I'm curious, and I want to make sure that everybody's okay, but I'm sure the firemen are doing their job and making sure everybody's okay. Look at this lie. Cut to win. You could win a PS5. Not really. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to take off, but not before we take a quick look at the spooky stuff in this antique store window. Look at how cool this is. Look how faded these blow molds are. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Hello, pumpkin boy. <laughs> They have three Chucky Good Guys, four Annabelles, four sitting Sam dolls, all these awesome pictures. Oh my gosh, they even have the Jeepers Creepers license plate. That is awesome. Let's play a game. All right, guys, today we are here at the grand opening of this Spirit Halloween in Wichita, Kansas, which just so happens to be the third Spirit Halloween I have filmed in Wichita, Kansas. And it makes sense that the sign looks like it's on fire because it is burning hot out here. I'm not even kidding. It is like 105 degrees and I can't stand it. So why am I still standing here? Why am I not in a store? Why do I look like that sign right now? Like I'm burning my face off. I don't know. So let's go ahead in. Look at the size of that sign, guys. Seriously, last night the website said that this store was not yet open, but today it is. They are still setting some stuff up, guys, but we are going to start this exploration with Papa Pins. Check this guy out. He's got the blue hair and everything, and he is full on ready to go play bingo. In fact, if we come this way, I know for sure 100% positive that we will find the mask section. And this guy right here, the bingo buddy. But to continue up front, we have to say hello to the <laughs> widow. And Mr. Slim.
and the fiery gargoyles of death. And we'll give some stickers to the sitting scarecrow. Hello, Mr. Grimhand. <laughs> Hello, Fabric of Death. And holy crap, guys, look at all the animatronics stacked up here on the floor. Let's take a look at what they have. They have two scary sitting scarecrows, a dagger mic, a black heart, a little skelly bones, a slim, a the widow, three regular sitting scarecrows, at least three bubbas down there. We got stilts, aka papa pins. We have two tombstones of terror. What the heck? No, we have four tombstones of terror sitting right on top, eternal rest. And we have the Howling Spirit, Desmodus, we have the Grave Watcher, poor George, a straw man. We have another little skelly bone sitting on top of Gordo, a darling dolly, and look at this, we actually have a Monty in this store, as well as one more skelly bones. Wowza, that is a pretty impressive pile right there, guys. There's a whole plethora of jumping spiders. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is pretty dang stocked since they just opened. Check out all the zombie babies. I'm eating a pumpkin. I'm eating a hand. I'm eating spiders. I'm eating rats. I'm eating cockroaches. I'm eating moths. And I'm praying for everyone who's eating gross bugs. And look at this, guys. Having just opened, they have all four of the tiny terrors. We have Ghostface, we have Sam, we have Leatherface, and we have Pennywise. All the awesome statues, including the Leatherface statues. They have the burlap oogie boogie and the green oogie boogie with the dice and the bugs in his teeth. These are some pretty sweet pictures here. I think I've seen them all except for the Bride of Frankenstein. That's awesome. Nightmare Before Christmas wave motion. That's pretty cool. That's another projector that projects the picture up onto your house. They have three Chucky Good Guys, four Annabelles, four Sitting Sam dolls. All these awesome pictures. Oh my gosh, they even have the Jeepers Creepers license plate. That is awesome. And look at this. I found some awesome sidesteppers. They have Lydia. They have Leatherface. They have Pennywise. They have Sam. They have Spiky and Slim down there as well. But I don't see Ghostface. So many awesome door covers and flags. Sunglasses, anyone? Tons of Hocus Pocus. Tons of Beetlejuice. Even more Hocus Pocus. Tons of awesome fortune teller stuff over here. We have the Skella lovers. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, but this is sweet. Beetlejuice Monopoly. They got the Crouchy plushies. All the awesome bobbleheads. All the awesome doormats. All the awesome dog costumes. And all the awesome mini plushes. Look, we have Sonic and Super Sonic and Knuckles. We even have Freddy and Pennywise and Jason. All the awesome backpacks. I think this is only the second time I've seen this one. This is probably my favorite out of them all. Sorry, Mr. Ghostface. And look at this, having just opened, they have all the VHS cases, Corpse Bride, Harry Potter, It, Trick or Treat, Halloween 2, and The Killer Clowns. Which also means that every one of these bag clips is a brand new, untouched case that was just open. That means I'm gonna buy this one right here. Series 2 of the Spirit Halloween figural bag clips. What in the world? Look at this awesome E.T. bag right here, guys. That is sweet. I've never seen that before. This is basically like being at flagship on the first day, only nobody is here. I know, that doesn't sound good at all. Look at this. All the inflatables are stocked and untouched. These masks are all completely unworn by tiny little children ravaging the store. What do you think about that, sir? All right, guys, one more look over here real quick because I am about to take off before all the little terrorist children come running through here and buying up every single thing that they love about Halloween. We have Slytherin and Gryffindor, and they are also stocked with all the awesome ghost face stuff, including the ghost face aged mask. So very cool. And with that, we say goodbye to the ooh -hoo, Wichita woman. Here we go.
goes, Look, oh my god! Let's play a game. All right, guys, this is a little bit cray cray. First off, we are in Colorado Springs at a place called Citadel Crossing at this Spirit Halloween, and I don't remember what it used to be. But this place is officially taking my breath away, not only because we are at 7,000 feet elevation, but because behind me are these gorgeous mountains. What in the world you Colorado nights get to wake up to every single morning? <laughs> Maybe it's actually called Colorado because those are seriously rad. But aside from the awesome mountains, I am so excited to be going into this spirit Halloween right here and see what kind of awesome Halloweeniness Colorado Springs has to offer. I can't even talk straight because I can't breathe out here. It's like there's an elephant on my chest. What the heck? And there's a lock on the door. Are they even open? Thank you, Mr. Loud Truck. Okay, they are open. Let's go ahead in. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath again. All right, guys, I am excited. This looks like a pretty dang big store. But the first thing I notice is, look at Papa Pins. Why is he so short? He's supposed to be like super tall, but his legs are, I don't know, just bent maybe lower to the ground or something because he's so hunched over look at him this is hilarious excuse me sir i think there are bathrooms for that type of thing let's go ahead and get him going but let's hope that everything's okay i don't see any poop emojis anywhere so i think we should be all right that just totally cracks me up how he's so short he's literally like at least a foot or two shorter than he should be then we have miss leatherface over here let's go ahead and check her out Okay, sir, good job. It's so funny because all of them, as they move, they move themselves closer and closer to the spooky trees. I'm actually kind of surprised that his hair is not getting caught in a spooky branch. Speaking of spooky, we have the Martian warrior over here. And yes, we are going, oh, look at this. Look at this, guys, it's actually working. The first store I've been in, where the fog or the spray, whatever you want to call it, is actually working. How cool is that? Look at that. That is so awesome. It's so awesome that I don't even remember what I started to say before I turned them on. I think what I was saying is that we were going to check these guys out and then we were going to go check out the rest of the store because it's so awesome. In fact, guys, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the store first. Then we'll come back to the animatronics because we've seen them all before and we do want to say hello, but we're going to come back and do that in a minute. So let's go ahead and look. Look at this. They have four Bubba's on the floor for sale right here. And it's funny because the store literally just opened today, I mean like five minutes ago, and there was already people walking out with animatronics. We have a whole stack of jumping sp- What in the heck? Excuse me, sir, I cannot believe you are here invading my space. It's the heck spawn. Guys, I think this is the first store I have seen him set up in aside from the flagship store. Holy crap. Look at the face on this guy. He is way too evil for me. No thank you. No thank you. But I do want to see you in action, so let's go ahead and get you going here. Uh-oh. Here he goes. Look oh my god! Guys! <laughs> That was absolutely insane. As you know, he is on Mr. Dark's frame and mechanism, but I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a Mr. Dark jump that high and that hard. That was absolutely insane. Whew. Guys, I can't even breathe. I can't breathe in here. Thank you, Colorado, for being so high in the mountains. And then you bring this guy over to my house and expect me to be able to breathe. Hello, sir. I don't like you, but you'll make a good thumbnail. Man, he takes a long time to go down, too. Look at that. Down, down, down. Right where he belongs. All right, we just got to do that again. That was crazy. Watch this. Watch. That guy is absolutely insane. I could stand here all day doing that because he's so nuts. Whoa, he actually said something. I didn't know he actually speaks. Sir, you can go right back to where you belong. Where's that singing angel? 
All right, let's leave some stickers for the hex spawn. All right, you guys are gonna have to tell me what he says, because I've been standing here doing this over and over and over, and I still can't understand a word he's saying. Now that I was thrown completely off track by that devil, let's keep on moving here and just see what else they have in this store, guys. Don't worry, we're coming back to look at the rest. Look at this, they have a whole plethora of zombie babies, including this one that I have yet to see. What in the heck is this? He looks malnutritioned. Maybe that's why he's got that look on his face. All he wants is a bottle. His name is Slay Time, and look, it's printed on his butt. What the heck? Is that a new thing? Are they printing all the names on the butts? They are. What in the world? I don't remember seeing that before. See, yeah, it's not on the older ones. Here you are. Where were you when I needed you? What the heck? I think I upset him because his eyes flashed at me. What the... He's not even talking or doing anything else, but his eyes are flashing when I get near. Maybe he's evil. Or it could just be the sensor right there on his belly button. Okay, go back to singing, sir. Guys, what the heck? This store is absolutely stocked with animatronics. Look at all these. Look at this, they got Emmeline here. They have a whole bunch of sitting scarecrows. It looks like some of them are scary, some of them are regular. They have a little skelly bones over here. Three of them. They have an empty soul girl on a swing. One, two, three poor Georges at least. They got a young Crouchy down here. They got a The Widow on the bottom. Another poor George. Two Mr. Punchies. Watch out, he's gonna say some bad words. Holy crap, look at this, guys. They have four Howling Spirits and four Desmodises. That is unheard of. Look at this, hiding behind the coffin. They have two Eternal Rests. And they even have more over here. Look at this, we have two Straw Mans over here. On the other side, we have a leather face right here. Two Papa Pins. I wonder if they're short. One, two, three, four Black Hearts. Another Emmeline. I'll tell you what, guys. This must be a busy area for Halloween because this is like one out of four Spirit Halloween stores that are just right in the vicinity here. Side steppers, do they have my ghost face? All I see is Sam's and Frankenstein's right there. Let's see. I don't see any of our, what the heck? Chucky Jack in the Box statue, look. How cool is this? Does he do anything other than just make sounds? I don't even see him like lighting up or anything. He's cool looking, but dang, I wish he did something. All right, let's see. They have a bunch of good guys Chuckies. Well, three of them. They have some Sam sitting dolls, stuffed dummy props. I do not see any Glens, which is what everybody seems to be looking for. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, let's go over and look at the rest of these animatronics before we do anything else, and then we'll keep moving. Which shall we do first? How about this guy, Gordo? Hello, Gordo. Eh, he's flashing. He doesn't seem to be lighting up as much as some of the other ones that I've seen. He's so awesome. I'm so glad I bought him and I have him at home waiting for me to set him up. We have the Eternal Rest. Let's see if she has an eternally spinning head. Hmm. Is she working? I don't hear her crying. She must not be working. Of course, we do have this chick right here. Let's see if we can get her going. Come on now. I don't... I hear so I <laughs> Her eyes didn't light up. Why in the world would she trick me? Ma'am, you must like being grounded. I'm taking your iPad again. Guys, I crack myself up with the sounds I make when I get scared. She jumped at me and I was like, I <laughs> All right, let's see if the howling spirit, we don't have a step pad here, but let's see if he's on at all. No, apparently not. He does look cool up there though. Here's the gargoyle. Will you work, Mr. Gargoyle? I guess not. Okay, we have Here Lies Lord Farquaad. Let's keep on moving through here. I do love how there are so many sounds going on in this store right now. Oh, look at this. Desmodus is 50% off because he's not working, so they're just saying he's a static prop. We do have the Grave Watcher over here going crazy. We do have Skelly Bones. Let's see if he'll work. Okay, here he goes. He's gonna work. Come on now, Skelly. Funny how he's already looking up at us. And this is something else I noticed. All of the step pads say eternally unrested. Look at that, one, two, this one, this one over here. Let's see if the, yep, both of these are the same thing. How funny is that? Even Gordo. All right, let's do our jumping spider here. Come on now, Spidey, come on. Spidey? Come on now, Spidey. His spider sense must not be tingling. Okay, let's go on over here and do the black heart. Come on, Mr. Blackheart. 
Come on, here we go. Okay, we can barely hear him, but he's working. All right, they got a bunch of stuff they're still unboxing over here. Look at this, guys. They are so stocked. Why, hello. What do you have to say about all this? Nothing? Fine. We have scabs on the bottom and carrot right above. Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. They are completely stocked with their uh, inflatables. Whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, two of them that I have not seen yet in the stores. First one is the 12 foot Pennywise. Oh my gosh, that is heavy. Look at that guy. He is huge. And then the 12 foot Jumbo. I haven't seen him in any other stores either. He is enormous. All right, let's see how much Pennywise is. $179 for Pennywise. Um, $179 for Jumbo. Man, all three of those are totally awesome. All four if you're including the awesome snake. But I don't feel like spending that kind of money today. The snake is a little less. He's $149. I didn't even think I have a 20% off coupon though. All right, I'll think about that. Let's come on over here. Well, look at this. We have four skull stacks here. We have four of the Scully pumpkins. One pumpkin stack. What do we have over here? We have hookhead hogs. We have a whole bunch of hookhead hogs. We got a whole bunch of ham hocks for sale. Did I already buy the ham hock? I'm pretty sure I bought a ham hock in the last store I was at. Yeah, guys, they are stocked with so much stuff. I just, I can't believe how many animatronics they have. All right, I'm back here over at Poor George trying to decide if I want to buy him today. I did find a 20% off coupon. Or do I want an inflatable? I don't know. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about this one, guys. Meanwhile, let's go ahead back through here and just see if there's anything totally awesome over here. I mean, it's all totally awesome. And I know everybody wants me to look at everything in the stores. You're always suggesting stuff. Did you guys just hear me snort? I went, hello, kissy missy. I'll tell you what, guys, I've already been in here for a long time today. Let's go ahead over here and just finish saying hi to these animatronics. And then I will look at costumes in the next store. Hello, Slim with the Mickey Mouse hands. Hello, the widow. <laughs> hello, scary sitting scarecrow. Oh, hello, Dagger Mike, but it looks like he's not even hooked up. He doesn't even have a step pad that says eternal rest. And I believe we have, no, do we have one more? We've been on this side. Let's go to the other side a minute quick. Yeah, we do. I thought I saw this guy over here. Poor George. Let's go ahead. Wait a minute. Maybe we're not going to go ahead. No sound. Poor George. 20% off. The, the sound is the best part of poor George. He's awesome, but I love how in every store we go in, we can hear him laughing all throughout the entire store. All right, George, we'll leave you some stickers here. And a final goodbye to you, sir. <laughs> And let's put some stickers in the trick-or-treat buckets here before we go. Make sure to check the trick-or-treat buckets. What the heck, guys? Look at this. I'm so jealous right now. I want a three on the side of my Hummer. Yeah, bonus points if you know what that's all about. <laughs> What is this? Oh my God, no way. I am so excited and I'm echoing through this entire place. <laughs> Let's play a game. All right, guys, we are continuing our trek around Colorado Springs. We are in a place called Rampart Village Center to go into this Spirit Halloween back here that used to be a Gold's Gym. In fact, if you look out here by the mountains, you can see the Gold's Gym sign is still up. And guys, let me tell you, those mountains. I just can't get over it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, the entire place is just encirculated with mountains. Is encirculated even a word? I don't know if it is or not, but we're about to go in and encirculate this spirit Halloween. Wait a minute, look right up there. Look at that. Is that a face hidden in the sign of spirit Halloween right there above Jack's hand? 
That's kind of spooky. Okay, let's go ahead and go in. At first I thought maybe they weren't open because this looks so dark over here. Plus, the lift is still here from putting up the sign. But these doors are wide open. Wow, it is like super quiet in here, guys. I feel like I'm walking into an abandoned store I'm not supposed to be in. But look at this. Here's the Gold's Gym sign right on the wall right here. They must still be setting up because I see spirit signs over here and spirit signs over here. Oh, yes. Okay, they are. They are open. I'm not trespassing. I'm not breaking in. Look at the giant Gold's Gym sign in here. In fact, it kind of even smells like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is like one of the greatest places that I've been in that is a spirit now that used to be something else. Because look at this. You can even see pictures on the walls up here from when it was the gym. And this must be like where there was treadmills and stuff like this because they have all the TVs up here. Yeah, I ain't working out, so let's get out of this section. Yeah, they just opened yesterday, guys, at 2 o'clock, and they're still setting up, so they don't have any animatronics set up around this stuff right here. But I do see a whole bunch on the floor. So let's go check these out first. We have fogging skull piles. We have a whole bunch of stuffed dummy props. Look at how many jumping spiders we have here, guys. Holy crap. What is this? Oh my god. No way. It's the Nightmare Harvester plush. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta take a step back. All right, I already can't breathe because there's awesome mountains outside and we're at 7,000 elevation. The last store throws the heck spawn at me and then I walk in here and I see these guys. Look at this, oh my gosh. Okay, right off the bat, there are three plush that I have never seen in these stores before, guys. Holy crap, look, we have the ghost face and these are big too. Look at my hand, look how big it is. Then we have the Nightmare Harvester, which is so awesome. There's no way I can walk out of here today without him. And then we have Michael Myers. What in the world? How cool is that? Whew. I am so excited and I'm echoing through this entire place. <laughs> All right, let's continue over here and see what else we have. We have a leather face front and center. We have at least three slims down here. We have two grave watchers, a mic dagger. We have one, two, three gordos right here. Holy crap, I think I've only seen two in other stores. One, two, at least three poor George. And as you know, I bought him in the last store. One, two, three, four scary sitting scarecrows. We have three eternal rests here. Oh my gosh, there's so much, guys. Look at this. We have three stilts, aka Papa pins. We have three Desmodus over here. We have one, two Howling Spirits over here, two Darling Dollies. Continuing back over to this pile, we have one, two, three, four, probably five Bubba's there. We have three Widows, two more Di Mike Daggers. I almost called him Dyke Magger. And underneath him, we have some little Skelly Bones, which means there's probably at least two of those under there. More sitting scarecrows. One, two, three straw mans right here. Holy crap. And speak of the devil himself. We have one, two hex spawns over here. Three black hearts on top. And another hex spawn over here. What the heck? I'm gonna have to sit down. Is there a lounge area in here? Whoa, there's not, but there is an enormous fan. <laughs> That thing actually kind of scared me because I was talking like this and I put the camera down and I saw it. I thought it was the Mind Flayer from Stranger Things. Okay, oh my gosh, guys, I'm like so excited in here. There is so much to look at. And I gotta say, it's actually kind of cool to see this stuff not set up yet. Especially looking back here, like this looks so haunted and spooky. Let's just take a walk back here where they have part two that they are working on. And it just looks like an abandoned building. Oh my gosh, it's so spooky. They have the singing angels, the candelabras, the fogging skull piles. I see some secret keeping cats over here, the creeping cats. I see carrot. I see scabs, best friends for life, pumpkin stacks, skull stacks, hands, feet, ham hocks, hook head hogs, double face Fred, the hook eye guy, the bad breath twins. They need some serious tic tacs. And I love how they have like all their inflatables over here 
on the wall as you usually see them, but if we turn around, they also have a bunch of them stacked up over here on the floor. That is cool and a really awesome setup. They also have the awesome sandworm groundbreaker here. I know, I said we were gonna look at costumes and we are. Let me just look around here for a minute because I am having way too much fun in here, guys. Excuse me, mind flayer, but I've got to take a walk around and see if they have the sidesteppers. Wait a minute, I haven't seen these guys before. The plush from the Corpse Bride, how cool is that? All right, let's keep looking. I wanna see if they have the sidesteppers, the ghost face and the Chucky and the leather face, or at least maybe one of them. Sidesteppers, where are you, sidesteppers? Wow, check it out, guys. They have all the new Tiny Terrors. They have the ghost faces, they have the Sams, they have the leather face and the Pennywise. I mean, I can understand. It is a Tuesday afternoon. They just opened. Nobody even knows they're open yet. So all of this awesome stuff is still here. All the awesome zombie babies. And I saw the singing angels up there somewhere. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Uh, I can't even talk. They don't have one. They don't have two. They have all three of the ones I just mentioned, guys. Leatherface, they have Sam, they have Chucky, and they have Ghostface. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to see this guy in action. All right, let's check him out. He must still have his, yeah. I'm gonna pull this, because I'm gonna buy him if he works right. Come on now, Ugh, I can't even get it out of there. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, for pulling on your butt. Yeah, I can't get any of them out there in there so tight, but how much are these? $32.99 for the ghost face side steppers. I wish I could see them in action. Let's see if any of the Chucky's work. No, they all have their yellow tabs. And Leatherface we saw working in one of the other stores, but let's go ahead and see if he, no, he's got his tab too. I'm sure, yeah, I can see it back there. That is so unbelievable that they actually have three of them in this store, and I haven't even been able to find one in other stores. Well, except for Leatherface. I did find him in one of the other stores. Wouldn't it top it off if they have Glenn over here? Oh my gosh, look, they have Glenn. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the greatest store ever. One, two, three, four, five good guys Chuckies. They have these Chuckies up here. They have one, two, three, four Annabelles, and they have Glenn. And I'm not buying him, guys. If you live in this area or close enough, come down here if you're looking for the Glenn doll, and he will be here. Unless one of the 300,000 people that I'm telling about him right now comes in and buys him first. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I've ever seen this before, the Pennywise stuff. Statue. Yeah. Uh, that is creepy. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited I'm getting a headache. Look at this, they have the Michael Myers and the Scream Knives. Those are awesome. So now the question is, do I buy the ghost face sidestepper that I've been looking everywhere for, or do I buy one of those awesome plush up there like the Nightmare Harvester that I also have not seen anywhere else. I do also want Chucky and Leatherface, but they're gonna have to wait. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get Ghostface on this trip. Okay, and with that in mind, I went ahead and got that yellow tab out of there. Let's see if he works. <laughs> oh. He is so awesome, guys, one more time. So very cool. Okay guys, here's what we're gonna do. I know, I know I just said we were gonna look at the costumes in here, but we have seen so much awesome stuff, including the ghost face sidestepper in which I'm buying, and these three plush in which I'm going to pass up right now and hope that they are in another store very, very soon. We're gonna skip on the costumes right now. Guys, we have so many other stores to see and the entire season to go. So don't get disappointed. I'm still going to more stores today to film. So we are definitely going to be seeing the costumes. Not today, I'm gonna film them today, but you'll see them in a few days. <laughs> But not before you see Wednesday's Headless Doll. All right, and since they're still setting things up, I'm gonna just leave a stack of stickers at the front desk up here. So if you guys come in looking for them, they will be at the front desk. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Hello, eternal rest. What in the world is happening over here? Let's play again. Alright guys, we are at what's called the Chapel Hills Mall. Still in Colorado Springs, Colorado. All I know is that there is apparently a Spirit Halloween somewhere on this lower level. Look at this guys, this reminds me of Century 3 Mall a little bit. Anyways, I am super tired because I just got done stuffing myself with ravioli and breadsticks at the Olive Garden. And speaking of olives, I love Spirit Halloween so much that I'm gonna go in and see what kind of awesomeness they have. Alright guys, so I promised in my last two videos we were gonna look at the costumes, so let's just say hello to Papa Pins. Hello to Leatherface, hello to the Martian, hello to the Hooting Owl, hello to the Scarecrow, hello to Mike Dagger, hello Slim, hello the Widow, and hello George, hello Evil, hello Spooky, hello Gargoyle, oh wait a minute we're stopping because we actually found one that works, holy crap, guys. We haven't seen a working gargoyle in the past, like, six or seven stores. What is up with that? Hello, Dolly. Hello, Eternal Rest. What in the world is happening over here? Hello, Gordo. Hello, Hearty. Hello, Gravy. Hello, Skelly. Hello, Desi. Wait a minute. Is it just me, guys? I thought this was like an anomaly in the other store that I was in, but every single one of these says eternally unrested. Is it like that in all the stores? I thought it was like an accident. And finally, hello Spidey. Oh, Spidey's apparently dead. <laughs> okay guys, look at this. They do have a whole bunch of animatronics on the floor over here for sale, and they have that evil guy. But I promised costumes. So we're going to come back and look at these in just a minute and we'll do that evil guy right there because he's so cool and he's stupid. Okay. <laughs> but first we're going to come over here and we're going to look at some of these costumes because I promised. Starting with this guy right here. Look at this. This is actually a pretty dang awesome Frankenstein mask. And then they have this one, which I kept saying I was going to buy last year. And I just never did. Look at this, we have Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Jacket, the Invisible Man. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. He looks like a mummy. We have a couple of Pennywise masks here. Lots of different kinds of skeleton costumes. And I really like these guys. Look at this. There's the Skeleton King here. Here's a skeleton vest. El Hombre Caravera. I don't even know what that means. Probably skeleton guy. Skeleton romper. Skeleton poncho. Skeleton lady. Skeleton leggings. Bonafide beauty. Look at that one. You gotta love all these Victorian type things. Queen of the underworld down here. We have the Plague Doctor, Victorian Vampire, that's a pretty cool one, Victorian Vampiress. Oh, that's just a cape. Look at this, it's the Blood Sucking Beauty, the Medieval Plague Doctor. This is an awesome Corpse Bride costume right here, I love this. Of course, we always have the Friday the 13th stuff, the Jason Voorhees, the, the Camp Crystal Lake Counselor, the Jason Voorhees dress, the Jason Voorhees jerseys, which, wait a minute, look at this one. Okay, this one says 13 on the back. There were some in another store that had the number 31 on the back and didn't make any sense. We got the Jason Voorhees mask and machete set. Here's a Jason mask, and then here's one down here that's a big rubber mask, and this part actually comes off. We got Freddy's glove here. We got Freddy's mask here. Is this part four? Nightmare on Elm Street 4? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's my favorite Freddy mask right there. Freddy's sweater. Freddy's dress for when he identifies as a chick. <laughs> Freddy's hat. I couldn't help it, guys. Killer clowns from outer space. We got Shorty here. We got Jumbo here. We got the Shorty chick down here. We got Shorty's club. We got some masks here. Spiky. All kinds of awesomeness from Trick or Treat. This is the same mask that I hadn't seen until this year. We got the clown mask, the devil mask. We have Sam suits and other Sam masks, the Holly Ho bar, we have the lollipop, we have the crossbody bag. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is all the Adams Family stuff right here. A bunch of Adams Family costumes, including 
Cousin It, Wednesday Adams, Pugsley, Gomez, Morticia over here. And look at this. We have Wednesday's Headless Doll. And what's even better, look, it's Wednesday's Headless Doll as a crossbody bag. What the heck? It unzips in the back. We got all kinds of Michael Myers costumes here. The jumpsuits. Here's a deluxe Michael Myers suit. Different kinds of masks here. Halloween 1. Whoa, his nose is kind of smashed in. Let's get that out there. Halloween 2. I've pointed this out before, but this is a pretty sweet crossbody bags for those of you who use crossbody bags. We have all the clown costumes down here. Here's the psycho jester. This is a pretty cool one. One. What the heck does that say? I don't even know what it says because it's got that on there, but it looks pretty cool. The creepy clown, the trick, the twisted trickster. I can't even say it. Carver the clown, the slasher clown. Of course, we have Hugs the clown in the creepy mime. We got Wacky Mole down here and Crouchy. We got the freak show clown, the chaos clown. We got a bunch of ghost face outfits here, which I do not see the new one from Scream 6, but they do have the chrome one. That's a pretty cool one. We got all the Chucky stuff over here, the Chucky sweaters, the Chucky overalls. We got Tiffany and the Chucky chick, Chucky's hammer, Chucky's knives. And these are always fun ones here. Look at this. We got the Full Moon Madness, Granny Wolf, Shadow Reaper, Jack the Reaper. Oh my gosh, guys. It's the first time I've seen the Jack the Reaper costume in stores. I kind of think the face is a little off, but it is a cool costume. Fade in and out, Phantom, the Grim Reaper, the Skeleton Bishop, the Barfomet. Oh, look at this one. The Web of Lies. Oh my gosh, guys. They have so many costumes. All right, look at this. We have some X-Men, Rogue, Storm, Gambit, Wolverine, Monsters, Inc. We have Sully for girls, Sully for guys, Mike Wazowski with his one eye. We've got Pokemon costumes. Yes, I called him Pokemon. All kinds of Harry Potter. They have Harry Potter every year, but they add a little bit of something every year. I don't know if I've ever seen this Hufflepuff uniform before. That's actually pretty cool. Step Brothers, Dodgeball, Encanto, Teen Wolf, Willy Wonka Oompa Loompa, Willy Wonka himself, Fiona, Stripe the Gremlin, Shrek the Incredibles, Where's Waldo, Annabelle, Ted Lasso, all kinds of Super Mario. Kind of dark back here in this little cove, so you can't see them very well. We've got Ghostbusters here, Buzz Lightyear, Mr. Potato Head, we got Woody over here, and Jesse the Yodelin Cowgirl, a whole section of Barbie costumes, an even bigger section of the Mystery Machine and Scooby-Doo costumes. We got Shaggy up here. We've got uh, Fred over here. We got Scooby-Doo Union suits down here. Velma, Daphne. Look at this gigantic Scooby-Doo head. It's like a mascot head. And that is a sweet mystery machine up there. Oh my gosh, guys. It's just difficult to show you all the costumes because there are so many. I could literally just stand right here for five minutes and let you look at each and every one. But you're going to have to get up off that couch and go on out to to the Spirit Halloween and check them out for yourself because there are so many. Look at this. I love this one. The Buccaneer Beauty, the Castaway Cutie, Lady of the Seas, Queen of Steam, Steampunk Girl, Steampunk Peasant Dress. Look at this. We got Peter Pan and Captain Hook. I think those must be new for this year. King of Egypt, Roman Gladiator, Apollo, Poseidon, Queen of the Nile, Serpent Queen, and Cleopatra. Rogue Pirate, Pirate Pillager. We got a hippie here, which is kind of strange because the first spirit that I filmed today, there were a couple of hippies in the parking lot just sitting in a chair by their van. It was weird. I'm pretty sure it was this guy. They got all the Teletubbies, Poe, Lala, Tinky Winky, and Dipsy. Oh, look at this, guys. They have the Powerpuff Girls Bubbles. Blossom and Buttercup, but no Mojo Jojo! All kinds of different types of scarecrows. And look at these. They have a cheerleader, a knockout kit, a runaway red, an angel kit, a little red, a big bad wolf, a heavenly angel, a barnyard babe, and the flaming hot Cheetos. And as we come around this bend, it's all the costumes that are like inflatable, like the big inflatable chicken, the inflatable rubber chicken, the inflatable bull rider, 
the inflatable alien pick-me-up. Wait a minute, is he inflatable? Yes, he is. The inflatable dinosaur. And even the inflatable banana. You got me real deep just now. And for the hungry guys at the party, we have the hot dog with the works, the banana, the pizza, the pickle, and the noodle cup. And then we have the party pooper. These Fall Guys costumes are some of my favorite this year, guys. Look at this. This one is called Skelly. This one's called Spooky Doodles. This one's pink, and this one's blue. And there's even socks to match. Look at this. There's Flintstones, Fred, and Wilma, Barney, and Betty Rubble, and they even have an inflatable Dino. That is awesome. All right, guys, that is about it for the entire adult costume section. Okay, maybe that's not every single one of them, but like I said, I can't just like stand here and show you every single costume because there are literally thousands. But before we go, I do want to take a minute to say hello to all these zombie babies. Look at this. They have so many in this store. Holy crap, guys. And they have the ghost face and the Sam Tiny Terrors. Lots of sinister spirit dolls. And let's get down to looking at all these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale right now. An entire line of them here. So let me take a deep breath here and let's get started. We have the jumping spiders here. We have a slim. We have four of the straw mans here. We have three Desmodus, a whole stack of sitting scarecrows. We have, oh, look at this. This is the inflatables, the 12 foot jumbo. This is only like the second store I've seen those in. We have two Bubba's. We have two of the widows. We have two eternal rests down here, a black heart, two of the calderness. This is the first store I've seen two of them in. We have one, two, three young crouchies a little Jack Carver. In fact, we have three little Jack Carvers. And then over here we have a howling spirit. Now this guy I want. Shall I or shall I not? I think we'll pass for now, but I will definitely get him later. But before we go, I do want to see this evil guy right here. See if we can get him to jump. I don't like him. He's very evil and ugly. There he goes. Did he say welcome to my graveyard? I don't know, you guys tell me. I've been trying to figure out what he says and I can't hear it clear enough. You, sir, are very welcome to go back to heck where you came from, Mr. Hexpawn. Wait, 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 wait. We have a couple of stilts, AKA Papa Pins right up here. And I forgot about these two over here. Two leather faces waiting by the exit. Oh my gosh, guys, look how many secret keeping cats they have. One, two, three down there. Two on top, right next to scabs. We have creeping cats. We have more scabs. We have carrots. And we have the hello rats. Stickers for the cauldron. Hookhead hog, hook eye guy, double head Fred, who wants to buy a ham hock. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. I know that there are several costumes that you guys have been waiting to see that we did not see in the adult section so i will make sure that i hit the kids section in the next store i'm out <laughs>
anything in this whole place. That is absolutely amazing. I guess you'd call this like the courtyard. And yeah, look at this. Like every place has just a basic sized sign on it. This one doesn't even really have a sign. But once you get turned all the way around, you can definitely see the Spirit Halloween. What is up with Jack's face though? He's like missing his whole face. And guys, I almost did. What in the world is happening over there? <laughs> Sounds like a trash truck. Anyways, I almost did not stop to film this. I'm on my way to Albuquerque and I saw that this one was on the way and I just thought, well, I don't know, maybe I'll just get where I'm going. But then I went ahead and decided to pull over and boy am I glad because this has got to be one of the most awesome Spirit Halloween stores I've ever seen. Let's go in. On the door it says they open, what is today? Is today Friday or Saturday? Friday opens at 11, Saturday opens at 10. I don't even know what today is. Okay, so today is Friday. Being out here on the road running around so much, I lose track of what day it is. Today is Friday. We are going in in about five minutes. Okay, the store is officially open, guys. Oh yeah, this is what I like, walking into the spirit Halloween. All right, guys, so this used to be a Nike outlet store, but now, it's a spirit Halloween. Okay, let's first say hello to poor George because we always do him last. Come on, Georgie. Come on, Georgie. All right, I've heard enough of you. Look at this, guys. Right beside George, they have a hex spawn. Hex spawn is starting to show up in more stores now. And look over here. We have a straw man set up. It's always so funny to me when they set the straw man up in this place right here because he's so tall that he's like touching the top of that arch. All right, let's see if we can get him going here. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? Why, I love this time of year with the dead leaves all around us and the darkness wraps around us like a mildewing blanket. He sounds like a celebrity, but I cannot think of who he sounds like. <laughs> All right, guys, we got some other animatronics on the floor here we're going to look at in a second, but look at this. We have Gordo. Let's get Gordo going. Okay, come on now. Come on, Gordo. Yeah, he lights up pretty good. Okay, now that I could definitely hear a lot better than what I can usually hear, and it was definitely a secret-keeping cat that just shrieked. And of course, we have the widow. <laughs> I don't know why, but people seem to like when I cut it off as soon as she starts screaming. Okay, let's see what they have on the floor for sale. We have a slim right here. Over here, like I already pointed out, we have the hex spawn. We got a whole bunch of things over here, guys. We have a Desmodus here. We have the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior, who I definitely want to pick up one day. We have a Darling Dolly over here, who has scared me more than anybody in here this season. Whole stack of jumping spiders here. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. Hello, miss. Over here, we have a Stilts, a.k.a. Papa Pins. I'm undecided whether I want to get Papa Pins or not. I kind of do, but on the other hand, I kind of don't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I crack myself up, guys. I can see all kinds of awesome stuff over here peeking out, but first, let's go ahead back. Here we have a sandworm groundbreaker right here. I saw a guy walking out of a store with that the other day. We have a scary sitting scarecrow on the top. Oh my god, look at this. We have a Lord Farquaad. So many people get mad at me whenever I call Lord Raven Lord Farquaad. But they're just mad because they could never measure up to a great ruler like Lord Farquaad. We have a black heart here. We have an eternal rest here and a stuffed dummy prop. We have a life-size posable skeleton over here and look at this guys. We have an Emmeline over here. We have a howling spirit on this end and a Bubba man's best friend right over here. Speaking of the masks, let's go over here and just take a look and see if there's anything that we haven't seen. And look at this guys. We have seen these before, but I love this creepy rabbit here. Look at this. Hello, sir. Hello. Wait a minute. I don't think I've ever seen this one. The burlap bloody goat mask. That 
is pretty creepy right there. We have the classic Ghostface, the classic Michael Myers, and the classic Freddy Krueger. And you gotta love the vintage masks. These things are so cool. It just takes me back to the day when this is the actual kind of costume that you had to wear. Hello, Mr. Babyhead on a stick. This is a smaller store than some of them that I've been in, guys, but they are totally stocked with just about anything you could need for your Halloween costume goodness. All right, let's come around this way. Let's see, do they have any of these plush blankets that I have not seen yet? I think I've seen them all. I, in fact, I bought that one up there. I own this one as well. I own the bouncy Sam head. Here's a whole bunch more there. I really like the Coraline one, although to be honest, I still have not seen Coraline, guys. How crazy is that? They have the Nightcrawler. They have the Mind Flayer. They have Barbara and Adam. Tons of Beetlejuice and Hocus Pocus stuff. They are just absolutely stocked with costumes. They have these guys. They have these guys spewing their bad breath. The Hookhead Hog, the Hookeye Guy, the Doublehead Fred, and the Ham Hock. We have the Chains of Death. And wait a minute, I see the plush peeking out over here. Yes! Guys, for the first time the other day, I can't even remember. Oh, it was in the store in Colorado that used to be a Gold's Gym that I saw this one for the very first time, the Nightmare Harvester plush. He is so cool. I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy him today. They also have Crouchy. They also have Skelly. They also have Michael Myers. Who is this? Oh, it's Annabelle. I don't think I've seen that one before either. They have Ghostface. They have a couple of different Sam plushes. Wait a minute. What is this? The Hauntleys? Have you guys seen these? 60 minutes of talking, singing, and joking. I have never seen those before. And it says it includes three characters, a vampire, a zombie, and a skeleton. But beside those, we have a Annabelle, we have two sitting Sam dolls, we have a Chucky Greeter, two Grave Watchers. Oh, I wonder why they have those up there instead of with the other animatronics. We have Eerie Emma, Decrepit Haunted Doll, Loving Lilith, De Devilish Desmond, The Monkey Chimes, Demonic Dolly. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I see this one here right now. This is the first store this season that I've seen this one in, guys. Remember last year, this one was all the rage because there was that viral video of the little girl who carried it with her everywhere. They have sinister spirit dolls, creepy girls on a swing, empty girls on a swing, swinging witches. I always accidentally call the swinging witch the singing witch. Look at this, here's a beanie I haven't seen before. Don't hex my vibe. Wait, have I seen that? I may have seen that in one of the other stores. I don't remember. Remember. I definitely have not seen this though. Pumpkin Kigurumi? What the heck is that? It's like a one piece pumpkin suit for dudes. <laughs> All kinds of Michael Myers stuff, all kinds of ghost face stuff, including the chrome mask and the Scream 6 mask and the devil face. All the Chucky stuff. Look at this, they are way stocked on t-shirts right here, guys. I so wish they would bump up the sizes, though. The biggest size is XXL, and they were like a 4 or 5X because I'm a big fat guy. But if they did have my size, I would be buying a few of these shirts today. One of them would be that Sam shirt right there in the spirit logo. Another would be the Ghost Face Movie Club up there. That is a totally awesome shirt. And I love this one. Never accept a ride from strangers. It's a witch on a broom taking away the children. And look at the look on the cat's face. That is absolutely hilarious. Okay, we looked at a lot of the adult costumes the other day. Let's make our way around to the kids' costumes because I know you guys want to see some of the Five Nights at Freddy costumes. And here they are. We have Freddy right here jumpsuit, vest, gloves, and mask. We have the Glamrock Freddy, jumpsuit with shoe covers, vest with shoulder pieces, gloves, and mask. Montgomery Gator jumpsuit with shoe covers, vest, and shoulder pieces. Roxanne Wolf here with a jumpsuit. And then we have a Foxy on the bottom here. Includes jumpsuit, vest, hook, glove, and mask. They have a Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy. And look at this. This is like a Huggy Wuggy 
Backpack, Minions, Scooby-Doo, Zelda, Transformers, Gremlins, Monsters, Inc. with one eye, The Incredibles, Toy Story, The Grinch. Oh my gosh, this one is awesome. It's Big Hero 6 Baymax inflatable costume. No way, they even have a Lord Farquaad costume. Here's some Minecraft. They have Steve, Netherite Armor, The Creeper, The Minecraft, what? Rammer, what is that? Inflatable Squidward, they have the Doodle Bob. Let's see, we have the Inflatable Patrick. Do we have, yes, we have the Inflatable SpongeBob, as well as the Krusty Krab Jacket if you want to deliver a pizza. Of course, they have Chucky and Clowns and Sam and Skeletons and Ghostface and Sonic over here. Look at this. We have Sonic, we have Tails, Shadow on the top there. Ooh, we got all kinds of Pokemon costumes in this section here. Lots of Super Marios over here. And a whole bunch of the Fall Guys over here, including this guy right here. It's a Fall Guys plush. It's a backpack. It's a Fall Guys backpack. Ninja Turtles on the end here. Oh my gosh, guys. Around every crack and crevice and corner, there are more and more costumes. Nightmare Before Christmas. Hocus Pocus. They have some Beetlejuice and Ghostbusters. All kinds of Monster High and Zombie Nurses and Cheerleaders. Draculaura. And of course they get smaller and smaller till we get to the toddlers. Look at this. They have a toddler, Donald Duck, and Minnie Mouse, and a Goofy here. They even have a toddler Skelly Bones costume. That is awesome. Lots of Bluey costumes here, and Toy Story over there. Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at this. It's a mini Oogie Boogie here. Blue's Clues, SpongeBob, Scooby-Doo, Monsters, Inc., Sully, and Mike Wazowski with one eye. Stitch, Thomas the Train, Minions, Doc McStuffins. Guys, they are absolutely stocked in here and they have just about any costume you want. And look at these giant mirrors here as I walk by. It's kind of creepy. Okay, let's go on back up to the front of the store here, guys. We're going to go into this section that we have not looked at yet. Oh my gosh, they have so much stuff over here. Look at this. We have pumpkin stacks and skeleton stacks. We have these pumpkin skele pumpkins. We have sitting Sam's and Annabelle's. We have Chucky's. I do not see any Glenn's, though. Pajamas, dog costumes, bobbleheads. They have the Pennywise statue, Frankenstein sidestepper, Sam sidestepper, Billy Butcher's sidestepper. Oh, they have the creeping cats. They have the secret keeping cats. They have carrot and they have scabs. Oh, hello, rat. Lots of awesome inflatables. And look at this. Here's another one of these things, the Hauntleys. I've just never heard of that. How cool is that? We have a whole plethora of zombie babies over here. In fact, let's go down this aisle here because look who else they have. Ghostface Horror Babies. Sam Horror Babies. All right, guys, that brings us back around to this Nightmare Harvester right here. I definitely have to buy him. He is totally awesome. And look at his little pumpkin. Guys, look at this. I missed these. Behind the counter, we have a young Crouchy. We have a poor George. A little Skelly Bones. A Betty Sharp. What the heck? We have a Betty Sharp. A little Jack Carver. And a Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got the Nightmare Harvester. That was awesome. I love this store right here so much. Look how cool that looks. One more look at it before we go, guys. This is one of my favorite stores that I've been in. It looks so awesome, and everybody in there was so nice. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is this mask? In the last store I talk about how funny I thought the uh, grandma masks are. But look at this one, it's a grandpa. His name is Old Timer, and I gotta say, he kinda looks like me. This is unfair. Let's play a game. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've never been to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And look at this, once again, we are surrounded 
by mountains. What the heck, man, so awesome. It's funny too, because the mountains look completely different from the ones in Colorado, but that's not what we're here to see, guys. This is the Spirit Halloween in an old Burks outlet. This is a pretty cool looking Spirit Halloween. And if you look closely under the sign, you can still see the word outlet as a label scar. Okay, let's go ahead in, guys, and see what the Spirit Halloween in Albuquerque, New Mexico has to offer. Caution, step. Yes, sir. Thank you, automatic doors. Yes, this is an awesome looking store, guys. I cannot wait to get in here and do a little bit of exploring. And look who we have right up front, Mrs. Leatherface. And of course we have Papa Pins. Now this one is as tall as he should be. Remember the store we were in just the other day where there was like something wrong with his legs and he was really short and hunched over? That was very, very strange. And straight through the Spirit Hollow Cemetery arches we have the Martian Warrior. I almost called him the Mountain Warrior, which would make a lot of sense where we're at because there are mountains outside. Excuse me, sir, do you live in those mountains? All right, let's keep on moving on with our journey, guys. All right, let's say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> oh, I heard the crunch and the scream, but her neck did not Break. This is the first time in history when anybody's ever said, I'm sorry your neck did not break. All right, let's go on through, guys. We have Mike Dagger. I know, his name is actually Dagger Mike. I called him Mike Dagger the other day, and people got mad. They got mad. Can you believe it? I know, I can't believe it either, sir. We also have the sitting scarecrow, and look at this. Okay, just watch for a second. Here we go. Oh, it is the scary sitting scarecrow. Every time I come into a spirit, it's different. Sometimes they have the regular one, sometimes they have the scary one, but regardless, I'm going to leave some stickers in his bowl. There's about 20 of them in there. If you come in and find them, don't take them all. Leave some for other people. Oh my gosh, guys, look at poor George. What the heck? He's got to be missing something because something is very strange here. He definitely has earned the name Poor George with that outfit. All right, we got Slim here and okay, hold on a minute. Something is different with Slim as well. Look at his neck. His neck looks like twice as long as it usually is. All right, we got a whole bunch of stuff set up over here, guys, but let's look at some of these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale right here, right now. Like the little skelly bones. There's a Desmodus. We have a Papa Pins over here. This setup is looking pretty good, except for this evil guy. We have a Cauldronus here. We have a Fogging Skull Pile, uh, the Widow. We have another Cauldronus, a Darling Dolly on the bottom, and a Emmeline on the bottom here. So I was asking everybody in a couple of my last videos what it is that he says when he jumps up, because I heard him talking, but I couldn't understand what he was saying because there's so many other sounds around in here. See if we can get him going. Okay, here we go. Now listen. Get out of my graveyard. Okay, that is the first time ever that I've heard him so clearly. And I could clearly tell that he said, get out of my graveyard. Which is honestly, in my opinion, kind of a strange thing for him to say. Wouldn't you think he'd say something about heck or demons or something like that? But he says, get out of my graveyard. Although it does kind of fit the theme because he's set up right here among all these headstones. The unholy remains, L Ripper, Rip, Rip, Eileen Wright, Tomb, Sweet Tomb. We've got bigger ones down here, and look at this one. This one actually has candles. I'll bet you anything those actually light up. All right, let's move on over here to the Howling Spirit and get him going. I love this guy.
and we have the gargoyle guy here. Will he work? Will, what is up with the gargoyle guy? He looks totally cool, even if he didn't do anything. But he is, well, he's not an animatronic, but he does turn on and he makes sounds and his eyes light up. But in most stores, he's not working. All right, people have asked me to look at this right here. The Spirit Hollow Cemetery Mausoleum Row. Now, you'll have to slow this down or freeze it or whatever if you see what you want to see to see how much it is. And these are sold at the end of the season. Man, I can hear the Grave Watcher from over here. She, listen to this. She is so loud for a whispering prop. She is super loud. I love her and I need to pick her up someday. We got the skelly bones over here. Let's get him going. I hear him. I can hear him. Come on. There's the skelly. And the Desmodus is already in mid flight. Whoa, wait a minute. This might, act oh yeah. This goes to Darling Dolly. Here she comes. There she is. Darling Dolly works most of the time, guys. Look at that turkey neck. Makes me want some Thanksgiving dinner. Whoa, I didn't even see all these guys. Holy crap, one of these is going home with me today. First, let's get Gordo going. Look how good he is lit up already. Some of these you see, they're hardly lit up. You gotta love Gordo. I can't wait to get home and set mine up. I'll leave a couple of stickers down here. People always tell me to put them in his mouth, but I'm not gonna do that because it could interfere. Let's say a quick hello to the black heart. Hello to the, oh, there he goes. He is super loud in here. We shall roam among the living. Okay, sounds good. So anyways, guys. <laughs> wow, they are pretty stocked up with everything over here. All right, we'll get to that stuff. First, let's take a look at all this stuff over here, guys. Check this out. We have a Darling Dolly on the bottom. We have a Sitting Scarecrow on top. We have a Black Heart on top over here. And a Sandworm Groundbreaker on the bottom. We have a Howling Spirit and a Hot Nozzles under him. Back over here, we have three eternal rests, another black heart, two straw mans on the bottom there, another eternal rest here right on top of two Emmeline's. We have two little Jack Carvers, two Mr. Punchies down here getting ready to say bad words. We have another little Jack Carver right here on top of the posable skeletons, a little skelly bones, a young Crouchy over here, another young Crouchy over here, and another little jack carver right here but that is not all guys look at this we have two bubba's over here a straw man another straw man two more mr punchies on the bottom oh my gosh look guys they actually have a grim in stock that is the first grim i've seen this entire season in any store we have a howling spirit i almost called him a howling spirit we have a howling spirit another emmeline and who is this the cauldronus over here the Cauldronus is an awesome looking prop. I don't think I would buy her even though I am into that kind of Halloween theme. Wait, look at this. We have even more over here. We have a Leatherface over here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have a Stilts, aka Papa Pins. All right, let's see. These are not animatronics, but they are inflatables. Look at this. They have three of the giant snakes down here. We have a scary clown archway on the top of that pile. Look at this. They have both of the giant killer clowns inflatables the one with all three and then the giant 12 foot jumbo on top of that the 12 foot pennywise right there and two of the 12 foot ghost faces beside him to leave them some stickers and here's all the other inflatables over here most of which we have seen i think this may be the first time i've seen the inflatable skeleton in the store this year oh my gosh guys check this out i have not seen these since the flagship store in new jersey Let's get a close look at these. Look at this. This is a purple pumpkin with a witch hat on. That's pretty cool. It's just a little blow mold. I don't even think it doesn't even light up. Then there's this green one, Wicked Witch of the West. And then there's this pumpkin guy who kind of looks like a scarecrow with a scarecrow hat on. I wish those lit up. Wait a minute. Look, there's more down here. We have a small 
pumpkin skull that's just like one of these that I bought the other day. And then look at this. It's a clown pumpkin. I haven't seen either of these in stores. Here's those Huntley's things that I saw in the last store in, I think it was Santa Fe. 60 minutes talking, singing, joking. It includes three characters, vampire, zombie, and skeleton. So that must be the zombie, that must be the vampire, very strange looking vampire, and here's the skeleton on the other side. And look at this guys, they also have the Jabber and Jacks. These are awesome. These are also the animated 3Ds that just makes a face on the pumpkin. It's like a projector there projects the face, and it has 70 minutes of custom animations. Pumpkin stacks, skeleton stacks, and secret keeping cats. And what is Scabs doing up here among the cats? We have creeping cats, hello rat, and a whole bunch of Carrot. Let's look at Carrot. We haven't looked at Carrot in a few stores. He is so cool. I love Carrot. I actually bought Carrot, and I think he's back at home, maybe? I don't remember. I'm in New Mexico, and Carrot is back home in Ohio. I'm sorry, sir, about your brother. Here's for the cauldron. Man, guys, this store is absolutely stocked. Look at this. We have both of the walking hands, the walking bloody hand, and the walking monster hand. Wait a minute, what is this mask? In the last story, I talk about how funny I thought the uh, grandma masks are. But look at this one. It's a grandpa. His name is Old Timer. And I gotta say, he kind of looks like me. This is unfair. All right, let's make our way back over here because we gotta look at all of these zombie babies. Look at this, guys. Holy crap. I don't think I've been in a store yet this season that has had this many zombie babies. We have the singing baby, we have the mothy baby, we have the rat eating baby, the butt baby, we have the hand eating baby, the cockroach eating baby, the spider biting baby, the crawling baby, the brain eating baby, and this baby who I don't quite understand, but he is very, very creepy looking. And if you guys haven't seen on my other channel, That Naked Guy on Halloween, I opened up an entire case of Spirit Halloween Zombie Baby bag clips. Totally awesome, well worth the money. Whoa, look at this Bates Motel sign. Have I seen this before, guys? Have I ever pointed this out? Is there a button that it can light up? <gasps> Okay, there's a button, but it's not lighting up. That is pretty cool. Oh, I missed a couple of the zombie babies. We have this one right here who's digging into the pumpkin to get the guts and fill her tummy, even though she has a hair spout. We have the Sam horror baby and the ghost face horror baby. Speaking of Sam, let's look at these Sam lights because I usually pass these up, but I like to look at them sometimes. Oh, that's stuck right on the face, but you can see the pumpkin actually lights up inside. That's pretty cool. And then we have this one down here where he's standing by a lamp post and the lamp post actually lights up and then we have this one where the pumpkin lights up as well look what they have they have the chucky side stepper okay. <laughs> that is cool i'm glad he actually talks Wow, he just keeps on going. I wonder if he's on a sensor. Yeah, that's cool that he actually talks. I bought that ghost face one the other day, and I love it, but I wish he said some ghost face phrases. We got the Michael Myers carving the pumpkin. And the ghost face with the spooky pumpkin. Devil door knocker. And the vampire door knocker. Yeah, I did that on purpose. We have some good guys Chuckies over here. We have a couple of Annabelles. We have some sitting Sam dolls here, but I do not see the one that everybody's looking for. All right, let's just come back here and look at these hats for a minute. I did buy the banana hat for Grimm the other day in one of these stores, but they also have a pineapple hat. They have this dinosaur hat, which totally cracks me up. Kind of reminds me of Reptar from Rugrat. They have a beer hat and a pink flamingo hat as well as a rainbow hat. They always have the marshmallow costumes, and I don't know if I've seen this one yet where he's dressed like a skeleton. Is that part of the whole costume? I mean, there's a mask in there. Oh yeah, I guess so. 
that is the whole costume hooded jumpsuit and the mask i don't think i've seen that one before see this is what i love about being in these stores guys when a whole bunch of people start showing up and they get the animatronics going and there's all kinds of halloweeny sounds and stuff so little jack carver now here's the thing this is the problem about buying any of these while i'm out on the road if i buy it and it doesn't work then i have to deal with trying to take it back to a store that is not the store I bought it from, and that just kind of feels a little unfair. Let's leave a few stickers for the zombie babies. Look, guys, I haven't seen these in the stores this year yet. It's the Secret Keeping Binks Kitties. All right, I think I've seen everything I want to see in this store, guys. This is an awesome store. It's huge, and it is completely packed. Wow, one more look at those mountains before I take off, guys. That is unbelievable. So, totally awesome. Good job, Spirit Halloween in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, but they don't have a picture of Freddy on it. It just looks like his sweater. What in the heck is happening over here? Things are getting wild in the Kingman, Arizona store. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys. Kingman, Arizona. I have driven hours and hours and hours <laughs> to get here. Look at this, you can see mountains in the background here as well, and over here. And I have been driving through them all day long, deserts and hills and trees and mountains, and it's been absolutely insane, but it's fun. And we are finally here, Kingland, Arizona, at the Spirit Halloween because Flagstaff was closed. I do not know what this store used to be. It might say online, but at this point, I am so tired from driving. <laughs> I just wanna get in there and see what kind of awesomeness awaits. Okay, I know you guys like to know. So this is a former Stewart's Furniture Store. Maybe that's a local thing because I don't recall that I've ever heard of a Stewart's Furniture Store before, but I can hear the awesomeness from out here. Let's go on in and see what's going on in the Spirit Halloween in Kingman, Arizona. Hello, Kingpin. All right, let's move on over here to Miss Leatherface. Look how his arms are shaped in this one. He's like not even holding the, uh, the chainsaw correctly, but he could still kill you nonetheless. I love how it is pretty busy in here. Oh look, we have a straw man set up over here. Okay, we'll get there in a minute. We have the Martian warrior set up here. Let's see if he has any no, he doesn't have anything coming out his gun, but he is totally awesome. I love the sound of his gun, too. It reminds me of when you're a kid and you're playing, like, Star Wars and you're making the pew-pew sounds. Okay, let's come on up here and see the straw man. We don't want to pass him up, and he looks like I would pass him. like this when the border between worlds grows thin. You never know what is lurking in the shadows or what's behind you. All right, guys, let's keep on moving here. Let's, all right, let's come over here for a second and see this chick, the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> I know, it's so hilarious. <laughs> That's what you get for laughing at me. All right, let's go on in here because I see Dagger Mike. All right, Mike, give me what you got. Dagger Mike is so much better than I ever thought he was going to be. All right, let's keep on moving on. Wait a minute. Let's say hello to the awesome spooky candles, the fabric of death, and the flames of death. Okay, let's say hello to the sitting scarecrow. Is it the scary or the regular? It's the scary. Yes. All right. Let's give him some stickers here. There you go, sir. All right, it looks like they have a whole lot of awesome stuff in here, guys, including this Halloween 2018 mask, which I love. Halloween 2, 
Let's see, they have the plush Michael Myers right here. Awesome Halloween Michael Myers beanie. The awesome Michael Myers sweatshirt. All right, let's keep talking to our animatronic friends. We have Slim over here. It's funny how they've set these in different places instead of just putting them on the ground. All right, Slim, do it, do it, Slim. He's pretty loud in this store. All right, let's get poor George going here. <laughs> All right, let's leave him some stickers here. Wait, I want to take a second here to look one more time at the aged ghost face because I love it so much. They also have a light-up mask and the regular ghost face and this sweet ghost face jersey. All right, let's start making our way through. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so this is Saturday. That's why there's so many people in here today. Let's take a second to look at the awesome plush that they have here. We have a Lydia. We have a Sam. We have a Beetlejuice. We have both the corpse and the corpse bride. <laughs> we have the Crouchy. We have Barbara over here. And we have the burlap Sam on the bottom. Whoa, wait a minute. Have I seen this? Have I looked at this before, guys? The ghost face lunchbox? I don't think I've seen that before. Goob, like let's grab another skateboard and do it again. While I'm over here looking at the awesome spookiness in Kingman, I found this guy and gave him some awesome stickers. Let's see those stickers right there. And if you guys come down to this store, you can find some too. I'm hiding them all over. Okay guys, let's keep on moving here because there is so much to see. What in the heck? Every time I come into a store, I see something I've never seen before. Look at this. It's a Halloween Michael Myers backpack. Holy crap, I can't believe it. How much is it? $79.99. I don't know what's scarier, Michael Myers, or the price of that backpack. I think I would have to break out that 20% coupon if I were gonna buy that guy. And look at this, I don't think I've seen this one either. You're welcome. It's the Jason Friday the 13th backpack. What the heck, they have so many. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, but they don't have a picture of Freddy on it. It just looks like his sweater. What in the heck is happening over here? Things are getting wild in the Kingman, Arizona store. Wait, look at this too. I don't think I've ever seen this. It is a Frankenstein fleece throw. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, let's keep making our way back. We have a ton of jumping spiders as usual. What do we have back here? Anything else that I have not seen yet? Look at this. I don't think I've seen the ghosty cups before. They're like tumblers. And look at this tray. It says, no feet. All right, we got a Miss Argentina plush here. And I also noticed that over here, we have a Miss Argentina door knocker. Oh, all right, let's check it out. You don't have an appointment, do you? You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. Number 54,601, Fern Dock. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is seriously cray cray up in this store today. These kids are going nuts in here. Speaking of kids, look at this plethora waiting to be adopted. We've got the spider biters and the cockroach eater and the pumpkin eater and the singer and Mr. Butts and Mr. Crawlings and Mr. Moth Eater. And let's leave some stickers right there. And we have the brain eater. What do you think about that? <laughs> And let's not forget about the hand eaters. If you are looking to adopt, these are the guys you want to get right here. I mean, heck, if you can't afford groceries, all you have to get is a pumpkin. Wait a minute, look at this. We have a Gordo set up right over here. All right, Gordo, do your stuff. Come on, Gordo. For a minute, I thought he wasn't even gonna jump. Good job, Gordo, good job. You're the best pumpkin in the patch. All right, check this out over here, guys. We have a whole bunch of awesome stuff over here, including the Chucky Jack in the Box. We have Sam sitting dolls. We have one good guy's Chucky in the box. I do not see a Glenn, but if you want Glenn, order it from Spirit, not Spencer's, because for some reason, Spencer's doesn't send a box. I don't know why, but let's leave some stickers right down here. All right, this is a little different setup. Here we got the jumping spider. Here we got Skelly and the Grave Watcher over here. And we have Darling Dolly over here in the middle. Let's go ahead and get the jumping spider going here. Hello, sir. Good job. I'm going to leave you some stickers. All right. And as always, we can hear the Grave Watcher over here going crazy. It looks like Skelly Bones is in frozen animation over here. And of course, we have Darling Dolly. Let's get her going. I already saw her going. Here she comes. She's going to come very close and scare us. 
And we have the black heart over here, and he looks like he's hiding in the corner. Let's see if we can get him going here. Come on now. There he goes. Okay, so I just wanted to hear everything he had to say. In my opinion, he talks way too slow. He should talk a lot faster. He still would be spooky, but you don't stand here waiting like, come on, come on, come on. All right, we have the coffin here. We have all of the inflatables on this side here. Okay, maybe not all, but a whole bunch. And look at these guys. They just scared the crap out of me because I backed into them and they started up on their own. For that, you deserve some stickers. <laughs> oh, Mr. Skellabones. Oh, Jason. Oh, Vintage Vampire. Hello, Mr. Frightened Cow. Oh, Baby Head on a Stick. Hello, Bad Breath. Hello, Hook Head Hog. Hello, Foot on a Rope. Hello, One Ham Hock for Sale. Actually, we have two Ham Hocks for Sale. Would you like a Ham Hock? Do you like a Ham Hock? Would you like a Ham Hock? I think she'd rather have Dead Man's Toes. You've got this skull. And this skull and this skull and this skull oh rat oh scabs hello creeping cat hello carrot oh my gosh guys this store is stocked and has so much awesome stuff like this guy almost forgot to put stickers in the cauldron let's put one there put one in with the heart of death give one to Ghostface. oh and look what i walked past that i didn't even notice guys look at this they have leatherface frankenstein chucky Ghostface and the Sam Sidestepper. I still want to get Chucky. Shall I get him today? Hmm. Okay, not this one. <laughs> he's making sounds, but he's not actually sidestepping. But this one here. Okay, here we go. This one is making sounds and sidestepping. We'll leave this one, but we'll leave a sticker for him. All right, guys, I could stay in here for hours, but I'm going to go ahead and take off. I'm ready to buy my Chucky and get out of here. Okay, wait a minute. I see something else. I think I've decided to put Chucky back because I see something else I want. Oh, it's not Billy Butcherson's head. Oh, yeah, it's going to be one of the things in this hidden pile over here. I didn't even see this stuff when I came in, guys. Look at this. We have a slim, a sitting scarecrow, a poor George, which you guys know I already bought. We have two Bubba's, a scary sitting scarecrow, and look at this, they have a shorty here. Fogging skull pile, straw man, eternal rest on the bottom there. Dagger Mike, Desmodus on the end here. Look at this, I see a Mr. Punchy hiding over here, and look who is hiding down here. Holy crap, guys, it's Reagan. I can't believe that's there right now. I can't believe they don't have it front and center and that somebody hasn't snagged it up yet. Somebody just made a donation. And look at this, we also have a deadly creeper on the bottom here. So I passed up Dagger Mike at the other store, guys. I really want to buy him, but I just don't know if I want to buy him this far from home. I guess I just need to trust that he's going to work fine. All right, Mr. Mike, I've made my decision. You're going to wait for yet another day. I know, I know, I should just go ahead and buy him. But I also spotted this cute little wolf man who would go perfect up in the front window of my RV and ride along with me on all of my travels. Pumpkin bucket, pumpkin bucket, pumpkin bucket. And to finish off our new friend goes right up here with his other friends. Right there will be perfect. And here's how he looks from the outside, traveling along with all the dead carcasses of the bugs. Alright guys, that's it for Kingman, Arizona, the spirit Halloween back here hiding among the trees. That was an awesome store. Make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below and a thumbs up, especially if I saw you in the store today. And look at this, they got all the awesome new statues. We got the Pennywise statue. What the heck is going on over here? People love to come in here and dance the night away. Let's play again. All right, guys, today I am in Henderson, Nevada at this Spirit Halloween, which to my knowledge used to be 
a Kmart. And oh my gosh, do I love me a good Kmart. <laughs> it was actually sold to something else a little while ago, and I honestly can't tell what that is. And I haven't done a whole lot of research online, but all I know and all I care about is that it used to be a Kmart. I was looking to see if there was any other signs or anything on the walls or the parking lot out here that said anything about it being a Kmart, and I don't see anything, so I don't know how long ago it closed down, but anyways, now it's a Spirit Halloween, so let's go on inside. If you guys know what this was that has those letters poking out the top and bottom, let me know. But meanwhile, let's go in and see what they have at Henderson, Nevada Spirit Hallows Eve. Okay, yeah, this is straight up Kmart in here right now. <laughs> here we go. All right, this is a huge store, guys. Nothing set up over here, but look at this. Everybody is going absolutely crazy in here, getting their Halloween spirit on. Guys, you gotta love walking into a spirit Halloween and seeing all the awesome goodness set up. I hear our evil owl hooing at us. So let's go over here and talk to Papa Pins. Come on now, Papa, come on. All right, let's talk to Mrs. Leatherface here. It's so strange, like why is it that on some of them, the chain actually moves and some of them, it doesn't. Excuse me, sir, you're about to knock down the spooky tree. All right, let's keep on moving here because we have the Martian Warrior. I know I go through basically the same thing in every store. We're gonna look at some of this other stuff here, guys, but let's go ahead and get the Martian Warrior started here. I want to see another one that actually has some of the stuff coming out here, but I think I've only seen one, but this guy is super loud. We have a dagger mic right here on the floor for sale. All right, we're gonna check out some of that stuff. But speaking of dagger mic, let's go on in here. He's already extended here, so I don't know if he's gonna do anything. Okay, Mike, he's talking to us. All right, well, he's got his scream going right, but he's already jumped up and in frozen animation. Hello to the candles of death. Hello to the fabric of death. Hello to the flames of death. Hello to the grim arm of death. Guys, I always forget to look up and see the fan up here. I don't know if it catches it right on film, but that is pretty spooky up there. And let's say hello to the sitting scarecrow. Is he scary or not? He's the scary sitting scarecrow, yes. There are some stickers for you. Hello, gargoyle of death. Hello, slim of death. Hello, widow of death. <laughs> All right, let's get the widow going here. Is she gonna work? She's got two step pads. Hmm, okay, widow of death is not working. Maybe she's just, you know, dead. We do have two of the widows on the floor for sale here, though. All right, she may be dead, but we're gonna go and leave her a sticker. Guys, you gotta love the Wednesday doll, the headless Wednesday doll. This is hilarious. If any of you dress up as Wednesday for Halloween and you have this doll, I want you to come over to my Facebook group, That Nate Guys and Gals, and post pictures. All right, let's take a quick walk through the store here, and then we're gonna circle around and see some more animatronics that I saw for sale on the floor. Whoa, look at this. We have the creeping cats. Look at this, guys. They have six. Six creeping cats here. Do you enjoy creeping? Do you enjoy keeping secrets? Oh, there's two more down here keeping secrets as well. And there's two scabs and a carrot. We're gonna put one scabs up here by carrots because they are best friends forever. Let's put some stickers in the cauldrons. Hello, Bone Star Skull. We have two hookhead hogs and four ham hocks for sale. I don't think I've seen four ham hocks in any store yet. So if you're in the market for a ham hock, they got them in Henderson, Nevada. Ugh, they also have bad breath. These are starting to show up in more stores. These uh, clown pumpkins, the skull pumpkins. I've seen these in just about every one, but we also have the purple witch over here, the green witch here, and this pumpkin guy up here. And we have this guy with one eye. 
Hey, we have the hanging tattered girl, the hanging bride doll, and the hanging reaper, as well as the flashing eyes hanging ghost and the hanging pumpkin. I gotta say, for just a plastic face mask, this isn't too bad of a Michael Myers mask. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh, look at this, they have all three of the monster hands. The walking bloody hand, the walking zombie hand, this one's already trying to escape, and the walking monster hands. This is funny, look how chubby those fingers are. I wanna know how many of you have grabbed up the butcher this year. Or the monkey chimes, he's one of my favorites. I bought the butcher. I bought the monkey chimes. Whoa, look at this creepy thing. Burlap bunny mask. Holy crap, I would not want to wake up to that thing at the foot of my bed. First I would be like, oh my god, and then I would run. Okay, let's come on over here and look at these animatronics that are set up over here. But first, let's take a little peek at these guys that are waiting to be adopted. Guys, this year I have not seen any burrito babies. I don't think I've seen one burrito baby in any stores yet. Excuse me, have you seen the burrito babies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the burrito baby? 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 Please, sir, would you pray for our missing burrito baby? Okay, let's come on over here because I keep hearing the howling spirit go off. He must just be on a setting where he just keeps moving because he's howling and howling and howling and howling. Maybe he's howling so much because he's right up against the hex spawn. That's right, hex spawn. I'm talking about you, buddy. All right, let's get him going. Come on, hex spawn. Come on. What the? Hex spawn? Come on, hex spawn. Hex spawn is not working. What the? What the heck, hex spawn? All right, let's check on our hidden jumping spider here. There he is. There you go, buddy. You're working. You should take a hint from the jumping spider. The coils of death. I know, little lady. You're always over here trying to tell me something, and I just never will listen. Look at Skelly Bones just kicking back over here. He's like, yeah, I'm just, you know, hanging out in the graveyard. Wait a minute. Let's see if he's going to do something. He looks weird. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get Gordo going. Come on, Gordo. Ooh, he's flashing, but you can just barely see it. I wonder why some of them do that. They don't light up very much. Now his eyes are lit up pretty dang good. All right, let's leave Gordo some stickers down here. And let's leave a special shiny sticker right there. Eternal Rest apparently is not working again in this store. I think most of these guys are just hanging out, taking a day off. Oh, we do have the Sam Tiny Terror here. I love his lollipop. They have the ghost face statues. They have the Sam statues. Well, at least two different kinds. They have many Many a snow globe, many a light up decor. Ooh, they have the leather face sidestepper and the ghost face sidestepper. Let's see if we can get leather face going here. Yeah, there he goes. He is so cool. Let's get ghost face going here. There you go. Let's get two of them going. There you go. In unison. <laughs> Sitting Sam dolls, Anna balls. Wow, they got lots of good guy Chucky dolls here. And look at this, they got all the awesome new statues. We got the Pennywise statue. What the heck is going on over here? We got the Chucky Jack in the Box statue, the Leatherface statue, and the Popcorn Clown statue. People love to come in here and dance the night away. Here's a Frankenstein picture that I'm not sure I've seen before. That's cool. Look, it says, it's alive, it's alive! Alien Invasion Air. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's come on back up here and take a look at what animatronics they have for sale on the floor. So right here we have one, two sitting scarecrows. We have a scary sitting scarecrow on the top here and another regular sitting scarecrow on the bottom. We have a Bubba right here, uh, Emmeline, another Emmeline right beside the black heart. Wait a minute, look at this, guys. Life-size replica proton pack from Ghostbusters. This is awesome. How much is that? $2.49 for that, but man, that is a good looking replica. We have a Sandworm Groundbreaker and Beetlejuice 2 is coming out very soon. We have a Stilts AKA Papa Pins. We have two Strawmans over here, a Slim and two Young Crouchies, AKA young hairdo. But wait, there's more. We have a slim over here and a leather face. I like this leather face, but I just think his torso is a little bit too big. Wait a minute, what caught my eye but these earrings that are shaped like ghosts and they say 
fab bulas <laughs> all right let's come over here just for a minute because i want to look at this freddy stuff right here it doesn't appear that they have the freddy mask that i like but they do have this awesome supreme edition replica metal glove of freddy's which is pretty dang cool hmm okay this is kind of strange it's is this supposed to be a freddy sweater i think it loosely is but it's it appears to be red and black instead of red and green, and I don't see anything having to do with Nightmare on Elm Street. But they do have the Freddy sweaters over here that are red and green. That's very strange. I haven't seen the giant killer clown's popcorn gun anywhere, but they do have the candy can, the candy corn. Oh my gosh, the candy, the cotton candy gun. I can't even get it straight. <laughs> I think I saw the popcorn gun in like one store. And that was it so far. So here, oh, these are the zombie babies. I thought these were the Series 2 uh, Spirit Animatronic bags. I actually bought a whole box of these, a whole case, and I opened them on my other channel, that Nake Eye on Halloween. So if you want to see the opening of that entire case, you can go over to that channel. But look at this. They have a Series 3 of the Hocus Pocus bag clips. I haven't got these. I think I have Series 2, but I don't have Series 1. I'm going to have to get some of those. Oh, look, they have poor George set up now. When I walked in, they were just working on him. Let's get him going here. All right. I thought he wasn't going to work for a minute. Poor George is so perfect to have in the background at any hunt because all he does is just spin and laugh and it echoes through the entire store. All right, let's look at some of these bobbleheads real quick before we go. They have the Killer Clowns from Outer Space bobblehead here, the baby killer clown coming out of the toilet. They have the Georgie bobblehead with only one arm. They have the Trick or Treat bobblehead and I love this one because it's half his face has been torn off. They have the bag well bobblehead also from trick-or-treat the exorcist coming down the steps backwards the ghost face the pretty woman mask leather face and the silence of the lambs as well as michael myers and michael myers oh and they have an awesome selection of the plush here including the skelly bones and the harvester guys it's always so awesome when i'm in the spirit halloween stores and i'm walking around and i see awesome fans like these guys <laughs> all right let's leave some stickers in the bucket 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 and lastly let's take one more look at these awesome t-shirts over here guys i'm so bummed out that they don't have them in my size but if I were going to buy one today, what is it? What would it be? It would probably be this one right here. Halloween Safety, A Sitter's Guide. The Babysitter with Michael Myers right behind her. Don't you know what happens on Halloween? Yeah, we get candies. Wait a minute, what the heck? Look at this, a crossbody bag I've never seen before. It's scraps from the corpse bride. Okay, you guys tell me which you like better. This Jason mask here or this one here where you can actually remove the face. Yuck. Look at that face. He definitely needs some Tic Tacs. Okay, guys, they didn't have a whole case of the other ones I was looking for, but they do have this horror properties series six i'm gonna get the whole case and i will be opening these on my other channel that nate guy on halloween so make sure you go over there and subscribe i'm gonna go pay for these and make a donation All right, wait a minute. I was just passing by this aisle, and I noticed you can buy a butt. It's literally a fake butt. What the heck? Mom, can I be a butt for Halloween? Let's play again. All right, guys, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, at this Spirit Halloween, right back here in the Las Vegas Premium Outlets. And right over here, I spy with my eye the True Religion Jeans Outlet. I just might have to go there and get some shorts. But anyways, let's go into the Spirit Halloween first, guys, because that is what I have traveled across the country to do. Spirit Halloween, Las Vegas, Nevada, look at those palm trees. All right, let's go on in and see what awesomeness we can find and maybe 
even buy. Look at this, guys. They have the donation stars right when you walk in the door, right on these posts on both sides. They are all along the bottom here and up across the top. And holy crap, look at this. We have Reagan up here and Ghostface. Let's just step back a second and get a good look at that. That looks totally cool. Holy crap, look, they're doing a raffle. It says $5 raffle on there, and it says $5 raffle on there. And right here is an entire army of creeping cats. Will you tell me your plan of attack, sir? Yeah, I should have known better. All right, guys, this store looks like a much smaller store than the ones that we've been going into, but it is awesome nonetheless. There is no such thing as an unawesome spirit Halloween. I hear animatronics going crazy back here, and I see some on the floor here for sale, including, look at this, we have four stilts here. Here, AKA Papa Pins. We have four scary sitting scarecrows here. We have a Desmodus over here. Look at this. We have four howling spirits. We have a Dagger Mike on the end here and a young Crouchy on the bottom. Three eternal rests here. We have a little Skelly Bones up on top of a Darling Dolly. Another Darling Dolly over here. And look at this, guys. We have the Mars Attack. Martian warrior right here in front of my face in Las Vegas. I want him and I want him now, but he's too big for my car. <laughs> so anyways, we have two black hearts here and we have two leather faces here as well. Speaking of leather face, look at this guy. What? So we have the leather face and we have the Sam tiny tor tiny terrors horror babies. I can't even get it out. Look at this. We also have the Pennywise. And I see babies on this side who are dying to be adopted. We have the moth eater, the pumpkin eater, the spider biter, the crazy butt guy, the hand eater, the crawler, and the rat eater. And we have secrets keeping cats. Look at this, we have four of them. What kind of secrets are you keeping today, sirs? And have you passed your abilities on to the secret keeping snake. <laughs> we have creeping cats and hello rats. Look at this, there's a whole plethora of creeping cats on the floor down here. This store is full of creeping cats. And we have not one, but two scabs. Where is your best friend, Carrot? Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Look at this, they have a whole bunch of creepy pumpkins, they're calling them. Look, the sign even says, creepy pumpkins. I don't even think I've seen that before. We have five of these scarecrow creepy pumpkins, three, four, five, six of these scully pumpkins. What do you think, are they skeletons or pumpy tens. That was weird. <laughs> okay, let's move on. We have feet on ropes and hook head hogs. And look at this, guys. I am blown away. The store that I was just in had four ham hocks for sale. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight ham hocks for sale. All right, it's a little quieter in this store, so let's come over here and look at these pathway markers, because we haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at these, but they are totally awesome. Let's try the creepy lanterns. I don't hear any sounds, but they light up, and they're purple, and they have a spider on a web. That is pretty cool. All right, the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. He lights up as well, and I don't hear any sound. Look at this alien guy. It's just like he's standing up there going, excuse me, excuse me, sir, I'm here too. Hey, excuse me. All right, let's take a look at the four-piece jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. Okay, they're flashing, but they don't make any sound. I was thinking... All right, hold on a minute. Okay, yes, they... Now they're making sound. Listen. Okay, they're very quiet, but they do make sounds. I heard like some crows in there and just some regular spooky sounds. I wish they were louder though. And let's take a look at these four piece creepy skull pathway markers as well. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Check that out, strobing skulls. And we also have these zombie arm pathway markers, which I think are totally cool. 
They make some sound, but you can't hear them very well. The other ones they have here are these bumpy, spooky pumpkins, which I can't reach because they're on the top shelf up there, but those are pretty cool too. All right, wait a minute. I was just passing by this aisle and I noticed you can buy a butt. It's literally a fake butt. What the heck? Mom, can I be a butt for Halloween? All right, I don't want to forget to look at these guys over here. I can already hear poor George because a small child has set him off. But let's go ahead and look at the straw man here. And once again, he is just jam-packed into this little area. You can hide in the hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and thin. He is super loud. All right, let's come over here and see Gordo. How will he light up? Will he light up? All right, he's lighting up. He's pretty loud. I love the cat, the screeching cat and the crow. The crow tops it off perfect and makes it very Halloween-y. And let's not forget about the widow. Come on, widow, come on. Here we go. Let's just take a close look at her face. Doesn't she remind you of demonic Dahlia? People have even told me that she is supposed to be Dahlia's sister, and maybe it says that in the description online, but I missed it. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you some wigs, and you tell me in the comments who they look like. Wig number one. Wig number two. Wig number three. Wig number four, and bonus on this one, if you can tell me who I always say that looks like to me. Wig number five, and wig number six. Did somebody say hot pants? <laughs> who ordered the milk? Out of toilet paper? Don't even get me started. Ooh, look at this, guys. I haven't seen a clearance section in the stores for a while. We got the devil door knocker. Um, 1997. I don't remember the original price. I think it was 29 or 39. Both of these are 1997. Welcome to hell. Uh oh, he said heck. Get away, sir. No wonder he's on clearance. All right, I have to take a minute to look at the SpongeBob costume again because they are so cool. So up at the top here, we have the inflatable SpongeBob. We have the inflatable Patrick. We also have Mermaid Man right here. And we have Barnacle Boy. We have the inflatable Squidward here. We have the Krusty Krab jacket, which is totally cool. The Doodle Bob, the Krusty Krab baseball hat. And look at this, look at this beanie. What the heck, it's a doodle. Bob Beanie. We have the Krusty Krab hat and the Krusty Krab spatula and awesome SpongeBob socks. All right, let's make our way back over here, guys, because I know we haven't seen everything that's over here. We looked at the bobbleheads in the last store we were in, but we didn't see this one right here. The Corpse Bride scraps. Is this? Yeah, okay. It's just two different sides of him. I thought it was two different bobbleheads, but he looks like this on one side and this on the other. No, that's not right. He looks like this from the front and this from the side. <laughs> sticker for the bucket, sticker for the bucket, sticker for the bucket. Oh, look at this, guys. How did I not notice that this goes through into a whole other room and there's a dude coming out? All right, guys, look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sk sitting scarecrows here. We have two jumping spiders. Look at this. We have a whole wall of man possessed friend and an even bigger wall of more jumping spiders I don't care who you are that is a totally awesome way to make a sweet spooky tunnel and waiting at the other end is Michael Myers all right let's look at the ghost face section for a minute here guys look at this they have a bunch of costumes but only a couple of masks oh this is even a kid size mask and they have the glow-in-the-dark face mask and look at this they have the ghost face bling knife they only have one, two, three. They have four of these left. These have been selling like crazy, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, they're kind of cool, but they're not like the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I know I've shown it in my other videos, too. They also make a bling ghost face mask that matches this. All right, let's take a quick walk down through here and see if there's any costumes that catch our eye that we haven't really seen before. Catch our eye, he said. I do like all these Pokemon costumes here. I'm not really into Pokemon, but these look totally cool. We got the Pikachu. We got the Charmander. Down here, we have the Score Bunny Flambino. Okay, the Grookey 
Oust it. What in the world kind of names are these? Okay, wait a minute. I think I get it. This is a Bulbasaur, but it also has a different name down there because it's a different language. I totally didn't get it. I'm sorry. I didn't understand, but look at this. They also have a Eevee. I literally thought that was like one name down there and his whole name was Scorbunny Flambino. That kind of sounds cool, actually. These Sonic beanies look pretty cool. And what is this? Sonic the Hedgehog rings. How cool is that? Whoa, they made noise. <laughs> I guess they just make noise if you move them, set them down. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to, like, clink them together. And that's when they make noise. Whoa, I don't think I've seen this one yet, guys. The Fall Guys Chicken Inflatable. You can never go wrong with an inflatable chicken costume. And that brings us back once again to Dagger Mike. Every time I see him, I want him, and I keep passing him up. So I think today's the day I'm gonna go ahead and buy him. Mr. Mike, you are coming home with me today. Whoa, oh my gosh guys, look at the ceiling. Holy crap. All right, guys, today I am bouncing around Las Vegas, Nevada, filming Spirit Halloween stores. And this one looks awesome. This one is actually located on Nellis Boulevard in Las Vegas. And luckily, I did not have to brave the strip to get here. Look at the size of this enormous Spirit Halloween sign. I'm not sure what this used to be, but it doesn't really matter because all we care about is the spooky. And speaking of the spooky, as I was walking in, I saw this spooky guy named LJ. Hi. Okay, let's head in the store, guys. It is pretty dang amazing that I can come to Las Vegas, Nevada to a spirit Halloween and people know exactly who I am. Look at this huge store here. Okay, guys, I think what we're gonna do in this store, I've kind of been wanting to walk around and look at everything ghost face in one of these stores. So we're gonna say hi to all these guys. We're gonna see what kind of animatronics they have on the floor. If we see anything we haven't seen yet, we're gonna check that out too. So let's say hello to Papa Pins here. Just real quick, hello Papa Pins. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's say hello to Leatherface. Come on, Leatherface. Let's step back and take a look at both of them going insane. All right, let's move on forward and do the Martian Warrior. I have yet to buy him, but I want to. Hello, sir. I love when we get all the sounds in the place going, guys. All right, let's go in here past the spooky candles and see Dagger Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. There you are. Do it. There you go, Mike. All right, let's come on over here and check out the sitting scarecrow. Is he the scary guy or not? He is the scary guy. There's some stickers for you, sir. All right, let's say hello to the widow real quick. Hello, widow. Okay, we got you. Do it. Crack your neck. There you go. All right. Hello, Mr. Slim here. I almost called you Sam. Mr. Slim here. Okay, there he goes. Okay, looks good. Let's keep moving on here, guys. Over to the other side here so we can see poor George real quick. Come on, poor George. There you go. All right, let's look at this stuff, guys, because look at all these animatronics that they have on the floor right here. Look at this. Over here, we start off with a young Crouchy, a.k.a. young hairdo. And look at all these donation stars on this pillar here. How cool is that? Make sure if you guys come in that you make a donation and you put your name on a star. And right underneath those stars we have Papa Pins. We have one, two, three sitting scarecrows here. Uh-oh. We have one, two, three, four, five scary sitting scarecrows. A little Jack Carver. Oh, Jack, Jack, Jack. 
I need to buy you. I will keep that in mind, but let's keep on moving. We have three straw mans right here. We have the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. We have two of Bubba, man's best friend. Two Howling Spirits here. And let's keep moving through the store here, guys, because I see some more stuff back here. We have a whole stack of jumping spiders. And look who we have right here. Mr. Heck Spawn. Excuse me, sir, I don't love you. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys, look at the ceiling. Holy crap. Get out of my this is amazing. Look at the ceiling where his horns have stabbed the ceiling hundreds of times. I'll tell you what. Animatronics are not really built that great, but for those horns to be strong enough to do that, what in the heck are those things made of? Okay, Hexpawn, we're moving on. Hello to the Howling Spirit. Hello to the Gargoyle. Are you working, Gargoyle? Hmm. Look, I started to walk away and he turned on. There he is with his red eyes and all. Hello to the always spinning eternal rest. Oh, look at this. Darling Dolly has turned around the other way. I don't care. I love how the head just spins and spins and spins. Let's watch it one more time. Look at that. I honestly think that's a better way for this prop to move than what it was intended. And look at this, guys. We actually have a hex spawn right here for sale. We have a The Widow. We have a Black Heart over here. And we have two Eternal Rests with the Eternally Spinning Head. All right, let's say hello to Gordo real quick here. Come on, Gordo. Come on. There you go. All right, let's move on and say hello to Darling Dolly. Come on, Dolly. All right, here she comes. Watch the hair. <laughs> I love how that hair just like shoots forward. Okay, hello to the black heart. Hello to Skelly Bones. Let's see if we can get him going. All right, he's going. Meanwhile, we're going to step on Desmodus here. Here we go. Double time. There we go. Both of them at the same time, guys. And we also have the Grave Watcher going. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. His wing actually got caught on this and almost ripped it down. Okay, and let's finish it off with the jumping spider. Oh, he's already jumped. He, like, jumped just as the doors were opening. Listen to the spider sounds. I do not want to wake up in the middle of the night and hear that. All right, let's walk back through here a minute, guys. Just take a quick walk through the store and see if there is anything that we have not seen yet. Just something that catches my eye that we have not seen quite yet. They do have a plethora of zombie babies here. I can't help it. Every time I see this guy, I have to say hello, and then he says, mm -hmm. I see we do have a ghost face sidestepper here. I see some Sam dolls, some Annabelles. I do not see Chucky dolls, which also means that I do not see Glenn dolls. But they do have the Chucky Jack in a Box statue, the Pennywise statue, the Leatherface, and look at this. I haven't seen this for a year or two. It's the Pennywise light up balloon. Which one of these do you push? Oh, <laughs> the battery must be dead. But the balloon actually lights up. That would make a really cool, like, end table light. Hmm. And you know what, guys? With that, let's get on to the everything ghost face. Let's start with this over here. This is really, really cool. And this is something that's new for this year. Ghost face wreath. Look at this. We got the ghost face mask and the knife on an awesome black and red wreath. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. We have the ghost face flag, which is way cool. We have the ghost face door cover. Is it a door cover? Hmm, no, it's just a wall hanger. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen that before. Hmm, I know they also have a door cover with ghost face, but I do not see it here. Okay, there's obviously no ghost face zombie babies, except for if they had the new ghost face tiny terrors, it would be on the end here. They do have the ghost face side stepper, which as you guys know, I bought. Let's get him going. All right, let's see. I don't see any ghost face signs over here. 
or pictures on the end. Now, of course, they have the whole ghost face section of costumes. We're gonna look at that last because I wanna see just all the little things that we might be missing as we walk through the store here. Things like this. Look at this. There's a whole section of dog costumes. And down here, they have a ghost face dog costume. How funny is that? Look how tiny the mask is. That is so hilarious. We have this whole section over here with fleece throws and as you guys know, I have bought myself a couple of these ghost face blankets like this one right here and I don't see the other one I have but I do see this one that I'm not sure I've ever even seen in here before. How cool is that? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, guys, with just kind of taking your time and looking through the store, through every crack and crevice to see if there's things you haven't seen before. That is awesome. Now, unfortunately, I do not see it here, but they do have a new ghost face plush that would be hanging like right here if they did have it. Do we have a ghost face doormat? I don't know if I've seen one of those. Let's look over here. Hold on. Uh, there's Michael Myers, Chucky. Uh, I don't see one here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't one. We'll keep an eye out as we go through other stores, but they do have the Ghost Face lunchbox here that I showed you guys in the last video. That is pretty awesome. Do we have Ghost Face pajamas? Oh, yes! <gasps> Look at this! I've never seen this before. Chillin' and Killin'. It's Ghost Face pajamas. What the heck, guys? Those are so cool. The pants have Ghost Face all over them, and then they have a shirt that if I can zoom in a little bit, has ghost face right on there. How cool is that? And they even have smaller ones here, and here's a different version of it with ghost face on the front and on the pants. All right, we're gonna check the costumes and the masks in just a minute, but let's go up front here and see if they have any little ghost face stuff that we haven't seen up here. All right, I don't see any ghost face bags or trick or treat buckets. Do they have any ghost face earrings. I don't think so. Oh, but they do have ghost face socks right here. You can't see it very well without me unraveling it, but it's ghost face saying, call me. And then this one has ghost face's face and it says horror movies and chill. I don't recall that there are any ghost face bag clips, but that would be an awesome addition. We do have this ghost face handmade by robots. That's pretty cool. He's got the chrome mask on. All right, I know I've seen the ghost face tumblers before, but I'm not seeing any in here right now. As well as the shot glasses, I've definitely seen the ghost face shot glasses before, but I don't see any, any on here either. That is a totally awesome zero shot glass though. Look at that. That is hilarious with his little pumpkin nose. Have you seen ghost face? Hmm, I know I've also seen ghost face mugs in here before, but Unless I'm totally overlooking them, I am not seeing them at the moment. Okay, let's take one more walk through the store here because I know that I saw ghost face tumblers and, uh, and big like coffee mugs, hot chocolate mugs somewhere. I love how when I walk up here, these guys start going nuts and all the sounds start up. Yeah, there's lots of different mugs around the store, but I know the ghost face one has like the ghost face molded right on the front of it. Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Well, never mind. I'm pretty sure he's mad because he kinda looks like ghost face, but not really. Have you seen ghost face? Hello, rat. Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost Ghost face? Have you seen Ghost Face? Have you seen? Okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna bother with you, Secret Keeper. Heart of Death, Ham Hocks, Hook Head Hog, Double Head Fred, Hook Eye Guy, Mister I Need a Tic Tac. But no Ghost Face. Sometimes he's even hanging out with these ghoulies. Oh wait, here we go, guys. Check it out. We have four of the gigantic. 12-foot inflatable ghost faces. I knew there was more stuff in here. Okay, let's take a quick walk through the uh, masks here and see because sometimes they put the ghost face masks in the masks in the back of a store. I see Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers and The Purge and Saw and House of a Thousand Corpses, even Grandma and the Bingo Guy, but I don't see any ghost face in this section. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head up to where the ghost face masks and costumes are, but I just wanted to take a quick peek through here to see if there was anything we were missing, and I do not see 
anything. And let's check the clearance section just for the heck of it. All right. No, I didn't expect to see any ghost face stuff in here, but just for the heck of it, I thought we would check. All right, let's go on to the costumes. Okay, we're going to start with the kids, and usually that would be right up here around the corner. Hmm. Strangely, it's a little different setup. Where the heck is Ghost... Why are we having so much trouble finding Ghostface today, guys? This would be the day I decide to look at everything Ghostface, and I'm having so much trouble finding everything Ghostface. Here it is. Okay, so here is the kids section of everything Ghostface. Let's just start right at the top. We have some costumes along the top. We have the Chrome Edition right here, the Light Up Ghostface, the Devil Face, the Glow in the Dark Ghostface, Right below that, we have some ghost face knives. And these are pretty cool. Like, this is the actual replica right here. Oh, wait, there's even another one under there. That's got a very short blade. This is the actual replica of the Buck 120, which is what they use in the movie. And then they have the bloody blade ghost face knives, where if you tilt it like this, the blood, like, runs out. That's pretty cool. Over here, we have two more. One of them is the light-up knife. Let's see. Okay, yeah, if it were in the dark, you'd see that a lot better. But you push the button right there, and it lights up green. And I don't quite understand this one, but it's a ghost face bleeding machete. So this does, like, the exact same thing as that knife up there. You tilt it, and the blood runs. But I just don't recall Ghostface ever using a machete, so I don't really understand the idea behind that. We have the Ghostface jersey, which on the back, I believe it says, yes, 96. The regular Ghostface costume here. And let's see, we saw the light up, we saw the bleeding. Here's the masks. Here's just the Ghostface bleeding mask, if you just want that. Here's the chrome face, the classic mask. And look down here, here's some costumes I haven't seen seen yet. This one right here, it's like a ghost face cheerleader. Look at that. That's hilarious. Then we have the ghost face bling costume. Does it come with the knife? Um, I don't think it comes with the knife, but it comes with the mask. It includes hooded dress, rhinestone ghost face mask, and you have to get the knife separately. I have seen them before. I don't see them in this section, but they might have them in the adult section, so we'll check that in a second because we have one more costume here. The ghost face dress. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It's got like a blood splatter on it. Okay, let's make our way over here, guys, and we will go to the adult costume section and look at what they have in the ghost face section. All right, here we go. Right through here. Yes, here we go. Okay, so here is the adult costumes ghost face section. And as you can see, we do have the, uh, the jersey like they have over in the kids section with the 96 on the back. Although here we also have this beanie. We have the Slayer kit, which comes with the voice box and the knife and the mask. We have the ghost face baseball cap. And look at this. We also have this ghost face sweatshirt that has like a plaid shirt under it with the original Scream VHS box cover art on it. That is really cool. Of course, we have the regular ghost face mask. Is this the glow? Yes, we have the glow in a dark ghost face mask, which in my opinion, looks even better than the original. Now, up here that I can't reach is the Bling Ghostface costume for adults. The Ghostface hockey dress. Hold on. Okay, I can get that one. Yeah, okay, this is kind of just like the one we looked at in the kids' section where it has, like, the blood spatter on it. And they have several regular ghost face costumes up there. We have the chrome ghost face mask, and, oh, this is just more of the regular ones. The light-up ghost face costume, the hooded robe, the devil face from Dead by Daylight. They have this ghost face button-up shirt right here. And this is really awesome. It's the ghost face 96 jacket. It's kind of just like a sweatshirt, but that is really cool. And as far as the knives, I do not see the bling knife we were talking about, but they do have the light-up knife. They do have the buck 120, and they do have this ghost face knife that has ghost face's face on it. Okay, guys, we are almost done. We have one more thing to look at here, the shirts. And as far as I know, yes, we have one, two, three ghost face shirts. We have this one up here that says, is this a scary movie? And he's holding a VHS tape. Then beside it, we have the stab at your it. And I think that's black light reactive. And then finally, we have this awesome one up here, the Ghostface Movie Club. And he has the VCR in the background there. He's holding a remote. That is an awesome shirt right there. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, today I am in North Las Vegas, Nevada, at a spirit Halloween back here that looks pretty dang cool. This is inside what used to be a Crunch Fitness Gym, Gym and Fitness. I'm not exactly sure what the name was, but it was called Crunch. Look at this. I don't know exactly how big the store really is, but it goes from this corner here all the way down there, and you can see a third sign all the way down there. That is huge. I don't know if I've ever seen a Spirit Halloween before with not one, not two, not three, but four signs on the building. And to be quite honest, that's exactly why I chose this location because it's so big and it looks so cool. Yeah, if you look close up here, under the spirit sign, you can see where it used to say fitness. All right, let's go on in and see what awaits in the old Crunch Fitness. How you doing? Okay, guys, look at this. Wait a minute. First, look at this. This is so cool. You can still see where it says Crunch Shop up there from when it was a gym. But look at this. We actually have the Reaper inflatable set up. I have not been in a store yet this season where there has been an inflatable setup. Wait a minute, I take that back, sort of. I was in a store, oh my gosh, I don't even remember where it was, maybe Kansas or something, where they had all those inflatables in like the front window, but they weren't actually in the store where you could walk up and see them. But this guy is, let's get a close look at him. If you guys remember, I own him and I actually had him in my recent video where I showed my whole inflatable collection and then the storm came through and I thought they were all destroyed, but miraculously I plugged them in and they blew up and we were perfectly fine. Okay, let's move on. Okay, one thing I immediately love about this store, guys, is look at this. The only way to go in is through the Haunted Spirit Hallows Cemetery. How cool is that? Now, we do have some boxes sitting over here, but these are all marked that these are displays. So these are actually from the guys that are already set up in the Spirit Hallows Cemetery, such as Miss Leatherface. I think it's funny how he's leaning back so far, like he is really putting some back into it. <laughs> and then of course we have stilts over here, aka Papa Pins, let's get him going. I love when you can step back and you can see them all going crazy in the background right before you enter. Like that makes it so much more fun to come in here and it seems so much spookier. There's our sign, Spirit Hollows Cemetery. And it is kind of dark in here. Let's check out The Martian. Come on, Mr. Martian. Man, what a bummer. Once again, there's nothing coming out of his gun, but I have to say with how dark it is in here, look how spooky he looks. That, he looks so much better in the dark than he does in the light. Okay, we have a whole bunch of boxes over here, and some of them are marked that they are displays, like the Hexbon. We have a couple of little Jack Carvers over here. Scary Sitting Scarecrow, Martian Warrior that is marked. We have a Howling Spirit, a Slim. We have a The Widow with the Black Heart, another Black Heart, another Black Heart. A little Grave Watcher, oh, she is a display. A couple of eternal rests here, a darling dolly, and another widow here. Yeah, some of those are actually for sale, but most of those are the display boxes from the ones that are already set up. And I find it funny that they're located right in the stretching zone. <laughs> Look at this kids crunch here. That must be where the kids went to work out. Guys, how cool does this look? in the dark. Look at the widow over here. She's just a dark silhouette. All right, let's go see her. How cool does that look? This looks like a legit haunted house. All right, Miss Widow. Like, if you didn't know what she did, you'd just be walking up and be like, hey, hi, um, can I be your friend? What the heck, she's not even gonna work. <laughs> All right, Widow, you tricked me. That wasn't fair. But she does definitely look awesome right there. Look at that. I can't get over that. All right, let's go ahead through here. I see Dagger Mike waiting. Look how cool it looks in here, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. I wish all stores would just turn all the lights out. Let's look up through here, because I always forget. There's the ghouls up through there, but look how cool this looks in the dark. Oh my gosh. All right, Dagger. Um. Oh, over here, okay. Let's go ahead and get him going here. Is he going? Yes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Look how awesome he looks in the dark there, guys. Oh my gosh, that gives a whole new level to it. Okay, let's keep moving here. We have the sitting scarecrow. I don't see anything, so maybe he will actually jump with a sensor. Is he gonna jump? Yay, okay. <laughs> Look at that, in the dark his eyes glow so much better. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. All right, let's tempt some children to reach in there, put some stickers. All right, let's come on over here and check out Gorgeous George. Come on, Gorgeous George. He doesn't really look too much different in the dark, but he still is totally awesome. All right, let's come over here. We got Slim set up on this side. It's not as dark over on this side because we have these big lights up. But let's get Slim going just for a minute here. I never want to neglect our fellow animatronics. Okay, is that all? Yeah, I think that's all of those at least for this setup. I don't know if there's anything else set up in here. Maybe for, yes, there is. Okay, let's just go on straight back here, guys. Look how dark and spooky it is in this store. I love this store so much. Yes, look at how spooky this section over here looks. So very cool. Let's go ahead and do the hex spawn first because I want to see him in action in the dark. All right, hex spawn, give it to me. I love how his red costume like throws up in the air. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, the dark makes him so much more spooky. Speaking of spooky, the spooky trees are spookier. The gargoyle is spookier. Let's see if he'll get going here. Come on, Gargi. Come on, Gargamel. Okay, he's not going to work. But I do hear eternal rests over here going nuts. Those eyes look pretty dang cool in the dark here. And this one is actually working right. This is one of the first ones I've seen that is actually working right. Where you come up and the head spins just like that. It doesn't continue to spin all around and around and around. Even though I like it when it spins around and around and around and around. All right, let's see if we can get this chick going here. Come on, chick. Here we go. In the dark. Let's see how she looks. Yes! Very creepy in the dark under the free weight sign. Look, there's even a cardio sign up over there. And in the back here, I noticed it says, perspire to greatness. All right, let's keep looking at this stuff in the dark here. Let's go ahead and get Gordo going. All right, Gordo, here we go. Gordo in the dark. <laughs> I wish that all these big lights up here were off as well, because even though it is super spooky, it would be so much spookier if the big lights were off and this were just completely dark. All right, let's get this guy going. Come on there, Mr. Guy. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. You will stay with me for the rest of eternity. Yeah, he's definitely spookier in the dark. I, oh, I was just about to say I don't hear her going crazy, but look at this. She looks awesome in the dark. And we have Desmodus. Let's see if he actually works. I think his eyes light up if I don't... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So very cool. All this stuff is so much better in the dark, guys. How many times am I going to say it? It's awesome in the dark. Even the candles of death look so awesome when they're actually lit up and flickering. Let's get our jumping spider going here. What? He's like in reverse. Okay, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Sir. I'm sorry, but you played a trick on me. Go back to your home. Guys, this is like one of the most fun stores ever. It's dark in here. Everything is super creepy, just like a regular graveyard. There's like nobody else in here but me. Just look at that, and you can hear all the sounds going on over there. So cool. All right, let's just take a little walk around the store here a little bit more. I just want to stand back here for a second, guys, and show you 
how big this store is. Look at this. It is huge. In the last video, we did everything Ghostface, and I was looking all around the store for this guy, but they didn't have him, and they do have him here. It's the Ghostface plush. Very cool. And they have Crouchy, and they have Annabelle. What do you think about that, sir? Uh Look how cool the Michael Myers mask looks in the darkness here. It probably looks lighter in here on camera than what it actually is because the camera just tends to lighten it up, but it is pretty dark and spooky in here. And seeing this guy right here is pretty scary. It makes that mask look even better. Oh, look at this. They actually have a howling spirit over here. I wonder why it's hidden over here. Maybe somebody's gonna buy it later or something. Swinging Witch, Creepy Crimson Girl on a Swing. We have these dolls here. The demon Demonic Dolly. This is the second store I've seen her in this year. She is so creepy. Eerie Emma, decrepit Donna, haunted doll. This creepy pumpkin guy. And all these guys who need Tic Tacs and Aquafresh. All right, let's put a few stickers in the cauldron here. And let's come on up through here, guys, and just see if there's anything that catches my eye that I haven't really seen yet. We have some zombie babies here, the Sam doll. We have this creepy one that I'm not really sure what the heck the deal is with it, but he is definitely creepy. One thing I would like to find is the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game, and I haven't seen that yet in any store, guys. They do have the Popcorn Clown statue, and the Leatherface statue, and the Hocus Pocus Winifred statue. They do have the Nightmare Before Christmas Operation game. Oh, and they do have the 12-foot Pennywise inflatable right here, if my camera will zoom in. It's so dark in here, it won't even... I guess I have to get closer for you to see it, because it's so dark in here, it won't really focus on things. Oh, look how creepy this guy looks in the dark. Wait, what is this? Holy crap, guys, look at this. It's the Terrifier mask. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Look, he's wearing a little top hat. That is from Trick or Treat Studio 69.99. That is a really good looking mask, wow. The wigs and mask section are actually lit up pretty good here. Guys, there's only one thing this store doesn't have that every other store does. Ham hocks! Where's the ham hocks? All right, guys, one last look at the dark, spooky store. The best part is this over here where all the candles are illuminating the spooky tomb. That just looks so cool. And especially this lady right here. That I just can't get over how awesome she looks right there. That is so spooky. And then there's little Jack Carver. Shall I buy you today, sir? Did I buy you yet? I don't think I bought you yet. All right, yeah, I'm buying this guy today. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see these animatronics getting set up, because I'm gonna be doing those very, very, very soon. <laughs>
a big lots. I mean, the only thing that I see that's like big lotsy is the orange stripe that's going around the top here, but I'll keep an eye out for some other stuff. Meanwhile, let's say hello to our friends here. Okay, so we got Papa Pins. Wow, look at this, guys. I swear he's even taller. You remember the one we saw the other day where he was like scrunched down? He must have mis been missing like half his legs. This guy here seems like he's really super towering over us here. All right, Papa, do it. Yeah, he is like super tall, man. Okay, let's come on over here to Leatherface. All right, hello, miss. I think it's hilarious how there's just enough room for him in all the stores, and most of them he's rubbing up against one of the tree branches there. That is too funny. All right, through the Spirit Hollow Cemetery, let's check out the Martian Warrior. All right, Mr. Martian. Ooh, and he does have some fog coming out. You guys tell me, what, what do you call that? It's not really fog, it's just like a spray. I love this guy so much. And I love how like his dome shines so much, it reflects the lights and everything. Whoa, what in the world is this? Have I seen this before? A rhinestone skeleton mask. That's like the new scream mask that is blinged out, but this one's just a skull. Okay, let's not forget about poor George here. Come on, gorgeous George. All right, let's leave that guy some stickers right there. Let's come over and say hello to Slim with his Mickey Mouse hands. It seems like he's leaning over even more. Like, usually the popcorn bucket or the popcorn bag is, like, up here. But his popcorn bag is actually pretty low there. And if I'm correct, yes, we have the Widow on this side. Let's see what the Widow's up to today. Come on now, Widow. <laughs> All right, let's journey into the tomb. Here we have this, is it the scary guy? It's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, let's leave the scarecrow a whole bunch of stickers here. There is a whole ton in there right now, guys. If you come in here and you grab some stickers, don't take them all, leave some for other people so they can get scared by this guy. Hello, Grim. How are you? Fabric of Death. Hello, Dagger Mike. Let's get him going. His daggers are extra shiny today. Wait a minute. Okay, watch this. I knew it! I knew when he jumped up he was gonna hit this thing. He's a little too close. I think I just saw that for the very first time. There was a skeleton who popped out here and laughed at me. I am interested to see if this store in California has anything, like, special in fact, I don't think I've seen this one before, the snow globe from the Haunted Mansion. You guys tell me, oh, maybe I have, because I remember the scrawny dog in there, and he doesn't really do anything except light up. Wait a minute, let's try to turn him upside down here a minute. Maybe you have to turn him upside down. Yeah, there we go, okay. So we have a bunch of spooky bats going in there now. Anyways, yeah, I'm curious to see if they have anything in here, like, special that I haven't seen that maybe they sell in this store just because it's California. Hexpawn! You, what are you doing here? All right, let's see. I thought maybe he wasn't hooked up because we have the Hexpawn box right in front of him and then a fogging skull pile box right in front of him. And I even looked up to see how high the ceiling was because remember in the one video where the ceiling was so low that he'd go up and his horns would stab right through the ceiling. But I see this step pad here, so let's see if this goes to him. Yes. There he goes. We had to watch him jump from the side, but he is working. Oh my gosh, he is super loud, guys. He's got to be one of the most loud hex bonds I've heard in any store yet. All right, you know what? Let's start with the jumping spider here. Here he goes. Hello, sir. <laughs> You know what, let's do this. Let's leave a couple of stickers 
for the jumping spider right in there. Be very careful you don't get closed in the door if you reach for him. This guy must be on the sensor because as soon as I walked by, he jumped up and scared the crap out of me. Let's give him a minute to go back down and then we'll get him to jump again. Look, he's just glaring at me with his eye. Okay, there they go. Those eyes stayed lit for so long. Whoa, whoa, there. <laughs> I told you, he's got to be on the sensor. That just scared the crap out of me. And those eyes, he just glared at me for the longest time while he was going back down into shape on top of his pedestal. Of course, we have the Grave Watcher over here making tons of noise like usual. We have Skelly Bones over here. Let's see if he'll work. Come on, Skelly. Are you gonna, I, okay, I hear him. Here he comes. All right. I love how they have Skelly and Desmoda side by side because they're both jump scare props. All right, let's see if he'll do it again. Wait for his eyes to stop. Hold on. Okay. Start moving. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yes. Now, if you're paying attention, you know you see the the eyes light up first, and then he jumps. So you get a little bit of a warning, but not much. All right. Let's move on down here to the Black Heart. Hello, Black Heart. You are now mine for all time. Somebody was trying to tell me something about him in the comments, and I could not decode their comment. Um, so. If you were that person, it was a bunch of jumbled mess, leave another comment and I will try to figure out what the heck you're talking about. Whenever I see Darling Dolly from the back here and this giant hunched over back, she reminds me of this inflatable that I used to have that was a big hunchback. I'll see if I can't find a picture of that thing because that is just the strangest looking thing from the back there. All right, let's get our Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo. He's flashing a little bit. Some of these are brighter than others. I know I say that all the time, but there he goes. Gotta love Gordo. And we have the head spinner here. Is she on? I don't think she's on. We'll see in a minute. Maybe she'll jump up. But uh, let's get Darling Dolly going. Come on, Dolly. Come on now, Dolly. She is super loud, too, in this store. And I love how that little branch up there holds onto her hair and like pulls her hair when she jumps. Serves her right and I'm still taking your iPad. Holy crap guys, look how many zombie babies they have here. I don't see any that we haven't seen in other stores, but I love how in this display they have the angels, one at each side on the top, watching over them. They got Leatherface, Sam, and Ghostface Tiny Terrors. Let's see if they have Glenn over here. I do see Annabelle's Annabelle. I see Annabelle. I see Sitting Sam dolls. I don't even see Chucky's, and they do not have any Glenn's either. Those are getting harder to come by, guys, so if you find one and you want it, you better grab it up when you see it. We do have Leatherface, Sam, and the Ghostface Sidestepper, but not Chucky. Alright, I haven't spent a lot of time looking at the Ouija stuff. I'm not a big Ouija person but this is pretty cool. A Ouija fleece blanket. We have the Ouija mystifying oracle planchette right here. And this is a pretty sweet mug. Look at this. It has the design on the outside, but it's actually clear. So when you fill this up with a drink, you can see it through the mug. We have the Ouija skulls here with their top comes off and you can put stuff inside. The Ouija candles. And on the bottom, we have the actual Ouija boards. No, thank you. I love how they have a whole bunch of these Halloween H2O Michael Myers string lights. These are awesome. That's one of my favorite movies of the whole series. Okay, let's go ahead and take a walk around because somebody was telling me they want to see stuff that is not from the movies. I show a lot of stuff from the movies and I tend to show like a lot of stuff that we've seen over and over. But it's just all so cool. I can't help looking at it like all these inflatables. We're starting to see Jumbo show up in more stores. They have the snake, they have the hearse, the archways, the triple killer clowns inflatable, the ghost face inflatables and the Pennywise. That guy is huge. Okay, let's come back here and look at just some normal masks here that are not from the movies. We have this bunny mask. What is this called? L Wire. What the heck? Bad Bunny mask. I know there's a singer named Bad Bunny, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. I do like these wire masks. These are the one where these wires actually light up. If you can see that, it's kind of flashing green. This one is flashing blue, but it's so light in here you probably can't see it very well. Ooh, here's one back here, the Phantom Mask. Have I seen this one before? 
I don't think that almost looks like a hot rod car with pinstripes on it. All right, let's push the button. Oh, it's got the uh, the tab on there. I'm not going to pull that. But look at this, guys. They have the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch mask here. Right after I said I wasn't going to look at any movie masks. What in the world is this? Oh my god, guys, it's called Evil Corn. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be my favorite mask in the world. It's a giant corn cob with the evil face on it. Holy crap. Talk about children of the corn. Glorious, glorious, glorious. That's got to be my favorite mask I have ever seen in this store. The evil corn mask. Look, it's even covered with corn husks. How gross. What in the world? Look at this. This is a lab rat mask. I've never seen this one either. Okay, that is super creepy right there. Look at that disgusting thing. Oh my gosh. The lab rat mask. Look at the disgusting hair all over it. <laughs> I guess I have been missing a lot in not looking at the masks that are not from movies. Look at this, a starving vampire. Guys, have I literally just been missing all these masks have they like been right there in front of me and i just haven't seen them that kind of looks like nosferatu is that how you say it all right let's whoa <laughs> this is coming home with me today guys holy crap this is one of my very favorite episodes of the goosebumps series Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they have this right now. I don't see a date on this tag unless I'm just overlooking it. So I don't know if this is like an older mask, but it is an awesome one. I am buying this right here, right now today. Thank you, Redding, California. Holy crap, that is cool. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, whoever told me to look at these masks, thank you so much. That was such a good idea. We are finding some awesomeness in here and I cannot get over the evil corn right there that is too hilarious all right let's keep looking here all right this one is really cool i'm pretty sure i saw this before the chrome smile mask that reminds me of a mix between the aliens and the terminator um we do have the creeper down here i believe this might be a new one for this year at least in spirit halloween look at that disgusting hair on the back hair just disgusts me it's disgusting like literally if he was ever coming after me i'd be like sir if you could please cut your hair first then you can eat me we got the penguin down here from batman returns he's got disgusting hair too <laughs> all right let's keep on looking here i'm not sure if i've seen this guy before i don't think so the double vision clown mask he has blue and red hair that's pretty cool the ghostly ghoul mask i don't know if i've seen that one either here's one on the top called the half bot mask which is sort of like a terminator thing i do see the evil barfamet staring up at me from down there on the ground look at this we have the evil witch eyes here that's hilarious he's got disgusting hair too what is it with disgusting hair excuse me sir you have disgusting hair and you have disgusting hair in your face all right let's see are there any other ones here that I have not seen. I don't think so, but here's the ice scream clown. <laughs> have I seen this one? Look at this, he's got a cone on his head. It's melting down into his face. Wow, that was pretty cool, guys. I think that's it for all the masks that I haven't seen yet, but I'm definitely gonna have to spend more time looking at them in each of the stores. And I am 100% buying this today. All right, let's take just a minute here to look at the weapons, because that's another thing that we don't spend a lot of time looking at. Look at this. We have giant scissors here. We have a sledgehammer, a crowbar. We have the evil cup that someone left there. <laughs> Don't be a scumbag. Don't leave your evil cup. And I sincerely apologize if it was a manager who was doing some work back here and put his cup there and then totally forgot to pick it up. Anyways, I don't even know what you call these things, but these look like they could kill very easily. Medical tools. I would never want to be killed with something like that. Look at this giant corkscrew here. This looks like something from I Know What You Did Last Summer. We got a meat tenderizer. Somebody's gonna get beat to death with a meat tenderizer. We got the blade here. We got an enormous, I don't even know what you'd call this kind of blade right here. We got the plumber's wrench. We have this light up dagger here. Try me, okay. 
Um, it must still have the thing in there. We got the buzz saw here. The Wicked King Scepter, which looks pretty cool. I guess that would be a weapon. You could stab somebody with it. I'm not condoning stabbing or slicing or killing. I'm just saying you could do it with these. You could also do it with this ginormous sword. They got all these guys, but we're going to stick to some of the other things that we haven't been looking at much lately, like the scary flying ghost and the dropping spider. He's pretty cool. You hang him from the ceiling. I think he's motion activated and he drops on you. Then there's the fly around bat that you also hang from the ceiling and it just flies around in a circle. Oh, then there's these awesome neat guy stickers, which if you come in here, you'll find them and you get to keep them. The 12 inch tabletop candelabra, which is pretty dang awesome. The 55 inch floor candelabra and the new animatronic gargoyle activation switches. Those are pretty cool right there. And let's not forget about the bad breath and the ham hock for sale. Or the heart of death or the chains of death. Guys, look at this. Here is yet another thing I don't think I've seen in any store. Hold on, let me get it out of here. Whoa, this just went off when I stepped over here. All right, hold on. It's electrifying my face. Okay, back to the four piece doll head pathway markers. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. You already electrified my face. We'll come back to you later. Okay, let's see if we can get these going. Oh, I don't hear any sounds, but the eyes light up green. Okay, those are cool. And this is another thing that's starting to show up in stores down here. The Jabber and Jack singing pumpkins. This is what I thought of as soon as I saw those pathway markers, the crackhead pathway markers. <laughs> I do think I need to point out that they have these in case you're looking for them, as well as all of these. The Hello Rat, the Creeping Cats, the Secret Keeping Cats, Carrot, and Scabs. They have them all. And let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. All right, let's take one more walk through the rest of the store here because I heard heard through the grapevine that they have something in here that is pretty dang cool and I haven't seen it yet but I also haven't seen this awesome Mars Attacks Invaders doormat that is pretty cool wait let's look on the other side and see if they have the ghost face doormat no I do not see it I know it exists because I've seen it in other stores. But if I can get it, they do have this awesome Ghoulies 2 throw blanket. I'm not gonna read it. You can read it for yourself. If you get it, you get it. Have we seen all these new little backpacks? I think we have. These are one of my favorite new things this year, guys. They are so cool. I especially love the Michael Myers one. I think the Scream looks totally awesome. So does the Sam. I love the colors on that one. And I don't know if we've looked at the SpongeBob or not yet, but that is awesome too. I love SpongeBob. Will we be getting business cards? All right, let's make our way over here for a minute. Where is it there's something special in this store guys that i was told is in here but i haven't seen it just yet holy crap guys i see it it's right in front of my face the thing we've all been waiting for the thing i've been looking around the entire store for and that i heard a secret was actually in here look right behind me right there believe it or not they have heckles look at this guys i was not sure we were actually going to be able to get heckles this season because they pulled him because the faces were all messed up for some reason but then i noticed they started sending out new faces and now heckles is starting to show up in stores and i am officially buying heckles today look at this he is so hilarious just the way he looks from head to toe i love his balloons 10 cent sign i love his face there and everything that he says and i love how he has the balloon that also has a face that talks that is like my favorite feature of the whole thing this is gonna have to be the last animatronic that i buy oh man until i get back at least closer to home because I have no more room. I've been buying animatronics and props and all kinds of awesome stuff. So I am so glad that I found him today. Okay, guys, one last look around the store here as I try my best to knock this down. One last look around the store here because it is an awesome looking store. It is totally packed with all kinds of awesome stuff. Come on down here to Redding, California. Get you some awesome Halloweeniness 
and some stickers because I put them all around the store and I'm gonna leave a whole bunch up here at the desk with these guys. Oh my gosh, look, they actually have a talking Crouchy doll. That's the first Crouchy doll I've seen in a store this season. Let's play again. <laughs> All right, guys, I wasn't sure I was gonna make it here, but today we are in Sacramento, California at a Spirit Halloween, very strangely, that used to be a party city. What in the world? Talk about Clash of the Titans. Yes, my friends, I could not believe it when I saw it online. This store looks very awesome, and it used to be a party city. Now it is a spirit Halloween, Sacramento, California. And it's funny because right beside it is a Chuck E. Cheese as which you all know, I have filmed Spirit Halloweens that are in old abandoned Chuck E. Cheese's like Mansfield, Ohio. All right, let's go on in, guys. They just opened today. I mean, it is like the crack of 11 a.m. <laughs> the crack. So let's go ahead in. I don't expect there's going to be a whole lot of people in here right at the moment. Are they even open yet? Maybe it's this door here. It's this door here. Okay. All right, here it is, guys. The Spirit Halloween, Sacramento, California, that used to be a party city. Guys, I have to first say, look at the awesome spirit carts. I wish I could get a spirit cart to just take home with me and have in my office. Okay, let's go ahead up here and look at this. We have the Martian Warrior front and center. Standing right here, I don't even see any other animatronics, so this guy gets all the attention right off the bat. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He has the mist coming out. Very cool. If I put this up against the dark background over here, you can really see that mist. So cool. Okay, instead of looking at animatronics first, guys, everybody keeps saying, look at this, look at that, blah, blah, blah. And apparently people don't watch my videos long enough because I always get around to looking at a lot of the stuff that people are telling me to look at. We will come back to the animatronics at the end, but let's go ahead and just look around the store here and see some things that we haven't seen before that maybe you guys are looking for. It looks like they have a really good selection of the shirts here. It looks like... Every shirt up here is probably in stock. And the one that people are really looking for this year is this one right here with Sam in the Spirit logo. That is such a cool shirt. And here it is, guys. They got a whole stack of a medium, large, extra large, and 2X. Okay, people wanted to see the skeleton stuff. So here's a little bit of skeleton stuff here. We have some masks, which consists of the sugar skull, another sugar skull, we have a regular skeleton mask with no bottom jaw. We have a skeleton mask that does have a bottom jaw. And then a little bit different of a skeleton mask on the bottom here. That one is actually pretty cool. We got this skeleton top hat over here. The skeleton staff. Ooh, I really like that too. Look at that. That is pretty dang cool right there. Kind of reminds me of Guns N' Roses. And all this over here is accessories related to your skeleton costume. And here's a whole bunch of different skeleton costumes over here. I'm just going to move down through here and you can take a look. See anything that you may like. That's actually pretty cool right there. The skeleton romper. I like the skeleton poncho too. Skeleton lady, the bona fide beauty. This reminds me of the Karate Kid, actually. More down here on the second row. Uh, let's see, the skeleton dress, skeleton royalty jacket. That's pretty cool. Ooh, skeleton king. I like that one. Some Day of the Dead stuff here. We got a printed dress, La Catrina. Bonafide beauty again. And then here's a skeleton suit on the end. And did we see the skeleton vest yet? That's pretty cool. I don't think we saw that yet. And of course, we also have this skeleton jacket, which looks like 
a leather jacket, but you know, it's not real leather, of course. I'm just gonna try to do like some slow sweeping shots for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of what they have. But really guys, there are so many costumes and so many little things in the store here that you really need to come down to a store to see it yourself because there's just no way that I can show you each and every individual thing that they have for sale in here. That would be absolutely impossible. That is a cool one right there. They got devil kits here. I'm not big into devils, but maybe you are, so I'll show you the devil kits. Yeah, there's just so many things, guys. There's no way that I can show you each individual thing. This video would be like 10 hours long, but look at this. They have a whole lot of awesome capes here. Like, I like this one right here, the black velvet hooded cape. The black lace cape, that's cool. Here's a black collared cape, a regular cape, emerald green, black hooded dress, another black hooded dress. Here's some red capes here. These look pretty dang cool. This one's like a velvet hooded cape. That's cool. Ooh, and look at this one, guys. It's a purple velvet hooded cape. Lots of colors and sizes and styles. I really like the ponchos. This one's a sequin spiderweb poncho. And then we have a pumpkin poncho over here. I think that one looks really cool. The ghost poncho, look at this one. It's a candy corn poncho. Look at the little candy corn hat. We got all kinds of suits here and jerseys. I'll pull out one of the jerseys and show you. Um, yeah, there's just the, uh, the Jack the Reaper logo. 31 on the back with his hands. That's cool. There are so many different types of crossbody bags in these stores. And they're mixed throughout the store. Look at this one. It's a secret keeping cat winking at us. Look at this one. This is like a, a scary jack-o'-lantern. They've got scarves and hats and beanies. Look at this hat right here. All kinds of spooky stuff on there. Does this say anything? And we got a bat on there that's like purple and uh, tie-dyed. This one is Don't Hex My Vibe. We've seen that one before. And look at these tiny little hats. What is a fascinator? I don't even understand what that is, but I kind of want to get that and put it on Grim. <laughs> Couple of stickers there. Of course, we have lots of costumes and stuff that I've shown you in other stores, but just to give you a quick look, right here is the ghost face stuff. We have all the Adams Family stuff over here. Bunch of Sam stuff, including this crossbody bag right here. And the lollipop earrings. Those are cool. Pennywise right here. More Trick or Treat and Jason Friday the 13th stuff right here. Jerseys and masks and hats and knives. Well, not knives, but machetes. More Pennywise on this one right here. Look at this crossbody bag. It's the SS Georgie. Somebody was asking me about the Universal Monster. Monsters, so we do have some masks in here from that. We got the Invisible Man, the Frankenstein Chick, the Bride of Frankenstein. We got the Creature from the Black Lagoon. We have Frankenstein himself, or Frankenstein's monster, for those of you who are going to leave a comment about that. Corpse Bride on the end here. And then, of course, we have Freddy Krueger over here with several different styles of his claw. Here's some more universal stuff right here, including socks. And look, they have monster balls. Bolts, and I hadn't seen this before. It's a canvas tote bag. Never trust the living. Killer clowns from outer space. I don't know if I've seen this crossbody bag yet. It's the killer clowns uh, circus tent. <laughs> Look, it says it's crazy. Of course, we have Wednesday's headless doll crossbody bag. Michael Myers over here. You gotta love the Michael Myers Halloween knife. That's pretty cool. All kinds of zombie stuff here. Look at this, you dead. <laughs> More Killer Clowns accessories on the end here, including these Jumbo Pops, which I'm pretty for sure are black light activated. All kinds of Chucky stuff down here. I don't know if I've seen this hat yet. That's pretty cool. I like the splatter on the blue there. This whole aisle here is all Chucky costumes. And this whole aisle here is all circus and clowns. Look at this. We got the neon clown right up front, as well as the wacky mole and this neon clown down here. We got the hammers here, the top hat, the scary clown makeup. Look at all these clown 
costume, guys. And right up front is hugs. Okay, we have the Chaos Clown, the Ringmaster Jacket, the Creepy Mime. I like that one. The Killer Clown. She's pretty hilarious. Look at the look on her face. The Psycho Jester, the Carnival Clown, the Twix. The Twisted Trickster. I think I tripped on that name before. We got a killer clown down here, a chrome clown. Look at that guy, his face is shiny. And then we got a slasher clown here. All kinds of weapons and accessories and makeup here. We even have a voice changer over here. Some makeup, giant scissors, ringmaster hats. Look at this, here's another crossbody bag I haven't seen. It's like a box of popcorn and it says, welcome to the freak show. We got the ringmaster staff, a whip. We have the sinister ringmaster the star of the show, the Dark Ringmaster. All this here is Hocus Pocus, guys. They are absolutely stocked with all kinds of costumes and stuff in here. You will have to come down here if you are located anywhere near Sacramento and check all this out for yourselves. Because look at this. We've only been through this small section right here, and it's taken this long so far. And what ends up in the video is compressed into only a few minutes, but it actually took me like a half an hour to get through just that section. We got a whole bunch of costumes down here that are not your typical movie costumes, so let's take a look at a few of those. We have the Skeleton Reaper, the Granny Wolf, that one cracks me up. Uh-oh, we have the Barfamet, the Hazmat Suit, the Howling Wolf, the Hooded Robe, another Skeleton Reaper. Ooh, I like this one the best, guys. Big Frank, I love that big head. And that mask actually does come with this costume. Wow, that's pretty heavy, too. I like this one, too, the Voodoo priestess that's a pretty cool costume right there shadow reaper light up jack-o-lantern what's this one called the voodoo dude the prince of darkness the full moon madness and this side all through here is all witch stuff if you want to be a witch but you don't want it to be hocus pocus we got the gothic witch the wicked spellcaster let's see we got the eternal witch up here Sorry you can't see those very well because of the uh, the reflections, but there's a whole bunch of different kinds of witch costumes here. Witch hats, you got witch tights, even the mini witch hat. Witch brooms, witch press-on nails, a witch flask, celestial witch gloves, the witch necklace here. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many accessories if you want to be a witch. Tons of Plague Doctor costumes here and accessories, like you could get the mask by itself or the complete costume. You can get the Plague Doctor tool set. We got the Flintstones here. Looks like we have the whole pack, including Dino. This is all Nightmare Before Christmas here, followed by Beetlejuice down here. Jack Skellington here. We got the Shock Lock and Barrel masks, or do we only have, looks like we only have Shock right there. I don't see the other two, but we have Barbara, Beetlejuice, Adam. Oh, no, I guess all we have is lock. <laughs> yeah, here's the other two. We have lock here and barrel up on the top. X-Men on the outside here. We have your Harley Quinn and the Joker and Batman stuff down this aisle here. Someone forgot their pimp chain. South Park right here. We got Winnie the Pooh over here. SpongeBob, Sesame Street, Scooby-Doo. Mickey and Minnie here. We have, let's see, all the Dr. Seuss stuff here. Thing 1 and 2, the Thing wig, the Thing leg warmers, the Thing... What the heck are these things called? I can't even remember. <laughs> we got the Cat in the Hat deluxe suit. Here's a bunch of Monster High costumes. Bunch of Disney costumes in this aisle here. We got the Disney villains over here. The Wicked Witch, the Wizard of Oz things right here. The Scarecrow, I see the Tin Man down here. Ursula, Cruella de Vil. We have Belle and Cinderella. Woody, Jesse, the Red Gamer. Oh, this must have just been dropped off here in the wrong place. Jesse, Mr. Potato Head here. We have Buzz Lightyear. Of course, we have the Pizza Planet, Jacket, which is one of my favorite things. Monsters Inc. on the end. We got Pokemon over here. We got wizards down here. Harry Potter stuff. Lilo and Stitch on the end here. We got some marshmallow here as usual. Look at this. We got the Vault Dweller from Fallout. The Incredibles. Waldo. The Cheerleader uniform from Archie. The Powerpuff Girls. 
but no mojo. Jojo! Napoleon Dynamite, Gremlins, Dale Doback from Step Brothers, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Of course, here's the whole Barbie section over here. And then what is this? Harley Quinn, the Catwoman. Guys, there is just so much stuff in here. The Ghostbusters. We have pirate costumes over here and all kinds of accessories, hats and swords and hooks. And whenever I show you guys stuff like this, there are people who say, give us close-ups. But like I said, there's absolutely no way that I could give you a close-up of each and every individual thing. You'll just have to come into the store for yourself and check it out. But for me, that's enough for the costumes right now. I want to come over here and check out the animatronics. All right, let's go on back here and check these guys out. It looks like they have everything set up. So let's start with the Hexpawn. Hello, Hexpawn. Look at this, guys. Now I'm in this habit when I see the Hexpawn to look up at the ceiling and see how tall it is because of that one that would jump up and scrape the ceiling with his horns. All right, come on, Hexpawn. Dang! <laughs> he was fast, man. That was absolutely crazy. All right, let's leave him a couple of stickers here. We got the Howling Spirit right beside him. Let's see if we can get him going. There he goes. I love it when all of them are going at the same time, and I know we only have two of them going at the moment, but... Look at this, the Howling Spirit only has one arm moving. It's like, how do you like this store, sir? And he's like, eh, it's just kind of so-so. <laughs> All right, sir, we're gonna leave you some stickers down here too. Let's see if the gargoyle will work. The gargoyle is apparently not plugged in. Let's move on over here to Eternal Rest and see how many spins we can get from Eternal Rest. Oh. I heard the mechanism inside. I heard her crying and screaming, but the head is not spinning at all. All right, let's get darling Dolly going here. Come on, Dolly, come on. Is Dolly not, Dolly must not be working either. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're gonna come in here and leave a few stickers over here by Dolly anyways, because everyone deserves stickers. All right, let's get Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo, please, yes. He's lighting up pretty good here. You gotta love Gordo, and I do, so I'm gonna leave some stickers right here. All right, we got the Black Heart, and honestly, guys, he's kind of boring, so I'm not even gonna bother with him today. Hello, Black Heart, goodbye, Black Heart. <laughs> we got Desmodus here, ooh. He's kind of kicked over to the side. Let's see if he even works. All right, I hear, do I hear him? No, I hear her. Of course I hear her. The Grave Watcher, always watching over. All right, Desi, are you gonna work? All right, he's apparently not working. Let's check out little Skelly Bones. Here comes Skelly, all right. Skelly works like 99% of the time. Here you go, Skelly, we'll leave you a big sticker. All right, let's try our jumping spider here. Here he comes. Yes, jumping spider usually doesn't let us down either. Good job, Mr. Spidey. Yeah, listen to all the craziness going on back here right now, guys. I love when I come in these stores and there are all kinds of spooky sounds going on. All right, let's head back here and say hello to some of our other friends here. Look at this, we have a whole bunch of fogging skull piles here. And look how stocked they are with friends. First we have the Hello Rat. Then we have the Secret Keeping Cats. Holy crap, one, two, three, four, five, six Secret Keeping Cats. I can only imagine what kind of secrets they're keeping. We have a whole bunch of carrots down here, five of them, a whole bunch of creeping cats, and it looks like we have six scabs down here too. Guys, I can't believe how stocked up they are with this stuff. Look at this, we have four skull piles over here. We have both of these kinds of skull blow molds. Over here we have all three, or all four of the ones that, uh, I hadn't seen for a while, but they're starting to show up now. These are so awesome. I think this one's my favorite, the green one, because the color is so fun. Four 
pumpkin stacks down here. Somebody was telling me they couldn't find any ham hocks anywhere. Well, they got four of them right here in Sacramento. Who wants a ham hock? They got two of the hook head hogs, the double face guy, two of the hook eye guys. Plenty of bad breath. Lots of hanging ghoulies over here, including this witch that I love so much. She's hilarious. Candelabras. We got the activation switches here. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron here. Some right there. Skulls and skulls and more skulls. Tons of inflatables. Look at this, guys. They have a whole bunch of inflatables here. I don't see the inflatable jumbo, but they do have the inflatable three-pack of the Killer Clowns. Lots of haunted dolls here. Lots of walking monster hands. Lots of swinging girls on swings. And let's come over and look at the masks quick just to see if there's anything else we haven't seen because in that one video we looked at them and I found a whole bunch of awesome masks that I hadn't seen yet. Um, looks like... All right, I know I've seen this before, but it's still pretty cool. The burlap scarecrow mask. He's got the flat head like Frankenstein. I don't know if I've seen the UV pumpkin. Ultraviolet light reactive latex mask. That's pretty cool. It's not a full head mask, but that does look pretty cool. We got the possessed pumpkin here. That's a really cool one. Um, it looks like everything else we have pretty much seen. Not seeing anything else popping out at me here. I do like this one right here, the skull cap. I see this every year, and I think this is pretty cool. It's got one of those jaws that moves with your own jaw. And somebody else was telling me they wanted to see this Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask, so there it is. All right, let's make our way back up this way and see what's up front. Um, I do see Slim up here. Unless I'm just overlooking them, I do not see a lot of animatronics on the floor for sale. Let's take a quick look for Glenn here. I do see Chucky, I see Annabelle, I see the sitting Sam doll, but I do not see Glenn. I still have not found the Spirit Monopoly. This one looks pretty cool though, Beetlejuice, but I want to find the Spirit one. They have all four of the tiny terrors here. We have the Ghost Face, the Sam, the Leatherface, and the Pennywise. Let's leave a few stickers down there. And they are stocked with zombie babies. And guys, I'm still on the lookout for a burrito baby. I don't think I've seen a burrito baby in any stores. Somebody commented and said they saw one in the background of one of my videos, but I don't know. I look at these zombie babies in every store and I don't think I've seen one. They do have a whole bunch of these back backpacks, these lounge fly backpacks, and these things are totally awesome. I think we have probably looked at all of them. Where's, oh, they don't have the Michael Myers. That's the one that I really like. Oh my gosh, look, they actually have a talking Crouchy doll. That's the first Crouchy doll I've seen in a store this season. Guys, the only talking Crouchy doll I have, if you remember, is the one that doesn't have any hair. So I would totally buy this guy right now if it weren't the only one. But since I know there are so many people in Sacramento that have been asking me to come to the Spirit Halloween stores, I'm going to leave this one here just for one special Crouchy fan. I'm going to leave him right here under the Crouchy plush, and you can come in here and buy him at your discretion. I'm even gonna leave a sticker right here on the floor to mark where he's at. And if you don't get that sticker, they will have some at the counter up front. Okay, let's finish up with these animatronics up here as promised, guys. We have Slim over here with his Mickey Mouse hands. Let's get him going. Look at his hair. His hair actually reminds me of Ronald McDonald right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the widow going here. Come on, widow. <laughs> we'll leave the widow some stickers. We'll leave Slim some stickers. Let's come in and check out the sitting scarecrow. Is he set up for when we reach? No, I guess not. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's the regular sitting scarecrow. Sometimes I come in and I see him and it's just the regular and I call him the scary sitting scarecrow. Let's go ahead and leave him some stickers in his bowl there. Let's say hello to Dagger Mike. Come on, Mike. <laughs> ah! 
I actually have Mike in my trunk right now. I just haven't put him together yet. All right, we'll leave a couple for you too. We got poor George here. Let's get him going. Come on, Georgie. Leave him a couple of stickers. Okay, and I am pretty sure that that's it, guys. I did see a sign over here that said, see an associate if you wanna buy animatronics. So they must have them available. They're just not out on the floor right now. Oh my gosh, one more thing before we leave. Look at this. It's a Corpse Bride arm wrap. Look at the face on that guy. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, I was just about to give up. And then a lovely lady from the front desk came out and showed me where the Spirit Monopoly game is. There it is. Oh my gosh, I am totally buying that right here, right now in Sacramento, California. All right, guys, I had time to do two locations here in Sacramento, and I am at location number two. And look at this place. I don't know what this place was. Online it says, like, former Lomans or something like that. But this whole shopping center is called Lomans Shopping Center. So I'm going to have to ask inside what that was. But how cool does that look? I love those three yellow canopies on there. All right, let's do it, guys. Location number two, Sacramento, California. All right, here we go, guys. I am excited. I'm always excited to be going into a new spirit Halloween. Look at this, guys. Everybody is going right now. We got Papa Pins going. We got Miss Leatherface going. We got the Martian going back here. And we have all the sounds, including the Hooting Owl. Papa Pins is just as tall as he he is supposed to be Miss Leatherface is just as barrel chested as he's supposed to be I guess oh look at this we have a headstone back here I didn't notice this before death awaits to all who enter here is that always at the gate of the Spirit Hollow Cemetery and I just missed it I know that Lord Farquaad is not always sitting here all right let's just take a quick look around and see who they have they have the Martian over here of course we have the widow right here all right we got slim oh, look at slim's hair what the heck <laughs> it's like all over the place it's so hilarious the props that have the big bushy hair every store you go into their hair looks totally different and i can already hear gorgeous george over here going ballistic all right let's go in here it looks like we have the scary sitting scarecrow set up yes sir Let's leave him a couple of stickers in his bowl there. And we have Dagger Mike over here. Let's go ahead and get him going while we're standing here. Come on there, Mike. All right, ooh, he hit this. Was, just, was this on a second ago and then it went off when he hit it? Maybe not, I don't know. I have to remember to say hello to Grim though. How you doing there, buddy? Look at this, guys. They are completely stocked with the bobbleheads here. Let me take, oh yes, here we go. Okay, we keep looking for the ghost face doormat in all the stores we're going into, and I finally found one. Now, I could be wrong. I think they have another one yet, but this is the first one I've seen since I did that video about everything ghost face. I don't see another one over here, but I do like this one here that says no feet and it's ghosts. All right, let's just take a walk around the store here for a minute before we get too deep into anything specific. We got a couple of floor candelabras here. Let's see, any animatronics back here? We do have this other setup back here. So let's go ahead and look at these. It's only like a half a setup. They don't have the front where you would usually have like the Howling Spirit and uh, Hexpawn and Darling Dolly. But let's go ahead over here because I know that we have the jumping spider behind the doors. All right, come on, sir. Yes, very good job. All right, let's go over here and see if we can get skelly bones going. I know I hear you, I'll be there in a second. 
All right, come on, Scallybone. I hear you. We missed him jump. Holy crap. I'm sorry, sir, but we've seen it before. Hello, miss. Talk to you later. The Black Heart. Let's go ahead and get him going for a second here, even though, to me, he's kind of boring. All right, he's pretty loud. He's kind of boring to me, though, guys, because, like, all he does, he opens that arm, and then he stands there and talks very slowly. All right, let's come on over here on the other side. I hear so much sound coming from the other side here. I expected to see maybe the other setup over here because the sound is so loud behind the wall here, but it's not here. All right, anyway, let's keep on moving here, guys, and see what we have back here. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of the killer critters. Is this sign up in every store above these guys. I, th I think this is the first time I've ever really noticed that. The killer critters. But we know them as the hallow rat and carrot and scabs, of course, who is best friends forever with carrot. And then we have the creeping cats. We have even more creeping cats. Hold on. We carrot down. We got a carrot down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and put him back up here. We can't have a carrot down. Not on my watch. And surprisingly, I don't see any secret keeping cats in that lineup. But I do see some cauldrons, so let's leave some stickers in there. We do have the devil door knocker here, and we have the vampire door knocker. I've seen those on clearance in a lot of stores, actually. I don't think I've ever taken a second to look at the Skull Steak set. I think you just jam these into your yard and you if you're setting up like a voodoo scene or something. Look at the face on that guy. Wow, every store that I come into now is pretty well stocked with these blow mold decorations here. Have I seen this guy? I'm pretty sure I have. This is almost like the Howling Spirit. Does he do anything? Oh, he makes sound too, listen. He's very quiet, but he does make sound. He's more like the bundled spirit. We got the skull stacks, the pumpkin stacks. We have all these little blow mold guys here, which are so cool. And I keep saying I like the green one best because I love this green color. However, I don't know, man, I like this purple one too. I have to grab her from the eyes. Sorry, miss, I'm grabbing you from the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a kind of small mask section in here. Of course, it is a smaller store than the usual ones, but they do have the saw, and they have the Martian warrior here, and they have Leatherface, and they have Michael Myers, and I believe this is the 2018 mask. Oh, and look, behind it, they have the Halloween Ends mask. Pretty much all the stores have all these vintage masks, and these I really like because these are like what you could get back in a day when I was a kid and you were going trick-or-treating. You'd have to go to like the grocery store or something like that, and they'd have them behind the counter. But they came in a box that came with like the mask and then like this uncomfortable plastic thing you'd just put over your box. Body. And I've probably said this before, but I remember my brother having that one. I like the red velvet skull mask. That's cool, and it feels really soft. <laughs> this is a pretty dang good-looking Crouchy mask. I don't know how many Crouchy masks I've seen in the stores, but that is really good-looking mask. Of course, Nighty Night is always one of my favorite masks in here because I think it's built so well. It's a, like a harder plastic, and I don't really like the harder plastic ones. I like the softer plastic ones better, but this one looks so good, doesn't it, sir? Yes. And this is one that your jaw goes right in here, and as you talk, the mouth talks. Hello, holy man. Hello, none for you. I'm really surprised there are no uh, secret keeping cats lurking anywhere in here. Let's see. Yes, here we go, guys. We have four of the ham hocks. Who wants the ham hock? One ham hock for sale. We have the hook head hog, the double head Fred. I don't see any hook eye guys, though. It looks like they do have a good selection of the talking dolls, though. We have the decrepit haunted doll, Eerie Emma. We have the butcher here. We have devilish Desmond, monkey chimes, and... Oh, we have the demonic dolly back here. And I was really surprised in the last store, the other store that I was at, 
uh, Sacramento, they actually had a Crouchy, a talking Crouchy doll. I haven't seen him in any stores this season. Oh, here's something else I haven't looked at yet. The tabletop flame lights. Those are pretty cool. Those are kind of like what's hanging in there by Dagger Mike. And then these Huntley things, those just look weird to me. If anybody has bought one of those, let me know how cool it actually is because it just looks kind of strange to me. Let's look at some of these inflatable costumes, guys. If you remember, I bought a whole bunch of inflatable costumes last year at the end of the season. Look at this. They have the inflatable donkey. You cut me real deep right now, Shrek. The inflatable chicken. I love the inflatable super skins. We got a blue and a black. We got the inflatable dino here. Inflatable circus clown. That one's pretty funny. The inflatable balloon animal. I think I bought that one. Holy crap, look at this. Inflatable Ride On Cerberus. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Here's the Lounge Fly backpacks, and they do have the Michael Myers in this one, as well as SpongeBob. Friday the 13th, we got Ghostface Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Look, we even have a Scooby, and it says Scooby Snacks. They have a ton of zombie babies here. I'm still on the lookout for another burrito baby. But look, they have one, two, three, four, five five four of these crazy ones that i don't quite understand but they are creepy looking the hand eater the spider biter the singer the bug eater the butt guy the rat eater the moth eater he seems to lose a lot of moths they must just be very lightly glued onto the hand we got ghost face and sam in the tiny terrors all right they have all of the new ones they have the ghost face side stepper here And they have the leather face. Is he going to work? He must still have his tab in the back. And they have Chucky. Showtime! <laughs> you got to love Chucky. That's a really awesome one. In fact, I just might buy that one today. Of course, we also have Sam and Billy Butcherson down there in the Frankenstein sidestepper. I actually broke my Frankenstein sidestepper accidentally. Do they have a Glenn? Let's see. They have sitting Sam dolls and Annabelle's. They have some Chuckies, but I do not see a Glenn. He is getting very, very difficult to find. Oh, look at this. They got the Bates Motel sign all lit up, and the E and the O are flashing. That looks really awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this ginormous Scooby-Doo mascot head. Have I seen this in other stores? I feel like I've seen this in like one other store. That is huge. We got plenty of the cotton candy guns, but I have only seen the popcorn gun in one store, guys. How crazy is that? They sell out so quickly. Oh, hello, Freddy. I think we have covered 90% of the store, guys. I am still on the lookout for the Spirit Monopoly board game, and I have yet to find that, so we're gonna have to keep looking, and apparently these guys haven't seen it either because none of them will speak up and tell me. All right, wait a minute. I don't think we've seen the Martian Warrior in action in here, and he has the mist coming out too. Very cool. Good job, Sacramento. That's two stores in Sacramento where the Martian actually has the mist coming out the end of his gun. Did we say hello to the widow? I don't remember. I've been in so many stores that I can't remember. <laughs> All right, and I, yes, we did say hello to Slim because I remember coming in and looking in that crazy, crazy hairdo. Oh, and look at this, guys. They have all their animatronics behind the counter up here. They have so many here. Look at this. We have the sitting scarecrow up here on top, a couple of widows. We have the cauldronist down here, more scary sitting scarecrows over here, young crouchy, poor George, straw man, darling dolly, howling spirit, man's possessed friend, the black heart, the hex spawn, leather face, two emmelines, two little jack carvers, three little jack carvers, another young Crouchy, a Gordo, a straw man, Howling Spirit, Desmodus, and Mars Attacks. Holy crap, guys. I was just about to give up. And then a lovely lady from the front desk came out and showed me where the Spirit Monopoly game is. There it is. Oh my gosh, I am totally buying that right here, right now, in Sacramento, California. <laughs> Thank you.
And we have this peculiar thing right here, which I think is a brain, but it could be bowels. Ah, uh, yes, it is in fact intestines. How sick! Wait, here's the brain underneath. That's the problem with humanity. Our intestines are bigger than our brains. Let's play again. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Bend, Oregon, at what appears to be some sort of maybe an outlet mall. I see we have a Columbia clearance store over here, Eddie Bauer, Maurice's Play It Again Sports, hoodies, sports cards, and over here I even see a Nike store, which I just may be compelled to go in, but right here in front of me, guys, in this spot, which used to be a Tuesday morning, is now... A spirit Halloween. Ooh, that's a pretty cool picture right there with the sun just peering from above. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's go ahead in and check out what they have right here, right now, in Bend, Oregon. So I heard this sound when I first came in, guys, and I'm like, what in the heck was that? I thought it was maybe the door or something. And then I looked down. It's Bubba peering out at me. He must be on the sensor, but where the heck is the sensor? There he is. He's not very loud, and the first time he jumped out, I didn't hear him barking. But yeah, if you follow the string over here, the step pad must be right under there as you come in the door. How cool is that? And then I see this little guy hiding here too which I believe they're trying to have the same effect because I see that there is a string taped to the floor going over here, but I don't know where you have to step to get the jumping spider to jump. Come on, sir. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> I knew it. That is actually pretty cool, guys. This is the first store that I've been in that has had stuff set up like that. What a great idea. All right, yeah. So this store looks to be a little smaller than some of the other ones that we've been in. This is a former Tuesday morning. I see right at the door here, we do have some animatronics for sale. We have two Slims right here. We have two Stilts, AKA Papa Pins. We have this three banger killer clowns inflatable right here and we have a sam greeter you gotta love the black and orange halloweeny spirit halloween shopping baskets okay and as i enter i'm trying to think is there something specific that i am looking for that i have not found yet in other stores Holy crap, yes, and there it is, and I'll show you in just a minute. But first, let's go around and say hello to the haunters of the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. And first up, we have Gorgeous George. Come on, George. Wow, he is really loud. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how loud he is in this store, guys. So this is a smaller setup, but we do still have the gargoyles of death and the flames of death. And let's see. Yes, we have the widow over here. All right, let's see if we can get her going. So somebody online was saying that they were looking for stores that did not have the widow set up because their kid was like really scared of the widow. And the thing is that you're in luck if you're in that position because in every store that I've been to, as you walk in, like this is the setup here, and the widow is basically hidden around this side and way deep inside that chamber. So she's very easy to stay away from. All right, let's come around here. I'm assuming we're going, no, I thought we'd have Slim set up here, but we have Gordo, all right. All right, let's get Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo. He's not lighting up very much here. His lights must not be working, but he did jump nice and his guts are hanging nice. One of my favorite things about Gordo is the sounds. It's all those spooky Halloween sounds like you would hear on the old Halloween spooky sounds records. And over here we have the straw man. This, when the border between worlds grows 
I know I've said this before, but it always cracks me up when he's in this spot because he's just like jammed up in there where he doesn't really fit. All right, guys, it looks like they have boxes of animatronics, not set up, but I mean like on the floor for sale, spread out throughout the entire store. So we're going to check those out, starting with this guy right here, Mrs. Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface animatronic right there. Let's go on over here, guys, because I see a young Crouchy. And then we have Darling Dolly, who I have yet to buy, but she's in a giant box and won't fit in my car. Over here, I see we have a Desmodus. Hold on, let me back up in here. Yep, there he is, Mr. Desmodus. We have a stuffed dummy prop on top, as well as a bouncy Sam head. On the other side, we have another Desmodus, and we have an empty soul girl on a swing, and the swinging witch. Sinister spirit doll up here. We have the black heart here. We have another black heart there. We have a fogging skull pile on the bottom. Oh my gosh, guys, they have a whole bunch around, like, every corner. Let's make our way back here. Look at this. They have three howling spirits here right beside the ham hock for sale. I see the hook eye guy, but I do not see a hook head hog. All right, we got two darling dollies over here we have another swinging witch stuffed dummy prop this little scary flying ghost doesn't get enough attention in these videos hello scary flying ghost somebody else online was asking about this black light paint have any of you bought this and used it and how well does it actually work they have so many empty soul girls on swings in this store guys and look we have some creepy crimson girls on the swings more of the swinging witches lots of talking haunted dolls but i have only seen crouchy in one store this season guys i believe that was in california why am i so intrigued by the employees only door what kind of spookiness lurks back there all right i see some cauldrons let's leave some stickers in there we have an eternal rest hiding over here underneath the posable spiders of course we have a thousand jumping spiders here okay maybe not a thousand but a few let's see there's six 12, 17. Okay, I was way off. We have the creeping cats and carrots and the secret keeping cats, but I don't see scabs anywhere. Three of the 55 inch floor candelabras. Those are spooky. We got skull stacks and pumpkin stacks, and then we have these little guys over here that we've been seeing in stores recently. And we have this peculiar thing right here, which I think is a brain, but it could be bowels. Ah, uh, yes, it is in fact intestines. How sick! Wait, here's the brain underneath. That's the problem with humanity. Our intestines are bigger than our brains. And look at this, guys. Something else I have not seen in these stores yet. Right on top of all the bouncy pillows, we have this. Look at this. It says, Violet, you're turning violet. Does anybody know what that's from? There's no face on her, what the heck? That is actually from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. They have plush Sallies and plush Crouchies. I love how they're all sitting there like looking so comfy, watching everything that's happening in the store. We're gonna go back and look at those masks in just a minute here, but I wanna continue around this way to look at more animatronics over here. And look at this, they have a sitting scarecrow just sitting randomly out here. This appears to be the regular sitting scarecrow and he has some blind bags in his bucket. Let's see if he's on his sensor. Is it, yes! <laughs> All right, very, very cool. So cool that we're gonna go ahead and add some stickers. And right beside him, guys, we have a Emmeline, who I have not yet bought either, but she's in a huge box and won't fit in my car. We have another Papa Pins here. A whole plethora of zombie babies, but yet again, I am not seeing a burrito baby. Have you seen the burrito baby? No. Have you seen the burrito baby? No. Have you seen the burrito baby? Have you seen the burrito baby? No, but I've seen the Lord. All right, on the end we have tiny terrors, guys. We have all of them. How cool. We have the leather face, which in my opinion is probably the best looking one out of all of these, except for I don't know why he doesn't have a chainsaw. I do kind of like the hammer 
and it fits, but I do wish he had a chainsaw. We have Sam here with his sucker, and oh, we don't have them all. We have Leatherface, Sam, and we have Ghostface, but we do not have Pennywise. Whoa, have we seen this one yet? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Wreath? Look at this, we got a skull up here. It's parts of a skeleton. A skull, we have the arms and the hands, and then we have random bones hanging on the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this, they even have a picture of Mama in the chair. At first I thought that was Nubbins, but that's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And right outside this aisle, we have even more animatronics. Look at this, guys. We have Desmodus here. We have a young Crouchy on the top here. We have a straw man here. We have two little skelly bones down there. In fact, if we come around the other side, you can see there is a third little skelly bones and a The Widow and the Eternal Rest on the bottom. And unless there are more lurking around the corners, I think that's all the animatronics in the store. So I do want to come over here and show you this before I forget because this is what I saw when I first walked in guys the killer clowns from outer space popcorn gun this is literally only the second store that I have seen this in and I think this is store number 31 for the season they also have the acid pies they have the cotton candy guns down here but this is the one that I've only seen in two stores. Now, I'm not going to buy it. I just wanted to see it again just to get a close look. And it looks totally awesome. Look at the popcorn up in there. I wish I could see like what it does. Like if you actually turn the crank, does that popcorn bubble in there? I think it does. And I could be wrong, but I'm thinking my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube, may have already bought that. And I can't remember, guys, is that Jumbo right there? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, wait, they have Killer Clowns costumes here. Let's just take a look at these. Oh, yeah, yeah, because here he is with the three spiked up green hairs there. Three single hairs on his head. I like this chick version of the shorty. That is pretty cool and I love how she's holding that cotton candy. Let's not forget to be putting stickers around in the buckets. All right, let's take a minute to look at this haunted mansion stuff here because I haven't spent a lot of time on it recently. Look at this. They have three different kinds of the fleece throws. This one up here is really cool. It's almost like panels showing the characters. Then we have be Beware of the Hitchhiking ghosts and then we just have this regular haunted mansion one over here which is actually double-sided so it has like this print on the one side and that print on the other haunted mansion door knocker Ooh. That took a while. I thought he was going to talk like right off the bat there. We have this little haunted mansion plaque here. Let's see, we have the hanging bat decor, a table runner, light up metallic mantle scarf. That's pretty cool right there. Wall decor panels. That's kind of like what we were looking at on that plush throw up there. Metallic tablecloth. And look at these. I wonder if these like, okay, I thought maybe when you move this back and forth, it would be like that lenticular thing, but it's not, it's just that picture there, which is cool anyway. And this one too, that is actually pretty dang spooky. And what's this haunted mansion book? Is it an actual book? Is it like, oh, it's like a, it's like a diary or a journal. That is actually pretty cool right there. I love how the front is like 3D. So if you look at it sideways, you can see it actually sticks out. Here's a couple stickers for Constance Hatchaway. Ooh, all right, let's look at the side steppers here. I see they do have the ghost face. They have Lydia here. They have Sam. They have Frankenstein, Spiky, but I do not see Chucky or Leatherface. Never know though, in this store they have a lot of stuff set in different areas. So if we just look around, we might find them. Guys, isn't it so cool just to stand in one place and kind of pan around and look at all the awesomeness that we are surrounded by in the spirit Halloween stores. Not to mention right behind me we have some Chucky greeters, we have this Chucky talking doll. You can't hear him because he's inside the box but he's so cool. 
we have several Annabelles here, Sam Greeters, we have a Sam Sitting Doll. We don't have any Chuckies, and I don't see any Glens here. Let's peek over here just in case. No, I thought maybe they'd have a random one sitting over there. We have some more plush over here. We have Lydia from Beetlejuice. We have Adam and what the heck is her name? Barbara. And we have both of the Sam dolls. This one here with the burlap head and this one with the rotting pumpkin head. Ooh, here's the setup for all the backpacks and those will be coming soon. Pretty soon when you come in here, they're all going to be right here. Let's look at these door covers for a minute because these are pretty dang cool and I don't think I've seen them all, including this one right here from Trick or Treat. I don't know if I've seen this one or not. It's a wall decor. It's not actually a door cover. You just hang this on your wall. But look at this. His face is burlap with part of it ripped away and you can see the rotting pumpkin face on the inside. Here's a couple of door covers here. We have ghost face breaking out through the door. We have Reagan crawling backwards down the steps. I do not like that. Go away, Miss Evil. We have this door cover with Chucky breaking out through the glass. We have another wall hanger here with uh, Pennywise. And this one is almost the same with Ghostface breaking out through here. But on the door cover, he's breaking out through the glass door. And on the wall decor, he's just breaking out through, I don't know, some fabric or something, I guess. Look at this. We have Hocus Pocus decor panels. I guess this is... This must be two panels that go on either side of your door. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. You could get that and put Billy Butcherson's head right down at the bottom. Here's another door cover with Frankenstein. Now that one looks pretty awesome. I love how it's kind of like the lab in the background there. We got Leatherface breaking out through, well, no, he's not breaking out through the door. He's about to slam the door shut. I like how you can see the skulls on the wall inside behind him. Here's a Michael Myers. Eh, that could have looked better, I think, but that still is pretty cool. Here's another Pennywise just peering out through the door. Is the glass? Yeah, the glass on that one is also broken if you look closely. I like this one. This is a flag. It's not a door cover, but Derry is calling, and I love the way that one looks with Pennywise with his hair just, like, blowing behind him. Look, there's arms in his hair. It's the arms of the children. Here's a trick-or-treat flag with Sam on it. That looks pretty cool, too. And we got one more down here killer clowns from outer space welcome to the crazy show that's pretty cool that's another flag 14 foot light up banner i almost missed this it says happy halloween and stretches 14 feet across the front of your spooky haunted house let's look at these other wreaths too because this one's pretty cool this is a sam wreath and it has a button a try me button oh okay He's got lights on his that light up. Can you see those? Might be a little bit too bright in here. I didn't see any lights or a button on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but we also have this one down here if I can get it. Welcome to the crazy show. I don't see lights on there, but I do like the popcorn. That's pretty cool. And then we have ghost face here, and this one also has a button. So let me hang it up here. Hold on. Okay, so... Oh, okay, I see there's tiny little lights around on this one that light up as well. I thought maybe the face would light up. You could actually change that though and put a light behind his face. That would be cool. And I do like how it also includes a knife. Okay, I said we were gonna look at the masks. So let's go ahead and make our way back here, guys, to this back little corner. All right, let's see. Will we see anything in this store that we have not seen in other stores? I have seen this one in other stores, but I love it so much. The Vintage Jolly Ghost Mask. Look how jolly that guy is. L Wire Laugh Riot Clown Mask. He kind of looks like Nighty Night. And I do love the metallic masks. This one looks so cool. Flame Friend. Have we seen him? He's not lighting up, but he probably has that. Oh, yeah, he's got the tab there you'd have to pull. I do like that Misfits mask down there, although I'm sure most people don't realize Misfits was an actual band. And I don't see anything else on this section that we haven't seen before. Hello, Crouchy. Uh, what the heck? That is a hard nose. All right, anything in this section that we haven't seen yet? I don't think so. Here's the ghostly ghoul with disgusting hair. I do like the sweet doll mask and the bloody psycho. <laughs> oh, and there's the nighty night right there. Wait, have we seen this one? Die laughing mask? That one kind of looks like Nighty Night, actually. And we can't skip over the vintage zombie mask. I love the green color on that one.
We have seen most of these, and there's my Nightmare 4 mask that I love so much. I should just buy that thing already. But down here on the bottom, I see one that I don't think we've seen before. Look at this. It's called the Laughing Jester. Look, he's got disgusting green hair. <laughs> at first, I thought he was just crouchy hanging down there, but he's got green hair. Disgusting green hair. And have we seen this green alien before? I'm pretty sure we have. Look at that. He's got a long head in the back. And look at those teeth. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. I think all of these are the Animotion masks here where like your chin fits in their chin and when you talk the mouth actually moves those are pretty cool actually hello grandma hello grandpa have you taken the garbage out yet dear i will as soon as my sandwich is done all right these are more that we have seen we got star wars masks down here we have a couple of the halloween ends masks here the purge more halloween halloween 2 halloween 1 Devil Face, Dead by Daylight, Scream. Oh, they do have the aged mask here. That's cool. And the light up mask, as well as this crazy guy. All right, let's leave some stickers back here by the masks. Look at this. It's a construction cone hat. Have I seen that before? Ooh, here you go. This is kind of like a Tiger King cowboy hat. Oh, here's a door cover that wasn't over there. It's the Corpse Bride. I like that one. That's pretty cool. You know what, guys? I honestly don't know if I've ever seen the entire movie of the Corpse Bride. I should watch it tonight because it looks so good. In fact, I think I may even own it. And maybe I started it one time and then got interrupted or something, but I don't think I've ever seen the whole thing. What in the world is this shiny spider? This thing is heavy, too. That is no joke, man. I would not want to wake up to this thing jumping on my face. This is cool right here. A three-pack skull wall decor. We got a red, a gold, and a black, and they just hang on your wall. And right above those, these are really cool. The bleeding candles. We have black and white, but when you light them and they're melting, they actually melt red wax. Lots of stuff in the Nightmare Before Christmas section. And look at this. I don't think I've seen this before. Something in the wind. That is pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. Here's an awesome Jack Skellington light. Wait a minute, here's a spells book. Is this an actual spells book? This is gonna be crazy. 1001 spells, the complete book of spells for every purpose. Okay, is it just decoration or is it actually a spell book? Let's see. Guys, it's an actual spell book. What the heck? We're gonna gently place that right back there and get far away from the witches. Oh my gosh, guys, for such a small store, they are absolutely packed with stuff. Two inflatable costumes that I have never seen yet. Look at this right here. It's the inflatable Looney Tunes Gossamer inflatable costume. What the heck? It's like a giant heart. Look at that thing. <laughs> and he even has hair across the top. And here is the other one that I don't think I've ever seen, but it is the most awesome inflatable dinosaur costume ever. Reptar from Rugrats. What the heck? $79.99 if you want to be Reptar. That guy is so cool right there. I think the inflatable costumes are my favorite of them all. But I do love the food costumes for some reason. They just crack me up. Look at this. We have the Works hot dog. We have the taco. I could go for some tacos right now. We have the pickle. I could not go for a pickle. <laughs> we got the banana. We got the inflatable corn. What the heck? That reminds me of the evil corn mask we saw in the other store. I can't believe it. Inflatable corn. $50 if you want to be an inflatable corn. Mom, can I be a corn for Halloween? Avocado and toast. I do not like avocado. Look up here. We have chips and salsa. I do like chips and salsa. We have cup of noodles up there. There's an inflatable banana, peanut butter and jelly, which sounds absolutely delicious right now, and cookies and milk. Yum. But I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one because my favorite cookies are Chips Ahoy, but this looks like a chewy Chips Ahoy. No thank you. I do love this inflatable shark costume though. I think this one would be hilarious to wear if you were having like a Sharknado movie party. All right, let's leave a few more stickers. We'll put some down here by Ghostface and Sam. Couple by the zombie babies. Let's give a couple to the sidesteppers here. And we'll leave a couple for Gordo. 
All right, guys, I think I've seen everything I want to see in here, but I'm going to buy something today, and I think it's going to be this guy that I keep putting off, the inflatable spirit snake. Guys, what the heck? I have to leave disappointed. I got up to the counter, I set the snake down, I got my sticker ready for when I make my donation, and I didn't have my wallet. What in the world? How crazy is that? All right. I might swing back around here later tonight, so keep an eye out on the channel. If I come back and we get the inflatable snake, I will be doing an unboxing. And if you walked up and said trick or treat and they didn't give you anything, you could be like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. Let's play a game. All right, guys, in case you have not been paying attention, I am traveling the country filming spirit Halloween stores in every one of 50 states across the entire country of the USA in that giant RV right back there. And let me tell you, some of these are not easy to get into. Today, we are going to this spirit Halloween right back here in Kennewick, Washington. I believe that's how it's said. If it's not, you guys tell me, but I think it's pronounced Kennywick. And I believe this is in an old Tuesday morning, which seems to be a place that Spirit Halloween took over a lot of this season. So even though it is a Sunday morning when I am filming this, we are going into the Tuesday morning to see the Spirit Halloween. But to add one more layer to it, this video will actually be going up on a Monday. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Spirit. Guys, I believe this is the 41st state that I am filming Spirit Halloween stores in. I have nine more states to go. Will you join me? Will you subscribe to see when I hit number 50? All right, guys, here we go. Spirit Halloween, Kennewick, Washington. What do they have? Maybe they have some Naruto. All right, we're gonna say hello to our animatronic friends in just a second, but look at this, guys. I noticed some cool things here that I haven't seen, like this skeleton hand bracelet. What the heck? That is pretty cool. Oh, look, your fingers go through there. Does it actually have... It must actually have joints on it. That's like so emo. And look at this, we have the skull armor ring. This is actually pretty cool. I have seen these and it also has a little hook there that your finger goes in and this one does bend with your finger. That is pretty cool right there. That also is so emo. Okay, I can hear our Martian going off over here so let's come on over and say hi. Hello, Mr. Martian. Wait a minute, he stopped. All right, let's get him going again here. He is awesome. The only thing I don't like is that his dome is so shiny that there's always a big reflection in it. Like I'm trying to show you his face and there's a huge reflection of the door in it. Death awaits all who enter here. All right, let's come over and say hello to gorgeous George. Hello, gorgeous George. Okay, I've heard enough of you. Let's come over and say hello to gorgeous Slim. <laughs> And guys, just for old time's sake, I have to say it. What are those? Couple of stickers for Slim here. Oh look, Grim is wearing a bracelet. What the heck? PP? What does that mean? All right, if you're the person who put that bracelet on Grim, let me know in the comments. Hello, Grim. Spooky candles. Fabric of death. Goblets of fire. And gargoyles of death. Look how cool the gargoyle looks when the light from the fire is shining straight up on him. Oh, it looks like Dagger Mike has run away. But we do have the scary sitting scarecrow here. Let's see if he works with the step pad. Yep, there he is. Hello, sir. We're gonna leave you some stickers for a child who would like to find some. All right, let's say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. 
Okay, that appears to be it for our animatronic friends up front here. Let's go ahead through the store. Wait a minute. Man, do I love going to stores that I've never been to before. Look at this, guys. I have never seen this shirt before. Warning, the monster demands a mate. The Bride of Frankenstein. That is a pretty cool shirt right there. Universal Monsters on the front. There's a print of flowers on the sleeves. And the Bride of Frankenstein on the back. We have seen this canvas tote, which is pretty cool. People online are loving this. Never trust the living. And then, I don't think I've looked at these yet. Universal Monsters Bride of Frankenstein costume and a Franken check. These are pretty cool though too. Look at this. Iron-on patch and lapel pin set. So that comes with two pins, Frankenstein and the creature from the Black Lagoon, and two patches that you iron on. All right, let's go ahead and make our way. Oh, hello, squishy face Freddy. <laughs> what the heck? All right, let's make our way back through the store here, guys. See if they have any other animatronics set up. I do see some animatronics on the floor over here for sale. But let's take a walk through the back here first and see if they have, like, another place. Yes, they do. They have the back ISE set up. How very cool. All right, wait a minute. Somebody back here is laughing at me. Here we go. She is just laughing up a storm here with her little hair spout. I'd be laughing too if I had a hair spout and my hand jammed into a pumpkin. Guys, I just heard Darling Dolly and she was so loud. Okay, look at this. Her hair in front of her face. All right, let's get her going here. Here we go. Watch this. Watch how loud. Oh my God. <laughs> so loud. I think I'm gonna need a diaper after that one. All right, let's get the eternal rest going here, if she will. Does she work? All right, she's not working. She must be in a slumber of death. All right, I hear the black heart going over here. Let's go ahead and see him. Your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. So somebody was saying you should put a mask on her. Like, I should buy him, and I should put a different mask or a different dummy in there so that every time he opens his arm, there's, like, somebody different in there. That is a cool idea. Like, you could literally just put anything in there. I've never put this together, so I don't know how removable she is, but you could at least put some kind of a face mask on her. Like, any of these would work. Just the regular face mask that just goes over the front of your face. You could put Jolly Wally on her face. Who's behind him? Oh, it's another Jolly Jolly Wally, okay. Or you could put the silent clown mask, that one would work. Or even the nighty night. All right, let's come back over here and say hello to Gordo. Come on, Gordo. All right, here we go. Very cool, not very loud, but very awesome. Surprisingly, the Grave Watcher. Okay, here she goes. I was gonna say, surprisingly, she's not going absolutely ballistic in here like she usually does, but there's her. Let's see if Dust Modus works. Okay, here we go. Ooh, wow, <laughs> he actually made me jump that time. Holy crap, good job, sir. All right, let's try Skelly. Come on now, Skelly, I see his eyes lighting up. Come on, Skelly, come on. There we go. Skelly always, always does us right. Okay, let's go ahead and do our jumping spider here. Good job, sir. I think all of you deserve some stickers. Here's some for the jumping spider. Here's some for these fellows. And let's leave a couple for this laughing fellow right here. What about my stickers? I do love how there's so many sounds going on here right now. Let's keep moving, guys. Come on over here and say hello to Here Lies Lord Farquaad. See if we can get the howling spirit going. Come on, there we go. It seems to me, guys, that he's supposed to be, like, moving back and forth, too. I honestly don't remember. I've seen so many of these, and some of them work right, some of them don't. I was in one store where, like, only one arm was moving. All right, you guys tell me, am I doing it wrong when it comes to the gargoyle? Isn't he, like, just supposed to be on some kind of a sensor where he lights up and he makes some sound? 90% of the stores I go into, he is also in the slumber of death. Oh, look who they have set up over here, guys. They actually have a Bubba set up. I think this is only the second or third store where they've actually had a Bubba set up. 
You gotta love Bubba. Good job, sir. You deserve a bone. And you are in luck because we have a whole selection over here. You know what's funny, guys? One of the only things I haven't made fun of and called it, like, the chains of death or the heart of death is the ham hock of death. <laughs> One ham hock for sale. I like this heart because you could get it and play Indiana Jones in a temple of doom. Kalima Satide. All right, ma'am, I'm sorry for tearing your heart out. All right, let's make our way over here for a minute, guys. We're gonna go over to where I saw the stacks of animatronics for sale. They are right over here on the right. Look at this, holy crap. Once in a lifetime, guys, there is only one jumping spider available under the giant jumping spider's animatronic sign. There's usually like 50 of them there. What the heck? I'm sorry you don't have any friends, Mr. Jumping Spider. Someone will be in to adopt you very soon. And when they do, they will get a Nate Guy sticker. All right, let's take a look at what we have over here, guys. On the corner, we have a leather face. We have a Emmeline, which I have not bought yet and I still want to. We have a Howling Spirit on the top. All right, arms move up and down and make scary sounds. I guess that is all he was supposed to do. I was thinking that he was supposed to like kind of go back and forth too, but I guess it's just the arms. We got a stilt on the bottom, AKA Papa Pins. We have a Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. <laughs> Warrior, what the heck did I say that for? A Mars Attacks Martian Warrior right here and another leather face over here as well as two sitting scarecrows not the scary sitting scarecrows just the regular sitting scarecrows look at this guys how cool is this i think this is only the second or third store that i've been in where they actually had the michael myers plush i have not bought him yet but let's take a look at these we have the crouchy plush here i love how when you shake him his hair goes nuts like watch this hair what the heck? <laughs> we have Sally, we have Michael Myers, we have Adam here, we have Barbara here, we have Annabelle here, Miss Argentina down here, we have Georgie's boat, we have the rotting pumpkin head Sam. Who is this? Oh, it's Wednesday. I don't know if I've seen the plush Wednesday in any other store. And look, she even has her headless doll. How cool is that? And we got a couple more here on the bottom. We have the regular Sam here. We have this dude from The Corpse Bride. Every time I touch one of these, it comes off the little hanger thing. Okay, there you go, back to your home. And then we have this guy here, Cousin It. That one is pretty dang cool, guys. When I first came in here, I thought this was gonna be a very small store, but it's actually pretty dang big, guys. It goes all the way around, all the way back. They have both of the animatronic ISEs set up, tons of doormats, tons of the backpacks, lunch boxes galore, and then these guys. Dog costumes, many of the bobbleheads, many of the bouncy heads, many of the plush throws. And here's one that I don't know if I've ever seen before, guys. Nightmare Before Christmas Reversible, The Lovers. Have I shown you this before? I don't know if I've seen this one before. Have I seen the Mars Attacks one too? I don't know, you guys tell me. Ooh, look, this section is called Haunted Home. I don't know if I've seen this before, but we have this guy here. And then we have, look at this, it's a black rose. Plenty of Beetlejuice, plenty of Nightmare Before Christmas, plenty of Elvis, plenty of 80s goodness, plenty of inflatable and couples costumes, as well as this weird stuff over here, plenty of nurses and doctors, a couple of tiny terrors, plenty of monster hands, plenty of eyes, plenty of masks, plenty of baseball bats, plenty of inflatables, plenty of rats and dogs and carrots and cats. Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Here's the snake inflatable that I was going to buy at the Bend, Oregon store, and I got up to the counter and didn't have my wallet with me. What the heck? And it's right there in front of me, but I don't think I'm going to buy it today, guys. I gotta be feeling it when I buy some of this stuff and I'm not feeling it. Are you feeling it? Let's take a look at these awesome trick-or-treat bags right here because I haven't taken any time to do that recently. And I like this one right here. With this skull, you actually go up and you put the candy right in here. And there's even a skull on the actual bag. Here's a skeleton hand that works the same way and it's got a skull on that bag. This one I love. It's a green hand 
because it's a green Slimer. Look at this, we got another green hand up here with an alien, an orange hand with a pumpkin, and what is, is this, it's SpongeBob. It's a pineapple and a SpongeBob bag. This one down here looks like some sort of clown. Yeah, and a white hand. Look, he has green nails on there. How cool is that? And then we have this one, which I believe is, yes, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from uh, Ghostbusters. And look at the hand. It's a marshmallow hand. Trick or treat, I'd like one s'mores, please. And if you walked up and said trick or treat and they didn't give you anything, you could be like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. And if you were wearing this mask, you could be like, you must have read the instructions wrong with your one eye. All right, you gotta love the Ninja Turtles. I'm all about the older original Ninja Turtles, but look at this. These look so awesome. They actually look like they just jumped off the page of a comic book. How cool is that? Have you guys seen the new Ninja Turtles movie yet? I have not, and I want to see it. Let me know how it is. Look, you can even get eye masks. If you don't want to buy, like, the actual mask, you can get eye masks and paint your whole face green. <laughs> Speaking of green, hello, Oogie Boogie. All right, guys, I know I haven't filmed everything in this store. It's such a huge store, but I actually have to drive all the way to Idaho today. So I'm going to call it a day on this store, but not before we look at these giant feet. I should get these giant Mickey feet just to wear around. <laughs> <laughs> These guys think that's a good idea, but this guy doesn't go away evil. All right, to close this one out, guys, the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 mask that I always talk about how much I love, yet I have not bought it yet. Look at how awesome that is. Shall I buy it right here, right now, in Kennewick, Washington? <laughs> We got some creeping cats on the end here, as well as three scabs and a couple of secret keeping cats. Where is Carrot? All right, guys, today we are in Boise, Idaho. Yesterday we were in Kennewick, Washington. I made a six hour drive to get here, Boise, Idaho, to see this spirit Halloween right here. Now, there are a good handful of spirit Halloween stores here in Boise, but I thought this one looked very cool. I really want to find one inside a tent because I have seen that some of them are inside giant tents, almost like a circus tent. This one is not. <laughs> if I am not mistaken, this store just opened at 10 a.m. It is literally 10.01 a.m. What do you think of that, miss? Oh, not speaking, okay. All right, let's go in and see what Boise, oops, Idaho has to offer. Here we go, West Park Town Plaza in Boise, Idaho. Guys, I cannot tell you how excited I get every single time I step into a spirit Halloween. Even though a lot of people say, oh, it's the same thing over and over and over, it's not really, because I usually find more awesome stuff I haven't seen. Some stores are stocked, some stores are not. They have different animatronics set up. And right here, right now, in Boise, Idaho, in the front, we have the Widow. Come on, Widow. <laughs> you gotta love the Widow, guys. And let's just take a minute here to look at the setup here. This is a little different setup walking in the door here, but it looks totally awesome. They have done a great job setting up this store. We got the fire of death. We have the gargoyles of death, the spirit hollows cemetery of death, and the widow of death. Wait, look at this. I've never looked at her little medallion here. It's actually a magnifying glass. What the heck? What do you see? <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look, we have Gordo set up right in the front here, too. I think it's the first time we've seen Gordo set up in the front. All right, here we go, Gordo. This is usually... Come on. 
There you go. This is usually where gorgeous George is. Wait a minute, no. This is usually where the widow is on this side, and gorgeous George is usually over here. Who is it? Who would it be? It is gorgeous George. All right, George, let's get going here. All right, let's leave some stickers for George. We'll leave a couple for the widow. We'll leave a couple for Gordo right here. And who else do we have? We have the straw man. All right, straw man, do your stuff. If you're looking for somewhere safe, you can hide in the hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and very cozy. <laughs> You gotta love the straw man, guys. Couple stickers for the straw man here. And awesome props to this store right here, guys, because so far, every animatronic is working. And look at this ginormous selection of animatronics for sale on the floor. I love to walk into the stores and see giant stacks of animatronics like this. Some of the stores, they have to keep them behind the counter because apparently people have been stealing them, just like grabbing them and running out the door so they even block the doors but this one they have them all set up oh a light just went off which makes it even spookier what the heck i think that was these lights all right let's get down to the spooky goodness we've got man's possessed friend bubba right here in fact we have two of them we have an eternal rest on the bottom there we have a whole stack of jumping spiders here we have the black and red the black do we have a brown um I don't see any plain brown, but that is fine. We have a little skelly bones. We have another Bubba down here, a Darling Dolly. Behind Darling Dolly, we have Desmodus and a Howling Spirit and the Grave Watcher on top. Plenty of stuffed dummy props there. Another Desmodus right over here. We got a sitting scarecrow, a scary sitting scarecrow, another one, another one, and another regular sitting scarecrow here. Wait a minute. Ooh, here we go, guys. Here's the brown jumping spiders. Yes, I knew we would find some. We have a couple of straw mans here and a couple of the widows and even more on this side. We have a slim here and a stilts, AKA Papa Pins. And guys, check this out. Papa Pins, remember in the beginning when I told you where that came from, there's a bowling alley called Poppin' Pins and is actually here in Idaho, in Preston, Idaho, and that is the bowling alley where they filmed the scenes from Napoleon Dynamite. If I were heading to Preston, Idaho today, guys, I would totally buy Papa Pins right now and I would take him and give him to the good folks at the Poppin' Pins. All right, Papa, we'll keep that in mind for another day. Let's head back, wait a moment here. I see Billy Butcherson's head. And what is this here? Mix and match, buy one, get one 50% off. Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, Haunted Mansion, and Beetlejuice. I wonder if that actually includes Billy Butcherson's head. I'm gonna have to ask. All right, let's keep making our way back here. Wow, this store is even bigger than I thought it was. Hello, Mr. Squishy Face Freddy. Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone. Guys, I am still watching this series. And last night I caught myself considering buying a Yellowstone Dutton Ranch hat because I knew they had them here at Spirit Halloween. All right, let's keep making our way back here. We're gonna come back and look at some more of this stuff, including like all these masks and stuff over here. But I just wanna see if they happen to have any other animatronics around the store. In fact, here are some more jumping spiders here. Sometimes they have more like in the little nooks and crannies and corners around the store. All right, let's take a look here. We have a ton of Sinister Spirit dolls. Somebody online this morning posted an awesome spooky picture of her, like standing in a graveyard and there was fog and everything. It was so spooky. Here we go, we have a couple back here, guys. It's the Empty Soul Girl on a Swing and the Swinging Witches. More Empty Soul Girls up here. We have all the talking dolls here. All right, let's see. Any other animatronics hiding around these corners here? Here's some stickers for the car. Aldrin. We got the ham hock, the hook head hog, the hook eye guy, the wave of bad breath. And let's look at a couple things we usually don't look at in this aisle. 
like the step pad cover set. That is pretty cool. These are for your animatronics and it actually comes with four different step pad covers as you see right there. Those are just covers though. This is actually the step pad right here and this is $10.99. The covers are $6.99 for four covers. Chains of Death, Foot of Death, Hand of Death, Leg of Death. We got a regular severed hand and then this is the one that I like. The severed hand where there is a bone sticking out the front of the finger. I guess you'd call that the finger tip. Maybe it's a tip bone. <laughs> the tip bone's connected to the finger bone. All right, we got tons of furry spiders here. We have the slithering snake. Have we looked at him yet? Wow, that's a thick rubber slithering snake. <laughs> Multi-prop remote, three skull lawn stakes. Ooh, okay, I see there's three of them on there, but there's two skulls on each of the stakes. Zombie hand lawn stakes. We got some creeping cats on the end here, as well as three scabs and a couple of secret keeping cats. Where is Carrot? Ooh, have I seen these skulls, guys? These are like human-sized skulls. Does the jaw move? I don't know if the jaw moves or not. Yeah, a little bit. It's a hinged jaw. Doesn't move a whole lot, but look at this. He's got blood on his incisors. <laughs> I ought to get one of these to put on the front of the Hummer. I like these hanging ghouls. I don't think they get enough attention, but they are cool if you like hung them around your property from your trees. We have the hanging tattered girl here, the hanging skull reaper, the hanging bride doll. This one's cool, the animated faceless specter. It's called, oh, he has chains with him too, chains of death. And of course we have the five foot six inch hanging clown, which sort of looks like hugs, but mainly just because he has green hair. Whoa, look at this guys. They have secret keeping cat socks. What the heck? Those are cool. <laughs> those look like the vintage secret keeping cats. How much are those? $7.99 for the secret keeping cat socks. All right, let's look at these couples outfits here because these are pretty cool. We got the bear okay maybe they're not really couples outfits but there's couples on the front so you could get two of these and be a couple the bear union suit the cow union suit the cute cow union suit so the dude could wear the regular cow the chick could wear the cute cow tiger union suit dalmatian union suit you could get 101 friends and be dalmatians the shark union suit for your sharknado party monkey union suit i like this one look at the way that chick is hunched down there like a real monkey <laughs> oh and look at this sloth union suit if you were going to watch the movie the bad guys that would be perfect all right let's take a look at some of these masks over here we have the original 1978 michael myers halloween this is the texas chainsaw mask that i like right here of course we have an alien i actually drove through the area of area 51 look they got a momo mask remember when this thing was all over the internet and scaring the crap out of everybody. We got the Nightmare 4 mask, which I bought yesterday. The Saw mask. I like this one so much. The Nun for You mask. The Red Ghost Face Devil mask. We got Frankenstein. We got the Grumpy Baby Uncle Bobby. And Papa Pin's best friend waiting to go to bingo with his blue hair. The Ghostly Ghoul with his disgusting hair. Ichigo Half mask. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I do love the Plague Doctor masks, though. Those those are really creepy. And I like this one, the hooded darkness. Oh, somebody also asked me in the comments to find this one, the skeletal crow mask. And this is one of those that the mouth actually moves. And that is $19.99. That's not too bad for that mask. That's actually a pretty dang good price. They also have the skeletal bat mask. I like that one. That's my favorite right there. And the skeletal wolf and the skeletal evil goat. Stay away, evil. I know right? They have the Fall Guys. They have the Teletubbies. They have Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. They have gangsters. They have Roman gladiators. They have hippies. They have pirates. They have Vikings and knights. Look at this. They even have a pet dragon. Have I seen this before? I know I've seen like the owl that sits on your shoulder, but this one sits on your shoulder. You wrap that strap around so he won't fall off. And then you have a pet shoulder dragon. All right, let's see what kind of zombie babies they have in here. They have a whole plethora, but I do not see 
The burrito baby. I mean, I have a burrito baby. I'm not looking to buy another one, but it's always fun just to be looking for something. And the burrito baby is one of those things I have not seen in any stores yet this season. Somebody told me he's online only this year, and maybe that's the case, but somebody else also posted a picture of one burrito baby in a store. They have all the pajamas. They have tons of plush over here, tons of different doormats. I'm still looking for a different scream doormat than this one. They have a whole plethora of the bobbleheads here. They have the giant ghost face knife, which I think is totally cool. And that's not even like cheap foam. That's actually made from wood. Oh, here's a costume I haven't seen this season yet. The poison ivy cape in the Poison Ivy bodysuit. That's actually pretty cool. There's even Poison Ivy leg wraps and a Poison Ivy cosmetic kit and the gloves. Batman, the Joker, the Riddler. I like this Joker mask because he has the chin that actually moves. Joker suspenders, a Joker bow tie, Joker cosmetic kit. Let's look at the Ghostbusters costumes for a second here because these are awesome. Look at this. We have the inflatable Stay Puffed on the top there. We have a Ghostbusters proton pack, the ecto goggles, and the jumpsuits. And I believe that this has interchangeable name patches. Yeah, so whatever name patch you want to use, you just stick it on there with Velcro. Get out of my face, Barfamet. Holy crap, guys, look at this. They actually have the popcorn gun, too. And somebody did tell me that the popcorn in there, like, pops around as if it's actually popping. It pops around like it's actually popping. What sense? does that make? They got all the Chucky costumes and accessories. Friday the 13th, Trick or Treat, lots of Pennywise, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And since I bought the Freddy mask recently, I really should invest in the Freddy glove, but I think I'm going to wait and find the the deluxe one that's like metal. And what do you know? It's right here on the side. How cool is that? So they have this one right here, which is like a hard plastic. They have this one down here, which is a very soft plastic. And then they have this one here, which is the one I was just talking about. It's called the Supreme Edition. It's a replica metal Freddy Krueger glove. That is awesome. That is $59.99 and I have a 20% coupon. That should take off about 12 bucks. That's a good deal. They also have the Freddy hat, but I'm not sure that I really want or need that. Wait, look at this pumpkin vest. What the heck? I have not seen this before. That's hilarious. And look at this awesome hooded flannel spirit shirt. We got Jack the Reaper on the front and on the back it says spirit three times. That is an awesome shirt right there. And that is $39.99 if you want to come down here and get one. All right, let's take one more journey to the other side of the store here, guys. See if there's anything that we missed that we haven't really seen yet. They do have these pops here. These are pretty cool. Victor and Emily from The Corpse Bride. And then we have Bibbo with Shorty in a pizza box. That one's hilarious. Let's leave some stickers for them. Let's leave some stickers for Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Man. And Bluey and Bluey and Bluey. And Bullseye and Bullseye and Bullseye. And the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. McQueen, McQueen, McQueen. One for the basket. It, one for the unicorn. Oh, somebody asked me to look at the Barbie costumes. So here's a skating Barbie, and here's a Western Barbie, and then we have the pink power jumpsuit Barbie. Let's not forget to say hello to our tiny terrors. Hello, ghost face. Hello, leather face. Hello, Sam face. Look at this. They have a whole bunch of these ghost face uh, fleece throws. I actually have this one as well as the one where he's like bursting out of the TV, but I do not have this one where he's saying, call me. And before we go, let's leave some stickers for the blood. All right, guys, I think I've seen everything I want to see in here. This is an enormous, awesome, totally stocked store. Make sure you come down here to Boise, Idaho and check it out and buy some awesome Halloween stuff. And don't forget to pick up your stickers. Wait a minute, we got a candle down. We got a candle down. All right, let me set the candle up here. Hold on. Those are pretty awesome candles right there, by the way. I hear you, sir. I know you're getting ready to jump at me again. Or are you still, okay, he was still on his way back down. He must be on, oh, there you go. <laughs>
All right, guys, right now I am standing in front of East High where Troy Bolton went love crazy and all his friends had to remind him to get you, get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. But that's not what we're here for. Today, we are here to get our game on at this Spirit Halloween right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's right, my friends, home of Troy Bolton and the Wildcats. If Troy and Gabriella were searching for a couple's costume for the Halloween dance, what would they choose? You tell me in the comments below. I don't know what this building used to be, but I think it's funny how right underneath the sign it says since 1955. That's not too far off. The first Spirit Halloween was actually opened in 1983. What the heck? Whoa. This is a pretty cool looking place. Look, this apparently used to be a natural grocer's. I'm loving the orange in here. It goes right along with Spirit Halloween. Okay, let's go ahead in, guys, and see what they have in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am already loving this store, guys, especially because, look at this, you can still see all the signs from when it was a natural grocer's. And look up here, it looks like such a fall design all across there. It's funny because with this area up here, this is very reminiscent of the stores that I've been in that used to be a gym. And I love when things just catch my eye right in the door, even though I've seen them a million times. This shirt right here, I absolutely love. Michael Myers, let's get a close up up here. Get in, loser. We're going slashing. <laughs> All right, somebody else, speaking of the shirts, was asking me to look at the Terrifier shirt. That is actually a pretty dang cool design right there. I don't know if there was a specific question about that shirt, but there it is. Get a good close look, and then we are going to take a walk around the entire store here, guys, and see what kind of awesomeness they have in here. See if there's anything different that we haven't seen in other stores. I just, I gotta say, guys, I absolutely love the layout of this store. I love how you can just stand here and look all the way down and you can see where there's different ways you can go throughout. But before we do that, let's say hello to our friends, starting with the Martian Warrior. Hello, Martian Warrior. Wow, he is super loud in here. <laughs> Check out the big brain on Brad. All right, let's go on over here and see who else we have on the outside. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. It is the first store that I have been in this entire season that actually has heckles set up. And here's the funny thing. This is the old heckles. This is the old heckles with the face that's kind of messed up, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the old face because his old face, the chin and like this area in here is just a little saggier or something. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and get Heckles moving here. I think I'm starting my own carnival right here. You want to join my clown crew? You have a pretty funny face. If you'd be a natural. <laughs> you have a pretty funny face, he said. Okay, I don't know, the balloon, it must be turned backwards or something because I can't see the face. Nothing like a good carnival to really lift your spirits, right? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> balloon already? Okay, you can't even hear him, guys, because it's just so, so quiet. He needs to be turned up a lot. But anyways, yeah, how cool is that? First story I've been in this season where they actually had a heckle set up. And you guys tell me... Is that the old face or is it the new face? I am pretty dang sure it's the old face. We got a couple stacks of animatronics I'm seeing. We're gonna check those out in just a minute here. But first, let's say hello to Slim. Wow, these um, step pads are like way up in here. All right, let's put a sticker in his popcorn bag there. We'll leave a couple here for heckles. We got the widow over here. We can't go around without saying hello to the widow. <laughs> and let's go into the chamber of death past the spooky candles of death and the fabric of death and the fire of death. And let's say hello to Dagger Mike. <laughs> I think that looks so cool right there, guys, with the fire on each side and his arms spread out. Let's say hello to Grim and the scary sitting scarecrow. 
There you go, we'll leave you some stickers, sir. Okay, before we move on, let's look at what we have over here on the floor, guys. We have a The Widow. We have a man's possessed friend, but the box is actually turned around backwards. We have two little skelly bones. We have one, two little Jack Carvers, and we have an eternal rest on the bottom. I was just looking at little Jack Carver thinking, man, should I buy him today? But I already bought him. I actually have him in the trunk. I kidnapped little Jack Carver. Okay, let's keep moving back here because I see more animatronics back here. Whoa, oh my gosh, guys, look. I don't think I've seen this one. The Corpse Bride Lounge Fly Backpack. This is pretty awesome too. All of these are. I love these things so much. Here's the Michael Myers and here's the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That is an awesome one right there. We got Chucky down here. We got another Nightmare Before Christmas here that's shaped like a coffin. I don't know what the heck this one is. And then we have this Fall Guys backpack here, which is equally as awesome, but it's not the same type. All right, let's keep moving here. Here we go, guys. We have two Bubba's Man's Possessed Friend right here, and we can see the front of the box this time. We have a scary sitting scarecrow up here, a regular sitting scarecrow down here. We have, let's see, the 55-inch floor candelabra, and another scary sitting scarecrow there. Oh my gosh, guys, look how stock this entire wall here is the entire store is like just standing here and looking around this area you can see how stocked the entire store is what the heck and look at how many side steppers they have here holy crap guys all right we have the chucky side stepper we have the sam oh he has his tag on but we have the sam side stepper we have the leather face we have Lydia down here. Here's a Sam I think we can get going. Yes, there they go, in unison. We have the Pennywise. Aw, oh, wait a minute. Pennywise batteries must be dead. Holy crap, they all got super loud all of a sudden. We have Frankenstein down here. We have Ghostface. We have uh, Spiky here. And then, yeah, Chucky, Ghostface, and Leatherface on the bottom there. How cool, they have a ton of those. Oh, and they even have Billy Butcherson back here too. I think I actually have two Billy Butcherson sidesteppers. I think I bought one and then somebody sent me one in a fan mail Friday. And don't forget about this sale, guys. Mix and match, buy one, get one 50% off. I don't know if they just started that or what, but this is the second store I've been in where they had that posted. And that goes for Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, Haunted Mansion, and Beetlejuice. Wait a minute, here's a fleece throw I have not seen. Look at this, talk to the dead. <laughs> Clairvoyance for beginners, that is creepy. I was just about to say that guy looks like the guy from Poltergeist 2. And look at this. This is a Poltergeist 2 blanket. How cool is that? I love that. See, a lot of people tell me that like, what do you, what's the big deal? It's the same store over and over, but it's not. I always find things in different stores that I have not seen yet. I think we've seen all the rest of these blankets here. Look at all this plush and all these pillows just jammed in here. And I don't know if I've seen this one before from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Big Top Burger Pillow. That is cool. And I love how there's just a random skeleton arm hanging out there. And all these pictures here, I'm not sure if I've seen all of these. Like there's so many things in these stores that it's easy to miss stuff. Wait a minute, look at this. From Halloween, time to slay, time to play. Can you guys see that change? That is an awesome picture. I've never seen that one before. Exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Go to different stores and you'll find different stuff. I don't think I've seen this one before either. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre plaque here. Look, they even have the van down there. That's awesome. Plenty of jumping spiders here. I see some more animatronics back here. Whoa, look at this. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh my God. <laughs> and I just heard Desmodus jump as well as Gordo and they both jumped at the same time to scare the living crap out of me. <laughs> Wait a minute, we got a candle down. We got a candle down. All right, let me set the candle up here. Hold on. Those are pretty awesome candles right there, by the way. I hear you, sir. I know you're getting ready to jump at me again. Or are you still, okay, he was still on his way back down. 
He must be on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was just about to say he must be on the sensor. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many sounds going on here right now. We got the eternal rest down here, spinning the head like crazy. I hear you, sir, ma'am. We have Gordo over here on a repeated jumping schedule. Come on, Gordo, there we go. <laughs> All right, the only one that's not like jumping constantly is uh, Darling Dolly here. Let's see if we can get her going. All right, Dolly, here we go. Wow, this is a tight spot here, too. She's going to be close. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she is so loud. Look how far her neck sticks out. And look at this little area where I was standing. She was, like, right up in my face. I can hear the howling spirit over here going ballistic, too. And then, of course, we have this guy, the Hexpawn. Come on, Hexpawn. Here we go. Ay! Hexpawn is like one of the best guys. I love how fast he jumps up. Howling Spirit appears to have a broken arm over here. I see the black heart moving, but I can't hear a word he's saying because everything else is making so much noise in here. I love it. I love it. All right, we'll leave a couple stickers here. Hello to the Grave Watcher. Hello to Lil Skelly Bones. Hello once again to Desmodus, who's going ballistic. I think we should call him the Ballistic Bat from now on. <laughs> Do you like that, sir? The ballistic bat. And last but not least, we have the jumping spider. Hello, sir. One sticker for you. All right, let's make our way over here to this stack of animatronics. Hello, rat. Hello, cat. Hello, best friends for life. And hello, secret keeping cat. What kind of secrets are you keeping today? Let's put some stickers in the cauldrons here. A sticker for the monkey. All right, back to the animatronics, I promise this time. Okay, we have Slim here. We have a leather face right here. We have a fogging skull pile on top. We have these Huntleys over here, which somebody told me they are actually pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm sold on them yet, like if I actually want to buy one yet, but it does look pretty cool, especially the skull. Singing, talking, and joking, built-in speaker, 60 minutes of fun animations. All right, anyway, life-size posable skeletons. We have fogging skull piles down here. We have the leather face statue right here, which is totally awesome. We have the straw man on top. We have a couple of stilts here, AKA Papa Pins. In fact, it looks like we have three of them. We have the hex spawn and poor George. Oh look, here's a poor George setup right here. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? Oh, just hanging around. We have a heckles. If you want heckles, get down to Salt Lake City, Utah. Scary sitting scarecrow. It looks like we have two black hearts here. We have a young crouchy hiding back here. Hmm, we have a widow down here for 149. The sign, oh, okay, let's see. Reason it's reduced, the neck motion and sound no longer sync up. Whoa, look at this, guys. An Emmeline, which is reduced because she does not work. I wonder what the extent of does not work means. $139, guys. That is half price for that prop. Honestly, if I had room in the car for her, I'd buy her right now and I'd get a hold of the zombie squad. But I don't, so I'm gonna have to leave her right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And here's a jumping spider, which is also reduced for $25 because he apparently does not work either. But we still have a whole side of animatronics here that do work. We have two howling spirits. We have a sitting, a scary sitting scarecrow, a straw man, another straw man. We have a man's possessed friend here. Look, we have a cauldronous guy how cool is that? And we have four of these Jabber and Jack animated pumpkins. Now these are cool. 70 minutes of talking, singing, and joking. And the faces like just appear on these pumpkins. How much is this guy? Uh, $34.99. I think that's what that says. Is that 34? Yeah, I had to look on another one to make sure because that one's not really clear. 34.99 for these. This guy is totally cool. I have seen videos online of these working and they are awesome. I love these. Wait, do they make sound? 70 minutes of custom animations. Spooky, funny, and traditional animated pumpkin faces. And over here it says built-in speaker, 
brings Jack to life with vocals and music. So I think, I think they actually make sounds, or do you have to add your own sounds? I might buy one today and I'll have to find out. Oh my gosh, guys, I just can't get over how absolutely stocked they are with everything in here. Just about anything you want from Spirit Halloween, it looks like they have it in this store, including milk, yogurt, butter, and refrigerated foods. <laughs> and let's not forget about these pea friends going sledding. What do you think about that, sir? <laughs> All right, let's journey over to the mask section here for a minute because they're so stocked in here. We are almost bound to see a mask or two that we have not seen in other stores. Here's a glow-in-the-dark skull mask. I don't know if we've seen this one in other stores. Look at the jaw on that thing. That's kind of strange. And here's an even stranger thing, guys. Some masks smell like vanilla. And standing right here... I am overcome with the smell of vanilla. I'm such a nerd. I'm standing here smelling the mask. And guys, it's this one. It's usually just like the Fun World masks. And this does not say it's from Fun World. But this thing smells like an entire bottle of vanilla. <laughs> they do have the Hot Nozzles mask here. I don't know if I've seen that in other stores this season. Oh, they have the Evil Corn mask down here. And speaking of corn, this looks like a weapon they would use on Children of the Corn. I don't think there's anything else in the mask section that we haven't seen. Let's go on over here and see what kind of zombie babies they have. Holy crap, guys. I just Like I said, I just can't get over how absolutely stocked they are in this store. We have the ghost face and the Sam. I do not see Leatherface or Pennywise, but I do see this brain-eating baby right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they have Glenn. They have Sitting Sam dolls. They have Annabelle. They have Chucky. But I do not see Glenn anywhere. Hello, Swinging Wit. Oh my gosh, guys, look at what a tight squeeze it is to go through this aisle here because they are so stocked. Stocked with bad breath. Stocked with hook eye guys, stocked with double head freds, stocked with hook head hogs, and stocked with ham hocks, stocked with hand eating babies, and rat eating babies, and break dancing babies, <laughs> moth eating babies, pumpkin eating babies, and singing babies. I know that was a funny one, right? Sticker for the babies, sticker for the babies, sticker for the babies. Wow, guys. All right. I think I'm going to call it a day in here. I've been in here so long messing around and having fun. But I think I'm going to get that singing pumpkin if I can figure out where the heck I saw it. I think, oh, it's over here. Okay, let's go get it. I really want to get Emmeline, but she'll have to wait for another day. Today, we are going to get a jabbering jack. All right, guys, make sure that you subscribe and come back and keep watching because we have plenty more Spirit Halloween stores that we are going to this season. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is the first time I have seen these anywhere. The three-pack of Haunted Mansion Sidesteppers. Oh my gosh, those are totally awesome. Let's play a game. <laughs> what in the world. What a crazy drive to get to this Spirit Halloween in Casper, Wyoming. I just drove 300 miles through plains and mountains, uphill both ways. I bit my tongue and I saw a flock of antelope. Just to get here to Casper, Wyoming, to this Spirit Halloween in which I noticed the doors have black plastic on them. We are at East Ridge Mall in what used to be the Macy's. And if this is closed, I'm going to be very put out. But I believe we can actually go through the mall to get there. What in the world do people in Casper, Wyoming even dress up as for Halloween? I'll bet you anything, the entire buffalo section is sold out. All right, let's go on in here and hopefully 
we can get into the Spirit Halloween this way. It should be right up here around the corner, please. What in the world? I am about to be very angry if I drove all the way out here and the spirit is like non-existent. Hello, llama. We do have this play place with the giant Keebler tree. Oh, thank God. I was about to be very upset. <laughs> We're at a higher altitude out here too, guys, so I'm already out of breath just walking through the mall. The other cool thing about this spirit being in Casper, Wyoming is it's in Casper, Wyoming, as in Casper the Friendly Ghost. Will we find Casper in this store? I don't know, but we will look. I do hear the howling spirit, so what a greeting to come in and see Casper himself in Casper, Wyoming. Why did you be quiet, sir? All right, let's get him going again here. Come on. What the heck? He used to be quiet, and now this one, who never works anywhere, is making sounds. All right, there we go. We got him howling again. He's, he doesn't look very friendly, so I don't think this is Casper himself. So we'll have to keep looking. He is probably the loudest I've heard in any store, though. All right, let's take a look at this gargoyle here because he keeps turning on. There we go. I love his red eyes. I do wish he was a prop you could actually buy off the floor this year, but he's not. As far as I understand, he's just part of the design here, so you have to actually wait till the end of the season to buy him. Oh look, they actually have a vintage clown doll here. How cool is that? I think this is the first one I've seen in any store this season. There we go. All right, let's see. We have Eerie Emma in there. We have Rosalie. We have Decrepit Haunted Doll back there. Whoops, I knocked over a scary flying ghost. Or is he haunted and he jumped at me? We have the Butcher. We have the Demonic Dolly. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all we have, even though there's a ton of them here. I don't see anybody else. I do see the hanging Casper. I see hello rats and creeping cats and secret keeping cats. I see skulls galore and pumpkins galore. We have all the evil hands. Ooh, and this one just spooked me right now. What the heck is this supposed to be making that sound? We have the hook eye guy, the hook head hog, and Casper Wyoming has the ham hocks. Casper Wyoming also has bad breath. All right, let's come on over and see Darling Dolly. I see they do not have the eternal rest set up, but let's see if we can get her going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on there. All right, good job, Darling Dolly. We have the spooky trees. We have Gordo over here. Let's get him going. I can see he's already lit up. Come on, Gordo. We have the Black Heart over here. We have the Grave Watcher. Hmm, maybe she's on one of these, but we also have Desmodus. So let's hit this and see what happens. All right, which one will it be? There it is, Desmodus. All right, we got little Skelly Bones here who's already peering up at us. <laughs> he actually scared me. What the heck, he jumped faster than normal. All right, let's check out our jumping spider here. Come on, Spidey, good job. And we have this guy, the Hex Spawn. He is not a friendly ghost. All right, let's get him going here. Here we go. He was one of the slower jumpers. Let's pay our respects to Lord Farquaad. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron over here. Let's go over here and see what kind of plush they have. It looks like they are pretty well stocked up. How cool is that? We got the Crouchy. We got the Annabelle. We got Ghostface just hanging around up here. We got Skelly. We got Sam. We have the other Sam. We have the Nightmare Harvester. We have this guy. And on the bottom, we have Lydia, Beetlejuice, and Wednesday. All right, let's look at the backpacks quick and see if there's any here that we have not seen yet. And there is. There is one we haven't seen. It's right here. Wait a minute. It's hooked on there. It's the Powerpuff Girls, but no mojo Jojo. All right, before we even go any farther, guys, let's just stand back for a second and look at this store 
because it is pretty dang big actually and they are pretty stocked with just about anything you could possibly want and i guess they would have to be because this is one of the only spirit halloween stores in the entire state of Wyoming. I'm pretty sure there's only one other one in the entire state. Now, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you live in Wyoming. But yeah, look at this. Around every corner, they are pretty dang stocked with everything. Lots of pathway markers, lots of inflatables here, more inflatables over here, more inflatables over here, including the giant 12-foot Jumbo. We haven't seen him in every store. And they have these Hauntleys, which I keep saying I'm not sure about. I'm gonna have to watch some videos on them. Crouchy statues. Oh, look, they have the Pennywise door knocker. Yes. I do like these flaming pumpkins, and I have not seen these in every store this season. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They are loaded with side steppers here. Look at this. We got Sam, we got Billy Butcher, and we got Ghostface. Pennywise, Chucky, we got Spiky and Slim, Leatherface down there, and Frankenstein over here. They have a ton of good guys dolls. We got some Annabelles, some Sitting Sam dolls. I do not see Glenn, but props to them for setting up this awesome centerpiece here with all the headstones and the skeletons. All right, let's just take a walk through the entire store, guys. Look at this. They have even more inflatables over here. They have a ton of jumping spiders over here. I just want to take a look do they have any buffalo costumes here <laughs> i don't see any but i do see sam groundbreakers down here i have not seen those in other stores this season burner like a rat 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 all right let's keep on going out this way guys make our way through the store see if anything jumps out at us that we have not seen in other stores here is a whole ton of animatronics right here and right there so let's check these out and see what they have look at this Holy crap, guys, they have one, two, three, four, five Bubba's right there. We have two, oh, we have a Monty. They have a Monty for sale. And they have a Hot Nozzles, a Calderness. They have a couple of Widows, two of the Black Hearts. We have a Darling Dolly here, a Desmodus. We have a Young Crouchy, a Poor George. And what's behind Crouchy? It's another Young Crouchy. All right, what do we have over here, guys? We have one, two, it looks like three straw mans four scary sitting scarecrows Ooh, we have an emmeline she is definitely not the friendly ghost and a whole plethora of regular sitting scarecrows on this end man guys this store is absolutely stocked with costumes for adults and for kids it's a baby elvis presley costume how cool is that his hat even says the king all right let's keep making our way around here guys here's the adult elvis presley costumes and the chick elvis presley you could be a whole family of elvis presley's all kinds of haunted mansion tons of beetlejuice we'll leave some stickers on the tray hocus pocus on the end here including billy butcherson's head this might actually be the closest we get to a friendly ghost in this spirit halloween let's take a look at this stuff we have this plaque that just says boo and has many ghosts on it. We have a friendly ghost mug here. Three friendly ghost candle holders. Oh look, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And that makes Casper a friendly ghost. We have friendly ghost soap dispensers and a haunted house and a pumpkin and a skull. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. I like that red color. Friendly ghost tumblers here. A friendly ghost tray that says no feet. And the friendly ghost doormat. And as I finish that up, I hear this guy over here gorgeous george going crazy hello george look at this what the heck guys apparently on the other side of the building i could have come in the front door so with that in mind let's come on over here and start at the beginning hello papa pins and miss leatherface wow look at this guys we actually have three slims over here we have a stilts here aka papa pins okay leatherface is apparently out of order here but we do have a box is he in there yeah there's one here for sale on the floor before i go through the spirit hallow cemetery though look at this i think this is the first time i've seen this guy in a store this season all right let's see if papa pins works all right yep Ooh, he's very quiet. <laughs> 
He must be saving all his energy for the big bingo game. All right, let's go through Spirit Hallows Cemetery here and check out the Martian. All right, let's get our Martian going here. He's very quiet too. Why are you guys all very quiet? Is someone trying to take a nap in here? Maybe it's the widow. Are you trying to take a nap, miss? <laughs> Apparently not, because that was pretty funny. Let's come through very quietly. Look how awesome it looks in here, guys. Look at this, it's kind of dark in here. So all the candles and all the fire looks totally spooky in here. How cool is that? All right, let's check out our scary is it the scary guy it's the scary sitting scarecrow come on all right there he is <laughs> all right let's leave him some stickers in his bowl there you go sir and let's check out dagger mike look i love how he's like hiding behind the pillar here how funny is that all right let's get him going here come on mike we hear you he's very quiet too <laughs> Why is he like right behind the pole though? And finally we have Slim and look at Slim's hair. What the heck? He must be the one who was sleeping because he must have just woken up and look at that bed head. All right, let's get him going here. He's very quiet too. He just looks like he's in a stupor. <laughs> All right, let's put a couple of stickers in his popcorn bag here. All right, wait a minute. We got to go in here one more time. There's one thing I forgot to do, guys. Where, Where is he? Oh, here he is. Hello, Grim. I always have to come in and see Grim's hand. Okay, let's come on out into the rest of the store here, guys. See if we can leave some more stickers for people all around here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. This is the first time I have seen these anywhere the three pack of haunted mansion sidesteppers how cool is that i guess you have to push a button separately on each of them oh my gosh those are totally awesome okay these are 99.99 guys you get all three how cool is that i'm gonna leave a couple stickers in here let's leave a couple for sally and jack let's leave some for the bucket the bucket the bucket let's leave one for bluey and flounder and jack and Minnie. let's leave one for the calderness and hot nozzles let's leave some for the jumping spiders here let's leave one for the empty soul girl in a swing and the stuffed dummy prop and let's give one to the gargoyle and let's leave some by the ham hocks all right guys just before i was leaving the spirit halloween i got to meet these awesome Hi. guys what's your guys names winter forest awesome do you love spirit halloween yes and do you love that Nate guy? Yes! <laughs> We're going to watch you when we get home. Awesome. Should everybody watch and subscribe? Yes! And thumbs up? Yes! All right. And subscribe, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Course, bye. bye! Thank you so much, Nate. And then, of course, we have the little grave watcher over here interrupting with her loud... Whoa! What in the heck? She was mad that I wasn't paying attention, so she looked up at me. I'm sorry, miss. Let's play a game. Holy crap, guys, over the past month, I have filmed Spirit Halloween stores in at least 15 states on my way to covering the entire country. Today, we are in Billings, Montana. There's a bee trying to get me, and I have orange stuff all over my shirt because I just bought an orange hoodie that I tried on in the Fat Guy store. Nonetheless, we are going into this Spirit Halloween, which is located inside Rimrock Mall. I don't think I've ever heard another mall with a cooler name. All right, I don't know exactly. Oh, okay, I do know exactly where it is. Holy crap, look, we have the ginormous ghost face right out front. Even though he's black and the ghost is white, he immediately reminds me of the Luna ghost on the Scooby-Doo movie. Bubba, is that you? I don't know who that is, but he's in a store called Doggy Style 
gourmet treats and barkery. How cool is this, guys? Look at this. Okay, not only do they have the enormous 12-foot ghost face inflatable setup outside, they also have this guy, and look who we have blown up right here. It's the enormous 20-foot snake inflatable. Hello, sir. So very nice to see you in person. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how long and squiggly he is. He's actually a lot thinner than I expected him to be. I thought he would be a little fatter all the way through his body, but I do like this kind of archway that it makes over here because you could put something spooky right in there. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you had Bubba and you set him up right behind this archway? archway in the snake and like Bubba's head jumped right out at you there. All right, before we go in, let's just take a look at this ginormous ghost face right here because I can tell you guys having this blown up right here puts it so much more into perspective when you're thinking about spending the money on this guy. I mean, you know he's huge when you're just looking at the box, but when you're standing under him and next to him, you can see just how huge he is. What in the heck? Did you see that girl like stomp away? I had to hide my camera over there in the corner and lean it up against that wall to get the picture of me by the giant ghost face. Look, just the pumpkin down here is enormous. And look at the legs. This guy is huge. All right, guys, let's go ahead in and see what we can find at this Spirit Halloween in Billings, Montana. And by the way, this used to be a her burgers. Hmm, I could go for some burgers right now. Look at this, right inside the store we have these guys. Poor George, who is in suspended animation right here. But we do have three of them available for sale. We have a Desmodus here, take 35% off, display only, wings do not pop up, as is. So you could get him and call the zombie squad and probably get him fixed. But if you decided just to buy him, here are two of them available. And as the retail buff that I am, look at this guys, I noticed Toys R Us carts. What the heck? They have Toys R Us carts in here. Guys, I am loving this store. Not only is it hopping with people today, I mean, it is a Saturday. I noticed they have other inflatables set up as well as lots of animatronics, lots of animatronics on the floor to buy. But let's go ahead and say hello to Mrs. Leatherface. Hello. What in the heck? He looks a lot more puffed out than usual. What have you been eating, sir? We're gonna leave you a couple of stickers here. We have Papa Pins going over here. And look right beside Papa Pins, we have two, is it two? We have at least one Emmeline for sale here. And yes, there are two. On the other side, there's another one. And there's a Papa Pins, AKA Stilts right here. I am loving how busy this store is right now, guys. All the sounds and a little bit of chaos. It's not too chaotic, but there's a little bit of chaos going on. And I just knocked over Chucky, holy crap. Come here, Chucky, let's set you back up here. There you go, let's give you a couple stickers for the inconvenience. Let's just walk around the Spirit Hallows Cemetery, guys, and take a look at all the action happening around here. We can see that the Martian is going. We can see that the Widow is going. There are people inside the crypt enjoying Dagger Mike. Watch this, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we go, we're gonna catch this on film here. Here we go, watch this. Maybe he's not working, what the heck? Okay, they didn't know exactly how to do it, but we're gonna show you. We're gonna put some stickers in there, and there he is. This is too funny, guys. There are so many people in here like getting scared by the animatronics right now. <laughs> Dagger Mike just got her. How cool is that? Hello, sir. We're going to leave you a sticker in your popcorn bag there. Okay, let's come on over here and see the widow. They do have a widow for sale on the floor here. Let's get her going. I want to hear that crack. Come on, lady. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. I do want to come over to the other side here, though, and take a look. Wait a minute, we have heckles. We have heckles in Montana. Hello, heckles. 
Come on, Heckles, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, it's so loud in here you can't even hear him. But look at the balloon. The balloon is working perfectly. And look what we have here, guys. We have the inflatable Reaper, as of which you guys know that I already own, but he looks enormous in the store here. All right, look at this. We have three straw mans over here. These things are like everywhere in this store. I love this. We have one, two, three young Crouchies right here. And look, we have two Mr. Punchies. What the heck? If he was set up, we would hear him say bad words. Let's leave a sticker for Straw Man, and we'll leave a sticker for Crouchy. All right, let's make our way back here. Look at this, guys. I cannot believe how many props they have from, like, last year. Look at this. We have three hot nozzles here. We have two shorties. All right, we're going to say hi to all these animatronics over here in a second, but let's keep on moving and see what else we have. We have a howling spirit right here. Whoa, holy crap, guys. Look at what else we have blown up here. It is the enormous Pennywise. What the heck? He is so much bigger than I ever expected he would be. Look at this, I can barely even get back far enough to show you his whole body from head to toe because he is so huge. I think he's 12 feet tall, but man, he looks more like 15. And have we seen these Nightmare Before Christmas slippers yet? I don't know if I've seen these. We got Jack and Sally on there. All right, we got a ton of jumping spiders over here. We have three eternal rests. We have a couple of little skelly bones here. Let's go over and say hello to our jumping spider. What in the world? Look at that. It's the cauldroness. The first time I've seen her set up in any store, guys. We're gonna come back to her in a second, but let's say hello to our jumping spider first. Good job, sir. And someone called me out for not petting the jumping spider. <laughs> We're also gonna leave you a sticker, sir. All right, let's come on over here because there's a lot of people in here. Let's take a look at the hex spawn here. Hello, Mr. Evil. Mr. Evil, are you gonna work? Mr. Evil is not working. Oh, I see. Okay, I was just told that he is their last hex spawn and they don't want him to get broken, so they have him unplugged right now. Nah, 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 nah. Let's see if we can get the howling spirit going, though. Come on, Mr. Howler. There he is. He's not very loud in here. Some stores here are so absolutely loud, I have to plug my ears. Not really, but it sounded good. Let's see if the gargoyle works. Mr. Gargoyle, come on. What the heck? I wanted to see your red eyes. Okay, we have eternal rest here, 50% off. This one only. It's probably because of the head spinning. All right, don't worry. We're making our way over to the cauldronous, guys. All right, we got Darling Dolly here. Let's see if we can catch somebody get scared. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She didn't get scared. What the heck? <laughs> you are a tough one. You didn't even get scared. All right, let's go ahead and get a head-on view of Darling Dolly here, because even I get scared of Darling Dolly. All right, Dolly, you are the best ever. Okay, wait, let's get over here quick, guys, because there's nobody around the cauldron. Us. Look, there are arms in the cauldron here. Let's get a look at her face real quick. What the heck? That is a creepy looking face right there. All right, let's see if we can get her going. Dish, okay. Arm is moving like she's stirring. Is she supposed to have something in her hand like a stirring mechanism or something? I hear her, but she's so quiet that we can't hear what she's saying. And then of course we have the little grave watcher over here interrupting with her loud, whoa, what in the heck? She was mad that I wasn't paying attention, so she looked up at me. I'm sorry, miss. Please don't take my toes for your stew. That seriously was creepy when she looked up at me. I did not expect that. Okay, let's see if we can get Mr. Skelly going here. Here he comes. All right, come on, Skelly, come on. Here we go, Mr. Skelly. Oh my gosh, guys, it is super busy in here today. And look what I see over here. Another talking doll that I have not seen in many, if any, stores this season. It is Hugs. Come on, Hugs. 
Maybe he has one of those things you have to pull. Look at this. One, two, three. They have three. They have four hugs in here. What the heck? I don't think I've seen him in one store, but they have four of them here. Hello, rat. Hook Eye Guy. Double Head Fred. Heart of Death. Brain of Death. Intestines of Death. We have creeping cats up here. We have more Hello Rats. We have Scabs and a Secret Keeping Cat. And we have plenty of carrots here. Hello, carrot. Let's put you right up here beside your best friend forever. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? It's like a octo skeleton or a scalopus. <laughs> what the heck should we call this thing? Is that its hair? It's a skull with a plethora of tentacles. What in the world? Guys, I forgot. Today is officially the first day of fall, too. And it is cold and spooky outside. The perfect first day of fall and the perfect day to be out shopping for awesome Halloween goodness at the Spirit Halloween store. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, let's look at the fleece blankets and see if there's any that I haven't seen. And here is one right here. It is a Willy Wonka reversible plush throw. Look at that, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, all kinds of fruit on there. And this one says, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers dreams. Hmm, okay. That is pretty cool. I like all the colors in there. It looks so 70s. I don't think there's any other ones on this side that I haven't seen, except for maybe the Harry Potter one up here. And I'm pretty sure we've seen all of them on this side as well, except for maybe this trick-or-treat one here with Sam. That's pretty cool. All right, that brings us back to the middle here. I don't even think we've been on this side of the store yet, except for to see these animatronics right over here. What in the world is a Yeetus hammer? All right, let's see if we have a Glenn over here. We have Sitting Sam, we have Ball. we have plenty of Chuckies, but no Glens. Let's leave some stickers for the side steppers here, and we'll leave one for this little Sam. Oh, they do have the three pack of haunted side steppers. I see we have some tiny terrors here. We have Leatherface and Sam and Ghostface, but no Pennywise. Do we have a burrito baby? Baby. No, we don't. I am so surprised I cannot find a burrito baby in stores this season. Let's leave a couple stickers for these guys anyways. I wonder why the moths come off of this guy so easily. Maybe they're just like glued on there and people pull on them or something. Let's leave him a sticker. He deserves one because he lost his moths. All right, somebody asked me to look at the Beetlejuice stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. I can see we have the headstone down here flashing already. That's pretty cool. We got a whole wall of Beetlejuice right here, including the Lydia sidesteppers. Let's leave her a sticker. We have Zagnuts. We have these little shelf sitters here. We have Beetlejuice trays, a small one and a bigger one. Beetlejuice cups and mugs and bowls. And then we have this door knocker here, which is pretty cool. More cups and mugs and bowls and plates over here. We have a soup mug with a spoon, which is pretty cool. Beetlejuice Monopoly, the Beetlejuice sign with the arrow. We have a Beetlejuice plush throw up here. The giant sandworm groundbreaker. We got the sandworm plush here, the Barbara plush. We have Miss Argentina plush over here. We have some mirrors here with Adam and Barbara on them. A tablecloth, a couple things you just put on your walls. And of course we have a couple of Beetlejuice plush over here. We have Lydia here, and then we have Beetlejuice himself. This is actually a pretty cool plush right here. I love the green color on his hair. And let's come back here for a minute, guys, because somebody told me that I look too fast at the masks in here. So here's your look at the masks. <laughs> Seriously though, it's always somebody who stops by and watches like two of my videos, and then they're like, you never look at this stuff. When in fact, I have looked at these masks literally hundreds of times, guys. I have hundreds of Spirit Halloween videos on this channel. I will say though, so here is one that I have not seen. A Rob zombie mask with long, disgusting hair. <laughs> and I can't help but look again at the evil corn. That's going to be my favorite mask I've found this season that I didn't buy. I do like the googly eye clown, though. He's pretty cool. Oh, here's a fogging skull pile over here that's actually working right now. So you can see how it's flashing inside. And when you add fog to that, 
the fog flashes. That is pretty cool. And beside him is some cauldrons, so let's leave some stickers in each of these. Let's leave some stickers for Carrot and Scabs and the Secret Keeping Cat. And let's leave some in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, and one in the skull. All right, guys, this has been one pretty dang awesome store. Let's take one more walk around, just see if anything else pops out at us that I did not notice that maybe we have not seen before. Hello, sir, and 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 sir. All right, let's keep going this way. Oh, I miss these inflatable fellows over here. We have a pumpkin stack and a gargoyle. All right, making our way through here, we have Billy Butcherson's head, Corpse Bride plush, and I think that's about it, guys. This was a pretty dang awesome store. And Chucky's bucket is empty, so let's give him some more stickers. And we'll give my very last stickers to the sitting scarecrow. Ah! Guys, before we go, if you come down to the Spirit Halloween, make sure you come across the hall from the Spirit to a store called Go Calendars and More. Look at this. They have all kinds of awesome collectible horror toys. This is just a small section right here. Look at this. We have this Frankenstein by NECA. That is pretty awesome. Look at this Pennywise. He is so creepy. And of course, I have to look at the Freddy Krueger. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. There's such a reflection on here. You'd actually have to just come in here and see it for yourself. This one's from Nightmare 2. This one's from Nightmare 3. And look, he has his chest piece, but he also has his sweater. That is awesome. Guys, I am getting ready to hit the road to continue the 2023 Spirit Halloween Halloween tour. But today, I am in Canton, Ohio on Atlantic Boulevard at this Spirit Halloween, which I've filmed before in past years. And this used to be an Aaron's rental store, I believe. Kind of like a rent-a-center. If you want to buy a TV and you don't have enough money, you go in here and you rent it to own it. I wish I could own that sign up there. All right, let's go on in here, guys, and see what it looks like. Canton, Ohio, right off Route 62, Atlantic Boulevard. Not too shabbily. Right up front, we have the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> Oh, and here we go with an eternal rest right around the corner here. 50% off because the spinning head is not working. I wonder if that means that it's not spinning at all or if it's spinning without stopping like the other ones we've seen. We have a sitting scarecrow here. I don't believe that he's the scary sitting scarecrow. Although you could argue that he is kind of scary. All right, let's go ahead and leave him some stickers in his bowl. Let's say hello to the straw man here. Hello, straw man. Did you know that this land is cursed? Yeah, guys, this is a much smaller store than a lot of them I've been in this season. But here's a ginormous pile of animatronics over here. We'll go see them in a second, but I had to stop over here first because look at this. They actually have the creeping cats and the secret keeping cats and all the zombie babies together in one area. And look, they even have a hello wrap. And if you didn't already know, you can actually get a t-shirt from my store right now that says hello rat. Hello intestine. All right, let's just come on over here and take a look at the animatronics they have for sale on the floor. We have a black heart right here. We have a slim over here on this side. We have a stilt, aka Papa Pins. We have a Desmodus right here. Another black heart. Whoa, we have a Gordo. A lot of people are telling me that the Gordos are sold out. If I was smart, I would buy that Gordo and have two of them. Anyway, we have another stilts here. Let's see. On the other side, we have two howling spirits. Look at this. We have two darling dollies. We have a The Widow, a little Skelly Bones, and 
another stilts. Oh, and the Mars Attacks guy right here. We can't forget about him with his ginormous head. All right, hold on. Let's look at how much he is one more time here. $3.99. I have a 20% off coupon, which would take off about 80 bucks. I know I am going to regret it if I don't buy him and I can't get him later on. All right, let's just take a quick walk around the rest of the store here for a minute and see if anything else pops out at us that we have not seen in other stores. I'm always on the lookout for another Crouchy doll. I've only seen him in one store this season. I see some cauldrons over here. Let's leave a few stickers in each. Last year they had a whole stack of animatronics right over here in this area, but it must be that all they have left are the ones that we already looked at up there. I was in Costco today and they had pumpkins and they had one where the stem was smashed down and it reminded me of Squidward's face. All right, let's come back and take a look at these masks back here. See if there's any masks that we haven't seen in other stores. They have this guy, the green alien. You gotta love his eyes and his teeth. His teeth kind of remind me of the alien movie, actually. I don't know what this guy reminds me of. <laughs> I'm not big on devil stuff, but I can't ignore how much these horns look like the Hexpawn's horns. And this guy is always awesome. The creature from the Black Lagoon. But if it's from the Black Lagoon. Why is he green? Could you answer that, Mr. Big Brain? Some of these masks are so thin, they just feel like they're gonna tear in a second. But then, like the creature mask, it is so thick. It feels like you couldn't even cut through that with scissors. Or a dagger! Have we ever looked at the flesh creature mask. It's like a giant mouth with enormous fangs. It's funny to me how many different Michael Myers masks they have. Okay, they have this one here. We have this one here. This one, which is Halloween 1. Halloween 2 over here. And then you have this one, which is simply the face and no hair at all. Wait a minute, have we seen this purple hair clown? I don't know if I've ever seen him before. He looks pretty cool. I do like this plain old skeleton mask here. Rather than just being something that's totally crazy, it's just a skeleton. Then we have this vintage clown mask here, which is completely different than this one. And this one up here almost looks like Darling Dolly. I do like this skull on a rope here too. I don't know if I've actually seen these in other stores this season. They've probably been there, I just haven't been looking good enough. Somebody was asking me again to look at the Fall Guys costume, so let's take a look at them here. We have a Spooky Doodles inflatable. This one is actually pretty cool. We have the blue inflatable here where he's wearing a crown. We have the Skelly inflatable. That is possibly my favorite one of them all. And we have the pink inflatable. And of course we have the Spooky Doodles backpack. You know, another thing I also haven't seen this season at all that I was looking for last season too is the shrunken head. Chances are they won't have it, but let's take a look. If we can find the voodoo stuff here. Uh, is this voodoo? No. This is a smaller store, so I'd be very surprised if we do happen to find one. Where the heck is the voodoo stuff? This is a pretty cool South Park beanie. What the heck? Surprisingly, I'm not even finding any voodoo stuff at all. Hmm, very, very strange. All right, let's take a walk through the costumes here and see if there's any costumes that jump out at us. Here's a Link costume from Zelda. You gotta love the inflatable gizmo. Here's a couple more Fall Guys here. We have an orange one here called Orange Aid. We got the Blue Freeze here. And we have the chicken inflatable. I'm still trying to figure out what a Yeetus hammer is. They do have a pretty big selection of Fortnite costumes. I personally like punk. Oh my gosh, guys, look, they actually have ghillie suits. Let's leave some stickers for Jack. And look at this. This has got to be the littlest Sam costume I ever done saw. Look, this is called the Trickster Clown and the Carnival Cutie. Wait, have we seen the Frankenstein throw? We probably have, but I forgot. That is so cool. I love the green in that one. They do have the ghost face plush. You gotta give them credit for that. And a couple of soul girls on swings. I said this in one of the other videos, but this is probably my favorite inflatable dinosaur costume ever. Reptar from Rugrats. All right, guys, there you go. Just a quick look at this Spirit Halloween off of Route 62 in Canton. I did leave a whole bunch. Hold on, get out of here. There's a bee trying to get me. <laughs> I did leave a whole bunch of stickers if you want to come down and get some. <laughs>
You know who we haven't spent a lot of time looking at is this snake down here. But I have one question. Why do they all have like smiley faces on their back? At first I thought somebody just brought in a marker and drew that on there, but when you look at the rest of them, they all have the smiley face. Sir, your new name is the Smiley Face Snake. Alright guys, we are back in Ohio. We are in North Canton on the strip at this Spirit Halloween right up here that used to be a Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave. I almost said that it used to be a Best Buy because it looks very, very similar to a Best Buy, but the Best Buy is actually down there beside the Office Max. I'm already having quite the crazy day today, so I definitely need some Spirit Halloween goodness to brighten my day. And then as I pulled in, I realized I'm going to have to buy some new tires for the Hummer because look at this crap. What in the world? My tire is torn. What the heck is that all about? It doesn't appear to be losing air, but that's gonna cost some serious big bucks because Hummer tires are not cheap. On top of that, I just released my brand new for 2023 Halloween t-shirts, say hello to the secret keeping cat, and promptly I was notified that the artist who drew the shirts used copyrighted images on one of the shirts, so I had to completely pull the spooky tree shirt. What in the world? I am not happy about that. But I am happy to be right here at the Spirit Halloween in North Canton, Ohio. And I just cleaned out the back end of the Hummer in case I find something huge that I just can't live without. All right, let's go on in, guys, and see what we can find in North Canton, Ohio at this awesome spirit in the old Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave. Thank you, automatic doors. Oh yeah, guys, this is exactly what I need right now. An enormous spirit Halloween to get Halloweeny and spooky. And holy crap, look at the ginormous pile of animatronics back here for sale. Okay, here's what I want, guys. This is what I really, 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 really want. So Spirit Halloween, if you're watching, you see this wall of t-shirts? I want the secret keeping cat shirt on that wall. If you guys could buy Nate Guy t-shirts at Spirit Halloween, would you? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's get this started and say hello to some of our friends. Let's say hello to Leatherface first. Hello, Leatherface. Oh my gosh, the background sounds are so loud you can't even hear the, uh, the chainsaw going. Okay, now you can hear it. All right, let's move on over to Papa Pins. Hello, Papa. All right, let's get him going here. Oh my gosh, guys, I love how it is so loud and chaotic sounding in here right now. How crazy is that? All right, let's go on through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery because I want to take another look at this Martian warrior over here. This guy is totally awesome. And somebody was talking the other day about how to store him because his head is so big. <laughs> Sir, you have a very big head. All right, let's take a walk right around here. We got gorgeous George waiting for us here. Hello, George. I know, right? All right, let's keep on going here and take a look at Slim. All right, Mr. Slim, come on now, come on. Look how skinny his head is. For some reason in this store, he looks so skinny in the head. <laughs> All right, let's come over and say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe how many animatronics they have over here. We're gonna look at them in just a second here. But let's go on in and continue saying hello to our friends here. Let's start with, oh, there's Dagger Mike already jumping at us. Hello, Mr. Mike. All right, let's come on over here to the sitting scarecrow. Let's see if his sensor is on, yes. Oh, he didn't scream, what the heck? Sir, are you being silent today? We're getting the silent treatment from the scary sitting scarecrow. 
All right, somehow I only ended up having 10 stickers with me today. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. I ended up only having 10 stickers with me today. So I have to be very choosy about where I leave them. There's one for Mr. Scary Sitting Scarecrow, even though he's giving us the silent treatment. And hello, Grim. You know what? I've never given Grim a sticker. Let's see. Yes, his finger will hold it right there. What the heck? Wait, let's turn it back up. There we go. <laughs> the Nate guy sticker right there being held by Grim's arm. <laughs> All right, let's come on out here, guys, and take a look at this ginormous stack of animatronics here. Oh my gosh, they have so many. All right, right off the bat, we have Emmeline. And not only do we have one, but we have one, two, three Emmelines. We have a Hot Nozzles. We have two Young Crouchies, two The Widows, two Strawmans, a whole stack of sitting scarecrows. We have two, actually, I think we have three Little Jack Carvers there. We have scary sitting scarecrows. We have the 55 inch floor candelabras. Those aren't actually animatronics, but they are cool. We have three of the black hearts. We have an eternal rest here right on top of the howling spirit. And look at this, guys. We have a cauldroness. I've only ever seen the cauldroness set up in one store, guys, and I believe it was the last store I did in Montana. And if you haven't been following along, Montana is the 45th state that I have filmed Spirit Halloween in. Five more states, and I will have filmed Spirit Halloween in every every state across the entire United States of America. Will I make it to Hawaii and Alaska? You guys stay tuned and you'll see. But getting back to the animatronics, we have Darling Dolly here. In fact, it looks like we have one, two. We have three Darling Dollies. We have at least four, five, maybe even six Bubbas here. We have two Slims, two Stilts. So look at this. We have two more Eternal Rests. And on the end, we have two Leather Faces. Very, very cool. This is awesome, guys. I am here so early today that I have like full reign of the entire store. Makes me think about the Spirit Halloween movie where the kids go into the abandoned Spirit Halloween store, which was filmed in Rome, Georgia, and I filmed that one as well. And is available to be watched on Shudder right now. And speaking of shuddering, I'm about to shudder because here is a scary, spooky guy that we know as the Hexbon. Come on, Hexbon. Here we go. <laughs> You gotta love the hex spawn, guys. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am not a horns guy, and he has horns, but he is fast and he is scary. All right, let's pass the hex spawn and come on over here and check out this howling fellow. He's very short in here. Usually he's like really tall and he's way up here, but he's kind of short in here. Here lies Lord Farquaad. I see our gargoyle is working. How cool is that? And I was under the impression you could only buy him in the store, but you can actually get on the website and order him if you want one. Okay, I hear the eternal rest going over here, but the head is not spinning. Is this for eternal rest or is it? Oh, this is Dolly. Okay. All right, Dolly, give me your stuff. All right. Thank you for your stuff. <laughs> I guess you can have your PS2 back. It's on top of the fridge. All right. We got Gordo here. Let's get him going. Come on, Gordo. Come on. Uh-oh. Is Gordo not going to work for us? I don't think Gordo's going to work. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he played a trick on me. That's silly, Gordo. Let's leave you a sticker. All right. We got the Blackheart here. Come on, Mr. Blackheart. Wow, he is loud. What in the figure? As soon as he starts talking, Eternal Rest starts screaming. What in the world? Okay, sir, I'm sorry we couldn't hear you today. I do like hearing her scream back there. <laughs> we got the Grave Watcher here. We got little Skelly Bones. Come on, Skelly, are you going to work? Yep, I see the light up eyes. Here he goes. Come on, Skelly, come on. All right, there we go. We got Desmodus. Uh-oh, looks like he's having some problems here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Desi. There we go. He actually worked pretty good. I didn't think he was going to work since he has that little split going on there. And, of course, we have the jumping spider. Uh-oh. The jumping spider appears to not be working. Hello, sir. 
Hello, sir, okay. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's not plugged in or something. If any of you have inside street knowledge of Spirit Halloween, let me know if something else was originally supposed to go behind those doors, because it just doesn't quite seem right that there would only be a jumping spider in that giant area there. All right, we're gonna come back and look at the mask section in just a minute here, but it looks like they have a couple of talking dolls that we haven't seen in other stores at least so much this year. And one of those would be the pumpkin nester doll right here, and the other would be hugs. And look at this, I'm surprised they have one, two, I think they have two hugs there. These two don't seem to be very popular this year, Devilish Desmond and Loving Lilith. Even though they are very cool and they're very vintage looking, I think people generally go more for the ones that are styled after the animatronics. All right, let's take a look at the masks here because people have been showing online where there is a new Rob Zombie Halloween mask. It's not that one, and it's not this one or this one. If they have it, it is more than likely over in the actual Halloween Michael Myers section, but let's just take a look here just in case. Here's this guy with the Pinocchio nose. Right beside him is the Barfamet. Oh, we got Leatherface here, and we got this pig moving mouth mask, which is pretty cool. Jesus! I don't see any other Michael Myers, though, except for what's on the end here, and we've already seen those. So if they have it, it'll be over in the Michael Myers section, and we'll get there in just a minute. First, I want to come over here and check out these guys. I love the hanging guys. I love when they have these displays in the middle of the store of all the hanging guys. We got this spooky hanging clown, which... Oh, he's not working, but if he worked, I believe he shakes and his li eyes light up. We have the spooky dead bride. We have the stakeable scarecrow here. Let's see if he... Um... No, I can't get him to light up either, but he is pretty cool. The hanging rotten pumpkin. Oh, he lights up. Yeah, look at that. You can kind of see the light inside his mouth there. We got this hanging pumpkin guy. He lights up too, but you can barely see... Oh, he's talking as well but he's so quiet you can't hear it. We got the hanging ghost face here, the hanging bad breath. Y'all need some Tic Tacs. I'm pretty sure you have gum disease and I'm pretty sure you have no gum disease. <laughs> they have a whole plethora of the zombie babies here, but once again, I don't see any burrito babies. Excuse me, miss, does that brain taste like a burrito? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some more hanging fellows over here, including Sam and Frankenstein. Dang, look how big his hands are. His hands seem like they're way big for the size of his head. We have the Sam sitting dolls over here. We have a couple of Annabelles. We have these Chuckies, but I don't see the regular Chuckies. Oh, wait a minute. He's peeking out on the other side. So he's over there and there may even be a Glenn over there. But let's first take a look at the Sinister Spirit doll, which looks so absolutely spooky. Do they have a Glenn doll? Here we go, let's find out. No, I don't see one. I do see the good guys down here, and I see two more Annabelles, but no Glenn. I do see the Pennywise Tiny Terror, though. He's pretty cool, and usually he's been sold out in the other stores, which is kind of surprising, because I would expect Ghostface to be the one that's sold out. I don't even see Leatherface or Sam Tiny Terrors in here. They have four Ghost Faces and one Pennywise. They do have the Popcorn Clown statue, which is pretty cool. They do have the Child's Play Jack in the Box statue, which I'm kind of surprised doesn't do anything except sit there and make sound. I don't know, maybe once you take him out of the package, his head like bobbles around since it's on a spring. If any of you have bought that, let me know. We got the Hocus Pocus Winnie statue here, as well as the Pennywise statue over here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I was wrong. Look at this, guys. They actually do have the Sam Tiny Terrors down here, hiding under the bottom shelf. They have plenty of Sam Sidesteppers. We got the Chucky Sidestepper, the Ghost Face Sidestepper. We have Frankenstein Sidesteppers and the spiky sidestepper. Oh, and we have the Leatherface sidestepper. Hmm, where is the secret keeping cat? I don't see the secret keeping cat. I don't see the creeping cats. Maybe up here. I don't see scabs. I don't see carrot. What the heck? I do see the whole plethora of plushies up here. That's cool. I totally forgot that I bought this guy. I think I bought him in maybe Las Vegas. I don't know, do you guys remember? 
I do love these SpongeBob and Patrick slippers. I don't think they would fit me, but those are pretty dang awesome. I'm ready! Yeah! Of course, there are a ton of fleece throws and bouncy pillows. I don't see any throws that I haven't seen. At least, I don't think so. Let me take a closer look over here. Just hold on now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen all of these, but I gotta say, these are so cool. The Crouchy and the Nightcrawler. Okay, let's come on out here and wait a minute. Look at this. This is an inflatable Grinch costume. This is hilarious, guys. I love this so much. I know it's not Halloween, it's Christmas, but it's the Grinch. All right, let's head back this way and see if the secret keeping, oh yes, here they are. We've got the creeping cats on top. Hello, fellows. We've got scabs and three carrots. We've got three carrots surrounding scabs here. Is there something going on that I'm not aware of? It looks like they're preparing their attack. We've also got these two best friends down here right beside the secret keeping cat. I should make a mini secret keeping cat shirt for this guy right here. <laughs> Would you like that, sir? Oh wait, let me guess, it's a secret. You know who we haven't spent a lot of time looking at is this snake down here. But I have one question. Why do they all have like smiley faces on their back? At first I thought somebody just brought in a marker and drew that on there, but when you look at the rest of them, they all have the smiley face. Sir, your new name is the smiley face snake. So they have a whole bunch of the step pads here, and I've actually considered buying a bunch of them since I have so many animatronics now. They're $10.99 each, and I would probably need about 30 of them. Oh, this one down here actually has a 20-foot cord on it. All right, and that one's $9.99. So this one's a dollar less, and it has a 10-foot longer cord on it. Why do you need a 20-foot cord, you ask? Well, you remember the one store that I came in, and they had this hidden underneath, like, the doormat thing? And I stepped on it as I walked in, and the animatronics were way up here, and then they went off by the time I got up to them? That's exactly why you want that long cord. Here's all the inflatables over here, and how cool is this, guys? They have both the giant 12-foot ghost face, which I like so much more since I saw him blown up in the one store. They have the 12-foot Pennywise. They have the 12-foot Jumbo here. He's got to be enormous. Oh, and look at this. I never noticed that he's actually holding the pie. <laughs> they also have the 20-foot Snake. They have the Scary Clown Archway, the Scarecrow archway, which I haven't seen in a lot of stores, but I really like him. They got the Fright in the Box up here. Of course, we have the Hello Rat. We have the Ghosts. We have Haunted Trees, Gargoyles, Reapers. We have, uh, let's see here, Tombstones, Secret Keeping Cats. We have Wolves here. The Jack-O-Lantern archway on the bottom there. The Scarecrow, did I already say that guy? The Wolfman. And I don't think I pointed out the Jack-O-Lantern stack yet. I'm very, very tempted to get the ghost face today, guys. I just might, I don't know. $179.99, I do have a 20% off coupon in my pocket. That would take off almost 40 bucks. And like I said, he is so much bigger than I ever expected him to be. I don't remember which store he was in, but it was in a mall and it was set out like right at the entrance and it was just enormous. All right, let's take a look down here before we go. Let's see, all right, we got this guy here who kind of looks like the possessed pumpkin. We have this guy here who looks like the white possessed pumpkin. <laughs> I like this purple one here that's kind of like a witch. I like how the stem of the pumpkin is the nose. We got these guys and 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 these guys. And they have the ham hocks for sale. <laughs> they have the live wires here, which like to electrify my face. These are $49.99 each. I actually do need some more of these. I'd like to have about five more. I have one at home. But that would be 250 bucks to buy five more of those. I don't know if that's worth electrifying my face. 
All right, let's leave one sticker with the ham hock for sale. Make sure if you come in looking for one, you don't miss it with your one eye. All right, let's make our way over to the Michael Myers section over here and see if we can find that new Rob Zombie mask. All right, here we go. I see the Scream Ghost Face section. And yes, look guys, it's right up front here. Rob Zombie Halloween. That is the new mask that everybody has been talking about. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge Rob Zombie fan. I loved the band White Zombie, but I'm really not a fan of his Halloween movies. So this mask is cool, but it really is nothing that I would personally buy. I'm not even that big of a Halloween 2018 fan, but I really do like this mask here. So if I had to choose between the two, it would definitely be the 2018. All right, wait a minute. I was thinking about getting that inflatable, but how much is Emmeline? Emmeline is $279.99. Again, I have that 20% off coupon. I really do want her. I just don't know if I'm ready to buy her. I also want nozzles. I never bought nozzles last year. I should just pick that guy up right now. All right, I think I'm pretty well settled on that inflatable because it's just so awesome. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up today. But first, I have a couple more stickers to leave. Let's leave one right there by the secret keeping cat. Let's leave one for the monkey chimes. Let's leave one for the moving mouth pig. One in the cauldron, and let's leave one for Chucky. All right, that about does it, guys. I'm gonna grab this ghost face inflatable right over here. Where the heck is it? Right there. <laughs> and if you wanna see this inflated in all its glory, come over to my other channel, that Nate guy on Halloween, where I'm gonna be blowing him up very soon. I got a little close that time. Would you please leave me alone? I need to find Jason. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, I had a little bit of time left before I head out on the last leg of my adventure to finish filming at least one Spirit Halloween store in every state across America. I have five left guys delaware maryland virginia alaska and hawaii are we gonna do it stick around and find out but for now we are back at the north canton spirit halloween and since there is a friday the 13th in october this year we are here today to do everything jason Voorhees, AKA Friday the 13th. And the last time I was here, I only had like 10 stickers with me, so I promised I would bring more back. I brought an entire bag. So if you came in here looking for stickers and you couldn't find any, now you can come back and they will definitely have some. Holy crap, guys, before we get started, look at what I just spied on these windows here. There's one here, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one on each of the doors out here. It says Spirit Halloween, Trick or Treat, Saturday, October 21st, 5 to 7 p.m. Trick or Treat at your favorite Halloween store, meaning Spirit Halloween. Kids costume contest at 6 p.m. Prizes for winners. Vote on your favorite employee costume. So much fun. It's scary. Okay, that is awesome. And props to the person who drew all these little flyers. Look at, oh crap, come on. Look at the ghosts and goblins on it. Can you please move Mr. In sign? Look at the ghosts and goblins on this one. And here's one with a spooky bat. And again, guys, yes, you can come down here and trick or treat October 21st, 5 to 7. This is the North Canton location on the Strip. Look at this one here. We have the Spirit Hollows Cemetery Gate with a couple of spooky pumpkins. And this spooky one here. Look at this pumpkin face. Crap. <laughs> Every time I try to film it, this thing catches me. It opens the door, and the giant spirit sign goes right over what I'm trying to show you. I gotta hold real still here so you can see it. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Spooky pumpkins, spooky cornfield, spooky scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, of course, now it doesn't move. What the heck? Thanks a lot, Jack. Okay, guys, here we go. Today, it's gonna be everything Friday the 13th inside this particular Spirit Halloween store. Let's just begin right here with the t-shirts. Do we have any Friday the 13th t-shirts? I don't think we do, actually. Friday the 13th, Jason... Okay, right here. Here we go. I wish it was Friday. Well, you get your wish today. And here's another one. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Man, for a minute, I didn't think we were going to find a shirt. Okay, here we go. We're going down every aisle to try to find everything Jason Voorhees, a.k.a. Friday the 13th. Now we all know they have the costumes and the shirts and things like that, so we'll go ahead and just start right here. First we have the Camp Crystal Lake Hockey Jersey. Now there's another one down here we're going to look at in a minute, but this one is a little bit different. It just says Camp Crystal Lake on the front. Here's the Jason Voorhees woven work shirt. Here's the Jason Voorhees dress. That actually looks pretty cool. Camp Crystal Lake counselor outfit. I love this. <laughs> I was pretty sure they had an outfit like this for dudes, too. We got the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th machete here. Black one with blood splatter on it. We have the machete and mask combo, which is pretty dang cool. If you buy the combo, it's $24.99 for the mask and the machete. If you buy the machete itself, it's $12.99. And then the mask itself is $16.99. So you are definitely saving money if you actually go with the combo over buying them separately. And that is a pretty cool looking mask too. I, I usually don't like just the plain plastic mask but that one actually works really good. We have this mask prop replica, if I can get it off of here. That one is almost the same thing, only it's a lot thicker, it's a lot more quality. Did I buy this, guys? It seems to me that I may have bought this and I have it somewhere, probably in my storage unit or something. They have one more mask and it's this one right here, which is actually like a full head rubber mask. And this front mask actually lifts up to expose that disgusting face. We got the Friday the 13th beanie here with the embroidered Jason mask. That's pretty cool. Friday the 13th hat with the embroidered Jason mask and machetes and blood splatter. And then this one here, Camp Crystal Lake. This is pretty cool. Friday the 13th embroidered on the back. And let's not forget the Friday the 13th hairbrush. <laughs> That kind of cracks me up, actually. Friday the 13th patches and pins. Those are pretty cool. Crystal Lake to serve and protect. Then we have Jason's mask, Welcome to Camp Blood, and a Camp Crystal Lake life preserver. Friday the 13th press on nails. We have Friday the 13th socks here. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five different kinds in that pack right there. And then here's an individual pack that just has Jason's face on it. And then here's the other jersey I was talking about. A big embroidered uh, hockey mask on there. We turn it around. It says Voorhees 13, Friday the 13th down here. There's a 13 on each arm. That is pretty cool. Here's one that's sort of like the other one that we were looking at in the pack over here. But this one has like the lace up at the top. Jay Voorhees 13 on the back and the blood splatter. This is kind of like a Hawaiian shirt here with Jason's mask and machetes all over it. Camp Crystal Lake long sleeve t-shirt. Enjoy nature. That's pretty cool. Nothing on the back of that one, but that is a cool picture right there. And then we have a Friday the 13th F13 Jason jacket here. That is really cool. Look at that. Jason's mask with machetes on it. The Friday the 13th logo at the bottom. And I believe that does it for this small section right here. Oh, we do have some other things out here on the end cap. Of course, again, we have this mask, uh, the machete, the nails. Here's another kind of socks. Like these are the ones you'd want to wear if you're going to be the camp counselor. Here's red ones with Jason 
Jason's face, his mask on it. Oh wait, here's the Camp Crystal Lake socks right here. Those are cool. That is what you'd want to wear with the Camp Crystal Lake counselor outfit. And we've seen everything else on there. All right, let's make our way around. All this stuff is just going to be costumes of other different kinds of characters. What the heck? I haven't seen this in other stores. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossbody bag that is a big slice of pizza. All right, let's not get off track here. We got a Jason picture here under the Deadly Art section. This is all Haunted Mansion stuff here. I gotta keep an eye out though in every section just in case. Cause you never know when something Jason just might pop out. See what I mean? There's stuff like this that you don't think about. Slasher signs. And we have two of them here. Friday the 13th with Jason's mask all the way down. And then Camp Crystal Lake right here. That's a pretty cool one right there. I like that. Guys, have they ever made a Jason sidestepper? I mean, I see we have Leatherface, we have Chucky, we have Ghostface, all kinds of stuff, but I don't remember ever seeing a Jason sidestepper. Here's a Friday the 13th mask light. That is really cool. I love that. That is $29.99 because I know somebody's going to ask me how much that is. And here's a Friday the 13th whirl emotion light. You stick this in your front yard and it projects that onto your house. House. We got Ghostface and Pennywise Horror Babies. I wonder if they'll ever come out with a Jason Horror Baby. Surprisingly, I don't see any flags or door covers or wall decor over here from Friday the 13th. But wait a minute, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, it's Gremlins. I have never seen this one before. Here we go. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake sign down here among all these other awesome signs. And I see we have a random hockey mask that someone hung here. I am really trying my best to not get sidetracked by all the awesome animatronics over there. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> All right, I'll stay on track. Hello, Hex Spawn. <laughs> I got a little close that time. Would you please leave me alone? I need to find Jason. All right, I don't see any Jason headstones, but let's keep going this way here. Oh, okay. I do see Jason Friday the 13th slippers. Those look pretty dang comfy too. I don't see any Jason plush and I don't recall ever seeing any. Hmm, same with the bobbleheads. I don't recall ever seeing seeing a Jason bobblehead. I don't see any Friday the 13th doormats. Oh, but here is a Jason bouncy head pillow. Here's a Jason Friday the 13th. I wish it was Friday super plush throw. And here's another one down here. Friday the 13th, the day everyone fears, super plush throw. Ooh, we got the Jason two-piece pajamas. Yes, and the Friday the 13th lounge fly backpack with Jason's mask protruding from the top. What in the world do we have here? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> All right, that was unexpected. Someone dressed up as Crouchy working at the Spirit Halloween. All right, let's see if we can stay on track here and find some more Jason. I didn't really expect to see any Jason masks back here, but they do have a small selection down here. We've already seen those up front, though. Hello, rat. Have you seen Jason? Okay, surprisingly, I didn't see any Friday the 13th costumes in the kids section, but we're gonna check out all this stuff in here, starting with the Friday the 13th Jason mug right here. I can't even get it off. Never mind, I'm not gonna take it off. I don't wanna break it. But I actually have that mug. I don't see any Friday the 13th uh, shot glasses. I think we've already seen this pack of socks over there with the costumes. Now in this box of figural bag clips, I've already opened some of these at home. And I know for a fact they have a Jason in here, as well as a Friday the 13th video cover. Or maybe that's just supposed to be like the Friday the 13th poster, but regardless, they have it. Okay, look at this. These are not licensed, but these are like little machete earrings. Here we go. Here's a Jason snow globe. It's just a mini one, but it's pretty cool. Sparkly. Here we go, Camp Crystal Lake buttons. Oh, and here's one with Jason on it. Okay, so we already looked at this mug and I see another one on the bottom here. Check this one out. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, 
Friday the 13th. That is awesome. I was just about to give up on the mugs and then I saw this tumbler right here with Jason's face on it. Oh, here's another one. This is just a smaller tumbler. Friday the 13th and Jason's face. And here's one hiding down here. Oh, that's the Sanderson sisters. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Yes, Friday the 13th sour cherry candy cleavers. I bought one of these last year and ate them all. They're delicious. Here we go. Friday the 13th magnet with Jason's mask. Is that one? It looks like there might be two of them in there. Here we go. Friday the 13th little keychain here. Oh, there's a couple of them on there. Jason's face, welcome to Camp Blood, and the machete. Let me get you a picture of the machete. There you go. That is pretty dang cool right there. Here's another one shaped like one of those door keychains when you go to a little cheap hotel, which I know nothing about. Here we go. Here's a Friday the 13th lanyard. That's pretty cool. Jason's standing in the boat, and then you get, this is the lanyard part goes around your neck, and it's got big uh what the heck do you call those thing butcher knives on there and then there's like a rubber jason mask there all right i've been through this entire section here guys i think we've seen everything friday the 13th and i believe that includes everything friday the 13th throughout this entire store i've been through every single aisle around every corner and crack and crevice speaking of crack <laughs> Holy crap, guys, we are in Newark, Delaware to see this Spirit Halloween right here that actually used to be a Kmart. Look at the sign down there. It says Big K where the sign used to be. It is super windy out here and it's cold. So let's get in and see how it looks in Newark. Delaware. I wish I could have one of those signs. Thank you, automatic door. Guys, this is a pretty big store. It doesn't take up the entire old Kmart, but you can still see some of it back through there. All right, let's just take a little walk through the store first, then we'll come back up and say hello to all our friends. Yeah, this is a pretty big store, guys. Surprisingly, I don't see any animatronics on the floor for sale yet, but sometimes they have them in the back. Sometimes they even have them behind the counter. And yes, they have a whole bunch of them back here. Well, they have a good handful back here. All right, you know what? Let's check out the zombie babies first, guys, because I am still on the lookout for a burrito baby. I have yet to see a burrito baby in one store this season. I don't even know if you can get them online. We have Ruby. We have Max. We have the... They're either rat to eater. Look, it threw me off when I actually looked at the tag and it says Wretched Ralphie. Wretched Ralphie, aka the rat eater. We have the hand eater. We have the spider biter, the crawler, the butt baby, the brain eater. We have this strange fellow right here. And I think that's about it for the babies. Oh wait, except for these guys over here, they do have a couple of the tiny terrors. We have the ghost face, and we have the singing angel. All right, since we're back here, let's go ahead and look at these animatronics here. Look at this, guys. They actually have three stilts, aka papa pins. They have a slim over here, and here they have two. Actually, they have four of these jabber and jacks. A couple people have asked me where I got these, and I've told them in the video. I got them at Spirit. One thing I do want to see, though, is the price on this because, yeah, I got mine for 35 bucks, and there it is, 35 bucks in this store as well. But some people have told me that they saw them for like 60 bucks. We got a couple of howling spirits here. We have a leather face on the end. We got another howling spirit on the bottom here. Stuffed dummy props, sinister spirit dolls. What's hiding inside there? Ooh, it's a darling dolly hiding between the sinister spirit dolls. All right, let's see what we got in this pile over here. We got a couple of Annabelles. We got the Proton Pack, the Ghostbusters Proton Pack. And look at this, we actually have two of the life-size replica Proton Packs. I think this is only the second store that I have actually seen this one in. They're kind of hard to find. Look, we got a straw man on the bottom here. We have the black heart on this side. And sitting Sam doll over here. 
That looks like about it. All right, let's come on over here and say hello to these guys first. Ooh, I can see they have the hex spawn over here. He's got his back turned to me at the moment. So let's go ahead and check out Darling Dolly and see if we can get her going. Come on, Dolly. Come on, here we go. All right. Gotta love Darling Dolly. We got Gordo over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Gordo. Is he making sounds? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, he did. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see him light up. Maybe he doesn't light up at all. Maybe his bulb is burned out. All right, we got the black heart here. He's actually kind of loud in this store. Have I used the black heart in a thumbnail yet? I don't think so. So that one might just be going in this one. Oh, look at this, guys. We don't have the Grave Watcher whispering. We don't have little skelly bones. We do have this guy, but he has a reduced sign on him. He's 172.49. I wonder if that means he doesn't work. Let's see. Are you gonna work, sir? Okay, yeah, well, he worked. I wonder why he's on a reduced price. Maybe it's just because he's the display in the store. Okay, that's why right there. This even says animatronic locks in extended position. I'm sorry, sir. Now the employees are gonna be mad at me because I got him going and he's just gonna sit here like this for the rest of the night. All right, we got the jumping spider, but he's already jumped and in suspended. Wait, what the heck? He's making his sounds, but he's already in suspended animation. All right, hello, Hexpawn. It's probably your fault that Desmodus isn't working. You gotta love Hexpawn. I gotta tell you guys, surprisingly, he has turned out to be one of my favorites this year, just because he's so much fun to make fun of. I could never have him in my house, though, because he has horns. Sorry, sir, go back to heck. All right, and we got the howling spirit here. Let's see if we can get him going. There he goes. I think my favorite howling spirit I saw this season was the one that like only had one arm moving. And let's see if our gargoyle works here. Come on, Mr. Gargoyle. Nope, for some reason, most of the gargoyles do not turn on. All right, let's come on back up here and say hello to our friends. Let's start with the Killer Clowns Slim. Hello, sir. Wow, he has turned way down. All right, let's move on over here because I see we also have, whoa, wait a minute here. Reduced price on the Widow. 149, the neck does not snap to the side. Oh, that sucks. Oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. All right, let's come on over and say hello to the Martian. I don't see any signs on him, so he should work fine. Isn't he supposed to be moving side to side? Or is that, maybe I'm wrong about that. Whoa, look at this, guys. We actually have another Widow up over here. So we actually get to see this one in action. Hello, the Widow. <laughs> All right, let's go on in the Chambers of Death and see, ooh, they don't have anybody set up in the Chambers of Death. It is getting towards the end of the season though, guys. We do still have the Candles of Death and the Fabric of Death. And we still have Grim's Arm. Hello, Grim. Oh wait, I almost missed these guys up here. All right, let's say hello to Papa Pins here. I'm still kind of unsure like whether I really want to buy him or not. I don't think so. But the more I see him, the more I want him. And of course, Leatherface. That is one seriously loud owl. I don't think the owl likes when I turn Leatherface on. Okay, we're back in the back. Let's head over here and see if we can find some secret keeping cats. Uh, ah, yes, right over here. Hello, rat. And look at this, guys. They actually have different rats down here. Hello, different rats. We have the creeping cats, but I do not see any secret keeping cats. These three down here look like they're conjuring. I wonder what they're up to. Stickers for the cauldron. Stickers for this cauldron. What the heck? Three cauldrons in one store? I don't see the hook head hog or the hook eye guy, but they do have the ham hocks and the brain and the heart, and the chains of death. They have the live wires too. Let's see, they have three of these. I really need to get some more of these guys. I just really miss how they electrify my face. 
Have we looked at the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers this season, guys? Whoa, well, all right, hold on. I gotta get the button pushed. Here we go. How cool is that? It sounds like a demon. All right, we got the cracked skull zombie groundbreaker. I thought he made sounds too, maybe not. He does light up in green with green cracks on his head. We got these three jolly fellows watching over the store. We do have some empty soul girls on swings, the swinging witches, the creepy crimson girls on a swing. And if that doesn't scare you enough, they have just a swing. They have the demonic dolly talking doll. I know there was a handful of people looking for her. They have one, two, three, four. Look, they have five of those. Stickers for the funnel, stickers for the skull. Hello, bat. Oh, look, I never noticed that his mouth actually moves. His jaw has a little joint in it, and you can open and close his mouth. There you go, sir. <laughs> Here you go, ma'am. All right, I think this is hilarious. Whenever they lose, like, the regular tag that goes on these masks, they just replace it with one that says mask. Have we seen Palpatine in any stores this season? One for you, one for you, one for you. This chick looks like the girl on Paul Blart. So look at this, they have another replica proton pack, the life-size one over here. So they actually have three in this store where some stores don't even have any. And I like this jacket here, the Spangler jacket, because you can actually change the names. It comes with other name tags in the pocket there. They got the Ecto goggles here. These are pretty cool. And the PKE meter. And the jumpsuits. And the inflatable Stay Puffed. Okay, guys, am I crazy? Or did one of the stores that I went in have some inflatable Ghostbuster stuff? I mean, aside from the inflatable Stay Puffed costumes... I could swear they had, like, the inflatable Ecto-1 car or something. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I don't know. Hello, inflatable snake that I still haven't bought yet. Yikes. I didn't do it this time, I promise. Wait, have we seen these skull bracelets before? What the heck? There's 12 of them in there. Those are actually pretty dang cool. Those would be awesome if you were having, like, a voodoo party. Speaking of voodoo, I've yet to find that shrunken head. All right, I think... What in the heck, man? I always get this stuff mixed up with the voodoo stuff. What the? Hello, lady. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I need for when I go to the Hawaii store. Especially this right here. Holy crap. Look how awesome that is. It is a pineapple suit. What the heck? If I wasn't such a big dude, I would buy this right now. This is the first thing I saw on my way over here, though. The tropical be oh, I thought it said Tropical Breeze shirt. I'm not into beers, thank you. But there's also the banana shirt. All right, let's take a quick look at these costumes here and see if there are any that we haven't seen before. Sometimes they just kind of pop out at you. And I don't know, I think I've seen all of these, except for maybe this inflatable alien with three fingers up here. And this one's one of my favorites of all the inflatable costumes, the inflatable rubber chicken. I think the inflatable Teletubbies are new for this year too. They've always had like the regular costumes here, but I don't think I've ever noticed the inflatable ones before. They even have the screenshot of the baby in the sun on this and they don't have them on these. All right, let's leave some stickers for Michael here and we'll leave a couple for this lady. Let's leave a couple for Slim. Oh, look at this, guys. They actually have the big popcorn gun here. I haven't seen this in many stores. Let's go ahead and leave that guy some stickers. And let's leave one for the Nightmare Before Christmas hat. And the pineapple bag. Will we be getting business cards? Oh, crap, guys. This makes me sad right here, seeing all the Hocus Pocus stuff. Because I believe right here, right now, as I'm filming this, it's Saturday night, October 20th. First, and I think right now in Salem, Massachusetts, all the cast from the original Hocus Pocus movie is there taking pictures and signing autographs. If I had known about that earlier, I would be there right now. All right, I have yet to buy the creeping cat. I think I have everybody else, the hello rat, the secret keeping cats. I have scabs, I have carrot, but I do not have the creeping cat. All right, guys, I got my secret keeping cat. I made my donation. It's going to be going, wait, what in the world is this? D3's fun house was here. Oh! 
All right, guys, today we are in Elkton, Maryland at a place called Big Elk Mall to visit this spirit Halloween, which apparently used to be a fashion bug. I actually bought a pair of pants from Fashion Bug back in the day, and I bit my tongue last night while I was eating some fish, so I'm very put out right now. But I'm also ready to go in here and have some serious fun. I do like the looks of this store, though, guys, and that is one huge sign up there. All right, let's go on in and see what they have to offer at Elkton Maryland. All right, guys, this is a pretty dang big store in here, a lot bigger than what I expected to see when I walked in. We got a whole slew of animatronics against the wall back here. We'll look at those in a minute. But first, let's say hello to our friends. Hello, Papa Pins. Hello, Miss Leatherface. Hello, Martian Warrior. Hello, The Widow. Hello, The Slim. Hello, Gorgeous George. Hello, Candles of Death. Hello, Fabric of Death. Hello, Flames of death. Hello, Leaf of Death. Hello, Dagger Mike's price tag. Hello, Spooky Grim Hand. Hello, Hexpawn. Hello, Howling Spirit. Hello, Gargoyle. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Eternal Love. Hello, Gordo. Hello, Blackheart. Hello, Grave Watcher. Hello, Desi. Hello, Spidey. <laughs> Oh, no speako. To heck with you. <laughs> All right, I do see a whole bunch of animatronics back here too. So we're gonna go back and see those, but let's go see the ones in the front first. Hello, lady. Okay, yeah, we got a whole stack of them here, guys. Look at this, we got a little grave watcher over here. We have poor George here, Howling Spirit up in the front, the Black Heart, we got the Brown Jumping Spider, we got the Widow over here, we got Gordo, we got Eternal Rest. In fact, I think all of these may be the boxes from everybody who's set up in the store, because right here we have Leatherface, Martian Warrior, Hexpawn, Slim, Desmodus, Stilts, and the Darling Dolly. However, back here, there's a big stack of animatronics that are for sale. Wait, what is this? A four-pack cup set from Hocus Pocus. Billy Butcherson right there. Buck-toothed, mop-riding, firefly from heck. Okay, yeah, right back here, guys. Look at all these that they have. Oh my gosh, what the heck? They have three Mr. Punchies. I think I may have seen Mr. Punchy in one other store this season. Hello, Mr. Bad Words. They have two hot nozzles here, two eternal rests. We have two of the sandworm groundbreakers, a leather face, a black heart. Of course, there's a whole bunch of stuffed dummy props here. The candelabra is the pose and stay skeletons. Oh, look at this, guys. We have life-size replica proton packs. I just saw these in Delaware, and I just got done saying that I haven't seen these in very many stores this season. As well as the popcorn gun. That's two stores in a row. And they have the regular proton packs. We got a howling spirit, a couple of fogging skull piles, two straw mans here. It looks like that's all the animatronics, but that's actually a pretty good selection being this time of the season. They got a whole plethora of zombie babies. Honestly, these look like they haven't been the biggest sellers this year. I'm probably gonna regret not buying this guy if I don't. He's pretty hilarious, but I don't know. We do have a Sam Horror Baby here. Ooh, we got the Pennywise Door Knocker. He's not working. Chucky Sidestepper, looks like he's seen better days. <laughs> Leatherface, Ghostface, and Sam Sidesteppers. Wow, they got a whole bunch of Sam Groundbreakers. Annabelle dolls, she is creepy. Let's leave some stickers in these mugs. The mug, the mug, the mug, the mug. Let's leave some for Sam. Let's leave some for the butt baby. Let's leave some for Gordo and the Grave Watcher. Ooh, and look at this, guys. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six creeping cats and one secret keeping cat watching over them all. Some stickers for the cauldron. We got double head Freds here. And guys who need Tic Tacs. Triple the ham hocks. Ham hocks for sale. And we have disgusting intestines for sale. So in the last store I was in, I was looking for the inflatable Ghostbuster stuff. 
and I couldn't find it. And I think I was wrong, guys. I think what I was thinking about was this hearse right here. And I thought it was the inflatable Ecto-1 car. Let's leave some stickers for that guy. Oh my gosh, this may be my favorite costume in the whole store. Ghost. <laughs> Look at that. It's just a sheet with a ghost face on it. I also love this mummy. That's hilarious. Guys, imagine this ripping through your flesh. I think this is hilarious too. SpongeBob with his spatula. Imagine how hot it would be running around in this deluxe gorilla suit. Wait, no, in the squirrel suit. I should have a giant scavenger hunt and make people dress like a squirrel and search for a giant nut. Wait, what? Do they sell those here? If they did have giant nuts here, where would they be? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me find the giant nut section? They don't have a section with giant acorns, but they do have a whole section for adult diaper-wearing babies. You know, I have one of those giant inflatable SpongeBobs that used to sit on top of a Burger King. I should totally put it up in my front yard for trick-or-treat while running around in the inflatable Patrick suit. Wait, have I seen this crossbody bag? The Sanderson Witch Museum? Every time I come in here, I find a new crossbody bag. Not that I want them, but they are cool. You know, I think they got rid of most of the voodoo stuff this year, because this is like all I can find. The Witch Doctor hat, the Witch Doctor jewelry set, uh, the Devil Staff sort of, Witch Doctor gloves, and then they have like a couple of costumes here, but that's about all I've seen as far as the voodoo stuff this year. And I think this is only the third store where I've seen the Jack the Reaper costume. Oh my god, like, I know, right? Wait a minute, have I seen this Freddy shirt here? This is actually pretty cool, the Freddy glove on the back, Nightmare on Elm Street embroidered on the front. Let's leave some stickers for the Franken ladies and a couple for the killer clowns. Let's leave one for Chucky. We'll leave a couple for the widow and a couple in the hocus pocus tray. All right, one more quick look around this store, guys, in case there's anything awesome that I totally missed with my one eye. I think we've pretty much seen all the backpacks. I don't see any fleece throws that I haven't seen. Wait a minute. Look at this one here. It just says dead. And it's a skeleton. Hello, Bouncy Head Zero. I'm pretty sure we've seen all these fall guys here. All right, guys, that is it for this store here in Elkton, Maryland. I finally got some more of my live wires here because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to electrify my face. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, look what I just found. I have not seen these in stores for two years. I'm buying both of them. All right, guys, today I am in Winchester, Virginia. And as you know, Virginia is for lovers. And today, that means lovers of Spirit Halloween. We are at Apple Blossom Mall in Winchester, Virginia, and this spirit is in what used to be a Sears. I wonder why there is a plethora of signs all across the doors here. Last day for exchange is October 26. No large bags. Children under the age of 16 must have an adult. Last day for returns, blah, blah, blah. I do like this one, Welcome to Spirit Halloween. I wish I had one of these to go on my front door. All right, let's go ahead in, guys, and check out what it looks like at the Spirit Halloween in the old Sears at Apple Blossom Mall in Winchester, Virginia. Hello, straw man. This is a pretty decent sized store here, guys. Ooh, what is this? Haunted Tour Fundraiser Tour Brucetown's Historic Inn while learning about its haunted history. That looks pretty dang creepy. All right, we're gonna come back and say hello to our friends here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and take a walk around this store. Ooh, look at this. This is a little different setup than the other stores. I think I saw one other setup like this, and look who we have here, guys. Holy crap. What's your name, little miss? <laughs> I think I've seen her in one other store, guys. Let's see if, oh, okay. This goes to the floating spirit up here. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's this one over here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Now we got Betty going. Mommy lets me do all the shopping. 
She's very quiet. You can't hear her very well, but they do have some spooky haunted candles sitting beside her. All right, we're leaving our first stickers right here in front of Betty. Let's just see if they still have the jumping spider set up behind the doors here. Come on, mister. There you go. Look, he jumped so fast. Yeah, you can tell the season is winding down, guys, because things are starting to look thin in here. We got, let's see if this is even a slim here. It is. There's a slim in that box. I thought maybe it was just the empty box because they do have a slim set up back there. Let's continue our little walk here and see if we see anything. Ooh, I like the clearance aisle. Holy crap. Guys, look what I just found. I have not seen these in stores for two years. I'm buying both of them. I cannot believe I've been looking everywhere for shrunken heads for two years, and I just found two of them where I haven't found any in any other stores. I don't think these are actually part of the clearance sale right here. I think the clearance stuff is only all the Star Wars and everything on this side. But didn't I just say in the last video that I haven't been able to find much voodoo stuff in any stores this season. These are supposed to be 10 bucks a piece, so I guess I'll find out when I get up to the counter there to check out. But look at this, we have the voodoo dude here. And look at this witch doctor jewelry set. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I love that skull on there. This voodoo mask kind of reminds me of the hex spawn. See, this is why I love going to so many different stores, guys. You never know what you're gonna find. Like this, too. I don't think I've ever seen the bullet belt in any other store store. In every store this Hawaiian stuff sticks out at me now like a sore thumb because guys do you realize this store here in Virginia is the 48th state where I have filmed Spirit Halloweens. Next up is Alaska and Hawaii. That's what I'm talking about right there. Maybe I need to get a grass skirt. Or maybe not. Forget that idea. So anyways, here's a pretty cool skeleton. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this over here? I don't know if I've seen this. Hold on. Let me put my shrunken heads down. Nobody touch them. Nobody touch them. <laughs> All right. What is this? Deluxe fabric banner. I don't think I've seen this before. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas banner that you string across your wall, like above your fireplace or something. That's pretty cool. They got the plush zero here with this little pumpkin nose. And look at this. I don't, I think I've seen these in other stores, but I don't remember. The Jack Skellington light. I've seen a couple different ones of these but I don't think I've seen this one. Hello, fellow. Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Couple of fogging skull piles here. Every time I see these, I think, man, I should buy one, and I just never do. Probably because I just want to buy everything in these stores. I want to build my own store. Do you think that would be a good idea? Another cauldron that needs stickers. Hello, swinging wit. Oh, look at this. They have the secret keeping cats spread out, so they can't tell secrets to each other. We have one there, one here, and two on the other end here, but they are far apart from each other. We also have one creeping cat and one scabs, but no carrots. They do have the ham hocks, though. I haven't seen this knife in a whole lot of stores. The Halloween 2 knife with Michael Myers' face on the blade. Oh, look, and they have the pumpkin skeleton on the back of the blade. I've been scouring the masks over here, but I don't see any that I have not seen before, except the saw mask, which I have seen before but I've never really taken the time to examine and he has some disgusting hair. You need the Aquafresh. Hello lady. Holy crap, have I seen this inflatable Winnie the Pooh costume before? That is pretty cool. And I don't think I've seen this one either. The piglet costume. Look at what she's doing. Look at the look on her face. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I think this is only the second time I've ever seen this costume. It's Frozone from The Incredibles. Let's see who they have behind him. Okay, we got a Mr. Incredible kit. That's not really the greatest one I've ever seen. Okay, there you go. That one looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Henry Danger. Oh, here's the other lights I was talking about, guys. Friday the 13th, Jason mask. That one's pretty cool. And Pennywise. I think my favorite of all of these that I've seen though is the Friday the 13th one. All right, let's come on over and say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> let's say hello to the straw man. What the heck happened to his head? His head is twisted. Some idiot better not have punched him. 
I hope he comes back and kills him in his sleep. Oh, look, we got a dagger mic in here, but there's a sign beside him that says, Someone broke me. I hope he comes back and murders them in their sleep, too. All right, let's leave him some stickers. Spooky candles. Fabric of death. Fire of death. Hello, Grim Hand. And no scarecrow, but we do have another widow over here. Hello, Mr. Slim. And we have a Papa Pins over here, but he's still in his box. All right, do we have any other animatronics on the floor for sale? It doesn't look like it. Wow, they're getting pretty cleared out in here. They do still have a whole bunch of bobbleheads, though. Michael Myers up here. We got another Michael Myers here. Leatherface, Ghostface, the Corpse Bride, and Gremlins. They still got an awesome selection of plush left like this guy here and crouchy and they have one of wednesday's doll hello bouncy pennywise head i gotta check out the fleece throws whenever i come in any of these stores because you never know when there's gonna be one that i haven't seen and i think i've seen them all but maybe not this one. Say it three times, it's a Beetlejuice throw. Look at his costume, it's called Nerd Alert. Oh, here's the Dash costume. If you were looking to complete your Incredibles ensemble, here's a little Violet. Every store I've been in has had a pretty awesome selection of Disney costumes for kids, including Little Jack and Sally. Oh look, they even have Oogie Boogie. All right, let's make one more round through here, guys, and see if there's anything that we haven't seen. Here's an Armorized Batman Zero I don't think I've seen before. Fortnite 8 Ball Gold. Let's leave some stickers for Marshmallow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. They actually have a Spirit Monopoly on the floor for sale. I thought these things were sold out long ago. Wait, I don't think we've looked at these things over here. Of course, we have all the jumping spiders over here. And then we got a whole bunch of things over here. The 55-inch floor candelabra. We got an eternal rest on the bottom. A bunch of stuffed dummy props. Pose and stay skeletons. Creepy Crimson Girl and Empty Soul Girl on a swing. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I could probably walk around here and keep looking in all the cracks and crevices and see a lot of other stuff that I haven't seen. But let's leave a few more stickers out here with these guys, and then I'm gonna hit the road. Couple for Michael Myers couple for the killer clowns and a couple for Sam. All right guys, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go get my shrunken heads here. Next up, Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs>
before we even start looking at anything, I just want to kind of walk around through here and soak it in. Oh, speaking of death's icy embrace, look who we have behind me. All right, let's just keep walking for a minute here. I got to let these fingers thaw out, man. They're like frozen hot dog sickles. Look at this. They have the Reaper set up, the inflatable Reaper here. They have the whole back ISC section here and they have the front but everything's kind of mixed matched all right i know i said we were going to walk around the store first but this is blowing me away let's go back up to the front and we'll start there okay so yeah in all the other stores we always have slim up front but he's on the other side so as we walk around here guys look at who else we have over here we have heckles all right let's just get him going for a second here come on now heckles starting my own carnival right here you want to join my clown troop? You have a pretty funny face. You'd be a natural. <laughs> Gotta love heckles. All right, let's keep on moving here because, yeah, the next thing that I noticed as I walked through was this guy here. He is never up here in the front section. What the heck? Hello, Mr. Black Heart. Black Icy Heart from Alaska. All right, let's keep moving and see if we have gorgeous George over here. We don't. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we have the inflatable coffin over here. I don't know if that means they just sold out of Gorgeous George. Oh my gosh, they have a spooky brick too. Holy crap, that's a real brick. That's not even fake. All right, let's check this out. I gotta love how there's one eye lit up in that inflatable coffin. That's one inflatable that I have not bought. All right, let's go on and see who they have in here. I see they do not have Dagger Mike set up here. What? Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> They actually have a stuffed dummy prop here set up like Michael Myers. Um, excuse me, sir, your hair is going to catch on fire there. Do they even have Grimm's hand? Yes, here we go. We got Grimm's hand up here. Hello, sir. Okay, as if that wasn't strange enough, guys, come back here and see what I have to show you. This is why I love going to so many different stores. There's always different setups and everything. Look at how awkward this one is. First we have the inflatable reaper here. Then we have Papa Pins. I've never seen Papa Pins in the back of the store. What the heck did you do wrong, sir? It must have been something funny. We're gonna save the door for last because I'm curious if they have the spider back there or something else. But look at this. All right, we have our gargoyle and we have Leatherface back here. What the heck is he doing back here? <laughs> Oh, he actually looks pretty cool in there. Except for the fact that he's like sawing the wing. He, I'm sorry, sir, he's sawing your wing. He's a lot louder in there too. All right, then beside him, we have the straw man back here. And for once, he's actually in a place that he fits. It's night like this when the border between worlds grows thin. I've never seen a setup quite like this. All right, let's go around the other side here, guys, and see. There's lots of uh, animatronics on the floor for sale. Dang, I was kind of hoping that it continued on this side and they would have even more. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They have a Betty Sharp here. What the heck? Okay, hold on a second. She's got a yellow sign. $178.50, original $209.99. The reason is only because she's the display model. I would buy her right now, but I can't. I have to fly back on an airplane. We got a gorgeous George below her. We got a straw man down here. We got Emmeline over here. Wait, who's behind Emmeline? Okay, it's another Emmeline, and right above her we have Reagan, the exorcist, and she's reduced too to 289 because she was a display model. We got the howling spirit over here. We got Bubba on the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have an Evelyn Leech. Holy crap. All right, is she a display? Yeah, she's on sale for 204 because she also was a display model. And then below her, we have a Stilts, AKA Papa Pins, and a Lil Skelly Bones. I see we have some over here. Let's see, we got an Eternal Rest here. Kind of dark in this store, which makes it spookier than usual. We have the Sandworm Groundbreaker down there. We have some posable skeletons. Two black hearts, icy black hearts. You can only get the icy black heart in Alaska. Scary Clown Archway inflatable on top of that. And let's look at the inflatables here for a second, guys, because I have not seen the inflatable skeleton 
in a lot of stores this year. This is one of the only ones. He must have froze to death. <laughs> I haven't seen Frankenstein in very many stores, if any, this year. This might be the first, actually. And the coffin, I don't know if I've seen that in any stores. It's kind of cool that they have him, and they have him inflated up front. I still haven't got the giant 20-foot inflatable snake. They have the 12-foot jumbo, the trio of killer clowns. They have the hearse, which I don't think I've seen in many stores this year. Jack Lantern Archway, the fra Fright in the Box. I almost called him Frank in the Box. And they have a couple of the 12-foot Pennywise, which is actually huge. He's enormous. And they have some ghost faces down here which I still have not inflated at home. Actually, I did. I inflated him outside one day for a video for my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween. But the wind was blowing, he kept falling over, and I just didn't mess with putting in the stakes. So I'm gonna film that one again. Don't you think that's a good idea, Creeper? Arr, I do. Arr. <laughs> that may be the corniest thing I've ever done. Arr, yes, it was. <laughs> Hello, rats. Hello, carrot. Look at this, the two best friends forever are actually together without me putting them together. It must be because there's no secret keeping cats here. All right, let's go back over this direction, guys, because there are more animatronics over here, like Mrs. Leatherface here. We have a man's possessed friend, Bubba, here. Was $239, now $169.99. Look at this. They have a The Widow and a Fogging Skull Pile. Oh my gosh, my mouth is frozen from being outside. I can't even talk straight. There's another The Widow. All right, let's keep going over this way, guys. See if we can find any other animatronics on the floor that we've missed or anything else totally sweet. Oh wait, we forgot to look behind the door. All right, let's see if it's the jumping spider. It is! Hello, my icy friend! I love this store, man. Look how dark and spooky it is in here. Like, we just have a few lights on in the ceiling, but it all kind of disperses throughout up there, and everything back here stays dark and spooky. Look at this. We have two packs of the three-pack sidesteppers from Haunted Mansion. Oh my gosh, they have an awesome selection of sidesteppers. Look at this. Okay, first we have Ghostface over here. And then we have Lydia, we have Pennywise, we have Leatherface, we have Chucky, Billy Butcherson, Frankenstein, and Sam. Here's Pennywise with his icy stare. Ooh, have I seen this before, guys? Slow alien invasion area. All right, let's keep moving up here, see if there's any other animatronics that we've missed. Of course, we did miss the pile of jumping spiders. I do not see any other stacks of animatronics up here, although sometimes they're right around this corner. Are there any? No. But let's take a walk through and look at some of these costumes, guys. What do the kids in Alaska dress up as for Halloween? Mom, I want to be a sun that shines all day and night. Oh, what in the heck? I don't think I've ever seen this costume. The Sinister Devil. Away beast. This guy looks pretty icy. Wait, look at this. Here's another one I've never seen before. It's called the Dark Sea Creature. Look at this. He's green. He's like the creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't think I've ever seen Anubis either. Oh, yes. Look at this. They have a Goosebumps Slappy costume. It includes jacket with attached shirt, pants, half mask, bow tie, and flower. Oh, look at that mask. That is cool. I actually watched some Goosebumps on the plane ride here. Somebody get these children some coats. Dear Lord, please send the orphans some coats. Speaking of Goosebumps, let's go back here to the the mask section and see if they have that one Goosebumps mask. Hmm, I don't see it, guys. That must be one that they only put out in a couple of stores. But they do have the evil corn. I don't care if I ever see you again, you evil thing. <gasps> no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He totally went there. Hello, baby head on a stick. Yes, Alaska has the hook head hog, the hook eye guy, and the one ham hock for sale. They also have the chains of death, the brain of death, the heart of death, and the intestines of <laughs> Honestly, guys, they are pretty well stocked up with everything in here. All right, let's spread some stickers around. There's one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Look at this, guys. They have the vintage Wolfman doll. I don't think I've seen him in any stores this season. Creepy Crimson Girls 
girls, empty soul girls, swinging witches. And it is colder than a witch's swingy out here. <laughs> Let's leave a sticker for Grandma. And one for the hookhead hog. Somebody was asking where to find Jabber and Jack. I have seen him in most of the stores that I've been to this season. So if you don't find him at one store, go to another. Let's leave one for the creeping cats. Let's leave one for straw man. Let's make it two. Couple for Leatherface here. Let's give some to the jumping spider. Hello, sir. And we'll leave some for Papa Pins on his spooky brick. One for you, one for you, one for you. Okay, here's two Jason jerseys that are very strange. They're probably not licensed, but this one has the sparkly mask on the front and the back says Halloween 31. I mean, I get it. Halloween is on the 31st. And then this one on the back also has a big 31, which is just kind of strange. It should be a 13, but okay. Okay, wait a minute. What the heck? This is a trick-or-treat hooded shirt here. I don't think I've ever seen this. A Sam shirt. And the hood has his button eyes on it. I don't think I've seen that at other stores. Let's leave some stickers for Jack and Jack. Ooh, they do have the Leatherface Tiny Terror over here. Let's leave a sticker for him. And one for Sam. Let's leave a couple for the Corpse Bride. Oh my gosh, guys, you gotta love this little plush Zero. I've seen bigger ones. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I probably have. But look at his little pumpkin nose. Look how cute that little pumpkin is. Hello, sir. <laughs> don't you just wish you could have your very own ghostly floating pupster. Let's leave a couple of stickers there for Zero. All right, let's take a look at these plush blankets because guys, if you ever needed a blanket at a Spirit Halloween, it is at this one. Now, have I seen this one before? The black and white Twilight Zone throw? That is pretty cool. And I don't know if I've ever looked at this one, Pumpkin Head. Look at that, oh my gosh. You know what's funny? I'm not even sure if I've ever seen the Pumpkinhead movie, or at least the whole thing. I may have seen parts of it. I'm gonna have to get it. And I'm not a big Ouija board person, but I think this looks really cool. Ooh, look at this, guys. This is something I haven't seen in many stores, unless I just totally overlooked it. The Spirit Halloween Jack the Reaper pillowcase. You get one, I think it's only one pillowcase in here, for $12.99. That is cool. Look at the icy stare on the Bride of Frankenstein. They are pretty well stocked with just about everything, guys. Bobbleheads, lunch boxes over here, these boxes, whatever they really are. These lounge fly backpacks, man, I love these things so much. I think they are so cool how they're like 3D. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, The Corpse Bride, Michael Myers. We got Chucky here, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and one of my all-time favorites out of all of them, SpongeBob. Will we be getting business card? Lots of long sleeve warm jammies for cold nights in the icy tundra that is Fairbanks, Alaska. All right, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. The bucket. Let's leave a couple for Michael Myers here. Oh, look at this, guys. This is probably the only store that I have seen the metallic ghost face mask at this season. These appear to be the blue ones, unless they're purple and they only look blue because of the lighting in here. And they have the chrome face and they even have the aged ghost face. So I don't see anything in here that is specifically different because it is Alaska. You know, sometimes different things in different areas are more popular than other areas. You know, the worst part about being out here, guys, I can't buy anything unless it's like a magnet or a sticker or something thin that will fit in my luggage because I do not want to check any bags. <laughs> Plus, I either have to get an Uber or walk back to the hotel. And I am not sharing an Uber with this guy and his nasty breath. Guys, what the heck? It just hit me again that we are in uh, Alaska. We are in Alaska. What the heck? I flew halfway across the country to go to a spirit Halloween in Alaska. This guy's insane. <laughs> I know, right? Shh. Leave him alone, guys. He's my friend. He must not have a brain. He must be a dummy. All right, I can't leave without buying something 
But what? Almost has to be like stickers or a magnet. I mean, I really love this sticker here. Hocus Pocus, come we fly. That's pretty awesome. In fact, I just went and saw Hocus Pocus at the theater again the other day, guys, for the 30th anniversary. I love this support Halloween magnet, but I actually already have one of those. Not today, Satan. I think I actually already have that one too. I do like the handbook for the recently deceased. This is a pretty sweet Michael Myers decal too. Too. All right, I think I've settled on this Hocus Pocus decal. I just think this is so cool. I have no idea where I would put it, but it's totally awesome, so I'm gonna get it. Whoa, how have I never seen these before? Knife hair clips. They're so shiny, they're like, I think they actually are mirrors. Look, I'm wearing a stab hoodie. All right, guys, back out into the icy tundra of Fairbanks. Alaska. I still just cannot believe that I pulled this off. One last look at the store there. Thank you so much, Fairbanks, Alaska, and Spirit Halloween for making this season so spooky and awesome. Next up, Hawaii. <laughs> Hello. Or shall I say aloha? Guys, we have officially done it. We are officially in Hawaii at this Spirit Halloween right here at Ala Moana Center in Honolulu. That's right guys, I flew 2,000 miles into the middle of the ocean to visit this Spirit Halloween in what used to be a Sears. 65 years ago, Hawaii became the 50th state in America. But today, Hawaii becomes the 50th state where I have filmed Spirit Halloween. And as we stand out front looking inside the doors, we see the straw man waiting to greet us. Guys, seriously, what a journey this has been. As of today, right here, right now, I have filmed at least one Spirit Halloween store in every single one of 50 states across the entire country of America. But first, let me point out these plants. These look like something from Jurassic Park, which coincidentally was also filmed right here in Hawaii. This is the scene where someone forgot their diaper. All right, guys, we've traveled long and far to get here. So let's go ahead and step right in. Spirit Halloween in Honolulu, Hawaii. Hello, straw man. Holy crap, guys. I just cannot even believe that we are here right now. There is so much stuff to see in this store alone, just being a spirit Halloween, but I am wondering if there's gonna be anything in here that's kind of specific to Hawaii. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Let's go ahead and say hello to the straw man here. <laughs> it's nice like this when the border between worlds grows never know what is lurking in the shadows. You know what's so funny about this setup right here, guys? It's like he's burning his hands, like the hay is gonna catch fire with every movement. It's burning my straw! I can't believe I just activated the straw man in Hawaii. And I'm going to leave the official first stickers in Hawaii right here with the straw man. Okay guys, before we do any of the other animatronics or even look at these, let's go ahead and just take a walk through the store here and just check out the layout and see how stocked they are. Getting closer and closer to Halloween, these stores are more and more stocked. Hello, Billy Butcherson's head. And at the time that I'm filming this, you can still pretty much find just about anything that you wanna find at Spirit. Holy crap, guys, look at this. They have all the tiny terrors right here in Hawaii. They have the Hawaiian ghost face, they have the Hawaiian Sam, the Hawaiian Pennywise, and the Hawaiian Chainsaw Massacre. And I hear someone over here laughing. Oh, now you get quiet. There you go. 
It looks like you're enjoying your Hawaiian pumpkin. Hawaiian rats. Hawaiian moths. Hawaiian spiders. Hawaiian butts. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. It's the first store I have been in this entire season where I have found a burrito baby. A Hawaiian burrito baby. All right, let's lean you up right there so you can continue to watch over everything in the store. Well, guys, look at this. They are actually pretty stocked. They have three hugs talking clown dolls. If they had a Crouchy in here, that would totally top it off. I see Desmond, I see the Butcher loving Lilith, Decrepit Donna, we have Monkey Chimes, and we even have Pumpkin Nester back there. All right, let's continue with our walk around the store, just kind of initializing everything. All right, back up this way, we have tons of costumes and everything. Hello, Widow, we'll be back to talk to you in a minute. Let's go over and look at this side. Looks like this is all the kids' costumes over here in this whole section. Okay, so they only have the one ISC set up here. Let's go ahead and say hello to gorgeous George here before we move on. <laughs> And back over to the Widow. Hello, Widow. <laughs> and on this side, we have Gordo. Oh, he's already in suspended animation. All right, Gordo. Since you're in one constant spooky scream, we're going to go ahead and leave you some stickers. All right, let's come on over here and look at some of these props and animatronics. We have a little skelly bones here. We have a couple of fogging skull piles. We have the leather face. We got a Bubba over here and a scary sitting scarecrow on the bottom. And then behind the fogging skull piles, we have a couple more sitting scarecrows. Up in the front here, we have a stuffed dummy prop, empty soul girls on swings. We have the grave watcher right Right there, posable skeletons, and the sinister spirit dolls. I still want to buy one of these. Oh, look at this, guys. I think this is only the second store this entire season that I've seen a Betty Sharp. We got poor George over here. We got stilts, aka Papa Pins. Two of the triple killer clowns inflatables. Oh my gosh, look, a shorty. Have I seen shorty in any stores this season, guys? I don't think so. Maybe one other. Holy crap, look at this. They actually have a lucky bottoms. I was online the other day looking at Lucky Bottoms, considering buying him. This is the first time I've seen him in any stores this season. Right on top of him, we have the Ghost Swing, and then we have Hot Nozzles on the bottom. I may have seen Shorty in one other store, but I know for a fact I have not seen Lucky Bottoms. We have a Desmodus here, another man's possessed friend, something, um, I thought there was something hiding behind those. Sandworm Groundbreaker, and look at this, another one that I don't think I've seen in any stores this season. On the deadly creeper. We got Slim over here, another Slim over here, Eternal Rest, and we have a Mars Attacks, guys. These are getting pretty difficult to find. I know I'm gonna regret it if I don't buy him this season while he's in stores, but I certainly can't take him on a 2,000 mile trip on an airplane. Let's leave some stickers for Spider-Man, and the Dino, and Blue, and Flounder, and Lightning McQueen, and the Bucket, the Bucket, the Bucket, the Bucket. Yes, you can have one too, Mickey. And I don't think I've left any in this basket here in any of the stores. What? is that anyway? These are always located in the same section here, but I've really never given them much attention. It's right here by the zombie cheerleader, the fishnet gloves, and the tattered tights. What in the world? It kind of matches the design of this hammer here. Actually looks like it could match a handful of these costumes here. This one's called Killer Clown Pigtails. Wait a minute. That's not a costume. It's just the wig. But it definitely does match the colors on there. Look at this. This one's called Deadly Dolly. The bunny has a cross over his eye. Twisted Clown. Dark Ringmaster. Neon Clown. Oh, look at this one, guys. It's called The Broken Doll. That looks like Megan. I like these Ninja Turtle masks over here, guys. I like how you can also get the shell with it. These are from the new movie Mutant Mayhem, and they actually had that movie available to watch on the flight here. Wait, what is this thing? It's a plush from Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm not familiar with that, but he does look pretty cool. There was a hilarious video online this morning of somebody dressed up in the inflatable Mike Wazowski costume and running all around the Spirit Halloween. 
right, let's make our way back around this way, guys, and go over and see if they have a secret keeping cat. Here's a sticker for Bullseye. Ooh, I almost missed the jumping spiders. Let's leave him a sticker. All right, I don't recall if I saw them on my first trip back this way, but if they have the secret keeping cats, they would be back here by these guys. Hello, burrito baby. You're doing a very good job supervising. Oh, look, they have the Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street pathway markers. Oh, that thing's in there. So, oh, they're, they're flashing at least. They got the yellow thing in there, so we won't be able to hear them. But I think that's the first time I've seen these in the store this season. Oh, here's the small ones too, the string lights. All right, let's see if we can get those going. No, they must have that yellow thing in there, too. Hello, Bouncy Sam Head. Where in the world did I see those cats? They do have the Michael Myers plush here. And Crouchy. And Skelly Bones. They have some swinging witches. Crawling hands. Where in the world? Oh, here they are. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. The creeping cats are keeping watch, while the secret keeping cats conjure. Okay, there is no way this is a coincidence. This one is literally telling the other one a secret. I promise you I did not set that up like that. Look at this. It totally looks like every single one of them is engaged in gossip. Hello, rat. And we have three scabs down here, but I don't see carrot anywhere. Here's some stickers for the cauldron. There's one for the vampire. They do have the hook eye guy, the hook head hog, and the ham hock. They have four ham hocks. Okay, here's where I feel totally cheated with my trip to Hawaii guys. When you get off the plane, they're supposed to put a layer on your neck and it never happened. At least that's what they do in the movies. They also have the flower headbands here. I almost have to buy one of these for each me and my wife to at least take a picture wearing these by the beach. Look at this, they even have luau wristlets and luau face decals. Okay, this is the test of all tests to make sure this is actually how this is designed. Here in Hawaii, we have the smiley face snake. I swear when I first saw this, I thought somebody just used a Sharpie and drew a smiley face on him. Ham hocks in Hawaii. Hello, lady. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Ah! All right, wait a minute. We gotta come back over here because I just thought of something. They have all kinds of Disney costumes in the kids section. I wonder if they have Moana. Where is, do they have Moana? This is gonna be a tough one, guys. I am not seeing it. I'm seeing everything. We got Frozen here. We got the other Disney princesses. We got Goofy, Donald, and Mickey, even Minnie, but I am not seeing Moana anywhere. Look at this, they even have the Descendants. That kind of blows me away that they don't have Moana. So if you want the Hawaii costume, you might just have to settle for Stitch. Let's see if they at least have a wig you could use if you wanted to make your own Moana costume. Okay, I think this one would work. It's curly long black hair. Or there's this one called the Radiant Bombshell. And it looks like if you wanted to be Maui, you would have to settle for this. What in the world? Girls Night Out? Maui is a friend to all. Oh wait, maybe this one would work better. The Rocker Curls. As long as that stupid headband doesn't come with it. Well, it does come with it, but it's not part of the wig. That would be perfect for a Maui wig. You would just have to make your own magical fish hook. Oh look, I showed you Stitch in the other aisle, and I've been completely walking past all of these costumes right here, including this cute little dress right here. <laughs> so we got the Lilo dress right here. You can actually get that little ukulele in the aisle right back here. They have the flower headbands, which one of them's right here that I'm actually buying. And then here's the Stitch outfit. Or if you wanted to be lazy, you could just get a hat. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day in this store. I am still absolutely blown away that I actually pulled this off, made it to Hawaii, filmed at least one store in every one of all 50 states across America. So cool, so very, very cool. All right, guys, there you go. I made my $10 donation in Hawaii, and there it goes. So if you come in, look for my star. That is it, Spirit Halloween in Honolulu, Hawaii. We did it, at least one Spirit Halloween in all 50 states across America. How amazing is that?